and we specialize in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, it, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops, and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. customers like seeing um, the demonstrations so make sure you tune in and don't miss the sweet puppy shows hi i'm abs from holland create i've been crafting for over 10 years now and i love stamping stenciling creating layers colors textures and creating depth and dimension Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting because our motto is, because we can. Yes, indeed. Good morning. I hope you're well. The day is Friday. Yes, we've managed to get through another week. I go flying by. It's Christmas before we know it. Uh, but... Uh, Giftables. Giftables for Christmas. You are in luck this hour. Uh, we are talking perfect, perfect giftables. If you'd like to make and sell, if you like making hampers, I have got the product for you. We are talking Studio 5 is what we're talking about. And we're also talking um, resin that cures within about half an hour to 40 minutes. And you can demold and crack straight on with your day. And we are going to see that live this hour from start to finish, from pour to finish product throughout the hour. And I'm not alone as well. Uh, all about uh, Studio 5. But you need how are you, love? I'm very well, thank you, Adam. Good, good, good. Good to um, be here again. It's the first time I've worked with you, so let's roll it this is. all the way back. How did you get involved with this? Okay, well, I found Jesmonite about two years ago. Um, it was voted, I was scrolling through Google, and I noticed this new product that had been voted Art Product of the Year by the Art Council, British Art, art Council, and I thought I'd give it a try. Right. And I've not looked back. It's fabulous. That's good to know. So you've not looked back since then. So what actually is it? So is it right as saying you, it is, you can cure everything, it, or curing within 30 to 40 Absolutely. minutes? Absolutely. That is the absolute joy of it. You know, you can pour it in your moulds and 25 to 30 minutes later, pop a finished quicker. product out. Um, and it's not something that's flimsy. You've had a no, look yeah, around it's, and it's had, really had, sturdy. It's so tactile as well. It's um, the feel. The best way to describe it's like stone. It feels like stone. It's got that cool touch to it. It's really heavy. So when you're gifting that to somebody, it's a substantial 
item. No, it really is, and they look expensive as well, depending on how you dress them. Let's um, mm. squash some of the questions with uh, resin, because we've seen a lot of resin uh, on yes. the channel as well. Is it a pour based resin, as in, do we measure, is it a measured resin, or it is it like is. cup for cup, is it gram for gram? It's, uh, the interesting thing, it's a one part of the liquid, which is an acrylic resin, okay. so there's no nasties in this, your kids can use it. Okay, nothing nasty, and a gypsum powder. So it's more like a cement or a plaster than a oh. resin that you're used to. Okay, so it's more like the good old plaster that we used to have. Yeah, like but plaster a lot or, you know, they do slip, what do they call it, slip when they're using pottery. pottery. Similar to that, but the finish is heavy, it's quick. And um, yeah, it's just fabulous. It's worth having a look. It. Right, I can give you a starter kit today. No, you say it's a starter kit, but this is, you get loads in here. Uh, so you're getting a starter kit, so it all comes beautifully contained uh, in the box itself. Uh, so you are going to get the box, but then inside the box, you are going to get your main items that's going to give you that 25 minutes uh, to 30 minutes cure time that you're getting there. We're also going to throw in two of the molds as well. Uh, now, with two of the molds, obviously, you're going to get. Uh, a uh, hexagon, yeah, hexagon. <laughs> and you're also going to get the square in there as well. Uh, so you're getting the mould already in there, so that's good. So as soon as you get it out of the box, you can start playing. You're also going to get the three colours, the blue, the red and the yellow. And, interestingly, you, can't, you won't be able to get these anywhere else. Okay, so you won't be able to get the white and the black in this starter kit anywhere else that you go and find this kit. Yes, you will get these, but you will not get these in the kit. Uh, you also get your stove sticks and you also get your gloves as well. And you're getting all this for £59.95. And, and on top of all of that, you're also going to get your video in tutorial as well. So not only are you getting a starter kit, not only are you getting the two extra colours, you're also going to get the knowledge that you can go to time and time again. Whether you do one pour now when you get it, and you think, oh, then Christmas comes up and you think, oh, I can't really do that, I've got the table full of everything. Which, it all happens, isn't it? And then you get back to January and you're going, oh, how did I do that again? What was the, you've got the video there. You've always got that tutorial, so you never have to remember again what you're going to do. 951475 is your item number. I'll do that again. 951457 is your item number uh, that you are looking at uh, for that one. It's worth having it a go, and it's on two flexible payments, which opens up that flexible basket. £29.98 with a £5 saving is what you are looking at for all this. It's well worth having a little look. Uh, gone of the days of uh, waiting 24 hours now for things to cure. All those moulds uh, that you've got at home, I'm guessing you can now use with these. Once again, I will ask all the questions uh, as the hour goes on. If I don't ask them, email me in studio at thecraftstore.com if you have a question as well. Righty then. Brand new moulds I'm bringing to you as well this morning. Now, if you're thinking... By Joe, he's rallying through this quick, isn't he? Yes, because I'm going to get to demo because I want to do a pour and a cast this hour. So we will look at everything in more detail as the hour goes on. Do not fear about that. You can shop ahead of me on the website and you can tap the app. Uh, but I'm just <laughs> giving you the little snippets, sort of like a bulletin at the moment, <laughs> before we get into the main news article, as it were. This is the summary. Uh, first up, the soap dish that we're looking at now. Brand new today. Now, when you think... Soap dish? A soap dish? Yes, and these are substantial. Oh my word. These are like shop bought. They are, absolutely. And everybody's moving away from bottled soap now. Everyone's gone back to bars. So it's very trendy to need... have a bar of soap. It is. I've literally, no word of a lie, <laughs> um, I just have it for show. No one's allowed to use it. <laughs> It's like the Imperial Leather Sticker. No one was allowed to... You only had one at Christmas, didn't you? You had one at Christmas, your nan would get it out, your mum would get it out, and you'd use it to you, just washing with a little sticker. <laughs> the last little bit that you had left. Uh, but soap's very on trend now. Back in fashion, make your own soaps. Um, but you're going to need a soap piece. Now, all of these that you see here have been cast from this one mould. Now, you can change the colour to your decor. You can go uh, all out if you want to. You can leave them clear with the resin that you've got, and you can also paint them your own colours. Add in your glitters, add in your micas uh, to all of these. It's well worth having a little look. £24.95 is what you're getting. Uh, and it's a big old mould. 
We are talking big, chunky moulds uh, is what we're getting. There's a lot uh, in of this. silicone in there that mould. There is a lot of silicone in that mould, and they're really still flexible and durable, which I like. So they're going to be easier to demold, and we're going to look at this uh, in the next over the next course of the 57 minutes that I've got left. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. That is your soap dish silicone uh, that we're looking at there. Nine zero three five four four is your item number. This you can also split the cost. If you're going for the resin, you can split the cost onto Flexi as well. The Moon Incense holder is what I have next as well on the show. Uh, look at all of these. How beautiful are these? I like these a lot. They're very like pretty. My I, top seller. I absolutely adore them. I really, really do. Uh, they are absolutely stunning. £16.49. Uh, little incense holders because it comes... With a with tongue. The, with the little <laughs> nozzle. Looks like it's got a little straw. <laughs> yes. uh, but that will give you the hole, so you haven't got to pierce Absolutely. your own hole with it. Absolutely, yeah. The hole's ready formed. And if you wanted them just as a dish, you could snip that off. So if you're not okay. into incense and you just wanted a moon dish, and then, then just snip his straw off. Snip but, his little yeah. snout off. I quite like it because it leaves you a little hole. Exactly. And if you are burning incense or you've got friends you want to make them for that, that love their incense sticks, then what a lovely gift. I, lo I like these. I absolutely adore them. Uh, £16.49. I feel they've got other uses as well. You're just going to have to give me a bit of time to think about it. Um, I think <laughs> there's other uses for these. £16.49. I want to go down the route of coasters. But I don't know if the nose yeah. would be interfere. Yeah, it would. It'd knock your tea over, wouldn't it? Well, I was thinking about a wine glass. Mm. Mm. Just, I know, ten past possible. seven in the morning, <laughs> but you know. It's the way I roll. Uh, but uh, 16 pounds and 49 pence is what you're looking at uh, for this one. Well worth having a little look as well. Um, as we pour it in, so that yeah. 25 minutes to 30 minutes cure time, is that rock hard at that point or is it still malleable? Um, it's hard. It's, okay. it's hard. It's not rock hard. It actually takes 24 hours because it's a water-based product. Um, you don't finish it until 24 hours afterwards because the water content needs to evaporate and then it's at its full hardness so i'll show you sanding and finishing as we go on um best to do that straight away and people are scared when you first take it out you think this cannot come out the mold it's gonna break but no it really won't they're really no. really sturdy right then we're making good time so i'm going to give you some more new stuff as well as we go up uh, now the bee part this is beautiful because it looks like the little bees have been put on secondary. Yeah. It literally looks like you've casted the bee separate. I did originally. Oh, really? And then I stuck it to a pot and then I made the mould from the pot. So the moulds are handmade by me in Northampton. <gasps> Look at these. So I don't know if you can see. So all the mould, there is a bee just in there. Look, if I move that. Uh, there he is. There you go. <laughs> uh, there is your little bee already on the inside. So once you've made this, you are going to get these beautiful uh, little pots that you've got here. So if you are into your succulents, if you are in to your terrariums, if you are in uh, to your little water pots, like you want a little nifty little paint pot. Now you have to remember, it does come with a hole in the bottom. Uh, but once again, if you didn't pour it up as high. Yeah, um, well actually if you fill it high, that hole is covered with a very thin layer okay. of desmonite and then you pop it through. So you could so, leave it in there. Or you could snip that off and just use it as a pen pot, makeup brushes, whatever. It's well worth having a little look. It's worth having a little go on this one because everyone... I, don't know, I have to say, those plants I used on my very first show back in September and, and they were only this high. <laughs> look at them now. Look at them now. They Huge. are the spikiest things to <laughs> lean over and try and reach the mould. I've only just realised. £28.95 is well. It's a good job I'm double shirted. It's a good job I'm double shirted. Uh, so, World of these. Now, a returning favourite. And I think, I think, apart from the soap dish, I think this is my next favourite. I love a candle. Love a candle, especially at Christmas. And um, these are the perfect way uh, to position because they they're pebble tea lights, but they've also got, if you were clever enough, which I know you are, you could turn these into little shoes. Oh. Tiny little shoes, like little gnome oh, shoes, yeah. I feel, with these. Uh, because you get the tea light holders, so that is what you're going to cast. Okay. Now, obviously, depends on what colour you put in, depends on what yours going to look like. I don't want to tell you to suck eggs. But 
Uh, you can put real candles in, and you say, well, of course you can. Sometimes we have to say batch operator candles because what we're using. With this, you can use real tea light candles uh, that's already in there, so you're going to get... It's which is fire resistant. Absolutely beautiful. I've, I've just noticed that the tea lights that I've popped in for the display are the longer burning ones, so they're a little bit big for the... The no, that works though. Yeah. I love a longer burning candle because it lasts longer. Exactly. And especially on a night. Well, it does though, doesn't it? Like, you don't want to go outside and it only lasts four hours. Yeah. My parties never last four hours. Not only about two. I get a good three uses out of that. <laughs> uh, but uh, look at what you do. But you imagine putting little, um, a little lace on the front. A little bit of a bow uh, down the front as well, adding a touch of glitter, turning them into little hooves for Christmas <laughs> if you wanted to go down like that route thinking. as well. Um, you could also, uh, they'd look beautiful in a little bathroom. So if you do three, sort of the same colours or a semitone down each colour each time, they will look absolutely stunning in a little bathroom uh, that you've got there. I absolutely love it. £16.95, 055485 is your item number. And then another brand new one today uh, that we're looking at. This is your little heart dish that we've got here. Now, once again, so many uses for this. First use I thought of, first thing this morning as I was drinking my brew, where do you normally put your spoon? Ah. Where do you put your spoon normally? Normally, mine, obviously, mine goes straight in the sink. But um, with, you, with here, you could put your spoon in there. Where do you put your spaghetti bolognese spoon when you're mixing your spaghetti bolognese? You normally leave it on the side. It makes a mess on your side. Now you've got a little dish to put it into. So you just put the end, rest it into the dish, because uh, they do sit uh, perfectly flush uh, on your countertop as well. Maybe you're going to use these as outside little trays. You're going to load them as little bird feeders uh, if you wanted to. Because remember, if you've got your things like your Dremel that we do here on the channel as well, I'm guessing you can drill into these. So you could drill you into could. all four corners and hang. You could. If you wanted to. Uh, you could also hang them this way, and they could just be charms if you wanted them to, as in like a little wind chime which would be cute. £24.50, uh, what you've already looking at. There are so many possibilities. Uh, oh, no, I didn't choke. Uh, <laughs> that we're looking at tonight. £24.50. £50. Best thing to do, jump to the website to see them all. I love the way I nearly choked and not one person came running once again. Uh, I've got so much more on here as well. It's worth having a little flick through the website. We've got two live hours this hour, but we want to see it in action. We want, let's put them, uh, let's put our money where our mouth is. It's very rare we do this on national telly around the world. <laughs> we're going to pour and decant in the same hour. Right then, it's let's fun. kick off. How does it all work? Let's start from the beginning. I've just got the box home. What do I You've do? You've got the box home. You get your bottle of liquid. This is the one that you're going to get in the kit here. And you need to set it, the only tool you really need to add is your scales, okay. okay? You need to be able to weigh it out and measure it accurately. Sounds good. She says, as her scales start jumping around, doing their own thing. Should have bought the other one, genius. Okay, so what I also give you, Adam, that I didn't mention earlier, when you buy your kit, yep. is a little guide as to... So I've got shiny paper over no, this, right. but it tells you how much you need for each mould, okay? Oh, okay? So there's no guessing. Quite often you'll buy a mould and you have to practice and try and you don't make enough. So this tells you exactly what you need what for you the mould. And then yesterday, because this is a part one is your liquid, one, one part, and then your powder is two and a half parts which is a bit of a pain. One to one's easy to calculate, that one to two, is. two and a half. So yesterday I thought, I know what, I'll do them a little spreadsheet and you'll get a mini version of this in with your kit as well. So you haven't got to do anything. I'll, put, I'll give you all the help that you need. Okay, so we get a little, so we get all the informations there for us. There, all the information uh, that we need. So we pour, you pour our mixture in, so we measure our mixture out. Yep, so we've got our liquid, and then I'm, I've already pre-measured um, these for the show for speeds, because we really want to get to demold. So, um, so two parts of the powder. So I'm going to make two items in this demo. We're going to do a coaster, and we're going to do one of those lovely soap dishes. Okay. So I've put in 120, I think I've put in, of liquid. So from the starter kit, how many coasters would I get? Um, depends what shape you do. Okay. So if you did all hexagons, you'd get six, six and a, literally six and a half, bizarrely, um, or five of the square, square. ones, because the square takes a little bit more. How many soap dishes it. would I get? Soap dishes, you'd only get four. You say only four. Uh, it, That's a lot of soap dishes. It is, yeah. I've only got one bathroom. <laughs> 
So, so once you have weighed out your mixture into your pot, now I like to use these, I think everyone uses these now, the silicon pots. Silicon okay. mould, worth having a so, look at the website. I don't know if Indigo Blue have still got theirs on the really uh, website. They're really good. I use them for all my crafting, my resin work and everything. So you're just going to mix it together and it actually looks like um, you're making pancakes, okay? Can you see in there? Oh, okay. So it's like a pancake mix and it's the colour of... There's hardly any, there's a nice smell to it actually. Oh. It's going to be quite a nice smell. There's no nasties in this at all. It's all friendly. If you wanted to get the kids involved, let them have a go. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Now this stick I'm using is a paint stirrer stick. They are available, I think it's at... Are they the end of call? Yeah, end of call. End of call. Set of two. Set just before you check out your baskets, uh, you'll find them just there. Well worth throwing them in. You don't need one, but I found it's the best thing to really disperse the lumps quickly rather than just using the standard lollipop stick. Okay. And then I just swish it in my bucket of water. 3 dollars 95 3 95 for two stirrers. You'll find that on the end of call. Just wipe it off on your towel when you're ready to okay. go for the next time. Okay, so we've got our base mix, which is got kind of an off-white colour, and we're going to do a soap dish and a mould. So now I need to colour it. Now, when you're colouring jesmonite, you need to use jesmonite-specific colours. I've tried and failed for, oh, it's okay, I'll use my acrylic paints, they'll be fine. They're just not strong enough. Okay. And if you put too much in to get the colour you want, you'll break down the chemical, you know, what it's doing in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stick with these, okay? I have, um, I'll show you some other ways to colour it as well at the end using mica pigments, which is really good fun. So I'm going to split this into two now. Now you're going to get all so these colourways in your starter kit. You can go for them individually as well if you've already got your jesmonite at home. Uh, we've also got the pigment collection individually. Uh, if you want it, where you get all five colours. How much pigment do we need to put in? Not a lot. Um, they say no more than 6%, which is similar to resin. Okay. Um, but you'll never go even near that. So these bottles Not are going to last quite a while. So, oh, they will last ages, absolutely ages. So I'm putting white into one. Just mix that through. So you haven't got that three minutes, you know, with resin that you're, you're used to. I need three minutes of mixing to make sure it's it's done. So long as the lumps are gone, just like your Yorkshire puddings, then <laughs> you're fine to go. So that's my white. Um, what shall I do? I have Aunt Bessie, so blue. I would never know. I'm going to do blue. <laughs> do you? Get Aunt Bessie to make them for yeah, you. Yeah, <gasps> she makes everything now. So I've just put three little drops of blue in there. Let's move that out of the way so we can see that colour. So three little drops. Oh, my word. And you'll see that coming through. It really is pigmented. Yeah, really strong. That's the only thing. I mean, I tend not to wear gloves. <laughs> the gloves come with the kit. Um, it's not because there's any toxicity to worry about. It's just because the colours are so strong. And if you spill it on your hands, then you'll be washing them I with your the soap from your soap dish that you've made. Oh, so that's the only reason, yeah. really, why the gloves yeah. are in there, just for more yeah, for the just, pigment yeah, rather you than the resin. Yeah, you want to keep your resin. hands clean. But, yeah, my hands are tough. Okay, I just pop that in the water. I'll clean that up later. Okay, move all this out of the way. So I'm just going to do a swirly one. So okay. one of the ones you, you've seen earlier. And I'm going to do, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do a kiss pour where you just pour both colours at the same time. Okay, and let them meet. Now, one thing I will say is you need to pour from a height. Okay, there are bubbles that form in anything that you mix together in two parts. So you can do it like that, and you get that wonderful swirly pattern where it lands together. I'll fill that up a bit more in a bit. Or you can pour your color in together, like a dirty pour. Everyone's heard of a dirty pour, I'm sure. I love a dirty pour. <laughs> and then, you know, just trust, take it high, take it high, there we go. That's a nice colour, actually. Ooh, I love that. And don't think of just your primary colours, guys. You know, think of your colour mixing. You can make some. You can make every colour under the rainbow. You know, in nature. I always say colours in nature from your primaries. Just remember your mixing. Make your oranges. Make your greens with your blue and yellow, etc. And right, we're filling them right about. to the top. Yeah, we're going right to the top. Now you don't have to. Well, you do with a soap dish. You do have to. The trinket dish or coaster, 
because it's got sides, it can be either. You, know, you can put your jewellery on it at the end of the day um, or use it for your cup of tea in the morning. There we go, just grab another lolly stick. And there's no waste. If you was to make a little bit too much, okay, either grab another mould. Everyone's got moulds knocking around, most people, most crafters. Um, or you make your terrazzo chips. So here, let me bring that so the camera can see. Some of the designs that we had on the display. Can I just grab one of those? Yeah, go on, coaster? grab away. So, if we're looking at this coaster here, you can see I've put a colour block on one side and then I've got terrazzo chips I've embedded into a white on the other. It's quite a nice look. I quite like doing those. Um, so you make these yourself. Okay, anything that's left in your pot, pour it on a bit of plastic or pour it on a silica mat, something that you can peel it off of, and spread it like your ice in a cake. So just use your lollipop stick and spread it smooth. Leave it to dry, and that one is actually dry. I did that one I got in this morning. Um, and then you crumble it up. So let me show you. Terrazzo chips. Oh. Look at these one. This is my favourite. Well, if you I? leave Where's that the uh, in the centre of your mat, if you yeah. get back there, then we can, we'll stay with you on your mat. Excellent. So there they are. So you'll just take that, and because I put it on plastic, and I'm going to mix these colours together, I can just... Oh, isn't that lovely? That looks quite satisfying. <laughs> isn't that satisfying? And pop them in. So always keep a pot for your leftovers, and you'll... Oops, put my hand in there. <laughs> There's no hope, you know. It is early in the morning, Adam. Uh, so, <laughs> with your chips, yeah, you wish you wore the gloves now, don't you? Uh, yeah. Now, uh, if you want your starter kit, uh, fifty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. It's like getting big. So we've done our first pour. We are now going to leave them. There is no camera trickery on this now. Oh, I feel like the mass magician. Uh, there's no camera trickery over the next course of. Oh, we ain't got that long left. Uh, over the next course of the next half hour. Um, we are going to demold those two that we've just poured um, during the towards the end of the show. Okay, so we are going to decant them towards the end of the show. Now you'll start to get. Remember, you are getting inside uh, your little box here. You are going to get your powder. You are going to get your chemical reaction, which means it's all going to work together. This is actually what you need. This is what's going to give you. This is your jasmine light that you're looking at now. This is what gives you your 30, 25, 30 minutes uh, cure time. So it goes rock hard. You've got enough in there to make five to six coasters that you were looking at. You've also got enough in there to make five coasters and your little chips for your next project that you're going to be doing. You've got enough in there to make four of your soap dishes. Now we've already seen your soap dishes are quite substantial that you're getting in there. They are absolutely beautiful and you can do them time and time again. Two flexible payments on this of £29.98 and 98 pence is what you are looking at. 951457 is your item number. For a full kit, you get your three primary colours that you will find in the kit should you get this elsewhere. But you go and look elsewhere for this kit. You won't be able to find it at the moment. You'll make 10 incense dishes. I've just calculated. Oh, you'll make 10 incense dishes as well. So imagine if you're making to sell. You're going to make your money back quite quickly uh, on this one. So it's worth, are we okay to make to sell? Absolutely, make to sell, sell away. Um, an average price, so I sell the incense dishes for £14. Well, the soap tree? So no, the soaps are more. Soaps I sell for, I think, about 18 So... I'm in the wrong gig, there. <laughs> but the mould's only twenty four ninety five. Yeah, and it will last you hundreds and hundreds. You've felt how, you know, how strong it is. That will last you hundreds of uses. So you're going to get your money out of them. So in theory, we were now looking at a business in a box. Yes. Is what you're looking at for these ones. If you do Christmas markets just around the corner. <gasps> so in all the home magazines at the moment, Jesmonites everywhere. You have to do your own research. It's all out there for you to go and look at. Go and ask your Jeeves. Go and look at your AOLs. Go and do a bit of googly woogling uh, if you need to. Uh, but you know it's all there. You're going to get so much in the kit. £29.98. Uh, 951457 is your item number. Something else, though, that you may want to be looking at on here uh, is your mica. Uh, powder uh, that we've got uh, and you've also got the seal as well so what is 
the mica and obviously we all know what mica is because yes. that gives us that gives us the colors uh, so ignore these for a minute it was just this is what we're looking at at the moment just this top row uh, what so what is the sealer for the sealer is to protect them if you're going to use them like you were suggesting earlier to put your tea bags on or okay. your spoons on. So it's an acrylic sealer. You put one layer on with a little bit of water added, sort of 50-50, so it's because it's quite porous when in its naked form. Yep. And then you use the sealer neat over the top of that with a soft brush, and then it's protected, can go outside or weathers. Um, yeah. So it's, it's it. protect. I like the feel of things without it. I love the tactile feel of the stone. You do get a slightly different feel when you put the sealer over the top. So another thing you can use that you should have at home is a wax, like a coconut wax, just to give it a little bit of protection and okay. a bit of sheen. So it's worth having a little go as well. 13.49 uh, is what you're looking at. You're going to get the three mica powders at the And we all know you can use mica powders all over uh, with this one. So it's worth having a little go. And But you're also going to get the sealer as well. I think this is the main one in this one. This is going to give you the seal, this is going to give you the shine, and it's also going to make them last. Uh, 971383 is your item number. Then we've got the set of five pigment colours as well. So you may want to get some more. You may be thinking, I'm into this. All right, I'm going to go rich colours with this one. A little will last you an awful long time uh, with these ones. You think, I'm going to stock up. I'm going to start stocking up. I've still got a bit left over from last time. Um, but my colours are sort of dwindling now. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and get some more. Twenty-two pounds and forty-nine pence. You want to get a five-pound saving as well. Seven three zero one nine nine is your item number uh, for this one. Right then, let's go back over uh, for more demonstrations. Ooh, uh, what excellent. are you up to this time? Okay, you caught me out there. <laughs> I was daydreaming. Okay, this time we're going to do the bee potch. Okay. We're going to do the pee pot. Peapot. You're going to do the peapot. The peapot. That's a new one for next time. If that's what you want to use Let it for, it's entirely up to you. Way. So we're going to do the bee pot mould and we're going to put the chips in. Okay. Yeah, let's have a colourful one. So here we go again. I've already put down my, on my notes, so I need 74 of the liquid. Pop that in. The speed of this is just what blew me away when I first found Desmondite when it first came into my life. So how long have you been using Desmondite? Two for? years. Okay. Two, just over two years now. And I was way ahead of the game. Now everybody's caught me up. Okay. So everybody's found it. So I need that one B pot. Details on the screen are for your B pot at the moment. Uh, 050407 is your item number. £28.95 and pence with a £6 saving is what you're looking at. And remember, your B is already in the pot as well. Okay, he so it's is. already in there, which is absolutely beautiful. So you haven't got to worry about it. You can sort of see it uh, in the little photo uh, that's in there. Is, well, is there another photo, Ross? I want to say there's another one that's closer up. Yeah, there you go. Um, I, think it's on the way. I saw the website this morning, that was all. Uh, £28.95 is what you're looking at. 050407 is your item number for your little bee pot. Right, let's go back. Okay. So we've poured our mixture we've in. We've poured our mixture. We're making our batter. Now, the one thing that you will have to calculate yourself is when you add the chips, you're adding volume. So you can down, and I say about a third of the weight that you're going to pour, okay. you should put in chips. You want more... You want lots of colour to come through. That's the whole point of making the terrazzo style. Um, so I put about a third, sometimes more. I can end up with some left in the pot, but this stuff never goes to waste. What I forgot to mention earlier is when it dries with these, or even with a paper cup, it goes crispy, crunch it up, okay. pour it in your chips. No problem. Very little waste. Okay. Now, I want the chips to speak in this one. Or literally speak, that would be really <laughs> weird. Um, so I'm just going to put white in. I like a white base. I like a white background. I do go about, uh, there's quite a lot of mixture because I'm going to do an incense dish as well. Because I think I'm going to have some left over. So we'll get two for one. And I'm just going to stir that white and I'm going to pour some chips in. Now you can go big chips, small chips. Just break it up to the size you want. I'm just going to grab. I love these multicolours. I just think it's a ray of sunshine in a pot, literally in a pot. That is a lot of chips. Oh, yeah. And at the bottom, you get all the little crumbs where it's broken up. I like to get that mixture. Okay. So you get like a confetti and then the bigger chunks. 
So you're making a lumpy porridge now. We've gone from pancakes and Yorkshire puddings to a porridge. Bit more. Can you add too many chips? You can. A lady that works for me, um, she was, was helping me make some samples for the show. And uh, sorry, Kate, I'm mentioning you. <laughs> she put two, I left her to it. And I come back and it was, yeah. She must have really struggled. How she got it in the mould, I do not know. I mean, it cured, but it had gaps because okay. the jasmine light couldn't get round. I'm going to go a little bit more. You notice I don't do this by weight. I just eyeball it. So what are we looking for when we're adding our chips? So and you how want do we know to be able to see. It needs to still be moving. Okay. Okay, so you want that liquid so it can get in all the nooks and crannies, particularly in the little B. And then we're just going to pour it in like before. Slight difference, I'm going to do some tapping halfway. So high pour, remember. Look at that, you can see the lumps flopping in there. I'm going to do it about halfway. And then because of those chips, because of those chips, I'm just going to crunch it down with my lollipop stick just to make sure everything gets around and I okay. don't have any of those gaps that we spoke about. I'm going to bounce it. They're sturdy, don't worry, you can bounce them around. You can throw them at someone if you want to. And in we go, fill it up. Right to the top. Now this is like, um, there is one I made earlier, so I'll show you very quickly once we get this one in. That's done. Don't it's in, so just, just give it now. another bounce. And it doesn't matter, someone asked last time on the show, um, if I'm making something thicker, do, does it take longer? No, in fact it's quicker. Oh. The jasmineite heats up when it's curing, it warms. Um, and you, can, you know when it's ready. Do we have to leave them in a special liquid. place? No, no you don't want them to be too cold. If you're in a cold room, um, then they'll take longer. It could take okay. up to an hour. Um, so a nice ambient temperature, you'll be fine, 25 to 30 minutes. And let's pop this one in. I wasn't sure Terrazzo would work with the face mould because they're quite subtle, but the one I did on the uh, counter, I it thought worked. come out quite nice. You can still see. I don't tend to do swirly patterns on the faces. If I do very subtle, just like a gentle, rather than a white and a black, have something that's more close together in the colours so that you don't lose the features of the face because he's got such a lovely gentle face. So again, you can see around the edges there's gaps at the moment. So we want to make sure, just give it a squeeze and then tapping it as well, bouncing them releases air bubbles again. So pouring from a height or bouncing them or both. You want to be doubly sure. Give Do we bounce. need to, obviously with our normal resins that we're using, mm -hmm. we use a heat gun to get disperse oh, all the bubbles. No. So we don't need any of that with this No, either. no, you wouldn't want to apply heat to these. They'll just disperse. Um, you, I very rarely end up with bubbles on the surface of the finished product. Okay. So long as you've done that bouncing, you poured from a high, you'll be absolutely fine. It's worth having a little look. Right then, we've poured four. So I'm going to give you a quick recap and then we're going to demold some uh, and we'll take it to the next stage from there. Right then, let me give you the details so that on the, on the screen at the moment are for the B, but I will give you the details for the starter kit as well. That's the B mold that we're using. A lot of people are adding this to their basket as well because it is a good place to start. It is a very good place to start. If this is your, uh, if this is you dabbling in the world of uh, resins, this is not the natural resin that we all would think about. When we say resin, we think clear. When we think resin, we think slim moulds. We think fine moulds. No, not necessarily anymore. You can do all sorts of moulds with your clear resins, and they take a certain amount of time to dry and to cure. With this one, your curing process is between 20 to 35 minutes, depending on the temperature of your room. Uh, that you're looking at at the moment. Well, in the starter kit that you're getting here, first of all, you won't find this starter kit anywhere else in this configuration. Let me point that out to you. Uh, you will find, go and have a look, you will find the starter kit out there, um, but it's quite hard to come by. A lot of people are jumping on the um, Jezzamite bus 
as it were. Uh, you are going to get your primary colours, but you will not get the black and white in any other kit. And you won't also get the tutorial uh, that's also online that you're going to get with your kit. You're getting two flexible payments on this, and I'll throw in two moulds as well for £59.95 with a £5 saving, or split the cost onto two. Interest-free, flexible payments of £29.98 is what you are looking at to pay today. Now, it would be a lovely little thing to do over Christmas. It really, really would be a nice thing. Because remember, I'm also thinking as well, um, you know your little advent calendars that's not that far away when you open your doors and you get the little chocolates in them? Take the chocolates out. Could you use them in them to make little figures? Oh, yes, absolutely. They're, they're technically use moulds. all your moulds. Use your Zuri moulds. Oh, my God. The detail that this picks up is phenomenal it really does get into everything i've done the mushroom zuri mold some of your viewers might remember the mushroom scene it's amazing the detail so it's worth it having up. a little go so you're not limited to these molds you can use the molds that we've already got so use um the geo molds that kay bought us a couple of days ago jewelry uh, um, wow. jewelry oh. in these would be beautiful um all of catherine's molds uh, that she's bought us over the last couple of years as well would work wonderful well with this now catherine's doing the show again at 11 o'clock uh, so it's well worth tuning in for that as well nine five one four five seven is your item number right then uh, from our coasters, these are what you can create uh, with your starter kit as well. Uh, but now we've also got your heart. Uh, these are absolutely beautiful. Super sturdy. They really, they look really fragile, but they're really not. <laughs> they are super, super sturdy that you've got in there. You're getting that indentation in the middle of it as well, which I absolutely adore. Now you can see some of the different shapes that you've got going on with these. But remember, because they're moulds you can make so much, many more things with them. Could we use them for candles? Absolutely, they're we, heat resistant. Can you we can use them for soaps? Soaps, yes. Bath bombs? Bath bombs. You see? Jewelry, <laughs> ring dish next to your bed. So there's so much scope. If you're using them for soaps or bath bombs, do your own research about giftables, because uh, you're not allowed to gift soap anymore. Uh, but oh. um, do your own research about all of those. But you could use them for your own gain to make your own soaps. You could use them for your own gain to make your own bath bombs. You could use them for your own gain to make beautiful candles, which you could sell and make your money back. And then you can make a resin out of them as well. How beautiful would this be? Absolutely stunning. £24.50. Split the cost onto two interest-free flexible payments if you're going for your starter kit as well. 107775 is your item number for this one. Um, no saving on that one, but you don't need a saving because it's well worth having it. It's well worth popping into your flexible basket. Pebbles up next. I like these ones as well. I absolutely adore uh, these ones, your little pebble tea light. It's a returning favourite. We've brought it back again, your little pebble tea light uh, that you're getting in there. They are so cute. They really, really are so, so cute uh, that you are looking at. £16.95. pence. That's worth having a little go. Obviously, they don't come with the tea lights. Uh, this is how they're going to be poured, and this is how they will be cast. Uh, when they come to you, but I think they're just divine. They're they so really, tactile. really are. The product is so tactile. It's a shame they can't feel it at home. But it is. It is. It does feel like a super smooth pebble. Like the easiest You've been way to describe it. walking along the beach and you picked up a pebble. Yeah, that's that, the feel. It's got that and feel to it. Um, these will also be good if you're going for uh, Lord Martin's little um, back gems. You know the little pots they come in, so you don't knock them over. I reckon you could put one of the pots in there as well. Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence uh, coming up on the one-day special. Uh, Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence with a three-pound saving. Zero five five four eight five is your item number that you are looking for. Now another brand new today. Well, another returning favourite, uh, to be honest, that we're looking at is the bee pot uh, that we poured earlier. Now, look at the different textures um, that you can get with these. By adding your own little chips, uh, you can get sort of textures that look like these ones. You've got the super smooth ones that's on there. Uh, you've got the ones that have just been cast. But look at the detail it picks up. Look at those bees' wings. Each individual vein that you're getting on all of those really, really do work and it's only going to enhance by enhancing we're adding your micas onto the top of this the adding gold your one has the mica adam at the front has mica that was in the mold i applied the mica to the mold and put the jesmonite in which we'll look. do in a minute if we have look at this they're stunning and they've got that stonework to them as mm. well. They've got that rustic stone uh, look to them. Could also be used as a candle holder as well, should you want it to be. In theory, the world is your oyster. It's a pot. 
Use it for whatever you want to use it for because uh, you're absolutely going to adore them. Uh, but once again, beautiful little giftables. And if you're making to sell, just saying, little <laughs> Christmas ideas, supply the plant as well. You are going to make £28.95 back quite quickly on this one, I feel. You really, really are. And remember, let's be, let's be fair, let's be frank. Um, maybe you're not going to use them with Jessamite. All right, fair enough. Let's not, let's, let's not beat around the bush. But maybe you're going to use with the resins that you've already got at home. Mm. So now imagine using with the resins that you've got at home and submerging your little fairy lights into them. So now you've got that beautiful bee pot with all the detail on there, but it's now sort of like a little night light because the lights are already submerged in. You haven't got to use these with the resin I've got on the show. Obviously, it works best and they go hand in hand, but you haven't got to if you don't want to. I know everyone's budget is different at this time of the year. £28.95 is what you're looking at. 050407 is your item number that you're looking at. And then your incense uh, folders that you've got on here. These are absolutely stunning. They really, really are. Um, you could, in theory, within an hour, you could create, make pour and burn which is really which is quite weird really you know, when you think <laughs> about it with it's resin you could make it from scratch within an hour's lunch break at work <laughs> yeah you could pour it measure it you could get back to your desk by two o'clock with a new incense holder <laughs> it's random when you think or about it like that have it however you, you sell it whether you're taking it to a craft market or you've got an etsy account you could have it up on etsy and sold by it's the end true. of the day. Uh, other online stores are available of as course. well. Other platforms <laughs> are available. Uh, for example, um, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> mm, uh, there are so many more things uh, you can do with them when you get them home. £16 and 49 pence to 00048 is your item number. And last but no means least, we have the soap dish uh, that we are looking at now on here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. Um, I love them all. Look at all of these, the different styles uh, that you've got in there, down to your yellows, down to your swirl patterns. Uh, it's a big old chunky mould uh, that you've got in there as well. Uh, things like this, by adding your little chips uh, that's already in there. Now, everything's been thought about with your soap dish as well, because obviously your soap gets wet and you don't want your soap dish to be full of water. Uh, there is a tiny little slit uh, that runs down the centre that's already in the mould uh, that's going to disperse all that water uh, straight away to 20 24 pence, 95 pence, 903544 is your item number. Uh, right then, let's go back over to you, Nice, for um, what are we up to this time? Are we demolding? We're going to demold. Mold? Already, we're going to demold. Yes. It's just amazing. And then I'll quickly, hopefully, show you how to use the mica as well. So, the soap dish that we poured together at the top of the show. Here we go. Ready? Oh, wow. And you never know quite what you're going to get until it comes out. To that. You know? is what we created at the start of we the show. We created it at the start of the show. 29 it's smooth, minutes ago. And it's got a warmth to it still because it's fresh from the mold. The only thing you need to do with the soap dish, and I didn't bring a knife with me, is just pop that out. And you don't have to do it straight away. You can do it later. Just that slip that lets okay. the water through. And then the sandpaper, which I think you can also add at the end of the show yeah, if you so don't It's have also on it. the end of call as well. I use wet and dry sandpaper because you don't get dust. Who wants dust around the house? Very true. So, wet and dry sandpaper, you get three different grits, 240, 400 and a six. And just on this one, just the edges at the bottom, I just want to smooth off. Okay. Nothing more than that. And that's it. Use it. <laughs> of this done. one, you would want to seal it. Okay, for the soap dish, you do want to seal it um, from there, but you get, that's it, and it's done. So that's that one. We've got the blue. Now, to dry them, although they're dry, you know, mm -hmm. dry them as in they're wet, um, you put them on something that air can circulate just so that they can continue through that drying cycle, the moisture that's inside. So I put it on like a baking tray just so air can get round it, or I'll just pop it on the mould and just pop it so air can circulate. And do you say seal it? Yeah. But you've just submerged it into water? Yeah. So do we seal it, do we sand and then seal, or seal then sand? Sand and then seal. Sand and then the next day seal. If okay, you want so to let seal it, it fully then dry yeah. out. Yeah, because if you put the sealer on as soon as it comes out, then you're trapping that moisture inside. 
Okay. And you really want that to, to just finish no, it's good its, it's, good, it's good to know, because we say seal it, but then we've just watched this. So there's another one that I did when I came in, before we went on air. Oh, look at that. The swells again. Same technique, just poured the pink in with the white and let it do its thing. So Beautiful. easy, and the you know the look of them, and then we have the coaster. So these were all 29 minutes ago. These were poured. Is that when it was? So Excellent. the blue ones that we're uh, that we're pulling out now. This was 29 minutes ago. We actually made the batch live in the studio. Here we come. Oh, this is interesting one. If I can just get that end off. Come on. Oh, that's interesting kind of swirly going on <laughs> oh look at that. that cool love that love that so there you go how quick it do you really want me just is. to show yes, you the terrazzo we should be able to get this one out so it's nearly ready to okay. come out um but i did do another terrazzo um this morning as well this one's greens but this is what you're going to get when you take it out and you're going to be really disappointed because you're going to say, where's all my colour? Where are my chips? So, bucket of water. If you leave, if you leave that just there for just of a course. second longer, yeah, just longer. so we can see. Um, so, you, yeah, so, so we've added all the chips, but it's, it's really quite yeah, dull. There's nothing really dull. there, isn't It's there? very boring. You can see a few. Okay, so what's, what's the next stage? So we need to reveal them. So there's a little bit more work involved in the terrazzo, okay. but it's so worth it. So submerge it in the water with your sandpaper. And we're just going to take the top layer off. Nice sound, isn't it? You just wet it. You kind of get a, a film of jesmite. You can see it there on yeah. the sandpaper. Oops. They won't invite me back early mornings again. Just spilt <laughs> water on the floor. Oh, don't worry, we can get someone to clean that up in a minute. In case you trip. Just give it a good sand. It doesn't take long. You can use, I use a sanding block. When I'm doing flat things, I use a sanding block. So you can do the base. Oh, there we go. Here it comes. So slowly Look at through. that. I love this one with the greens. Just work on that same spot for a bit longer. There we go. Just rinse that off. The greens look really nice with this. And look I put a that. little bit of green on the bottom um, anyway, but where's the camera? There we you go. You just leave it there. We'll come to you. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. So another 10 minutes sanding and you're good to go. So not that granite graphite yeah. effect that you've got it's going on. It's like a granite tart. It really, really yeah. is. And uh, it has that feel as well of stone. So three, it's absolutely Huge. beautiful. But the two, I'm going to. Oh, they are still warm, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> um, not really warm. They've got a nice little warmth about them. Uh, these two that you see here were done literally 29 minutes ago. Uh, is what you are looking at on this one. So 29 minutes ago, uh, both of these were now cast that you were looking at both of them were now cast just off the back which is absolutely beautiful uh, is what you're getting in there which are absolutely stunning uh, yes matt, matt just come straight in because it's a trip hazard and i'm scared anyone's going to fall over uh, so uh, we are very very busy with the starter kit is what you're looking at nine five one four five seven is your item number uh, for this one fifty nine pounds and ninety five pence is what you're getting as well but remember you can split the cost onto two interest free flexible payments is what you are looking at on this one uh, so you really are uh, looking at so much more. Most people are going uh, for the starter kits and adding an extra mould as well. So it's just this, just here is what we're looking at at the moment. £59.95, 951457 is your item number. Uh, remember, we also have the mica powder 
as well and the sealer which is just the top one uh, so you've got the mica powder and the sealer as well uh, the details for those are coming up you can also split the cost of those onto two interest free flexible payments 13 pounds and 49 pence uh, 971383 is your item number for your mica and also your sealer and you've also got the extra colors check out the website for all of those worth having a little look um are we ready to demold the uh, the bee is that we one can demold out? the bee and I think we've just got enough time for me to show you the mica. Okay, okay you've got about how? four minutes. Four minutes. Ah! Okay, let me tell you what to do with the mica in that case. Adam, would you pass me the heart with the sort of gold, black and gold, at the end on the display? Black and gold. So all I'm doing with the mica powder is brushing it into the mould. Okay, what you do want to do is make sure, look at this silver. I was going to do silver and red. Valentine's Day's come in. No, after Christmas, we've got to get through Christmas get first, through of Christmas course. First. But I'm already thinking Valentine's Day. So we have a silver foil look, and then I'll put a deep red in there with it. And then when you take it out, you get this subtle um, finish to it. This is a black with a uh, gold over the top. Okay, do it, give it the wiggle, and you can see the glint. Now, if you wanted that more sparkly, yeah, more sparklier. You would just take your gold and your sealer and you turn it into a paint. So we take a bit of that sealer. Let me just steal that. Pour a bit on there and just go into that mica, into the sealer, pick up some mica, make your paint. And if you so if you want it really blingy, just paint that in. And you'll get that beautiful, really metallic finish. That. So there's another use for the sealer. And I was keen that people knew why I've got the mica and the sealer on the show as to the effect that you can get by using. Obviously, that's been done very quickly because we're limited on time. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful it is finish. Absolutely stunning. You could do that over the top of your bees if you wanted your bees to pop out. I was wondering about bees to be gold and things like that. We could uh, do it that way. So this is the one yeah. we poured earlier. The bees being gold, I put the mica inside the mold. I turned the mold inside out. Okay. Where am I? We turned the mold inside out and I put the mica in the bee. I'm not worried if the mica goes around the edge of the bee because I can sand that off because the bee's raised. So you don't have to even be that tidy with okay. it. Okay. Okay, now this is the hardest one to demold. Okay, it's a big pot. There's a lot of, you can see there, of silicone inside the pot. So you need to get above it and push down on the sides and roll it back. Just roll it back. Oh, it's lovely and warm. And then push through, pull it down. So it's not hard. It just takes nice. a little bit more. Oops, pop. And he's out. Yeah, I put lots of chips in that one. You can see inside. So same thing as I showed you earlier with the green bean pot. You then just need to sand that back and those beautiful colours from the chips will come through and you'll have that terrazzo marble effect. And there's your little bee. Look at him. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. I mean, if you wanted to, you can use acrylic paints on Jesmite. There's a lady that I follow who does uh, mandala art. So she'll cast something just white, like a pebble, tea light. And she'll do that, that dotty art all over. They're stunning. I'm, I'm just not very good at that, so I <laughs> don't do it. I, I prefer to the simplicity of using the colours with it and seeing what fun I can have with the chips. Um, and one last thing, Adam. Yeah, go on. Yesterday, I was playing around with Eco Glitter. And I thought, you know what? I love the terrazzo look so much. What if I could get a sparkle as well? in that effect so i used some eco glitter and i poured it in just like we did with the chips and sanded it back so you have to sand it back again because they hide the little flecks of glitter hide and um yeah get that lovely spot so if you want to sparkle in your life and i did a soap dish as well slightly lighter it has a sort of a granite if granite feel to it because you lose the smoothness because them. of the glitter and the texture but it's more of a cement feel to that one. They're beautiful. And everyone can be different, but everyone is unique. And everyone is made with love. And everyone is made by your own fair hands that you're looking on this one. Uh, we haven't got long left of this. Uh, Catherine will be back uh, with uh, 11, I'm going to say. 
Yes. 11 o'clock. Uh, 11 o'clock is what we're looking at. So come back again. We'll do some more pours live. So we'll pour it first. Um, and then we'll decant them uh, later on in the show. If you have any questions uh, throughout the hours as well, uh, email me. Email me, studio at thecraftstore.com. Um, it's the best and the quickest way to do it. Now, the details on the screen one more time are for your starter kit. You're going to need your um, you're gonna need your starter kit for this one. You're getting your three primary colours, your two extra colours flown in as well, uh, which is your black and your white. You won't find them in any other kit that you've seen before. And you're also getting your hours online tutorial as well. So you get a full tutorial to show you everything that you need to do. £59.95. 951. 457 is your item number on this one. Uh, all that's left to do is thank our amazing guest. Thank you very much. Thank you so Been much. An absolute pleasure. I've learnt a lot this hour. Learnt a lot indeed. Start checking out your baskets. If I was you as well, you don't want to miss out on this. Um, and don't go anywhere. There is so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of the craft store. Shall I tell you what's coming up next? Shall I? I'll give you the next three hours in a little rundown with a woman gliding an ink pad across a card. Go on. Trust me, it's good. <laughs> She's been doing that for two years. Two years. Don't go anywhere. Sentimentally, your celebration is up next. And what a collection it is. You really don't want to miss it. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall vehicles. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Crafting with La Blanche. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus, you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us? Good morning, everyone. A very big welcome here at the craft store. Now, this is the one day special, the first live hour of the day with Sentimentally Yours. And our lovely Phil is here to join me as well. So I'm going to say good morning. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, darling. Morning, everybody. It's lovely to work with you again. It feels like forever. I know. Oh, it Although does actually here at the studio, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? We had a lovely weekend we together not so long ago, weekend. though, at Thank your you place. For coming. Yes, it was fantastic. Now, tell us about the one day special, Phil. Okay, so uh, this is my one and only. I love this. <laughs> This You're is, very cool. I, I, I am. I love it. So <laughs> this is my one and only show today with the celebration collection. Julia takes over at twelve and four. Okay. So uh, this is the last new release of the year. 
And what I wanted to do was a collection of stamps that you can use for just about any occasion. Yeah. So normally, as you know, I would bring you A5 stamp sets, but these didn't need that. So I've done them in, in A6 sizes. And what that means is these stamps are the perfect size for any kind of card that you're, you're likely to do, whether you do big 8x8s or bigger, like I right, do, okay, yeah. or little A6 ones. And if you are a quick card maker, perfect. If you like to colour in and make them a little bit more elaborate, they're perfect for that as well. If you look, there are 56 individual stamps wow. in this collection. And they cover everything. So you've got the champagne bottle, you've got different cupcakes, you've got different cakes, different presents, different... Uh, sentiments in there as well and they're all they're all fun they they're are fun, fun they aren't are they? and they're so easy to color in so if you want to color these in I will do one uh, later when you when you come back to me but really really easy and quick to color in you don't have to worry about shading or anything like that because the nature and the style of these it, it just absolutely means you, you're good to go. Just stamp, exactly. colour and good to go. Yeah, great fun they are indeed. And even the sentiments, and you can see the font that's been used, great fun. You know yeah. the style of it. Yeah. I love it. I love the little flags as well to go in the cupcakes. Yeah. Aren't they I know, sweet? I know. I've used them loads. I'm going to show you the stamps themselves so you can see exactly what you're getting for your money as well, of course. Now, the details are on the screen. There is a £6 saving. And we've got Flexi on this one for you as well. So all you need to pay today is £26.98. Another in a month's time, of course. There we can see different cakes, different celebration cakes. You've got the candles. Um, you can use those however you wish. Let me bring in the cupcakes. This is where those little flags are. I love those. Look, you've got happy and birthday. Yeah, and they, they obviously tuck, into the, tuck, tuck behind the cupcakes or you can tuck them behind the champagne bottle or behind the slices of cake or everything. It just expands what you can do. It certainly does, doesn't it? And the champagne and bottle this. there, of course. Yeah. We're talking all celebrations, Phil. Absolutely. Still. Absolutely and you know everything, gonna, aren't you, we? You know you're going to use this one to death, really. All the numbers. and So you can see you can the champagne bottle have left the space. Yeah. So you can put 40 today or whatever you want in there. The happy birthday, mini sentiments, all also fit in that as well. Perfect. Love the bunting on there as well. And there you've got these. all those sentiments. Love the fact that you've got the positive and the ne negative yeah, and there. Yeah, do you know what? This, these are not how I normally do sentiments, which is probably why I'm really drawn to them. So they're a little bit funkier, a little yeah. bit fun. You've got the confetti going around them as well with little hearts and stars. They're just really beautiful. Definitely. Something for all ages, of course. Yeah. No limit on this at all. 044655 is the item number if you want to go for the one-day special there. Now, remember that £6 saving, that's important because we've got other things to tell you about as well. Now, we've also got papers for you. Let's have a look at these collections. These are absolutely fantastic. Lovely bright colours as well. Um, you've got in all four packs, it's a complete collection for £45.96. Another £6 saving there. 968150 is the item number. You've got the Cool and Rosy. 160 A4 sheets in total. These are stunning, Phil. Cool I'm going to show Rosie. one or two samples. Cool and rosy. Yeah, so what I wanted to do, these are different to what I normally do. So you've got, and I, I've, I've got to be honest, I, I have done two other colourways as well, which I might release later in the year. I just Ooh. couldn't stop myself, yeah. So you've got, uh, what I wanted was papers that you're going to be able to pick up and you can apply them to anything. So any occasion, any celebration, birthday, anniversary, wedding and so on and so forth. So the colours are absolutely beautiful and these are tonal papers. I haven't just used one shade of pink or one shade of blue. There's like six or seven different tones in there. So what that means is you're going to be able to mix and match those with all the premium cardstock that I've brought you, oh, all the like luster cardstock. And then obviously with all your different ink pads and the way you colour them in as well. So as a collection of papers, these are just, well, it's a must-have. And it's 100, if you're going for the whole lot, yeah. it's 160 sheets. Wow. And if you think generally we use half a sheet on a card, so, so you've got like 320 cards. <laughs> Oh, great value, it's isn't crazy it? Easy to It really is great value. And the samples there, of course, showcase not just the papers, but also those wonderful stamps as well. But if you are going for the papers, there they are. Two payments of £22.98. 968-150. Now, we do have a complete collection as well. Remember, we've already seen a £6 saving on the stamps. We've seen £6 on the papers as well. Put it all together. Let's have a look at those details for you. Ah, you see, you're saving another six pounds as well, aren't you? Oh, no, is that the papers that have popped back? Oh, we're changing it. I haven't even seen this extra. Six pounds from the papers, six pounds from the stamps. Oh, my goodness. Good job it wasn't the last one. You're saving an extra ten pounds there. <laughs> what happened to me? Where, <laughs> what, where did did that happen, <laughs> what did happen, Phil? What did happen? So that's all five 
of the five sets of stamps. All five sets, so lots of stamps there individually. You've got all of those paper sets as well, 160 sheets, all that with still that flexi buy. So six pounds and six pounds is 12. That's 22 pounds saving in total. Yeah, my brain is working. 485454 is the item number if you are going for the big collection. Today, all you need to pay is £44.96. There we go. Now, we're going to move down because we do have more, something that really caught my eye this morning. If you haven't seen these yet, get ready. These are going to go into your basket, I'm sure. So let's have a little wander down the counter. Now, Phil is known for his lovely embellishments and gems and pearls, and that's what exactly what we've got for you, some more pearls for you. The colours, I've got to say, Phil, are absolutely stunning aren't they once just, again aren't they just and they, these are the last six in the shimmer pearl collection so there won't be any more released after these six Aww. and there will be no more so once these have gone that's it i won't really? restock these yeah because they, they, they last forever and you can see the colors that we're looking at there you've got the ivory the claret and the teal they will work with the papers that i've brought you with this collection as well so the claret is actually picked up on within the pink and the lavender papers yeah. Yeah, so you know it's going to work with that. I mean, that teal is just, oh, it's, they, you, they're lovely, aren't they? Aren't they the colours really lush? are gorgeous. I'm quite upset that we're not going to see these again. Grab yours quickly. In fact, multi-buy on them. I know they were very, very busy last night. £16.47. and pence. You are getting approximately 1,650 flatback pearls there. Over half of the stock has gone 512576. Now, we do have three more colours for you as well. Let's have a look at these. They're beautiful as well, aren't I know. they? Oh, lavender, baby pink, and your baby blue. Oh, aren't they pretty? I know, they are so pretty. And because they've got that lovely shimmer to them, the like Aurora Borealis kind of yeah. uh, shimmer over the top of the colour, they're just, they're just something else. And you can see straight away these are going to work with the papers as well. So if you're going for the papers, it's really worth you, uh, if you can, pop these in as well. And you know you've got your embellishments covered as well. Most definitely. Yeah, again, I would multi-buy on these while ever you can. If you're going for the collections, of course, whether it's a one-day special, whether it's the papers, whether it's the big collection, you've already got a flexi basket open. So, of course, you can split the cost on these as well. So I'm going to bring in as many samples as I can. It's over the two different variations that we've just seen. The one currently on the, sea, on the screen, of course, is the lavender, the baby pink and the baby blue. 592-362 is the item number. I can tell you 45% of this particular colour option has now gone. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? Those papers, Phil. I know they are. They're beautiful, aren't they? They are. You now know, you the see more my dilemma when I was designing them. Because what I've done is I've done a, I've done a like a chocolate caramel tone, and I've done a grey, a grey tone with the papers as well. And I'm like, no, stop at four. <laughs> because if I'd have brought you six or eight colours of papers, you'd be like, oh, it's too much, <laughs> Phil. So I might, I might release a few more next year. But the patterns within them, you see, are all so generic, yeah. and you can use them for everything. So. I would get ahead of the Definitely. game and get these while I've if got them. If ever you're stuck for any sort of product, yeah. for any card, for any age, you've yeah. got everything you need within those papers there. Now, that's the pearls done. Now, let's have a look at something else. We have got something else that I haven't seen before. I think these were new as well last night. Brand new. They are, in fact. Uh, we've got replacement nibs for your pens. So your Radiance alcohol markers, if you've already got them, great. You want to go for those nibs. If you're maybe looking at purchasing the alcohol markers today, then maybe these are something else to add into your basket. You are, in fact, getting 200 nibs. That is such a good value, isn't it? I know it, it is. I know. So the, there's a story behind these nibs. They've taken, I can't tell you how long these have taken, months and months and months and months and months before they've actually been delivered you know the situation that everybody's in at the minute yeah. um, and I've done these primarily because the when I released the pens originally we've done the brush nibs yeah. which is the lovely soft flexible brush nib but I know some people struggled with that so I thought you know what why don't we have a choice so we've now got a choice now we'll show you when you come back to me how to change the nib um, and what it means now is you've got two different nibs that you can use, well, three if you include the chisel with the Colour Radiance pens. You can chop and change to your heart's content. How wonderful. How will well, you need these, don't you? £19.96 and pence is going to get you 200. 859734 is the item number there. Really good value. Now, the alcohol markers, we do have them on offer as well. Perhaps you've already got certain sets. Maybe you want to sort of fill some gaps. Perhaps you've seen these for the first time. I'm sure we'll see them during the day today being used as well. Now, the complete collection is on the screen. There is a £30 saving. You can go for individual sets as well. Bottom of the screen for those. Obviously, you've got different uh, options there under those individuals. 
but if you're treating yourself, perhaps you're thinking, do you know, I really, really need these, can't quite afford it myself, get family and friends to club together for your Christmas present. We do it every year, don't we? What do you want for Christmas? Yeah. We say, oh, I don't need anything. Yeah. And the things you really want, Phil, are yeah. the things that you know your friends can't afford yeah, or your family absolutely. can't afford on their own. But if they all put together, yeah. this is a great gift. Absolutely it is, and what a fabulous present to wake up to on Christmas morning. So this is, I was saying to Leone when I released these last year, what it, there was a lot of research went into these with the nibs, with the colours. Um, and this is an absolute complete collection. So you, I mean, you'll know yourself. And I know that you, there are some pens that you can collect, like five, six hundred pens, yeah. and you don't need that. Yeah. So Trudy and I really went through all the colours that were available, and we made this comprehensive set of 168. And we feel that that is all we actually need, because you can create all the colours that you, you want from these. Brilliant. So this really is a complete collection of all the pens. You've got the chisel, you've got the brush nib, you've got the hard storage cases, which I think is they absolutely perfect, fabulous. With a yeah. little carry handle And as then well. you've got the grid, the little grid that's inside that holds them all in place. Um, but it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous collection of pens. It really is. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, if you're going for these, make sure you go for those nibs as well. The item number here is 214773. Today, just £83.31 pence because we can split this one three ways for you. So even better, isn't it? Now, over on the website, you can see much more as well. Phil's Card Store, always a wonderful buy. Great reviews in there. Look at these five-star reviews across the board. We've got the premium luster in there. We've got the premium uh, A4 mm -hmm. Card Store in various different colours there. In fact, there's a whole whole array of colours for you. And, of course, Phil has these made to complement all of his ranges as well, so you know you're going to find something that works with every single piece of paper that you may have bought. Whatever designs you're thinking of going with, there's going to be something there that is going to suit your needs perfectly. Wonderful stuff. Right, now then, I'm quite excited about this hour, Phil, because you've promised us two demos. <laughs> so, so there, I can't get away with that, there, can I? Nope. Right, so let's get, let's get cracking. First things first, I'm going to show you how to replace the nibs in the pens. Uh, I've done this, I've done this on every show just because it's worth showing. If you have got the colour radius alcohol markers, whether you've got one set or, or all of them, it really is worth you, if you can, going for these uh, bullet nibs because it just completely changes the way you colour in. So the brush nibs, if I just show you, are really flexible look. So they are re oh, 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 oh. And that's why people struggle. I know, I'm never going to get that off. Well, hand gel will get that off. And people struggled with the brush nibs because they are so soft. You can see this is the one I've been changing on, on every show. I've battered it, poor Aww. thing. So... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, that weren't too bad. <laughs> right, so yours won't be like this, obviously. This is just because this is the one I've been pulling in and out and being quite rough with it. So your brush nib, I'm going to change it around so you can see. Look, that's what it should look like. Where are we? That's what it should... <laughs> that's what it will look like. It won't look like the one I've been battering. So I've used my flat nose tweezers, and you can get the tweezers if you haven't got them already. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're on the show or not, but they will certainly be on the website under the brand shop, Sentimentally Yours. Um, and you just gently pull out the nib and don't throw that nib away because they were really expensive and I invested a lot of money in those nibs. Oh. So what I've said to everybody is just get yourself some of those little tiny uh, grip seal bags and pop a sticker on yeah. it, write the colour number or the colour name on it and then pop the brush nib in that bag and then when you want to change, you can then change from the Perfect. bullet to the, um, to the brush whenever you want. And the brush is really good for, for areas that are like, like skin yeah. and things like that because it covers a large area. So if you look at the nib there, you can just make out that at the end where the bullet is, you've got a little bit of a lip. Can oh, you see yeah. that? A little yeah, bit of a, ri that. a ridge. Yeah. yeah. Look at that for camera work. Passed your test. How about that? And then this is how simple this is to do. So remember, it will only go in the... Uh, the brush end, it won't go in the chisel end because it's a different shape nib. So I'm literally just going to push that in to where the, oh, where are we? To where the, look at my finger, that's <laughs> going to torment me. That, I'm just going to push that in until, until it gets to the lip and that won't fall out, it won't go in any further, it'll just go exactly where it needs to. So at this point you just leave it as it is, 
don't do any of this pumping or anything like no. that. You don't need that. I'm just going to pop the lid in and the brush, the, the nib, will suck all the alcohol colour okay. down. Yeah, so I'll leave that there and I'll show you in a Is second. Is it wise to leave it on its side then, Phil? Will that help? It won't well, make any difference, Chuck. Right, so okay. you can chuck it back in the tub, you can lay it on its side, you can do whatever you want Perfect. with it. But the, the nibs are so good that it just it draws the yeah. ink straight away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a lavender version of this card. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Where are we? There we go. There so we we're going to make this. I am going to do two. Yeah, I am going to do two demos in this hour. So I'm not going to spend the whole hour colouring in. What I am going to do is show you how to do the champagne bottle. Yeah. So within the pens, there isn't. Um, there is a lavender, but there isn't a lavender that perfectly matches the papers. So I've created my own tones of lavender using a couple of different pens and I'm going to show you how nice. to do that. But first and foremost, let's get this stamped. Remember when you're using your alcohol markers, you need to use a memento ink pad, uh, a dye-based one rather than a solvent base like your uh, VersaFines or anything like that. Okay. So let's get the champagne bottle. Do, do, do. Wait till you see how easy these are to colour in. And obviously I've cut all these out. You don't have to because you can stamp straight away onto one of your toppers or anything. Of course. And then just colour in direct. But I've cut I've cut all oh, oh, I've cut all mine oh, out. Wow. You have been busy. <laughs> so all my embellishments have been cut out. And they're, they're quite easy to cut out as well. There's only a couple like the bunting that's a little bit a bit fussier to yeah, cut. Well worthwhile, isn't it? Spending yeah. that bit of time to do that. Just make sure you've not got glitter on your... What I actually did when I was doing all my samples was I created uh, whole sheets, like a whole section with all the stamps on that I needed oh, for that card, and then I just yeah. stamped it again and again and again. And then I could colour it in whichever colour I wanted to. Perfect. You've got it. You've got it all well, done. Because then, these are yeah. celebration as well. You're going to need these so often, so it's worth doing that. I isn't know. It, as a card maker, Catherine, I know that these are invaluable because yeah, you can turn definitely. them to just about anything, um, and and they're not they're not too young. So you you can make these as as young and funky as you like, or as grown up exactly. and mature as you like. If I'd have had time, I even text Julia and said, "Oh, I wish I'd got time because I was going to do a craft one." A craft version, oh. so I was going to stamp it in, on craft and just colour it in in brown tones, yeah. and it would have looked really grown up and, and elegant. But I just never had time. Oh, we've got I might do it on the Facebook later, next we? weekend. I'll, I'll find time. Right, so I'm just inking this up with the uh, memento. I'm going to speed craft everybody, so you've been warned, because <laughs> I am wanting to do two demos, which is uh, two last night, two this morning. I'm, I You're need on a, a roll, holiday. Phil. It's ridiculous. It's like it's like full time work. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got the champagne bottle on there. I'm just going to leave that for a second to dry while okay. we go to the pens. Pop that there. So I've already picked out the pens. I'm going to tell you the colours I've used for the lavenders, uh, so that I can create uh, I can create that lovely proper lavender tone that will tone in nicely with the papers. So I'm using warm grey one. Where are we? There you go. I can't see it now. There you go. Warm grey one, 146, 77 and 145. I will put all these colour combinations on my Sentimentally Yours Facebook page over the weekend. Perfect. I'll do a little swatch for you all. So you look at these and then you look at the papers because these are the lavender papers and lavender is not the same as lilac. It's a different tone. Um, so you think, oh yeah, there isn't, there isn't a pen that goes with that, which for somebody who's a bit OCD like me, it drives me mad. Um, so I've create, I've managed to find. Hopefully that's dry now. I've managed to find. Uh, don't get it on your fingers, Phil. I know, I know. <laughs> it's I'm, I don't do speed crafting, darling. It takes me three hours to make a card normally, and I'm doing two in like twenty minutes or whatever it is. Right, so I'll colour this in quickly and then we'll get on with the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a, a, a base coat with the warm grey. So I'm it's going straight in with the bullet it. and I'm going to cover just about all of this. I won't spend ages on this because it's too early and you'll all fall back asleep. <laughs> so I'm not worrying at all about being neat or staining the lines because like I say, we have, we have, uh, I have cut all this out. So not worrying at all about shading or anything at this stage. I'm just putting a base coat of the warm grey down. Lovely. And then what I'll say to you is, I'll do it on the side here so you can see. I'm just going to do my little swatch. And it's worth doing this. Obviously, I've, I would normally do it on a little scrap, which is what I've done here. Uh, but I'll do it at the side just to show you, because this shows you the tones. 
and you can see where it creates a different colour yeah, where it overlaps pretty. and that's what we're going to do with this so really that bottom one which is 145 is the true lavender colour yeah yeah which is called oh as if by magic it's called pale lavender is it yeah how about that how about that? But I'm going to ignore that and I'm going to go darker to light with this. Ooh. So, oh, oh, that weren't a very good start, Phil. I was a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit rough. <laughs> I'm wrong end anyway. So I'm using the chisel again. So I'm only actually going to use the bullet nib when I get to the detail a Got bit. You. So I'm going in with the next darkest colour. And by going over the grey, this purpley tone is going to change to a lovely lavender tone. So I'm just doing shadowy bits first. I'm not worrying about anything particularly. Right, so that's all I've done. Okay. And then we're going to go to the next one, which is the pinker tone, and again with the bullet, uh, the brush. And I'm going over where I've just been already. Can you see where it's turning yeah, to the, yeah, live, the lavender yeah. tone? Yeah. Isn't it clever how it, it does really, that? really, really clever. I love alcohol pens, though. I think I, they're, well, I, they're I, my favourite Well, you know, I still. love them. True, I mean, Trudy is an absolute master at... Uh, alcohol pens. I mean, I used to do this for a living, but yeah. then things change and you, yeah. you, your whole style changes, so it's really good to get by. So now I'm going to the 145, and I'm used. This is the proper pale lavender, and I'm going to go over all of it. This, I'm, what I'm trying to show you is how easy and quick it is to colour these in. You don't have to worry about creak, creak, creak. That's like me when I was getting out of the shower this morning with my knees. <laughs> like, crikey, Phil, you're cracking on now, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going over the whole area with the bullet and you can see without any effort I've got my shading already in there and yeah? I can see how beautiful those pearls are going to match as well yeah yeah I and now going back in with the um, I'm going back in with the warm grey again with the bullet the brush I mean I'm going over it again it's all about it's all about I suppose layering with the colours, and I've had so much fun. I've spent three days doing samples with this because I was just enjoying myself, <laughs> and people were phoning me and emailing me, and I'm like, no, I'm colouring it, I'm colouring <laughs> it. So we've now gone with the grey tone again. So the last thing to do with this is now the pale lavender, which is the proper lavender tone, okay. and I'm going over the whole thing again. And what it does is it dilutes the shadowing. Uh, where well you can actually see as, as the alcohol is drying from the pens you can see that it's, it's, dil like it's diluting out, the shadowing and it's giving me the proper okay. shades so I'll just let that dry for a second okay that's all I, that's all I needed to do with that and if I Perfect. show you the one that's done look details for the pen collection is on the side of the screen don't forget we've got a three-way flexi on these just 8331 today those nibs those extra nibs bottom of the screen i would definitely say put some of those in your basket as well extend on the range of pens because it's a completely different nib you've got the brush and you've got the chisel with the pen itself and then you can add the bullet by adding those extra nibs in 859734 so this is the one this is the one i've done already look and looking at this i went over it again with the 146 so you can, can you see look how you can create so many different sh i love these they pens both so, so well both the of paper. these actually complement yeah, the papers do. isn't it clever very clever. I, I love pens that do that right so i am going to crack on now with this card because we are going to make two so what i've got here are two layers that i've already uh, i've already matted and layered with my papers I'm going to, if I find my tools, we're going to start sticking these on. I'm not going to glitter around all the edges like I would do normally because I'll definitely not get two cards done if I do that. No, and you've promised, Phil, you can't let us down now. Yes. You're looking worried. <laughs> Don't look worried. <laughs> but what I'm trying, what I want to show you is how fab these papers all work together. And you, and you know, sometimes, because if you think about it, birthday cards and anniversary cards any kind of celebratory cards are generally what we what we do the most so yeah, as a collection of stamps these are going to exactly. be invaluable and there are always those cards where somebody a friend or a neighbor you know always comes oh i need a card i've forgotten so and so's birthday have you got anything that you can give to me and you will you'll be able to just get some you know if you've pre-stamped like you said yeah. and you've got bits and pieces ready to go yeah but if not you could make something very quickly because you've got everything you need all there in one collection and I think, I think for me, Catherine, that's, that's the whole point because uh, this is why I've saved this to the end of the year because we're, we're, we're kind of we're kind of done Christmas yeah. now, although you could actually use most of this for Christmas cards yeah. as well. So we've done Christmas and we're now thinking about birthdays and everything for next year, Definitely. so you're going to be covered. So I'm just going to pop that on there. Have the lights just gone out? 
We do seem to have gone a little bit dark in here, yeah. I thought, I thought it went yeah, dark. We've, we've, <laughs> we've lost a little bit of light, and I think we'll get that sorted as soon as possible. Like, I know I didn't sleep very well, but I didn't think it was that dark. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got my little... Um, oh, what have I done here? Oh, that's me rushing. I'm not going to stick that. Oh, what are you doing, Val? <laughs> it must have moved. Oh. must have moved. So I'm just going to show you. Because I'm definitely not sticking that on my card because it's not right. <gasps> so oh, on I here, look, I've got some little tabs. That I can't even fix it because it's, it's dried oh. on. Uh, that's what happens when you speed craft, you see. Now you know why I take three hours normally. Come so I've got the little tabs on here. And these are the charmed flags that are on the show. And I've used them loads and loads and loads with this collection of stamps. Um, it just lends itself really those. well to this. It's like a big bunting. Yeah. So Beautiful. I'm going to leave that off now because okay. I've ruined it. <laughs> Unless we have it upside down. Yeah, let's go. Do dirty finger. Now you've got a tag that's moved. Oh. Do you know what? It's, I did that this morning while you were rattling, so I must have put the glue on and then just slung yeah, it over there and it must have slipped. But not to worry, we'll have it the other way up and pretend you can't see that, everybody. See, it happens to everybody. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that through the middle and it would normally have that lovely paper on. I can't have one one and one the other. That would just drive me mad. So <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it right. And just pretend it looks fabulous. Although it does, I've got to say. It will. Ooh. It'll still work. It will still work. It will, because you won't see much of that by the time I've done. So I've got my double D boss circles here. And I mentioned when I was on with uh, Scott last night, I have put the bit of stock that I've got left of the double D boss circles and double D boss squares on the show. Um, and, I'm, and I'm saying if you haven't got the D boss squares or the D boss circles, you need to be getting them yeah. sharpish because I am not restocking them. I've restocked them about five, six times and I'm like, enough's enough. Okay, well, so, you heard it here. If you want, of course, the squares or the circles, we do have them at the moment. Uh, 202719 if you want to go for the circles. There they are. Well worth every penny of that and more, I can tell you as well. You get a magnetic sheet as well, which is really, really useful. Yeah. If you want the squares, as Phyllis just said, grab these now. Once they're gone, they're gone. Same price, just different shape, of course. There we are, 14 dies. Again, your A4 magnetic sheet included, 903840. There we are. Be very quick for those. Yeah. Right, so I am going to glitter these edges, but what I want to do is I've left that one plain white, and this is a, another deboss circle, and I've just run that through the embossing folder, the heart lattice embossing Gorgeous. folder, just to give me a bit of detail. And it actually picks out the detail in the papers really well, it look, because the heart's it? in the papers. So I'm just going around the edge with the uh, chisel end. So uh, be careful when you're doing this, because it is easy to slip which I did do last night. This is why I don't speed craft. And all I'm doing is uh, running around the edge with the chisel and it will put a bit of that colour on the edge. And because this isn't the proper alcohol card, the colour will soak into the cardstock, um, which it's almost like doing your inky edges, but without the ink, just using your, oh, your alcohol pens. There we go. And you can see Lovely. that if I pop it on there, it's, I've picked the worst colour to show you, but I did it anyway. <laughs> We'll see it when you hold it to the front counter, yeah. uh, camera. And I am going to glitter the edges of these because I can't not glitter the rest of the card because it won't look right. It so a little hard, tip isn't for it, you: when the... you have a particular style, sort of breaking away from that, breaking your own rules. Well, sometimes I do. I mean, it's like I was talking to you about the canvas that I made. Yeah. When would you? And I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think as long as I can apply my my style to yeah. projects, whether it's a grungy project or a pretty card. Um, I love it. Just being creative is fabulous. So the the brush, uh, the brush glue. It is a seven day saver, which I didn't know. They told us last night. Oh, yeah. I spotted these. Yes, they are. There's a whole bundle, isn't there? We'll get the details up for you. Seven day saver. I know. We had Joe Red Tweezers on not so long ago, on the seven day saver as well. They were mm. very busy. There we are. If you want to go that for the glue bundle. Fantastic bundle, this one. £3 saving, 13 98 Make the most of it. What day is it today? It's Friday, isn't it? They'll change on Sunday. If we've got any stock left, they'll disappear. So make the most of the saving right now. 122769 is the item number there. That is um, such a handy one with a brush. Yeah, absolutely. Especially for doing... Well, I'll show you in a second. Especially for doing your edges, like on your shapes, dies, and, you know, like the lovely, um, charming dies that I've, we've got Ooh, on the yeah. show with the with the lovely scalloped edges. 
is good for that as well and I'm just going to do this one quickly just remember there is loads of glue in this and it does uh, can you see it's thicker than a normal PVA yeah this is why yeah, I, it's I like thick, it. it it's got less water content just remember you can you see here look whoop, where are you just make sure it doesn't drip off your okay, yeah. drip off the brush because I've done that before luckily glitter and butterflies cover everything <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going around the edge. It's just the easiest way to do this and to keep it nice and neat uh, without worrying about it too much. And it's quick as well. There we go. That's nice and easy. And then we'll put this card together. And then that's one. Day. Hey, we're halfway through and I've almost, almost done one. We're doing well, Phil. I haven't finished it yet, but <laughs> we will. We will, we will. Yeah, we say we're all right. Scott said that last night, and I'm like, don't speak too soon, Scott. <laughs> so I'm just taking the foam tape off. I'm trying to just remember as well, everybody, if you're following me on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, there is an album already on there of all these samples. I think there's about 60 in oh, it. Oh, fantastic. So you, you've got inspiration straight yeah, we've got away. Some beauties here. As soon as you get your stamps home. Oops. Pop a bit of glue on there just to give me some wiggle time. Because I know what I'm like, I'll put it in position and it won't be right. There now, we go. Lots of you going for those circles. I'm not surprised if you missed out on them before. You will be loving them. You can see them in use right now. But also the fact that they won't be hanging around for much longer. When they're gone, they're gone. Do not miss out on these. 14 in the circles. I know there's 14 in the squares as well. If you can possibly go for both, if you haven't got either, you will regret it if you don't. Because circles and squares, I know you've done other shapes as well, but circles and squares, we always come back absolutely, to Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And they've, they've been so popular, like I say, I've restocked them five or six times. Yeah. And I'm just at the point now where, where I'm not going to restock them yeah. again because we've got so many other things coming. Um, I, I, I don't have the space to store it all, even in my lovely new bed. I know. <laughs> if you have never been to <coughs> Phil's place, make it a day trip. But however far you are, may, honestly, I was literally blown away. It is amazing. I was honoured to be asked to uh, attend oh, your weekend, Phil. I no, it was fabulous. Say. It was lovely. Oh, look at this. <laughs> What's oh, happened now? Do you want to give me a minute just till I unbung this? <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> I tell you what, we'll give you a bit of a recap while uh, Phil's doing a bit of debugging. I'm on bong game. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we'll get back as soon as possible because we've got to get two demos in. Right, let's have a little look at the one day special. Now you've got the five stamp sets here. I'm just going to pick up a load of samples again and show you because these will show, of course, those five sets off to their very, very best. Uh, 56 stamps you've got all about celebrating. You've got presents, you've got cake, you've got cupcakes, you've got candles, you've got uh, little flags with happy birthday on, you've got tags in there. Of course, these are going to complement every one of the ranges that you've seen from Phil before when it comes to your dyes, when it comes to other papers. Of course, we've got the papers on the show, which can't be a better fit, can they? Absolutely. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, different styles, whether it's your easel cards, whether it's your tent cards, whether it's your square cards, your small cards, your large cards. Everything on the stamp sets, because they're A6, are going to fit perfectly for whatever you decide to make. Perfect for your gift bags, great for your tags as well. Using one stamp on its own works perfectly, doesn't it? I love that. That is such a lovely card. And, of course, if you really want to go to town and put lots of decoration on there, you can as well. Love the use of the embossing folders there with those papers. So just think about mixing everything together. Absolutely wonderful. £6 saving on the one-day special. 044655 is the item number. Definitely a go-to set of stamps. You will use those so many times over. Now, the papers. The papers are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I do have some to pick and flick here, actually. 160 sheets in total. Oh, I've got to show you these teal ones. Let me just go through these for some of the designs. These are absolutely stunning. If you're going for the full collection here, oh, let me just bring that one back in again. I'm holding them horizontally because it's easy, so one or two might look the wrong way up like the hearts, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can make them out, can't you? The just colours are amazing, easier. aren't they? They really, really are. Sometimes, actually, Phil, it, it works to go horizontal. Yeah, it shows absolutely. On some of my samples, ways. I've used the yeah, off course uh, exactly. horizontally. Love that one. That and, uh, reminds me of really beautiful um, ce ceiling mouldings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, like very cornices. Stylish. 
Definitely something for all ages in here. Of course, you've got the four different colorways. Uh, you've got your cool and your rosy. That's what we're calling the whole collection. I'm showing you the teal color ones, which are, of course, a color that you'll see very, very often with Phil. That's his favorite, isn't it? Uh, 968150 is the item number if you are going for those papers. Another six pound saving there that you can carry over to the big collection. So six pounds from the stamps, six pounds from the papers, and I can remember without looking, it's an extra 10 pounds. There you are, what a bargain. That is 26 pounds saving. No, six, no, 22 pounds saving, isn't it? 89.91 is the price. We can split this down with Flexi for you as well. Now the bundle proven to be very, very popular. Over half the stock has now gone. Two payments of 44 pounds and 96 pence. Item number 485454. Right, without further ado, we're going to get back to Phil to see if he's ready to I'm move on. Bond. Are you all right? Brilliant I'm stuff. I'm on you look like you stuck a few flowers on as well. Some bits on, look, just oh, that bunting, Phil, is so I know delicate it is, isn't it? Pretty, isn't it? So, the, so the bunting is a little bit trickier to cut out because obviously it's quite fine. But I don't know if you can get in close. All I've done is I've just left it thicker around the lines, which makes it easier to cut out. And then I've just glittered along there. I think on, on most of my samples, I've actually used glossy accents on the bunting and made it shiny Aww. as well. Um, so we've got a different composition for this, because for me, again, as a card maker, the fact that you can get a collection of stamps, like these stamps, for example, and I can completely change the card. Yeah. So I'm using, I'm still using the champagne bottle on this card, but I'm not using the glasses. So for me, that looks like a pretty like 18th card or something it's like gorgeous. that, 21st card. But we're going to change it this time. So I've, instead of having happy birthday in the middle, I've got birthday girl. So we've changed it again. And I've got cupcakes on this, so we've changed the whole look of how this card will you know, look. It really is very different. Although you use papers that have got the same colour palette, they do look entirely different. Yeah, the absolutely. There. Well, that's the pinks. This yeah. is the lilacs. This is the lavenders, and that, that paper's the pinks, so they are different. So I'm just popping Love that it. on there. And just move across a bit, because I've got about 15 cupcakes to get on as well. <laughs> Well, not, I'm exaggerating. So here, look, you can see that I've got the glossy accents on the wrapper and glitter on the yep, frosting. So I'm just going to build this on. And this is, this is probably why I've spent three days making samples, because there's so many different ways you can, you can create different scenes with them. So we're going to have a cupcake straight on. And then we're going to have two little cupcakes. I've just seen the time, so I'm trying to be quick, because I bet the other one's not as quick as that. <laughs> so, cupcake, oh, make sure that's straight so the cherry's not falling off. And we'll have the other one at the other side. So, you've got a large and a small version of each cupcake. So, this is the tiny one, look. And they are different um, orientations, so the cherries go in different directions. Oh, these again, great I've, for your shrink. I've got that lovely shrink little plastic. celebrate sentiment that comes as part of the. the <laughs> that comes as part of the. Um, part of the collection and I've stamped that in milled lavender and I'm just going to pop that straight on there. So I stamp, stamped it in milled lavender distress oxide and then I've used my clear embossing powder over the top. And then the daisies that are on the show I've created using white cardstock, the premium white cardstock. The stamens are on there as well in the middle using the off cuts, I don't know that you can see from the papers. Yeah. So the bit of stripy paper that was left, I've created my stamens. And that's demo number one done. So that is the second Perfect. version. Look how different they look. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, gorgeous. I'll get ready for the next one. You get ready, Phil. Now the mega bundle starting to get even busier. So, yes, lots in there, isn't there? 160 sheets of paper. You've got four different colorways there and all of the stamps as well. Five different sets. How many individual stamps? Was it 54? 56. 56. So, in total, you've got £22 savings. You've got £6 carried over from the stamp from the one-day special, £6 from the paper, giving you another £10 on top. And we're splitting it down for you so that Flexi makes it so much easier. Two payments of £44.96. 485 454 is the item number. Now, something that Phil didn't actually use during that demonstration, but we've seen on so many of the samples, and they're literally flying out. They were so busy last night. The pearls, over half the stock of the first set has now gone. Let me see if I can sort through these samples a little bit and show you some of the colours on the on samples. They're on just about every card, Catherine. So they all are, my daisies, the, the daisies I've yeah. just used, have got the... Um, 
the lavender ones inside them. Beautiful. Now the first set we're looking at is the is the claret, the teal, and the ivory. Sixteen forty seven is the price there. Aren't they beautiful? And I'm also showcasing, of course, the one day special, the collection, the papers, everything. However, you're deciding to split this one down. Those teals again. Gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. 512576 is the item number if you're going for the pearls. That's the first selection for you. I don't think you can go for one without the other, though. You really need both sets. So let's have a look at the other one as well. Uh, we're going to bring the details in. These are very, very pretty. If you're looking for your very delicate colours, you've got your lavender, your baby pink, and your baby blue. Again, 1647, approximately 1,650 individual pearls. Different sizes in there as well. 592362 is the item number if you're going for this particular option. Let me just show you a couple of cards again, just so we can see more of that wonderful collection and the papers. Oh, this is a pretty one. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought those daisies work so well. But of course, if it's, uh, you don't want flowers, you don't have to use flowers at all. Stunning. There we are. Now, a quick mention also, and a reminder about those nibs. Um, if you've already got the pens, you definitely want these. If you haven't got the pens, have a look at those today as well. But the nibs themselves, such a great buy. 200 nibs for £19.96. pence. These are your bullet nibs, so you can change. I'm not going to say replace, because you will keep the nibs that you take out of the pens. This just extends on the range that you've got. 859-734 is the item number if you are looking at going for those. You get four packs with 50 in each. That makes sure 200, of course. Now, the pens, I did say, you know, maybe you've already got some money that's been gifted to you for Christmas or you've saved from a birthday or you just, you know, you've just been waiting for these to come along again. If you want to go for the pens, you can. You can go for the big collection with a £30 saving. We've got a three-way flexi on these as well. 168 pens. Three payments of £83.31, 214773. The sets are available individually as well, of course, so if you do want to find those, you can find those on the website, and they're £39.99 each. There we go. Right, let's get back to Phil. We're against the clock. How are you doing, Phil? Are you oh, ready? Well, we, got there. we have got, ooh, 14 oh, minutes. Ages. Ages. He says. Right, so we're doing a blue one this time. I'm not going to colour in this time. Uh, what I will say to you is, if you go to the uh, Sentimentally Yours Facebook page and look at the Facebook Live I did last Saturday, they should all be there in the video section. I've actually done, I've done one of these cards from scratch, so it shows you how to use the pens and everything like that. Bad. So we're doing a blue one this time. So colours um, for the blues, you can, there's so many different blues that work with this collection of papers. So you can use the actual pale blues. All of these pale blues are going to work really well uh, with the pens, but, uh, with the papers. But what I've actually used are the blue greys. Uh, I'll just find a couple here. Do, do, do. I've got one on here somewhere. So the blue greys are kind of like your denim, -y, yeah. your denim -y blues, and they work so well with the. If, if, I, if I show you that, look, you can see oh, nice. that's what I've coloured in there with the blue greys. But I'm not going to colour in again, just in case you all fall asleep. So we're going to make this card from scratch. I've just stuck that down. I've stuck the papers on. Papers are brilliant before you even start, and I've created this lovely little border here. Oh, so like this that, is though. the charmed. Uh, the charming border, which you can only get as part of the compendium set, which is still, I believe, on special offer on Ooh, the website. We'll do have yeah. a look for that one then. Uh, and we're going to pop that on there. So because this is obviously larger than the uh, larger than the the paper, look, so that would annoy me. So can you see where we've got a bit falling off? So I'm going to do it properly. Okay. So I'm going to turn that over. And this is why you don't waste any of your scraps of uh, papers. I've kept all of mine even when you're doing your little stamers and things like that. So I'm just going to put... Oh, you wouldn't believe that, would you? You know when you're speed crafting and, and you run out of foam to <laughs> Well, really? <laughs> Luckily, I've got about 17 rolls with me, so we're, we're all... <laughs> we're all right. So I'm going to I'm gonna put this on first, and then we're going to use the double deboss circles that I've used here. Look, and you can see that I've chopped off the edge. So rather than going underneath the border with the whole circle, I've chopped the ah, edge off to, like to tuck it underneath and it adds less bulk. Yeah. Uh, and this That's is why I've put the foam tape in just a little bit further on the border. So I'm going to pop sure that on Make sure you've first. got those circles on the squares before they run out, everybody. I know. Well, I'm definitely, definitely not restocking them because I've done it too many times now. 
and we've got we've got new big dyes coming next year. Have you? We have, yeah. And they've taught me. I can't tell you how much stress these new <laughs> dyes for next year have caused me, but they're amazing. Well, they I've, will I've be amazing. Had, like, six, not, nothing you'll bring us isn't amazing. I, would you, yeah, but it's because. I'm not going to tell you what they are because it's naughty, but um, I've had like six or seven different prototypes and I'm like, no, nah. oh. but now they're perfect. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to pop that on and remember, uh, I'll come across a little bit, oh. I'll pop the foam tape so that I can make the scallop border the same top and bottom. Yeah. So I'm just going to snip off, if I can find my big scissors, I'm just going to snip off the excess. And I will waste that because I can't reuse that tiny little bit unless you try to use it as the bottom of a tag or something like that. So we've got that on there. Now I've got that on there, I can pop it on my card on the foam tape as well. Um, you know me. You know me and foam tape. I've just spotted some more. I can't, I can't remember the last samples. time I made a flat. Really? Yeah, I can't remember, Catherine. And I don't, it's like me and Julia are always, like Julia will use one millimetre foam tape. <laughs> and I'm like, no, two, but two mil or four if you can get it. I'm surprised you've not invented your own foam tape. I have, so, but have it, we, it sold out really? too quickly, yeah. Oh. Um, it way oh. last year and obviously sourcing stops, now yeah. is, is harder. Um, I'll, I will get some more at some point, but it's, it sold out like the day I released it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not, that, all of it. All the stock. Really? <laughs> yeah. So let's put this together. So I'm trying to show you now that we've just made a lovely, pretty girly card, and we're now going to do uh, a, a blue tones card. So I'm just going to pop these on straight. I have on the original glittered these, but I'm not going to do that on this one because I want to get the card finished. Oops. See, I'm loving how you use the stripes as well. You use the stripes in the first card. You've used it here as well in smaller amounts, but yeah. it doesn't it work yeah, so well absolutely. to have that strong detail. So this, this is obviously scraps from when I've matted and laid yeah. on another card. Uh, and it's like you were saying, the, the horizontal border looks yeah. just as nice. So these tone so perfectly, you can't really do a, a bad card with it. So I'm just going to pop that underneath there. Really? I'm going to do the same with this one, and I have gone round the edge of this with the um, the blue-grey five pen. So you'll see that when I pop that on. So I'm just going to tuck that underneath there. So now it looks like we've got a full circle underneath there, but we haven't added the extra yeah. bulk just for the sake of it. I've got no flowers on this card. Did you say we've got ten minutes? I'll be done in five. Wait, Phil. I'll, I'll be done we in could five have put minutes. Three. I know. Yeah, it's shocking, isn't it? We might have to do a bit of colour. So I've, I've used uh, the stars from the um, from the charm stars dies, and within the centre of that set of dies, you do get the uh, the the deboss stitched ones. So you start to lose the charm, the scalloped edge because it gets too small. Okay. And then you get these lovely ones, and these are perfect because if you look, we've got stars in the papers, so you know it's going to be yeah. perfect with them. And in the sentiment set, we have got do, 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 lots and lots of funky little sentiments. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have happy birthday in the middle of there, look. Yeah, because we can. Lovely stuff. And I'm just going to stamp that. I'll just do it in the memento just because that's what I've got. That's what I've got on my desk. Okay, and yeah. I love these because this, this is like a doodle script. Yeah, so it's it like is, it's isn't it? Written. Now, we also have your acrylic circles, which are perfect, oh. of course, for all of the stamps that we've got in the One Day Special. Uh, I'm surprised we've got any the left. For you. There we are. Yeah, we've got some in stock. Oh, get them all the You get three of different sizes, of course, 611539. So I'm just wiping the ink off. 56 individual stamps in the One Day Special itself. All those stamps, part of that big collection as well. So however you decide to purchase, of course, you are going to get all 56 of those stamps. Right, so now we're on the fun part, and I'm just going to spend a second just to show you what I've done. And this is why I've so enjoyed making the samples with this. Where, where else can you create that kind of set of embellishments in another set of stamps, because I, I yeah. don't think you You've can. Got a whole party You'd have to buy loads and loads and loads. The presents, the so I've, the I've cake. used, yeah, I've used the cake set, I've used the present set, and I've used the champagne bottle, the one with the bunting. Obviously, you could add a cupcake to yeah. this, and so on and so forth. So let's get all this layered up. On the cake, uh, the presents one, you can see. Look, I've chopped off the little, the little gift from the top. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. again, I've changed the look of that. Yeah, so so change, versatile. And what we're going to have is a slice of cake on the top. Oh. Because we can. 
So let's just get this assembled. And again, I, d I don't think, I think this looks quite grown up because of all the glossy accents and everything. I'd like this. So I'm just going to put that there. Well, that's it. You've probably got lots of different mediums in your drawers when it comes to glossy yeah. accents and uh, those finishing touches. What you do need, though, because they've been so busy, are those gems, those pearls. Because, of course, all of the colours complement every one of the papers in the collection. So I'm just tucking that underneath. So we've now layered up the embellishments, look. Oh, so nice. the cake looks like it's behind that big box of presents. I'm going to put the slice of cake on the top of the presents. And this is the smallest of the slices of cake. Yeah, if you take the candles off the cake as well, that could be another very nice box. Like yeah. a half box. Yeah. There's, there's loads you can do with this. Wait till you get a moment. There's just so many different variations you can create from this. And just adding the little accents of the glossy accents look, if I just wiggle that, oh, yeah, we can see. it just changes yeah. It changes the whole look. Um, this is probably why it's taken me three days to prep, because <laughs> I've like, let the glossy accents dry, and then I've had to wait for the glitter to dry. <laughs> so now I'm going to change the look of this again, and I'm going to pop another couple of extra gifts on there. So the dimension so easy to achieve. So, so easy to achieve. And we'll pop this one in there. So this looks like you've got a different stamp to the one that's in the set. And this little one can go at the side of the cake. Oops. I'm going to pop it in front, actually. I mean, sure one wants cake. I remember that cake is layerable as well, so you can, put, you can put lots of different layers on that cake. And I'm just going to put the bunting on with a little bit of glue gel. Catherine's hunting for samples. And you can see on here, look, I have got the glossy accents on there, on the bunting. Five minutes, oh, it's an age. I've finished this, <laughs> I've just got to pop a few pearls on. I'm just going to... Obviously, I've not glittered anything, and I would have normally spent 20 minutes glittering, but... Look at that. Love, love, love that font. And I'm just going to finish with a couple of the baby blue pearls. Oh, yes. So the baby blue pearls are... I think the pearls feel a bit icing on the cake. They're beautiful, aren't they? Or the cherry on the top. Do yeah. you not see what I've done yeah. there? Cherry on the top. Cherry on the top. They oh. are. They are. Oops, they are. So I'm just going to pop one in each corner. And I'm going to use... So I'm putting the glue on first. And then I'm going to use the pick-up tool, which is not on the show, but it is on the website. And a little tip for you. If you pop your pearls in the lead... You can then pick which ones you want using your pickup tool. And then it saves you having to get loads and loads of pearls out when you don't need them. Four minutes. Right. You can do what you want while I'm doing this if you want. You know, well, I've just grabbed some more samples from the back because I just think they deserve to be seen. If you're making your cards and your gift tags, of course you need the gift bag as well. Isn't that lovely? Using the teal papers, the stamps again from the collection. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got the charming dies in here as well, so do look out for everything on the website. But bring in this one, lots of glitter on this. I'm loving the yellow on this. I'm not normally drawn to yellows, but actually I've changed this year. I go for the oranges and yellows Oops. quite a lot. It's not a colour I was drawn to before. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Those little flags there as well. And let me show you this one again, showcasing those beautiful papers. Now the mega bundle on the screen right now, in total you're actually saving £22 there because savings carried over from the one-day special and from the papers if you're going for those individually. 60% uh, of the stock now gone. You've got two payments of £44.96 because we have got that flexi. Putting those pearls into your basket at the same time, you can split the cost there as well. Maybe you're going to start collecting the pens. Maybe you've got the pens and you want the nibs. Anything that you add into your basket, you can also split the cost. Item number you need for the collection is 485454. Now, over on the website, there's so much more to see. I know we've been very busy on those dies as well. Now, there's different ways to buy. You've got different bundles if you've got favourites with the stamps. You've got individuals there as well. You've got pairings of the paper. There's those wonderful pearls. When they're gone, they're gone, I believe. Uh, the nibs are there. Don't miss out on those. Such great value. Of course, you can go for the full collection of the pens. You can go for the individuals. So do look at the different options there. We've got more essentials. I'm calling them essentials when it comes to the papers that you need, the cardstock. 
Of course, those dies, actually everything that fills is an essential, I think. The embossing folders, what another great buy. You've seen those used in demonstration. There we've got the squares, there we've got the circles as well. Do not miss out on those. Do have a look at absolutely everything in the brand shop as well. There we are. Let's get back over to Phil and see that finished card. Two, excuse me, two finished two cards. Two finished cards. <laughs> two. This, this is and what we've made spare. in this hour. Yeah. So obviously, I've not spent loads of time glittering or everything, but they look fabulous before they I even really, put any really glitter do. on them. And, f and for me, again, I'm just going to say, if you make birthday cards or anniversary cards or wedding cards or new baby cards, everything yeah. is covered within this Absolutely. collection of stamps. You cannot afford to miss out on it. I won't be bringing it back. So, Aww. yeah, so once once it's gone, it's well, gone, yeah. Well, yeah, make sure that you're checking those baskets out. Now, Phil won't be back later, but we've got Julia with us, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, so Julia takes over at 12 and 4, so I've concentrated on the alcohol markers. Julia's going to show you how to use them with the watercolour blending brush pens. Oh, amazing. So a different, a different style again. Fantastic, fantastic. Now... Uh, we can give you details for pens right now, actually. So you can be shopping ahead if you wish. But, of course, make sure that you don't miss out on anything. Some things are looking very vulnerable. So make sure you grab everything right now and sit back and watch the demonstrations later. Now, the markers themselves, there they are. So you're getting all the sets there under this item number. We've got seven sets. In total, 168 pens. The nibs are at the bottom of the screen, really breaking this cost down. That is a huge saving of £30 as well. 214773 is the item number if you're going for those alcohol markers. Definitely extend on those with those nibs. You know, if you're spending your money to get those wonderful pens, they're going to be so worthwhile. You're extending the whole set of the pens by adding in those extra nibs as well. Well, we're almost out of time. We could definitely have fitted another demonstration in there, Phil. We feel like we're You're stretching so it out funny. now. <laughs> I just took a pearl on in 20 seconds. Oh. So, you're finished for the day, but Julia's in. When are you back? I'm Very quickly. back now till the uh, 17th of December. Make it to date then. Stay with us, though. Menu to follow. See you soon. Do you know, we had loads of time spare, and then we squeezed the goodbyes in right at the last second. Can't see what's coming up. There it is. All in crate. Keep it merry. Uh, yes, and certainly do that. Cross two with Prescott a little bit later, and we've got Jasmine Knight with our lovely Eunice. <laughs> Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product. The world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you call or go to our website, quoting the item number 88888, and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. We like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas.
Am I excited for this? We are talking all and create. We're talking cuties. And we're talking Janet Klein's first brand new Christmas collection. Yes, indeed. It's already flying out the door. You've asked for it. She has come up with the goods once again. This is the very first, I must iterate that, the very first Christmas collection from the Little Cuties range. There's been one stamp in the past. We now have an entire range that we are looking at here from Mr. and Mrs. Claus to reindeers to cutie Christmas trees to snowmen to dogs with antlers on and so much more. You're even going to be getting the two acrylic blocks, the A6 and the A7 block. For in theory, if you look at the saving, if you're a Freedom member, they will be free. You heard me correctly, free. A6, A7, you will not pay for those if you're a Freedom member. It's on two interest free flexible payments as well. This is the brand new launch of the All and Create Keep It Merry stamp collection of the Little Cuties. Oh my word, talking about, wait for this one, little cuties. Yes, indeed. <laughs> my little Christmas elf is here again. <laughs> yes, when we talk cuties, there's only one person we can talk about. And no, it's not our Derek, it's our Janet. You are right, my love? Hello. I'm, I should have a little hat, should have oh. a little world hat on. Oh, we've missed something. Missed there, we've missed. How are you? Well, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, very excited about this. But is, so I am right in saying this is the very first Christmas collection. Yeah. So Janet Klein has done one stamp set before that was that was Christmas, um, merry and bright. It was called, and um, and this is our very first collection, whole collection from Janet Klein for Christmas. So it's very exciting. People have been asking for it, so um, it, I should think this is going to be very popular. I absolutely adore it. And look at some of the samples you could have. And I think by looking at some of the stamps as well, yes, we're saying Christmas collection, but they could just be winter scenes. They haven't really got to be all Christmas because you've got the robins in there. You've got the fox in there. Just looks like a woodland walk yeah. fox that you've got that would work with the rest of your cuties. But remember, because they're cuties, take the heads off. Swap your heads around. Yeah, and they do. There's a lot of these actually. I mean, the, you've got stars there. They could be for any occasion. They don't have to be um, for Christmas. They could be good luck or just any any occasion. Stars work for. Um, you've got you, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Look at those. Aren't they cute? I like <laughs> I them. I just love them. Um, so you've got Mr. and Mrs. Claus, which probably are Christmas, but but little Mrs. Claus there. She could she could just be your you know your nan in the kitchen with a you put her in the kitchen scene with a cake or something she could she could be that you've got your lovely snowmen there which are fabulous um yeah the snowmen so the uh, let it snow they are just so quirky i love them and the little dog as well and you've got your little um circles on there so the, the little circle stamp and that is one of those really really useful background stamps just for anything absolutely anything that could just be circles it doesn't have to be um little snow snowdrops or anything could be just anything and they're so a good fantastic. size stamp as well they these are, could yeah. be as in for your background you've got let it snow on there yep. uh, you've got your little snow dog so it's literally the same with these little uh, with little um stick claws that he's got their claws they're not paws. they're not claws they're paws uh, that you got but they're made out of sticks the same as the snowman's hands yeah. uh, from then you've also got some of your words uh, in here shine like a star uh, reach for the stars uh, chase the moon and ride the stars uh, maybe I belong among the stars. Can you see a theme here? Uh, <laughs> and you've also got stars on there as well. Uh, not only do you get these ones, I'm going to have to lean uh, to get my other stamps that we've got. Uh, you're also going to be getting uh, Mr. and Mitt. Look at these. I want to say these sort of match the Nan and Grandad stamps. They do, yeah. They, so it yeah, looks like Nan yeah. and Grandad are now dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which they I think is really cute. Fabulous, aren't they? Yeah. Really so if you've got lovely. the Nan and Grandad already, yeah. I think this would, and you also get Mary on there. From there, you also get the fox. I love that. I love the. I love this truck. Yeah. So that's really useful. And again, it doesn't have to be Christmas. I mean, this is a completely non-Christmas stamp for me. I mean, you could obviously use it as Christmas. He's got his little hat there. It depends what colours. But you can cut the, the parcels off. 
So you can use the parcels separately and you can use the trolley separately and you can put different things in the trolley. Um, you can use the parcels. We've got trees coming up. You can use them as little parcels under the tree. And, and his, that's his little handle for his it's trolley. It's the details. <laughs> you get the little handle. You also get the stick. But I yeah. reckon if you took that stick, you could also turn that into a little lantern. Yes. So a little yeah. lantern pole, or you yeah. could have it as like a little cue stick or a little golf club yeah. if you wanted to now. Uh, from there, you also get the two types of tree. Yes. Uh, so you've got the bear tree and then the fuller tree. So these are lovely, and you've got your little baubles that go on there as well, and then all the words, all your Christmas words there as well. So lovely. I love that tree, the, the, the tree. And that's a real nice one for if you like your decoupaging and things. That's a really nice one to, to do a bit of decoupage with. Look at that. that. Yeah. The same stamp. How beautiful yeah. is that? Uh, we've still got more stamps to show you. Uh, from there, you've got the... I like this one because it looks like he's fell into the tree. <laughs> uh, and with the little girl with the tree on her head. Yeah, a little bit of mischief going on there, I reckon. So he looks a little bit naughty. <laughs> well, I reckon, once again, if you want smaller yeah. trees, yeah, you, you could can. cut them yeah, down. I've cut that off, yeah. So you could that. cut them down to make them slightly smaller. Yeah. Uh, there's still more uh, to look at. Uh, you've also got reindeers. And two different types of reindeers. So you've got the full body and then you've got sort of the full face. Yeah, so these are fab as well. And, and the the, um, the hat as well is there. So you can put hats on them or hats on anybody else. You know, obviously the hats are there for use for anybody. Fabulous. I love their faces. And then, faces. last but no means least, uh, you also get the girl with the birds. I like these. Yeah. These are all year round. This is all year round as yeah. well, I feel. Uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, Merry Christmas. You get the sprig of holly. All of that and your acrylic blocks as well. Well, I never. £35 and six pence is what you're looking at with a, sa with, with a saving of £14 uh, is what you're looking at. £14.79. It is your uh, beginning of your weekend wow, which means there are shows sporadically uh, thrown in throughout the weekend. Uh, how many shows you got today? Two? Three. Two today, two tomorrow, two Sunday, whenever, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> we'll deal with these two first. Yeah, so let's we'll just do today. one day at a time. Uh, so you've got these two uh, today. If you want yours, before we start giving stock updates, if you want to be guaranteed uh, to get yours today, I love this next one. It's just something plain and simple about it, but it's yeah, so worth it. Yeah, lovely. Uh, get yours now. Start checking out your baskets. Your item number you'll need is 902563. If you want to add to your collection 10% of the stock, now has all ready gone and we are i've already got two more show and we are seven minutes in there you go i don't know uh we are seven minutes in ten percent of the stock has already gone on this now we're now ten percent of my entire stock for a weekend wow has already gone we had a vast amount and i'm going to say we have a vast amount because it is a weekend wow you only get the privilege of doing a weekend wow if you can do the stock that you've got in there. 902563 is your item number. Eight stamp sets and two acrylic blocks. In theory, if you're a freedom member, your acrylic blocks are free. At £35 and six pence today across two interest free flexible payments. Now, this next one, I genuinely don't know how we're doing this. This is a pick and mix of any five rolls. Any five rolls for £9.90. Five. We are thinking that they have never been at this price before and they've never been on a pick and mix. No. Each roll, let's do Janet's fascinating facts about uh, washi tape. <laughs> uh, go on, Janet. Um, so each roll is 10 metres um, and I think the normal is, is sort of tends to be 5 metres, so you're getting a lot there. And also there's 37.2 centimetres before the repeat, so you get 37.2 centimetres of before it all repeats again. And I believe, as well, the normal of that is about 18 centimetres, so you know abs. <laughs> a lot of, I like all these fascinating yeah. facts about washing tape. <laughs> now, uh, we've been told not to tell you that, <laughs> I'll say it, Meg, I don't mind, that go th the thicker ones that you're seeing on here, okay, so the big chunky ones uh, that you've got are not normally at this way. So if you break this down, it works out to be just under a pound a roll. You would never find one of this size for under a pound normally. So in theory, if you buy if you buy the thicker ones, you're getting a better deal. You are, it's true. Because if you work it all out, go on the website and work it all out. Um, we've worked it all out, these prize we've worked out with abs, we've worked out on the littler ones, just standard size ones. Any, you can go for anyone. Uh, so we're saying so when it says fifteen pounds, that's worked out on them. So that's worked out on these. So if you're going for your bigger ones, they're going to be more money to make. So you're saving even more. So if I was you, start picking into your pick and mix. 
I'd be going for the chunky ones first. The buyers aren't in. I'm going to say, she told us <laughs> specifically, do not tell them that. Do, oh, is Jess in? She's in a minute. She, she's probably having a coffee. Um, Jess, she won't be watching. Uh, so, uh, let's go. Uh, first of all, we've got plane. So, the, I like the plane. Yeah, so the plane is really used. So, you can obviously decorate this however you want it to decorate. You can colour it to match in with the projects you're doing. You can stamp on it. Um, so, yeah, really, really useful. And, and you can use it for attaching... Um, if you've got two bits of card you want to sort of fold together and attach, you can do that and then you can stamp over it so you, you kind of lose the, the, um, the sight of it being <laughs> attached. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Does, does that make sense? I'm with you. I'm <laughs> Sorry with you. about that. <laughs> uh, so first of all was our, um, uh, our plane that we've got. From our plane, we've got Eclipse. Uh, I'm just going to whiz through these now. So you've got Eclipse. You've got Inspire, Ponder, Encrypt. Definitely go for Encrypt, one of the chunkier ones. Artsy, Crafty, Winged Friends, Fledgling, Cut Tail Air, Fragments, say it how I hear it, uh, which way you get? Mother Nature, Horticultural Layers, who? Fasteners, Passports, Passport Stamps, Twine, Burlap, Mix, mix and match. Who? Poets. Wishy washy. Verde. Be beach rock. Flower dancing. Vivra. Power words. Mantras. Motivation. Joyful words in light. Joyful words in dark. Astonishing light and astonishing dark. We know what to do if we need to fill time in the next hour. Nine pounds and 95 pence <laughs> is what you're looking at for this one. String your demos out, Dennis. <laughs> String them out. Uh, I'm not doing that again. Uh, 478013 is your item number that you're looking at for this one. Poor old Meg, trying to read them out in me uh, with a northern accent. Bull up. Uh, nine pounds, <laughs> 95 pence is what you're looking at for this one. 478013 is your item number. Go for the big chunky ones. You're going to get the better value for money is what you love. And definitely go for bull up. Uh, love that. Uh, also, I've got happy hours on the show as well. Uh, these are your happy hours. Uh, they only last the hour, and then the price will go back up. Twelve pounds and ninety-seven pence, rather than twenty-five pounds and ninety-seven pence. Seven two nine eight five two is your item number. These are your triangles uh, that we're looking at now. Uh, so you're getting your triangles uh, and all that. We've got another one though. Another little happy hour. We've also got dots. You can go dotty with dots. Uh, these are your circles. Uh, that you're looking at now, really handy to have. So you get the large A4, you get your six by six, and you also get your stamp in there as well. Twelve pounds ninety-seven pence only for this hour. Something else you found? All oh, your little flourish. You found this as well. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, good little saving on the flourish. Uh, Four zero eight nine two seven is your item number. There's a lot of special prices. On the website is what you're looking at now. I think that's just natural editorial, is it not? Uh, there's a lot of special prices on the website that we've got there. Unlike a normal day where we just, you know. Now there is, all in queer though, Abs has gone, I, I, I don't know, it must be, he must be in his festive mood. He's normally like Ebenezer when it comes to giving out discounts. He is though, and he don't give out much of a discount. This, he's gone crazy on this. He really, really has. Washi tapes for night, 10 quid, five of them, come on, 77 pounds. <laughs> I'm like his little, I'm like his little Bob Cratchit, I am here. <laughs> little Bob Cratchit, <laughs> filing away while he's sitting counting his coal. Seventy-seven pounds and ninety pence is what you're looking at for your brand new little cuties. Right then, let's go over to my very own little Tiny Tim. <laughs> Dad, Janet, pray. <laughs> tiny Tim. <laughs> right. So what I'm going to do to start with, I thought. <clears throat> Normally what I do when I do the, these with lots of stamps in, I try and kind of do a project that, um, that includes everything. But what I'm going to do with these, I thought I'd just do like a quick background. I'm going to stamp all these out first, but I'll do a quick background and then we'll have a little play and just see the... Because there's so many combinations of how you can use these and put these together. So I thought we'd, we'd just I'd do that and uh, I'll do a quick background in a minute and we'll see. So we've got our... First of all, we've got our lovely, lovely little snow people. So these are fabulous with his little stick dog and his little 
little um, paws. I like and, the little dog. Yeah, the dog's really cute. And you could cut his um, cut his antlers off. Oh. And sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm right into cutting things off, people. So, um, but then he could just be more like oh, a normal little dog, and he wouldn't be a slightly. snow dog. <laughs> <laughs> it would, yeah, it'd just be, it'd just be a just, natural, it'd just be, just a, normal be a, dog. a little normal little dog. Yeah, so he'd be really cute with stick legs. With stick legs, and then you've got your really cute little people. So these are the little children playing with the trees. So I like these as well. I like the little expression on their faces. I might have just come off the edge of my card there, <laughs> but I've got these. I'll show you once they're all cut out and and just coloured in. Oh. So that's Mrs. Snowman there. They all look amazing once you've, you've got them all coloured. And with the tree, so you've got that, but you can also just cut the tree off. Ah. So you just have the tree as well. So that can be like that. We've got my little children in the little tree. And then you've got your little girl here. And she, obviously, we've coloured her kind of Christmassy colours, but she doesn't have to be. She could be... She's just a little girl with a like, little cape on, so she doesn't, have, depending how you colour her, she doesn't have to be Christmas at all. So, again, even um, very, very versatile. So, although, obviously, they are Christmas, you can use them all year round as well, which is what Abs likes. We don't, we like to have versatility in the stamps so that they're not all just Christmas. No, I think that's true, though, because sometimes you just think... Because if they are Christmas, you bring them out in like November. Yeah. And you put them away in January, yeah. like the Christmas tree. And you don't see yeah, them. Yeah, and then you don't use them again. But them. yeah, but these you can use all year round, or some of them. I mean, obviously, some you can't. But people do make Christmas cards all year round as well. People do, you know, if you're making to sell, which you can do, you're perfectly entitled to do that, then you can, you can um, use them all year round as well. So then you've got your little Christmas tree. So this, I have to say, is one of my favourites. I like that one. Um, you've got, what have I got, Mr. Fox? There, so he's all coloured in. And then again, you've got your, your um, presents with your trolley with your presents, but again, you can cut that um, so you can use those separately. So you can have your trolley, you can have your little tree in your trolley there. Aww. You can put the little dog in the trolley, you can go in there like that. So you can pot, you can use that for different things. So that's that. Uh, that 30, here. 35 pounds and six pence and two flexible payments is what you're looking at and then finally if i've just got room on the bottom to squeeze these in okay. i'll just do this on the other side uh, and then we've got our little mr and mrs claws with all the reindeer i like mr and mrs claws yeah i like mr and mrs claws So that's those. So these are fab as well. So let's show you those all coloured in. So we've got Mr. Reindeer. Oops, do that one. Oh, I like these. And then you've got Father Christmas. And you've got little Mrs. Claus there as well. So once you've coloured them in, you can bring them to life. They look really sweet. <laughs> So I'm just going to do a quick background to show you. And yeah, like they look nice and little Yule log. Yeah, little Yule logs. All sorts of things you could use them for. So let me just quickly do my background. Oh, I've got two pieces. Oh, yeah, I did have. So I'm going to quickly just do a little winter scene. Oh God, I've got my hands. <laughs> right. I won't be that quick. I'm going to slow down because I'm. Could you do? Panicking. Could you stamp these onto now? They're currently talking in my ear. I'm going to have to chip in at this point. Right. Um, they're saying that you could stamp these onto edible rice paper, which would be nice. But you would you would need something to. You'd need some sort of ink that's edible. I don't know if black food colouring would work, would there? I have no idea. Has no idea. <laughs> so Don't sorry. Question. No idea about things. Like that. Someone try. Someone try yeah. with your little cuties. Stamp it in black food colouring and let me know if it works. Yeah. That, oh. would be, yeah, how that would that, that, that would be amazing. Yeah. It would. And you could colour them in with like all your different food colouring and stuff. That would look Dan amazing. I did say that would be amazing, but we don't know if it would work. But we don't know if it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there is such a thing. I don't know. Well, there's edible rice paper. There is edible rice paper. Let's get away from this subject. Yeah. So I'm using here a stamp set we've got in the show. It's called Frayed, Frayed Threads, which is not easy to say. And I just want to use this as a, as a little landscape. 
um, here. So I'm just going to stamp this about there. Quay Pwets on screen at the moment. Nine pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at. 712010 is your item number. It does look like, it, look, it reminds yeah. me, every time I see this, it, it reminds like me of a, um, a clip like the White Chips yeah. of Dover. Yeah, the or, or, or feel, I can kind of see fields there as well with little, depends how you, you colour that, but it's just like a little break. And then I'm just going to, for my sky, I'm going to use the um, heart stencil. So this is the big A4 heart stencil that's in the show as so well. We've got it on the show as well. Stencil 133, 134 and 492 in the stamp form. Uh, you are looking at all the stamps that you get there. So this is the heart stencil. Remember with a decent stencil you can use it to stencil, you can use it to emboss. You can also use it to stamp with as well. £17.97. So it's worth having a little look at that as well. Very busy for your little cuties as well. Remember the very first Christmas launch uh, the cuties have ever done? This is their very first launch, so it's worth having a little go. And nearly a quarter of the weekend well stock now has already gone. So I'm just going to pop that on there. So I've spritzed that. Just This is quite a pale ink I've used. I only want to pale backgrounds. So this is Broken China. So hopefully that will be quite pale. Just going to give that a little dab. I like that. And then I just want to pop. Just fill in that bit there. It's fine. And then I'm going to start to put all my little characters in place. I will do a bit more with the background in a minute, but I just want to get and show you my little characters and how they all kind of can work together. So one of my favourite combinations is the, the little snow people. So if you start to pop them... There with the little dog. They could go like that. They could be holding hands. And then you have to have, I have to have that little bird sitting there. <laughs> I think he looks cute. And you could put that little bird sitting there. And then you could obviously you'd finish it a bit more and do that, but you could just put your Christmas greeting, do do your edging, and that's kind of one kind of combination. You can also make the snowmen smaller, I'm guessing. You could yeah, take I think you could, you, could, you could take out some of the, the bit, yeah, if, you, if they were a bit too big, so like they would work. Snowmen. Yeah, they could be. Yes, you could, so do another little one as well, yeah. Two well, snow people. Snow people. people. Correct. And then you can put your Christmas tree in place. Father Christmas could be there. Still keeping the little birds in place because oh, we like them. Oh, that works as well. So Look that works. That. You've got stars. I didn't stamp the stars out, but you've got the stars in the collection as well, so you could dot them around. So you've got... I just thought for quick Christmas cards, if you want to do sort of Christmas cards, once you've done all your stamping and cutting, um, or you could have Mrs. Claus. So they oh, could, we imagine Mrs. Claus now with there. the kitchen backdrop. Making yeah, you like could Christmas do that. Eve. Yeah, that would all work as well, so she could be doing that. So you've got Mr. and Mrs. Claus, you've got the reindeer here. So we like the reindeer. Uh, where's my trolley? So he can be pulling the trolley. Or you could have him in the sky, pulling the trolley in the sky. With the tree down there. I like the little bird here. So just all that I just, one background. Yeah, just but just do your one background, but just it's the way you can put all the characters together. And I just wanted to, or you could have the other little, so you could do like a whole batch, all quite similar with, um, but just different, different combinations. You can obviously have Father Christmas with the reindeer, like that as well. So he could be sat there. So there's loads and loads of different combinations how you can work this. You could have. Little fox, and obviously the trolley is goes properly with the fox. Um, he could have the tree behind him as well, so he could be there like that. Oh, that works as well. And you pop your stars in. Always oh, just obviously you can pop your stars in place as well. And I would have greetings and things in place, but he could also be. Um, let's me empty trolley. He could also be taking his Christmas tree home for the. For the kids, oh, that won't go in there. So that will fit in there. So 
lots and lots of different combinations. But um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll choose one that I like the best, which is my little snow family. And then I'll finish it off so that you've actually got it as a proper finished. So I'm going to pop there and there. And we've got Mr. Mr. Snowman there. I accidentally cut the hand off that one, so he'll have to be holding hands so that that works like that. So that's going to go there. I'm going to have my little bird here and have my other little bird there. So what I'm going to do to finish this off, I've got the hearts stamp set. So this is the um, A7 stamp that's with the two stencils, the hearts. Anne sends us an email in. All oh, right. Anne can email any time she wants. <laughs> Anne, if you want a job in the office, you've done more in an email than some do in 12 years. <laughs> Hi all, the lovely Janet. Oh, very true. hello Anne. Very true, she's blushing like a bleak root. <laughs> and the lovely Adam, you can come again. <laughs> any time. Uh, I placed my order for the Christmas set. It's going to be, an, uh, a, it's going to be a great expensive weekend. It's true. Yeah. It's going to be a bit, you wait till what, when Tracy's here later. Um, with the very, this is the good bit, with the very best craft channel oh. who brings crafters great products at great prices and with free postage if you are a Freedom member plus Freedom discounts. Are you after a little, little job, little, you know, <laughs> our cafe did very well on that promo. A couple of takes, you did very, very well. I like it though, well done. I have attached a photo which you may use, I was going to use it anyway, uh, which you may use of my all and create stash. Uh, Dana Klein has created of her own. Look at all it. Look at that. Is um, that. That's a good little stash. Can Anne email back? Are you the Anne that used that drinks cross, that drinks coffee and has croissants when you're watching? Is that she'll know? So I think I know which Anne it is, but I'm just checking. <laughs> oh, Anne, do you drink coffee? Do you have coffee and croissants when she's watching the show on a Sunday? <laughs> well, she Anne's doing all right for herself. Yeah, no, isn't she. Eh? Uh, all items stored in my craft store is supplied by the really useful and deflecto companies. Anne knows how to get her emails read out <laughs> on the telly. <laughs> Editorial at Anne, you can have an email every hour. Thank you, Anne, for your email. And if you are the emailer that yeah, has a coffee and a croissant on the go as we speak, email me back in. But I want some more of that. Gold dust. Let's go back. So what I've done is I've stamped my little heart stamp um, just in the sky. So this was the, uh, the A7 stamp set that was in, that's in with the, um, the stencils. Um, and then I'm using my die. So this is one of the uh, dies we've got, oh, we got in the show. the show. And I'm just using this as a stencil, yeah. Um, I can tell you which one. It is the... This one, number 14, it's called Cells. So, but you, you can use them as stencils. So I'm just going to use this um, as, a, as a stencil just to add a little bit of shape to the um, to my snow here. So just a little bit, I don't want too much on there. I'm only just really using the hexagon part of that as well, just to provide a little bit of colour in the snow. Um, and then just to edge it, I've got a set, an A7, so we've got pick and mix set in the show as well, the A7's from Janet Klein, and there's one here called Look Cute, and I'm just going to use the, um, the border from here just to go around the edges. Okay, we'll change the details on the screen. Can I say, I, I did edit Anne's email, because it does say the lovely Janet and the lively Adam, but I, just, I added myself as lovely as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that was a typo, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah she was, meant lovely. I was to say adorable, but I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think Anne could spell it quick enough. <laughs> so then we're just going to give us a little edge. The wonderful from stage and screen, Adam. So you in, are you in all weekend with us? I am. Oh, that was part of the team this week. Part yep. of the team. Two shows today, two tomorrow and two on Sunday. Nice. And Tracy's joining me later and Leonie's doing shows on Sunday as well. So we've got an exciting weekend ahead. All good. Um, then I've got some washies, so I'm going to use some washies for the pick and mix because it's nice to have these. So this is number six, and I can't see what that says, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's number six. That so the fascinating fact about washi, they are ten metres in length. Ten metres in length. Five metres in length, yeah. than your normal washi. And from the, the repeat, so from, if I go from journey 
to journey is, is that long, which is 37, oh, it's, well, this is in inches, but it's, it's sort of 14 and a half inches. Which is a lot, really, for most. Half, yeah. So it's, it, you get a lot of different words on here and patterns before you... They all, all the, I think they're all the same, so you get a, a lot. Oh, I've just got to rewind all that on there. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a little bit. Um, what I like to do with washies is just to sort of tear a little bit around the edges. So we've just got a little bit of, um, of washi tape to go, just to help define my edges. You get a lot of washi uh, for your money. And then I will pop oh, this works. my little snow people in place. So I will go there, put my little bird in place. Wait, now, I that, see that background that you're down there looks like a snowy field with a little picket fence yeah. in Yeah. And then just pick one of the um, greetings. So we've got, tis the season to be freezing. Is the season. Very busy for your weekend when the details on the screen are for your washi. I am going to go through that washi again very, very shortly because uh, it's very busy. I think you're now cottoning on to the amazing deals that you're getting on that washi tape. I still love that background. That stamp background is absolutely amazing. So that's kind of how I'd go. All I would do to finish that off would be to um, just to do a, a black edge around it. Um, and yeah, they've got quite a nice simple little Christmas card there. But again, you've got all the different combinations that you could use as well. To, oops, the bird's fallen over. Oops, go there. I love it. I absolutely adore it. And I'm going to stress now, I don't know why I'm saying this at all, um, that Jan don't like fussy cutting. She's not a fussy cutter. So for Janet to sit there and fussy cut all these out, they must be easy because there's nothing too fiddly about them. And you know that about if you've already bought the little cutie range uh, like our Anne has. Uh, she's already placed her order uh, and she's waiting for the next big releases from All and Create. Um, get ahead of the queue now. Yes, there's two shows today, there's two shows tomorrow and there's two shows on Sunday, but will the stock be here by Sunday? Will the stock be here by tomorrow? I honestly, I couldn't tell you, but we are very busy already uh, for your brand new weekend wow. These are your little cuties. Tis the season, keep it merry uh, stamp collection. Eight stamp sets is what you're getting with two acrylic blocks as well. You've got things like uh, your little Father Christmases, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, uh, that you've got on here. So look how cute they are. They really are the most beautifulest things. Uh, then you've got the fox with his little cart and his little stick uh, that's in there. Warm winter wishes, Merry Christmas. You've also got his little hat. So, you could, so he could be the fox from um, Home Alone if you wanted him to be, you know, like uh, uh. Uh, Then you've also got the little Christmas trees but could be used all year round. Could be used as cake toppers if you wanted them to be. Uh, you've also got this sort of plank of wood that sort of drifts down to nothing with the star on. That on its own could be used for something. I'm sure it could. There really is so much, there's so much versatility in this stamp set. Then you've got the little girl uh, with the birds uh, that's in there. So you're getting two birds facing in different ways. Your Merry Christmas and your two sprigs of holly. Once again, she could be used all year round. Uh, from there, you've then got the, um, the people dressed up as Christmas trees. So they're all dressed up. Love that one. And on top of that, uh, you've also got your snowmen. From your snowmen, we then move to your, uh, your reindeer, sorry. Uh, we also then move to your largest stamp sets that you've got in here. We were written in the stars. Oh, beautiful. Chase the moon and ride the stars. Shine like a star. In the words of S Club 7, reach for the stars. And then uh, you've also got the little snowmen with the little snow dogs on there as well. And also the snow, I like this bit. This is really, I think this is a really useful stamp uh, that you've got, oh, all those little snow flurries, because uh, you can make those into little mounds if you wanted them to. There's so much scope uh, that you've got. It does give your card a lot of texture. And on top of all that as well, you're also going to get your acrylic blocks. And what you're not paying for, if you're a Freedom member, if you're a Freedom member, you are not getting those acrylic blocks. Remember... Uh, we are the very best channel who brings crafters the great products and great prices with free postage if you're a Freedom member, plus Freedom discounts. Not my words, 
Anne's words. So you can have a coffee. And it, she's not Anne with a coffee and a croissant, though. She's emailed back. She's not, uh, she's oh, no, she's it's not. It's different, Anne. Uh, she's not eating uh, she's not eating croissants but thank you Anne, for your email loving your emails uh, 35 pounds and six pence is what you're looking at 14 pounds and 79 pence is your saving if you're a freedom member as well nine zero two five six three is your item number now what time is it it's washi time it's our vacation uh, so these are busy we've got a few stock updates so we're going to go through them again I was uh, laughing and joking last time we're not filling for time we are going to go back for another demonstration but they've been busy. Plain option now, 70% of the stock has already gone. 70% of your plain option now has already gone. Uh, then you've got Eclipse. Then you've got Inspire, which is this one. Ponder. Encrypt, 50% of the stock. Now remember, when we work out our prices, we've done it all on the littler ones. So these big ones now, you're getting value for money on all of these. From there, you've got Artsy, you've got Crafty, Winged Friends, Fledgling that you've got. Um, what's the one? Cut Tear Lair, 50% of the stock of that Cut Tear Lair uh, has already got. Fragments, I, love it. I like fragments because it's all like your scissors and things that's on there. I, I think this one. Uh, Mother Nature, half the stock has already gone. Our Mother Nature, ooh. Horticultural, very, very busy. Bah, gum. Then you've got fasteners, 50% of the stock has already gone. Passport stamps, uh, very busy. Atwan, uh, it's also busy. Then you've got our burlap. Oh, have you seen our burlap? Oh, she's, she's grown. She's grown. Then you've got mix and match. Poets, wishy washy. I played that in Panto once. Uh, Verdi, beach rock. Flower Dancing, Vivre, Power Words, Mantras, Motivation, Joyful Words in White, oh, Light, Joyful Words in Dark, Astonishing Light and Astonish in Dark. And remember, remember, this is how much you're getting before it repeats. There's a big old bear. That is huge. That is what you're getting before the pattern repeats, okay? and then it will repeat again. You're getting 10 meters on each roll. That's 50 meters worth is what you're getting. That's 50 meters worth of um, tape. 50 meters is what you're getting. The plane now jumps up to limited stock. Your plane, cut tear layer, has also jumped to limited stock as well. Okay? So your cut tear layer, that one there, with your thimbles on and stuff, is also very, very busy. If you want them, I have never seen them at this price before, and I've never seen them on a pick and mix in the two years I've been here. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Four seven eight zero one three is your item number. A five-pound saving. You're paying nine pounds and ninety-five pence for fifty meters of washi tape, and for the first time ever, Abs has let you decide. You decide which ones you want to go for. No longer in a bundle. You can do them on a pick and mix. Four seven eight zero one three is your item number that we're looking at. We've also got happy hours on the show. Uh, this is your first happy hour. This is your triangles. Uh, 12 pounds and 97 pence is what you're looking at for this one. Uh, 729852 is your item number. Then you've got all, we can go all dotty. All dotty. 038492 is your item number uh, for your dotty. 12 pounds and 97 pence is what you're looking for dotty. Right then, let's go back uh, for another demonstration shall we for this hour we've seen a lot this hour already i hope we've not peaked too soon <laughs> let's hope not so what i thought we could do as well is just to um decorate some little gift bags so um i just i just thought we could do Christmassy ones with the with the uh weekend uh wow and also just some little um matching tags that can go with them um, but we can also do non Christmassy, so this is also part of the weekend wow, the little girl with the bird, but just with a different background, so totally non Christmas. Um, and then again, just another one which could be uh, just using another one of the stamp collections from the um, Alice. Uh, I like that, that's one, one of the Tweedledum Tweedledees. Yeah, Tweedledum Tweedledees. Uh, and then I have got another one somewhere, if I can find it. Hmm? <laughs> oh, which I used the Yeah, yeah. Use me dies, but I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. It was a, the 
one on craft card. Oh, must be here. The one you showed us earlier. Yeah. <laughs> It is, here it is. Have you got it? Yeah, found it, found it. Um, and then I've got this one, which I just did with a bit more of a masculine theme. So this is um, washi tape stuck to card and then die cut. Um, and then just, just the washi tape on the gift tag. So you can just use the washi tape just on, on the gift tag. Um, just, so we'll, we'll see what we get through with these. So I'm going to start with um, doing a couple of backgrounds. So I'm using the little dots from the snow people. Oh, yeah. From the... Um, Weekend, weekend wow, weekend wow. little snowmen and women. Snowmen and women. So mm -hmm. we're just going to stamp these randomly around. Let's just do it that way. And then always when you're doing sort of random background stamping, don't just keep your stamp in the same position all the time. Just move it around so you don't just get quick, a repeat of the, of the design over and over. Yeah, so you, you want it to sort of go in different directions. And they're quite easy to actually to fill in all your little dots. The plain washi tape now sold out. Wow. The plain washi tape has now sold out. We're trying to do our best to see if we can find any more. Um, but Ebenezer Scrooge is currently lighting a candle. <laughs> our apps. So we're just waiting for him to get back to us. So that one, I've just all I've done with that is I've coloured in the, the little um, dots in blue. And then I'm popping some washi tape along the bottom. So this one I'm using... Um, I think these are power words this one is so this is a big big one by Bipasha so I'm just gonna and you could just put it across in a strip but it's quite nice just if you just kind of tear it and put it across at the bottom it kind of just gives it a little bit more um, texture so let's just pop that along there that little gap in obviously you would trim those edges um, and then i'm just going to use for this one again anything works for these you could just pop your little tree in place there's a little bauble on it as well so i've got my little bauble to go can go on there and i thought we'd use mrs claus so she could just like the way you get the baubles with like everything's been thought yeah of. it's all been thought of so you can pop pop those on You've got different shape ones as well, so you can just pop a couple of them. Oops. Get them the right way up. So just pop there. And for the, the matching gift tag for that one, all I would do, because gift tags don't have to be... Can I put that away? <laughs> gift tags don't have to be um, as complete as the, the sort of the bag, the one on the bag would be. I'm just those there and color those in as well and then you can fit these do fit so if you wanted to put her on she would she would just pop on there as well oh, and then cute. that would be that's the one I've done with that once it's all edged and popped in and then I've just I've just literally stuck it onto a little bag and I forgot to bring I was intending to do um, stamp tissue paper to match as well um, and then that would fit inside the bag but I forgot to bring the tissue paper with me so Aww. I can't do that but but you could do that as well so you've just got just got a just a cute little cute little gift bag and I would just pop in some you know matching tissue paper as well and then you've got your little matching tag that goes with it oh they're, they're so cute yeah they are really cute I, I, I really really enjoyed doing these but quick and easy to quick do. and easy to do as well yeah so I'll try another one with the stars that's my little Mummy Christmas. So we'll do another one. And this time we've got the stars. So what I've done with these is, with the stars, I've, on my paper, <laughs> I put the star stamps down so that it all fitted and then I've just picked them up on the mount, if that makes sense. So oh, I've yeah, put yeah. them face down, picked them all up on the mount so I know this is kind of in a pattern I want them to go. So it's just a bit quick. You can stamp them all uh, one at a time if you want to, but obviously it's a bit quicker if you just stamp them all, um, do it all in one go like that. But obviously that's up to you how you want to do that. So, I don't mind, I want them to come off the edge, that was a deliberate, <laughs> that is a deliberate ploy, that's not uh, not an accident. But it looks more realistic then. Yeah, well. it like does. It, like you have yeah. cut it down from a return yeah, pattern as a background. Yeah, it does. It looks, it, somehow it looks better if you just just need to mop up some of my ink here. 
Oh, that's plain now, the plain washi. Um, we've got some more. They're going to be dispatched on the 22nd. Uh, I've managed to get a few more back. So if you do want that plain washi tape, I have got more. But it's now on a delay from the 22nd of this month. Not that long to wait. Next week, isn't it? Tuesday? <sighs> no idea. Monday. And that would be my gift tag for that. So I would just colour that one in. And for this one, I've used the little children with the tree. So he can just sit on there. And I'll just run a bit of washi tape down the side of that one. So again, you can do things kind of matching, but the same kind of, but different. So I'll just run a bit of washi tape down the side. Oops. Make that a bit neater. Details on the screen are for your weekend wow bundle at the moment. The very first live hour of the brand new Christmas collection. And then once that's all coloured in, oh, once all that's, again, once that's coloured in, it does make a big difference once it's coloured. Um, you could just put a little bit of washi to ground him as well. That will go there. That will go there. And then if you wanted to just add, there's my tag, I've just added a teeny little bit of washi tape to there, so that all, that all matches as well. What, did you, what medium did you use to colour those? Um, I use ink tense pencils. Okay. Yeah. Um, Good to know these little things. I'll do a non-Christmas one as well, so we do my little girl. So for this one I've used the heart stamp, which is here. And I've just used uh, two colours of ink. So this is a uh, kitsch flamingo and my broken china, a little bit of that on, a quick spritz, Oops. hopefully that will go. And then for this one, I've used the thick washi tape. So I've got um, the thick, this one of these, I don't know, there's, there's a couple of these on the show. So this is uh, Astonish. Uh, is this, the, it's one of the bottom, it's one of the bottom, one of the last two, I think it is. Uh, Astonishing Dark you're using. Yeah. So. So it's just this one here, that's what we're using at the moment. Astonishing Dark, one of the chunkier ones again. Remember, the chunky ones, well worth having a little look at these chunky ones. Um, because they're, 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 they're worth their money. They're, I've never known yeah, washi tape. They are before. amazing, just amazing. If that's, yeah, if you love your washi tapes and, um, and all and create washi tapes are amazing. They are fabulous washi tapes to have as well. So that's just her. Stick her a little bird on the top there. So Do you have her. a favourite washi? No, I like the words. I like the ones with the words because I, I, I kind of use them. You can use them as sentiments. Um, but I know I like all of the washies depends on your project. So that's kind of her colored a bit Christmas That's her colored totally non Christmas. So they kind of work together like that as well And then I just quickly do this one and then I've used the other stencil for this. So this is my a 7 stencil oh, so This is in the heart bundle as well. You'll find that on the website or tap the app uh, you're getting the six by uh, eight by eight stencil. You're getting the A4 stencil, and you also get the set of stamps uh, that's also in there. Uh, for this one, I've just brushed a bit. So I kind of thought we'd try and use them all in different ways, with different stencils, different products. So this one, I've just brushed some ink through the stencil. So this is uh, fossilized amber. The boss is watching, by the way. Oh God, is he? <laughs> He is. <laughs> Old Ebenezer as well. Those wee winky at all. I'll, I'll probably be in trouble then. I, Sitting I'd, there yeah. in his nightgown. <laughs> and then What's just, it? is he? Oh, brush a little bit of black oh, along there just to give it that. And then I've used a different washi for this one. So this is, um, oh, I don't know, oh, fasteners, is, is it? The button one. Yeah. Next to the halter culture. Fasteners. Fasteners, yeah. We're getting good at these. 
Yeah. Give yourself Sunday, we'll read these off. <laughs> like, you bet. How many washies can you name in all Yeah. So then I'm just going to pop a little bit of that along the side there. And then I've just used the Tweedle. So this is uh, Mrs. This is Tweedle, one of the Tweedles. Um, but what I did with this one was I, I coloured him. Let me just wrap that round there. Um, but I, I cut his little helicopter pilot bit off just so he, he kind of... And then I've used the, the presents there to go with that as well. So that's... You can sit there like that and matted him on. And then for the tag for that one, I've just... I just used the hearts, so I actually, yeah, just used the hearts for that one. It really works. It really, really works so, so well. Uh, and I think, and I've never really put the two and two together, and I don't know why I've never done it in the past, the, the, the cuties do work with the wash tape, and you wouldn't think they would. Looking at them on their own, you think, well, they're not really going to go together. No. But when you have to look at the finished products of what you've done and how the colourways work, as long as you match your colours sort of to the washi that's already there, or if you need something to ground your characters. Yeah. They ground. You can use them uh, to ground. You can use them as sentiments as well. So the ones with the words, you can either um, use them as they are, stick them on, or you can map them onto a piece of card and cut the card out so they then look more like sentiments as well. So, yep, so that's those, and I can't find my dark... Oh, here he is. <laughs> And for this one, as I said, all I did was I've used um, the fasteners washi tape, put it onto card, and then I've cut it out with one of the dies, which is this one, which is uh, number crunching. And I've just literally die cut and stuck it onto black card and then popped it onto the, onto the bag. I thought that was a, a bit of a more that. masculine one. So I've got one more quick demo, if we yeah, have. On, yeah. uh, do you want to do a recap, Megan, with what we said yeah. for another demo? I'll give you a quick recap. We've got five minutes. We'll do a really quick uh, recap. Let me just show you some samples uh, this time. Uh, just why we quickly set up for another demonstration. We'll get as many in as we can uh, this hour. They are absolutely beautiful, but every single one is different. And this is what I love about a design team, that they don't get the inspiration like you are now. So you're going to take this inspiration and you are really going to run with it. Uh, they just get the, the stamps cold, as it were. But once you get them home, you've got this and you can adapt and you can change and you can manipulate and really, even these are not just a Christmas launch. Yes, it's the first Christmas launch that we have ever done, but you asked for it. You asked for these Christmas launches. You said, can we have a Christmas set of little cuties? And yes, you can. £38.95 is what you're looking at on this one. Or a one-off payment of £77. But if you're a Freedom member, uh, you've got two flexible payments of £35.06 and six pence a day across two interest-free flexible payments. It's worth having a little look. Right, should we squeeze in another demo? Let's go. Washies. Very busy for washies. Very, very busy for washies on the website. Go and have a look at the washies on the website. Oh, I wish it was a Wednesday. Go and have a look at the washies on a Wednesday on the website. Oh, I love it. Uh, with, with other people. With our Willie. Uh, love them all. Love them all. But get them quick. They're selling fast. Selling fast. Right, Angel. We're all yours. You've got... I don't know. Three and a half minutes. Okay. To, to actual menu. To actual, right. So this is just a non-Christmas one, totally different to, to anything else we've got to, doing on the show. So I'm going to start just by... I have to do it on this piece of card. Um, just by using this. We've got Lacy Graffiti, so it's one of the stamps in the sh uh, should be in the show. Um, and I'm just inking this up with uh, mustard seed. Yep. We'll bring in the details for Lacy Graffiti. And um, spiced marmalade. And I'll give it a spritz. And I'm going to stamp in from the side. Oh. And stamp in from that side as well. It goes there. Just need to quickly. What that is? <laughs> it's like a bit of grass. <laughs> I'm sure where that came from. <laughs> could be anything. Could, could be fun. anything. Could be. Uh, uh, Janet is back again. at one o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. I don't know who you're with this afternoon. Catherine, I think. Are you with our Catherine? I am with Catherine. Yeah. Back with our Catherine at one o'clock. And then we're just. 
Apparently, Catherine's already memorised the washi tape name. Oh, she's good then. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> so that's that. And then I'm using the. Um, Lovely Janet. I think, I think we got this name wrong. Yes. Yeah. Landscape lines. <clears throat> so this is one of the borders, the border stamps in the show, and this is an amazing stamp. Um, and it's one of these that can be all sorts of things. So if you, um, oh, where's my ink pad? Called? Ah, I've lost my ink pad. What are you, like? what are you looking for? The ink pad. I'm not going to help you. Well, your black one. Yeah, it's there. Oh, thank you. That should have really helped. No, thank you. You are very no. nice. You are lovely. Everyone but knows. You I are feel like lovely. you are lovely, but no, no. I feel there was a but no, there no. somewhere. <laughs> You are every, lovely, but every, you do Everyone get on my knows nerves. you're lovely. You're lovely. Like one of them. Lovely man. Yeah. You are lovely, yeah, but you're no Catherine. <laughs> you know stutter. So I'm just going to stamp those across. I can go down there. And then I want to use the stars, so I'm going to just dot my stars around. And they're going to go kind of dotted around. So We've got a minute to the end. Oh, OK. And then I'm just going to quickly use my little hearts again, if I can okay. find them. And then I'll show you. And I just want to pop them in there and there. And then I'll show you my finished sample. So it came out a bit brighter on that. I maybe used a different colour orange. But I've dotted the stars around. I've added a little bit of washi tape here and just a, along the edges here. Um, and I've added glossy accents to the stars so they, they do have a little bit of a shimmer to them. Yeah, I love it. Just see. Um, and added the words from the stars as well. So reach for the stars. Maybe I'm a... Maybe I belong amongst the stars and shine like the star. Like Adam shines oh, like the star. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you smooth talkie. Uh, thank you, Dave. It's always a pleasure. Thank See you at you. one o'clock. One o'clock, yep. One o'clock, we're back again with more inspiration and ideas for your brand new weekend wow. This is your brand new Christmas launch of your weekend wow as well. I'll see you in a couple of hours' time. Yes, indeed. Crafts 2 Press Cuts with our Catherine up next then. And Catherine's going all wet in. And I will see you at 12 o'clock for Sentimentally Yours. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the Craft Store app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Craft Store app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. 
Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Welcome everyone to the craft store. Looking forward to this hour. We've got John Lockwood here. It's all about craft two press cut this hour as well. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. Good You're morning, Eva. Oh, morning. It is morning. Why it's did you say we, afternoon? It's because we've been talking about how early both oh, of us had to get up this clocks morning and the clock. Yes. Well. It feels like afternoon already. It does. Shall we start again? Yeah. Good morning, Go John. Good morning, Catherine. How, how are, are you? you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very good. Wonderful. Very good. Do you have another hour later today? I do at two o'clock. Oh. So I do have an afternoon hour. Wonderful. That's probably where I've gone wrong then. <laughs> uh, let's have a look what we do have on offer. We've had to borrow your boards even, haven't we, this morning. We've got, of course, the complete collections here. The rectangle die set, the notched, the plain and the stitched dot. Now, John, am I right in thinking? that people have been waiting a long time for these to come back. They have, yes. The plain and the stitch dot in the rectangle we sold out of, I think, just after the Crafts 2 birthday, oh. which was of last year, not yeah. this year. Wow. So I think we're talking long. nearly a year since these have been out because these are the new mathematically correct ones. Right. So what you've got is on the plain and on the stitched, on the plain you've got a die every quarter inch yep. from a half inch all the way up to eight inch width. Got you. So you're going all the way up there, so you've got every quarter of an inch through. Then on the stitch dot, you've got mathematically correct again, and these are on the half inch, and these work in tandem with them. Then in the centre, this is the newer one, this is the press cut notched. Ah. So on here, you've got the notched corner, but yeah. the original notched corner dies from press cut weren't, I'm going to say it again, and I should explain it, mathematically correct. Right, got you. So what they've got with these is these are now exactly in line with the plane and the stitch dot. Wonderful. So you can mix and match all three perfectly, and they're all in the same aspect ratio. Do you know, that's good to know we're going to see lots of this in demonstration yes. now, are Oh, can't wait. Now, we've got a great saving as well. I'm just going to pop in front. This is how they will arrive, all beautifully packaged for you. We've borrowed John's board, so uh, some of the dies aren't quite in the position. It's nice to see them, isn't it? It is. They arrive. And, and it's also, are. they are so quick into the country. Yeah. I don't think they arrived in the warehouse in enough oh, time to word. get them sent up here for samples. So you are using the mine. But they're exactly, they are obviously exactly the same. Wonderful. Well, we've got a £10 saving and we've got Flexi for you as well. So all you're paying today is £29.49. Now, individually, they are available as well. Uh, of course, the saving there is on the bundle. Twenty-two ninety-nine is the individual price. That's each, of course, at the bottom of the screen. You've got the choice of any of those three there. But if you're going for the wonderful collection with that saving, item number is 721736. Definitely worth going for that, especially when you know that they all work together. Yeah, I mean, I, my first ever nesting rectangles were £40 each set. I had to buy an A and a B. Yeah. They were both plain. I think yeah. you know the ones I, know I mean. I know the ones, smiling. I know um, the ones. So I paid, <laughs> I paid £80 for an A and a B. Yeah. And they weren't the UK size. They were oblongs. These are actually based on an aspect ratio of five by seven. Okay. So they match what we make here in the UK. So in there, you've got a four by six, which is a standard photo size. Yeah. You've got a five by seven, you've got a three by four, in three by Perfect. five. You've got every single size they work, but when you put them together with the notch, you can get some beautiful things just like this that Lovely. you've got in your hands yes, now. Yes, I've got lots of gorgeous samples. So some of the samples will be using one set, some using a combination of the different sets there. You can see how perfectly they work together, can't you? There you can see the notched frames together. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, the next one is also the notched. Oh, these samples are fab. We've got that gorgeous card stuck on the show as well, haven't we, John? We have, but the, the important thing is, usually with the notched and the original press cut notch dies, they didn't nest properly. So they didn't, they went off. So these have had yeah. to be redrawn by me to make sure that they work perfectly. And you've got that little fine border all the way around that's the same on all sort of the... There's eight sort of sides, isn't there, really? Absolutely beautiful. Don't they work well together? Gorgeous. 
Now we're particularly busy on the notched version. So if you are going for the individual individuals, you can go for those, of course. Uh, but yeah, do take note of that saving there because I think once you've bought one set, you'll regret not coming back for the rest. In fact, when it goes to the bundle, 10% of the stock is already gone. I'm just going to show you all of the samples I've got here. There are more in boxes as well, unfortunately. There always is. There always you're, you're is. You'll always is with me, but you'll find with me and any of the angels, um, and I, I feel caught back because quite a few of the angels have bought their sets of them because we just didn't have enough samples. There's frames on everything. Yeah. It kind of is the way that I do things. Framing yeah. something makes such a difference. And when you've got the ability to frame with that quarter inch difference, yeah. It really adds a bit of class to your cards it certainly to me. Does. We can it see that. makes it so much easier. Amazing. Well, busy, busy start. 721736, remember, if you are going for the bundle of all three sets. Fantastic. Right. We're going to move down because we've got more for you as well. So let's have a look at the next item. So you can see, obviously, we've got squares here for you. Now you've got your plane and your stitch dot. You've got 48 dies in total, another great saving, five pounds off during today, 44 pounds and 98 pence. We have got, well, what I can say again, John, I love squares. You know, whether it's square cards, whether you're working with the frames, however you make use in them, your albums, I tend to go for squares a lot. To me, you don't want to be without these. No, you don't. This is your, your basic. I would never, ever say to anybody, that you, you need a particular die. We know we say we need it in the craft world, but it's a want. But these are my needs. You can see these are used constantly. And again, yeah. same idea, and I should giggle because Sam said that he was going to invent, he's invented a new drinking game. Oh, was it? And every <laughs> time I say on, one, on the shows today, mathematically correct, he's going to take a sip. Ah. And see, oh. um, well, he did say vodka, but I think that's at the two o'clock show. <laughs> Not this morning, but these again are mathematically correct. So your smallest square in your plane is actually a quarter of an inch square. Wow. Your largest is an eight inch square. And you've got one every quarter of an inch up to there. So you've got one running up in every is. single all the way up. I mean, I just love the look of it, the sort of wavy pattern it makes. Because what we've done is we've used the new dye technology to make them as fine as possible yeah. so you can actually get i think it's something like 32 dies it is an optical illusion squares that, in isn't it, it is and normally you have to buy two or three sets to get that many wow and what we've done is the stitch dot in between so it lets you make frames and your mats and layers perfectly for any size of card it certainly does absolutely gorgeous i still love square cards even more now i'm seeing these samples as well how beautiful are these but only if oh we lost a butterfly or a flower only achievable with those frames, of course. If you want them, grab them today with that saving. Item number 280609. I can tell you, 10% of the bundle has gone already as well. How fabulous is that card? Look at that with the little gnomes. I love that. Look, oh my goodness, look at this one. Wow. But again, that to me, that's wow. a beautiful background, but that card would not look as expensive as it does without the framing on it. Definitely not. Do you know, I've just got to pick these up as well and show you. This is how versatile the sets are. The different effects you can create using them as well. And that's a mix of the plane and the stitch dots. Yeah. It shows how well they work together, but you'll find them in all of my Christmas cards. You know, they're in everything. The squares and, squares and the rectangles are the, my go-tos. Yes, definitely, definitely. Right, okay, are we moving down again? Because we've got more for you. So, oh, this is really sweet. We have got, oh, some little butterflies, of course. We've got some gorgeous samples once again. Let's look at the details for this one. We've got the deco butterflies here, 12 dies in the set. You can see the beautiful detail in them. You've got the solid, you've got the filigree effect there as well. Um, these are beautiful again, John, aren't they? And we can never get enough of butterflies. <gasps> First sample I've just picked up. <laughs> I've noticed it's got a little light switch on it. Does it work? Does it work? It does. Hang on, I checked just... it this morning. Yes. Hang on. There it is. But that oh. just shows how well the butterflies work, but how the frames work. Again, yeah, I couldn't have put lights in, in without being it? able to have the, the square dies to frame it. Love it. Love it. Oh. We turn that off so I'm not wasting the bulbs. <laughs> I love anything that lights up. Uh, oh, look, so pretty, aren't they? If you want this one, £3 saving. 
Oh, look, I've got a penny slider card. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Hey, hey doesn't that work well? Isn't that brilliant? Absolutely hey. brilliant. I, I, I think that was Rocky who made that one. That's fab. If I'm wrong, please, I might say on the back, actually, who made it. It is Rocky, you're right. You're I, I, I'm starting right. to know the girls' different styles now. <laughs> That's like, this one will be a Barbara. This uh, will be Babs. It is Barbara. Yeah. You're correct. <laughs> but Who's they're the just so one, versatile. And I know that we say in crafting, if you have made a mistake, stick a butterfly on it. <laughs> but it's got to be a nice butterfly. It certainly and has. And these, again, were designed so that they nest. Yeah. So the planes actually nest, all of the layers nest as well, which is very unusual with butterflies. Beautiful. And for each one, you've got a pattern and you've got a solid for the back as separate dies, so you don't have that rim all the way around it. Love it. Only 11 99 Wow, you need those, don't you? Item number 011088. Uh, do not miss out on those. We've got more butterflies for you as well. These are unusual, but absolutely stunning once again. You've got your butterfly frames. Now, you could cut those out individually if you wanted to, but to have the frame in there, John, is just a bonus, isn't it? It really is. It is. Look well, at the effect. The idea is that you can use it plain like that, and you've just got it, say, in the green going against there for sort of the Easter card. Yeah. Or you can actually put behind it the solid butterflies there to put a different colour behind, so you've got that real art deco sort of look to it. And again, it's a different size butterfly than's in the single ones. So again, just to show you a couple of the different flame options that you can have. Now, they're just frames, aren't they? I presume maybe, have you done those at a demo one time? Um, no, I actually did those so we could show how they work as frames and how the different works weight when you so paper you've got things. a photograph behind Or when there. you drop behind, but imagine it as a photo, as you say, as a photo frame or something. But how different does that beautiful. look in the white against it? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this next one. I've got to bring this in. Oh, I hate leaving anything out, you know. I know I have to move on sometimes, but look at that for your gift box. The lid's not quite on properly, so we can get that on so you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at that. It's a beautiful box. And the next one, I made this on my Craft Cave Live. This has actually got lights in. Has it? But they're inside the box. Oh, hang on. Hang so, on. But it actually shows. So what we're going to do is, for this one, it was filmed. Um, I filmed this as a video on Craft Cave on last Wednesday. But this is also, we've had written instructions made by our fabulous angel, June. But this uses the frame and the nesting dies. So the grey and the ah. pink are cut out using the rectangular nesting dies. Really? And they fit exactly, because of course I've drawn them all. Yes, yeah, so you know I use the same sizing and maths all the way through. That is such a lovely effect, isn't it? So if anyone wants to make that one, you will see a video and Beautiful. written instructions on the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts Ooh, 2 group. Do have a look for that one then. 14 99 if you want to go for the butterfly frame set. Better turn the lights off again, haven't I? 189398 is the item number there. Why aren't I turning those off? Right, now then, as I'm struggling with the lights... Oh, do you know, Catherine? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. That's it. It's sorted. They're off now. Uh, glitter card. We did mention this earlier. We had a look at a lot of those samples right at the beginning. Um, always, always popular. I'm going to show you some more as well. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm a big fan of this glitter card, John. I love this. I mean, it's sold out the last two times we've brought it on air. And every time when I want to put it on a showpiece, I have to run around manically in the warehouse checking that we've <laughs> actually got it so that I can actually put it on the show. Um, but the great thing is this is what we call faux glitter card. Absolutely no glitter is included in this card. I know. It's a, There's no it's glitter magical. anywhere. It, really it is. cuts like a dream. And it is so beautiful. And it's unusual mixes. Who would have thought of silver going through orange and yellow to red? No, but it doesn't it work because it makes it look like a, a gold, doesn't it? It is. A, You've a got a gold, gold on the colour. end. Pinks into blues. Yeah. They're beautiful, beautiful. And again, 250 GSM. Cuts, wow. Die cuts on any die, even intricate dies. And it's just beautiful. And you're guaranteed to get no glitter anywhere because there is no glitter used in it. Do you know, and it's 250 GSM, but it feels a little bit heavier, actually. And it, it, you can tell it's going to cut well. You can feel that's... This is yeah. the one I said feels like velvet. It is, yeah. That's it. And I couldn't remember who it was. Yeah. But it is. It does yeah, feel it like really a piece, does. like stroking a piece of velvet. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you can see when it comes to die cutting, how perfectly everything is cut. I mean, the next one I'm going to show you, it's those butterflies. Look at these. Now, you can't cut out with dies like that on any old glitter card, can you? Definitely not. You get some of the low shed, and it's brilliant and it's beautiful, but it doesn't actually cut that well. It doesn't give you that 
crisp edge. But if you look at the sort of crisp edge around the green yeah. trees, you don't get that, you know, there's no tearing, there's no glitter come off, there's no, fo no, no cracking, foil coming no off. No no nothing, exactly. You know, it does make such a difference, doesn't it? £9.99. pence. You can get there six designs, two of each, so 24 sheets in total, 675906. Now we also have a happy hour deal for you as well. So don't forget the price will go back up at 11 o'clock. Uh, yes, we're still in the morning. 16 colours you get in here if you're going for the pigment ink petals. Half price saving. That doesn't get much better, does it? 12 98 is all you need to pay to, for, during this hour. It's literally flying out. Make sure you're stocked up on these. 289 347. There's another handy little gift for somebody. If you've got crafting they friends. are. Well, one of the things we've, I've been asked a lot in the last week is are we doing or can you get colour, uh, sort of ink refills for yeah. these? We looked at it and the ink refills would cost more than the pad itself because you'd have to have eight bottles for each pad. Of course you which would. is one of the reasons we've actually put it on as a happy hour, so that if people are running out of particular colours, yeah. it's a lot, lot cheaper. And I know yeah. I don't like to say this, yeah. it's not great for the planet, but it's a lot, lot cheaper to buy a replacement. And the actual droppers would cost, so we, we worked out about £25 really? for the eight refills. It's a bit of a no-brainer then, yeah. isn't it? Stock up again. If you haven't already got them, then this is your opportunity to grab them now as well. Definitely take advantage of that £13 saving. As I say, that price will go up at 11 o'clock. Right, first demonstration. John, right. looking forward so, to this. I just wanted to show you, mainly because Sam Blessing cut all these out for me. Oh. He cut every single one. And I wanted to show you what I was talking about, the way that the maths work. Okay. So, if you can see here, so I'll say mathematically correct, so he has to take a drink. <laughs> but you can see, I haven't got them all here, but you see there, literally, every single one cut is a quarter of an inch different. Yeah, we can see that clearly. So, when you come to matting and layering, it's perfect. It's exactly the same with the stitch dot. So, these are literally just cut, nothing else, plain white, 250 GSM card and the linen. But you see again, exactly the same aspect ratio across yeah. every single one. And Perfect. the same with the notched. But what I have done is this time I've altered the notched so that that's our notched piece. Yeah. Yeah. This is our next layer in our plane. Okay. They're identical. They are, aren't they? So they're Absolutely. identical. They're identical. So if you start to think of the possibilities you can do, so it actually starts from the smallest one. So if you want a little tag, there you go. Oh. But it also fits exactly on the next one up. The next one fits. This is why you need all three sets. The next one fits. The next one fits. But of course, they fit down as well. Yeah. So, if I take the one that fits the one preceding, that, if you look, gives you the exact, you see it's just virtually touching yeah. the circle on each one. So we can then take the next one down and go down. I think this bundle's a bit of a game changer you now. To me, maybe. the combination, if just cutting these, just doing that little tag, that little tab, I mean that, looks so different than I've ever been able to achieve from any other yeah. die set. John, would you do me a favour? Yeah. You know the two loose pieces of grey that, you, that you've taken off your pile of cardstock there? Put them back on and show us again what you showed us with that quarter inch. Because I spotted something that I think you can really clearly see how accurate these are. If you look at the corner point, you can see it more on the grey. That's why I look at right on the corner point and you follow through it's a perfect straight line you wouldn't get that if they weren't mathematically no, correct you wouldn't and that is because of and this is cut it's all well and good me showing you the dies and i can bring in the dies and you can see here look you know they yeah. will all match i can yeah. actually i know this annoys Catherine because she likes them all laid out <laughs> but i can actually push them all you know to get them all in that point yeah yeah but that shows you it's when they're cut. Yeah. And that's the difference. But again, we can just take any one of these. So take the largest of those, largest of those. Oh, that fits. But I might need to go down one to find the base for it. So there we go.
but I can then take the next one down from that, and that's the one that, so that's the one, there's always one that fits exactly. Yeah. And I can bring in as well, because of the aspect ratio, I can bring in the white one, so it would be that bigger one. So if you want mats and, you want a simple card made and done, there. Yeah, so accurate, Perfect. Let's just take those two pieces. There's your tag for the middle. Oh, no, but I want another white layer, don't I? So I'll take the white layer that nests it and fits, there you go, exactly. And we put that on. There's, it's like a notebook. Brilliant. So there's the front cover of a notebook. But again, I could bring it down another layer and another layer and another layer. They interchange, so you've got, is it 22, 22 and 22, something like that? Do you know, like I was just going to ask in total, if we're going for that bundle... 20 of the notched, 24 of the plain, 12 of the stitched. So you basically, you've got 20, 24 yeah. and 12, but you can actually, if you multiply those by each other, that gives you the number of combinations. And that's just cutting them out. That's not cutting them in as frames. Wow. So you're talking five six hundred different wow. oh possible word. combinations so 56 dies can do hundreds of combinations hundreds of combinations wow because it would actually be 20 bar it would be the maths would be 24 times 12 yeah plus 24 times 20 yeah. plus 12 times 20 to give you the combinations of those three Even combined, my brain can't and then you combine it again. Literally, it's 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 thousands of combinations. You're never going to put these it. away, are you? You're going to no. keep them out well, constantly and use you, you them You can constantly. see that they aren't, by the way that they are look on the boards. These are never ever away. I mean, this morning, Catherine sat there, bless her, and put <laughs> all of these neatly, because I never keep them like that. But it is, you know, these are always used. But pulling out samples for this show, I could have pulled over 700 cards. Wow. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Yes, you need to go for these, don't you? £10 saving. Get the whole bundle. You can get the individuals, but definitely go for the bundle if you can afford it. I think the opportunity is it's opening up here to work with them in so many different ways. Those hundreds of different ways will be yours, of course. We've got Flexa here as well. Uh, do you know, we've just done a little bit of maths in the gallery. We think it's over a 1,000, about a 1,008 different combinations. Yeah, and I think there's probably more as well in there because that's combining two together, two together, two together, when you combine three together. Then there's all your folds and your easel cards yeah. and everything you're going to create with them. Yeah, exactly. The, 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 literally, Ooh. the minimum is a 1,008, yeah. and I would say probably a lot more. Oh, my word. Doesn't that make it good value for money? How much has gone? 20% of the bundle has gone. 721736. I do know that individually they're busy as well. But yes, go for the bundle if you possibly can. You will not regret it. Great, we've got Flexi. That means, of course, that you can add anything else into your basket and split the cost. Maybe some of the cardstock we've got. Maybe some of the butterflies. Maybe the squares. We've got all sorts. Don't forget the happy hour. You must check out your baskets before 11 o'clock to get that with the saving, of course. There we are. Right, back to John. Right, so what we need to do now is I want to show you how, we, how I can use all three of them to build a beautiful frame and make a card with nothing else, no other dies. Okay. Just these, and I've just used one more embossing folder, but we'll actually get a twofer from this. Oh. And it's how they're designed. So I've taken, basically, three colours of linen card. Yeah. Two pieces of white, a blue, and this um, iris colour. Um, and I cut them down, as I always do, to five and three quarter inches. Yeah. Because that's exactly half nearly of an A4 sheet, so I'm not wasting any. I like that, any. exactly half nearly. Yeah. It's, it's a crafter's <laughs> half, isn't it? Basically, it's a crafter's half, which yeah. is kind of nearly right, possibly maybe-ish. It'll do. That sort of, you know, that's the crafter's thing. So, you can do this with any combination. Okay. But the way that I, I just sort of sat at home and I cut some pieces ready to do this. So I actually worked out my numbers and Got you it. can always sort of write your own little code down to work out what works for a card and note it on the back. Yeah. So I've gone for N7, so notched seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Were you counting from the outside? And I always count there? from the outside. Right. So we read left to right. I know yeah. a lot of people go, that's number one. To me, that's number one because it's the first one. Okay. So it's just the way I work it, but work your way. So I'm just going to put that down, and I'm just going to take that down in the middle, and we're going to cut that one. Okay. okay. So 
You know, you said you, we always read from left to right. Do you know what I did once? Go I went on. for <laughs> I don't know what made me do it. I went. <laughs> Nothing a, would surprise went, me after knowing you for so long. I went for an eye test and I started at the bottom, right oh. hand corner, <laughs> and went back to. So I started with the little teeny tiny ones and went back up. And I could see the confused look on the face of the, uh, the optician. Because <laughs> she probably knows and, it off the top of her yeah, head, but in the I right thought, order. Why have I just done that? She said, I don't know, but you did it brilliantly. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> oh, I certainly, after, after so many years of crafting, I certainly couldn't start on the bottom row. I'd probably oh. start about three rows up at the very base. <laughs> So we've done this, and this is one of the things I think people sometimes are concerned about. We get so many dies in because if you look how thin that is, yeah. But we've Just pushed the technology. Exactly. It is the, the die doesn't warp, it doesn't crease. Nothing happens. It does happens. the job perfectly. It and that's does all the that job. Matters. You don't need all of that big press of metal yeah. around it that you're paying for. So there, I've got my first two pieces. So now I'm going to take my next one. So I'm going to take my dark blue. And this one is onto the plane. Always put them back on your board, which is why I leave. These that get left out so often on my... They actually I'm not live surprised. There. Yeah. I know where the box is. They yeah. live there in my craft case. Yeah. I can go like that and pull the box and know they're there. So I've got that one. So the next one I need is plane number nine. So okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've already worked that one out, so we'll take that one down and I'll get the next one ready to go through. You can put through two at once easily. Oh, you can, of course. But yeah, I'm doing it just machine. sort of to show yeah. you. So the next one I want is stitched four. Actually, if we've got, only got the A5 machine, they will all fit. Will they? No. no? Not the bigger ones. Of the Some of the bigger plane. ones won't. Okay. Um, if you've only got the A5 machine, you will be able to use, I would say, about 80% of them. Okay. But not all of them. So, this one's come through. Let's get this one out. So, there we go. So, I'm just using three dies. Okay, yeah. That's literally it. Lovely. Or I'm using four dies, actually, to get it right. So, there's my blue and my piece. Got you. Okay. So, next, I've got my white. And this is stitched four. So I'm going to put stitched four on. And again, trying to put it evenly in the middle, even though I know that one's not. And then finally, I've got another white, which is plain ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually know it's the next one down from the one I had before, but obviously. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. It is better to be, it's better to be safe. Definitely. So this one's through, and I would be putting them through two at a time at home. Do you know, you could actually have a day just cutting out frames in all different sizes. So you've got them ready to go as well. I have a little never gonna drawer waste them. that's got spare frames in it. Have so you? Every, and when I make, need to make things in a hurry, yeah. I'll make a background. I'll pull a background out of my background box and pull a frame out and go, well, they go together, stick a butterfly on and, and we're done. And especially with these, because you can mix those frames yeah. together. You can mix those shapes. So you're not going to go wrong, are you? No, you don't go wrong. Don't ever waste anything. No, never. Because this is what we're going to do. We're actually going to use the waste pieces on this to make the first oh. frame. So what I've done is here, I've got all four pieces cut. Two white, one dark blue, one iris blue. Okay. okay. Take our dies off and pop those away on the right piles. Come on, John. And take the pieces out. And what we're actually doing is we're using the waste because we want to make a frame. Yeah. So, get my four pieces of waste. Look, they pull us together, these, John. I love these. This is the Crafts 2 linen card. We will bring this back as soon as we possibly oh, can. Oh, we no stock of that either. Sorry? No stock at the minute. No. Oh. None whatsoever, unfortunately. So, here we go. So, there is number one. Yeah. Yeah. But there's number two. Oh, nice. That looks very yeah. effective, doesn't yeah. it? I like that. Where did I put number three? Oh, sorry. Number two, there we go. So that way, oh, so you just, yeah, you we just, just get the circle. The so I'm going to put it on the piece that I've done for the background. So I've just embossed, we've got this folder on the show. Yes, but we do. We haven't seen those live yet. If you can see there, you don't actually notice that it's not a rectangle, it's a no. square folder and it's a smaller one. No, so went to there. Know. Then we go in with that piece. Then we go in with that piece. So, there we've got a 
completely framed card. And how effective is really that? Really simply, if I take the pieces that I'd already cut with the same set, and just I've just done these a little bit neater, and I've done an extra piece, so let's take that one. We'll have to okay. spray glue it because I've not got any glue out. So well organised. <laughs> Anyone would think there was a delay on the A1 this morning, wouldn't oh, they? Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going it just wasn't me because I think they're going to start disbelieving me because it's nearly every day. Oh, there's another accident, there's another hole, oh, there's another roadworks. That, that row is a nightmare. So this time I've cut a slightly smaller one. Okay. Just to build it up in the iris. But then I've got, you see there how it's so easy to frame them because I'm putting those oh, circles like effect, to each notch. Doesn't that work well? Yeah. I've got another piece here. You can literally stop wherever you want. You can carry on constantly. Yeah. So I've got another piece here that knocks in and takes out. So at the moment, we've got a frame that looks like that. As soon as I put this one on, we lose that and we've suddenly got like an Art Completely Deco different. appearance. Yeah, take. Do you know, it really the is one, one of those sets, isn't it? I mean, you can see the versatility straight away and with the samples they are absolutely amazing but the more you do the more the pen is dropping and you're really appreciating how far you can take these as a bundle but you see there that's going on the next two how fine that yeah. border is and then finally we'll pop on i don't know where are we there we go have i done another one i have so there's another one to drop on there if i wanted to yeah with foam tape but here i've just used two together of the stitch dot to Got finish you. it off and I'm going yeah. to show you in the next demo so how to, to, just to make that a little bit firmer is, yeah. is that what you mean yeah well what I've done is I've to cut myself a perfect frame because I'm going to show you in the next demo okay. how to actually make a perfect fitting frame you're supposed to do Phil Martin's trick of adding a little bit of glue on the back of here oh, so you've got that wiggle room so you've got the wiggle room but then all I would do is take my scissors and trim down the excess and I'm undercutting and what I mean by yeah. that is I'm tilting my scissors to an angle yeah so that they slide under that top frame so I tilt them down oh you can hear those scissors working yeah these are my um, I think there's my Tim Holtz ones these are my heavy duty they need to be all those layers so then, see that look at that the perfect frame if I hold it up. Look at all those layers there, but do you know, so many different effects as you went through that. That is such a great demonstration to see because it changes every single time. And also the colours, as you change the colours, it makes a complete difference It makes as well. it totally different, but that's a completely different card to say, same colours, just to make oh, a plain square that. frame. Oh, wow. So using exactly the same colours, but again, imagine that in that. Yeah. You know, that central piece. Yeah. Oh, John. It's okay, oh, it's one no. of mine. But that central piece going in there. Oh, now those corners Doesn't really it suddenly work well makes there? it yeah. pop when you put the main Doesn't piece in? And I think we sometimes ignore these base dies that we need. Yeah. And one more quick thing just to show you. Of course, that's using the waist because technically we've got the cut pieces. Oh, yes, of course. So I'll not glue this together, but these are the bits left over from making that. So there's one there, there's two there, there's your three, there's number four, number five. So again, you can see where each yeah, piece has come is out so of here, useful, how it? much difference that yeah. notched makes. That goes in the centre, again, completely finished card. Yeah. And wow. that's the waste from making that. Do you know, that is amazing, John. That is absolutely fantastic. Have you got yours yet? Have you checked your baskets out? You need to be doing so. We're very, very busy. Um, now, third of the stock gone when it comes to the bundle. The bundle itself, you're getting all three sets there. So that, of course, is the notched, the plain, and the stitched dot. In total, did we say 56 dies, I think, didn't we, in total? Yeah, yeah, it is. If you add them up from the front of the package in there, saving £10. I think now you've seen more, you realise how, you know, you really... 
it would be the best thing to go for the bundle, wouldn't it? Because it's opening up all those opportunities. We have worked it out that you have got at least, and we say at least because there's so many more things you can do, 1,008 combinations within those three sets together. And of course, when it comes to your card making, you know, whatever else you use, whether it's uh, embossing sheets, whether it's further die cuts, whether it's your tags, whether you just want to put a sentiment in there, whether it's the butterflies we've got on the show, whether it's the glitter card, you know, however you work with these dies, look at the results that you are going to get. And it just keeps going on and on and on. And don't forget, vertically, horizontally, Whichever combination you choose, it's going to work because I'm going to say it for John, they're mathematically correct. There you are. Love it. I've got Love to it. make oh, sure we say nice. it lots in the two o'clock show so that it has to drink properly, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> there you are. If you want this on FlexiBuy, you can certainly do that. So we can split this down two ways for you. There it is. Two payments of £29.49. Item number 721736. Now, we'll just give a recap of one or two other things as well. Uh, we've got the squares for you. Let me just find the boards. I've buried them under all the samples. There we are. Now, go for these as well. There is an enormous amount of dies in this bundle. So if I show you, first of all, we've got our plain squares. Look how many you get in there. There's 48 dies in total amongst these sets here. You've got this stitch dot as well. Always wonderful for that detail. They look so, so classy, don't they? And there's many, many ways, once again, of working with these because the way that you lay them up, how you build your frames, it's entirely up to you. Absolutely beautiful, again, with dies that you already have, perhaps, whether it be those backgrounds, whether it be your, be your cute little stamps like the gnomes there, uh, your tags, your banners, your sentiments, your flowers, your butterflies once again. I mean, you can go really to town with these. You can keep it simple and just go with a couple of frames or you can really build those together. Absolutely beautiful. And you could make rectangles out of these as well, John. If you, you cut could. them in half and put a banner across the middle or something, yeah, you can, you can shrink them down, them. you can extend them out. You can, you can, your squares are your basic. Your squares, yeah. anyone who starts crafting says to me, what basic dies do I need? You need squares. That's definitely. definitely where we start. Absolutely, I totally agree with you there. Beautiful, beautiful samples. Lots of ideas here again. Five pounds saving, forty-four pounds and ninety-eight pence. Item number two eight zero six zero nine. Then we have the deco butterflies. We just saw one or two of them in there. Oh, look at this sample at the front. I don't know if we caught this earlier. I'm going to pick it up so you can see it properly. That's using the frame as well. It's using the frame. Yeah, that is Sheila, I think. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, she's used the frame to make the panels, oh, wow. and then use the individual butterflies just coming oh. out. Oh, I, I just love think that's that. so beautiful. That is gorgeous. Let me hold the board up so you can see exactly what you're getting within this particular set. There you are. So you've got your solids, you've got your filigree as well. Lovely that these nest together. So you, again, you've got many, many opportunities of the ways you can work with them. Three pounds saving, only eleven ninety nine for this one. Zero one one zero eight eight. There we are. Then moving on again. Now we have got that frame, of course, for you. So let me just show you the actual dies themselves. Oh, I love that sample. It's beautiful. Um, I'll show you one or two more samples again using the frame. If you wanted to cut out the butterflies individually, of course you can do. So you've got many, many options again here. And John did explain that, you know, you're going to make these work with your rectangles as well. You can build these together. So it's another set that is certainly going to complement other items that you may be purchasing as well. Or maybe you've already got. I'm desperate to turn the lights again, but I better not. I've got to move on quickly. Uh, whether it's your cards, your gift bags, or your boxes, it's all possible. Fourteen ninety nine is the price for this one. One eight nine three nine eight is the item number there. Then, of course, we have the glitter card. This has been literally flying out. I am not surprised if you've bought it before. I bet you're coming back for more because once you've used it and you realise how beautifully it cuts, die cutting itself, again, just showing these few samples here, you can see on the edge, as John pointed out, there's no sort of uh, broken edges, there's no cracking, there's no peeling, there's absolutely no shedding. This is a little bit of a... An optical illusion as well, because it looks as though that glitter is covering every millimeter of card, but it's not real glitter. But who would know? Look at those butterflies. They are gorgeous. If you go for that set, you can be creating something like this, using the squares in there as well. 
always worth having a good study of all of the cars because you can see which other sets and which other products have been worked together there. You can see again and that beautiful actual card there only uses one A4 sheet. Really? Yeah, because the frames are cut out. This is a great thing about framing die. The frames are cut out, then a white frame added to so the panel at the back yeah. is the waist. And all I've done is cut the dragonflies each out of that card and then moved them round one place. Oh wow. So the blue one is one cut from the top, and the pink one is one cut from the bottom. Hold on, you think there was tape. about three A4 sheets? Yeah, there's in one that. A4 sheet of that. Because if you're going to get buy a really nice, decent card, amazing. Don't waste it. Get the most value you can out of it. Absolutely. Now, as I give the details, I'll just flick through the colours again uh, because I'm holding them horizontally again. But work with these either way up because you'll get a difference with the way that the colours fall. Of course, nine ninety nine is going to get you six designs. You're getting two of each. You're actually getting 24 sheets because you're getting two packs here. 9.99 for 24 sheets, absolute bargain. 675-906 is the item number. Make sure you're well stocked on that because you will not regret it. Now we did mention the embossing folders. Very quick, we'll just show you these as well. I've got a board here. I've um, got two different sides to the board, which you normally do with a board, don't you, I suppose? But we don't always have them both covered. 14.97 is going to get you all three of these. You don't have to choose. Yes, you're getting all three. Nine pounds saving. Amazing value once again. We've seen one of these featured in a, a demonstration earlier as well. 048053 is the item number if you want to treat yourself to those. Now, don't forget the happy hour deal. The price will go up at 11 o'clock, so do not miss out. Getting both of these, those wonderful ink petals. There they are. The rainbow and tea time, 16 colours in total. They are half price for this hour. 289347 is the item number. Fantastic, gorgeous colours in those as well. Right, John, back to you. Right, so I did say I would show you how to get a beautiful frame. So I'm going to hold that one up. That's what we're, going to, we're trying to achieve is this one. That's very classic. So we're trying to get that simple frame. And most people would look at that and think that is an absolute killer to make. Yeah, that takes hours yeah. and measurements. And the idea is I've done all the maths so that you don't have to. Wonderful. Because most of us are not remotely interested in working out seven eighths <laughs> of an inch plus three eighths. Of, no, it, it's, it, it's pointless. We don't want to do it. So I'm going to start with a piece of white paper. I'm using, these are the um, press cut or the crafts to um, insert sheets for the press to impress. Okay. So these have got the grid lines on. Now, obviously, with me... These are metric and the dies are in imperial. So I'm sure at some point in the future you might see A4 sheets in imperial to fit better oh. coming. Oh. I don't know when, but they, you may oh. see them popping up at some point. Oh. But this just makes it a lot, lot easier I can to imagine. get your framing right. Yeah. And I think we have these on an end of call. Okay. It's like a 50 sheet pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, you start with the outer frame. We start with the smallest frame. So I'm just going to take, and I just did this arbitrarily, okay. but now I want to match it in. So I'm going to take that one. And what I want to do is, I want to kind of, I work out how wide it is, but I always make sure I miss at least one. Right. So miss a die. No, nope, I'm going to miss two. And that tends to be more of what I do, because that gives you the nice level you need yeah. for foam tape and a nice frame. So what you want to do is, on here, I'm going to take the smallest one first, and I'm literally going to measure it up to some lines. Can you see? Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm going to put that to the lines. Okay. Yeah. And I have to say thank you to Sheila Tootin, who's one of um, our sort of, you know, supporters and followers, who came up with this using the acetate sheets. Did she? And I thought, ooh, if I did it with the paper one, so it was Sheila's idea, so I oh, still well, want to say thank she, you to yeah. Sheila. But again, you see here, I'm making sure that it's on an even line yeah. all the way around. That's how I guarantee it's even. And when you do multiple frames and layers, you need them to all be even. Yeah. So what we'd do is we would just put that onto our and start again. Now, one tip to do is if you want to multiple this frame mm -hmm. or create a template, take extra tape and tape the two dies together. Oh, yes, yeah. To the paper. Got you. And you'll see, now normally I would do it that way. I'm going to do it that way because it's easier for TV. Okay, yeah. I would not normally want to waste the card and we'll run that through. And it's really simple. 
Once that comes through, I now switch to the plane because I know in the plane there will be two that fit it. Yeah, of course. So my piece is coming out, so we'll go with the piece I'd already cut. Okay. So what I'd actually do is now go and work out, okay. Oh, there it is, first time. So look, that fits in. It does. Okay. And I need to find the next one to go with it. So I would go on and go, okay, right, is it? No. Just keep playing. That's why it's worth having them on the magnetic boards. We'll go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's now, good. normally, how would you make sure that that is even on four? It's, it's got to be even on eight sides, hasn't it? Yes, the inner and outer. The inner and the outer. Well, you don't. You oh. use the grids again. As long as you make sure it's even, it will fit. Yes. So I'm, this time I'm going to do it in gold. Okay. And I think this is on the website. This is the gold satin card. But it's gr the fantastic thing of using the sheets is you also mean sure your plates don't mark your satin card. That's true. Yes, because, because, because that happens that, all yeah, the does, time. Doesn't it? So again, find a place where you've got even lines. Yeah. Which I've done the same again. And then I take the next one and do so those insert sheets they're a bargain aren't they they are end of call you can get a pack or a pad of 50 sheets for 4.99 i would get more than one pack of those as i well. ordered them in threes and normally i order everything in twos well there's no additional postage on the end of call no i know that's how i get them in threes you some, do you know there's some real gems <laughs> terrible i know there are real gems yeah, there, there i always have a look well, I ordered some Dolly Dimples card yesterday yeah. from because um, I'm a Freedom member. Yeah. So straight on here, found it, ordered it. Then I ended up buying two of the three options at the end. Of course, <laughs> that, that's a bargain. <laughs> so I took my order from being sort of twenty pounds to suddenly being thirty six. <laughs> but I'd saved about forty pounds. It was True. brilliant. So what we do is I'm gonna take this one out. But can you see? All I've done is make sure. Look, you can even count one, two and a half. One, two and a half, yep. one, two and a half, one, two and a half. Genius. So that is now even. So I can just run that through and we'll cut that. And you'll notice it won't mark it, but pop my frame out. So I just want to, there we go, pop it out and leave the paper. Okay. There's my perfect even frame. But that's ready. If I take that ah. bit out to go again, every time static sometimes makes it cling and it shouldn't do. There we go. So, so there's my frame ready to go again. Great idea. So I could batch make yeah. that for Christmas yeah. and make beautiful... And you're not constantly using new sheets for no, the No, exactly. Grid. Or you could keep hold of that for the next time you know you're going to make it. But look, so this is the one I did with phone tape that I made at home. Yeah. Yeah? About two days ago. This is the one I just made on air. Look. Yeah, perfect. Just exactly by laying the them out the same. So again, same with the gold. This time I didn't bother taping them together to save it. So there's my gold. But look. Oh, nice. Isn't that so classy? Exact on all the sides. And all I would do again now is move back into. So I'm going to use the black satin. I just love this card. This is very Art Deco, isn't it? It is. I, it's got a, I've got a real Art Deco thing at the moment. Have you? I don't know what it is. It's suddenly this whole sort of black and gold is really sort of playing on me. So I'll put my frame down to get my sizing, switch into the stitch dot and go right okay out one yep that's perfect in one yep so I know it's those two I can then take that frame away okay and then just do the same again take the center one find lining up on your grid on the grid nice even yeah you see why I'd quite like inch ones for moving forward yeah but these work perfectly anyway. Yeah, it's just I want a slightly bigger one, but we'll we'll see what happens. And again, find lines that tie up. There we go. One, two. So I can just see the red line through that one. 
and we'll take that down. But I'm not even having to tape it everywhere and be silly. But you'll see, look, the gold fits. No, it doesn't. No, you've got it Because I'm off John. one because I didn't count. You didn't, did you? So what you do, do you is... Know, I was studying a bite of my tongue then, thinking, does no. he notice? Does he notice? Yeah, no, did I didn't know. Because what you do then is... You, before you do it, you do that check and you, you basically go, right, so that wasn't right. So I obviously want to be on a dotted line, don't I? Is that right? Let's have a look. So one, two and a half, one, two and a half, one, two and a half, one, two and a half. Yeah, Spot on. just roughly. And I'll run that through for something you want to run through. OK, lovely stuff. Yeah, another recap, everybody, then. So, for the bundle, very, very busy. <laughs> uh, over a third of the stock has now gone. You're getting all three. You're getting the die sets in the notched, the plain, and the stitch dot. They will all work perfectly together, as we've seen. If you miss the beginning of the show, you need to watch it back, actually. So, using those combinations together, however you work with them, it doesn't matter. You don't have to put stitch with stitch. You don't have to put plain with plain. You don't have to put notched would not you can mix them together however you wish because they are mathematically correct i forgot the lee bit uh, <laughs> 10 pounds saving on the, on the bundle <laughs> 58.97 but we've got flexi for you so it will make it easier to spread the cost we can bring that down today all you need to pay is 29 pounds and 49 pence now lots of you are going for the notched individually so we're going to give you the details for that in case you didn't realize you could do so i know that many of you have been missing out on these uh, we've had them a long long time ago it's taken a long time to get everything back in stock many if you've seen them for the first time as well so you can either fill those gaps with what you're missing or of course go for the big bundle and get the whole lot all together the notch ones on their own are 22.99590018 the glitter card proven to be very very popular absolutely flying out it always does because it is a consumable and you love it and you always come back for more so multi buy on this while you can you get in two packs they're a4 you've got six designs two of each that's 24 sheets in total absolutely fantastic to work with diet cuts like a dream six seven five nine zero six and you must start thinking about checking those baskets out if you're going for the happy hour deal because the time is a ticking let's have a little look at the details again 16 colors you get in total because there's two sets here you've got rainbow and you've got tea time half price today just 12.98 two eight nine three four seven Got about nine minutes left to check those baskets out to get that price and then it will go back up. Shall we have a little look at the website while we're here as well? Because we've got so much more. There's lots of things we've not even mentioned. We've got lots of the counters, but there's definitely more for you to have a look at. We've got the circles there. Look at that, 31 dies in that set for $24.99. Oh my goodness, we've got a duo as well if you want to go for both sets together. That carries a nice saving for you. You've got ovals there. All got five star reviews. Those embossing folders got a nice saving on. Oh, you need your daubers. You've got your stamp cleaning mat, very important. In fact, yes, we've got the kaleidoscope as well. Maybe that's a Christmas present for yourself, or maybe the family's clubbing together. Lots of essentials, more of the glitter card as well. If you want to go for the 12 by 12, that is also there for you. And then, of course, you need that vacuum cleaner, don't you? To clean up all those bits and pieces and your essentials like your paper trimmers. There's a lot there, isn't there, John? <coughs> there is a lot. We've built up a lot on the branch. You certainly year. have. A, a lot of them are essentials. A lot of them are tools that I use day yeah. in, day out. And that's one of the things I love about um, Crafts 2 and working with them. This is my guillotine. Yeah. yeah. This is my little mini guillotine. This has been carried around in my case. You know how I treat my stuff. I'm not the best, am I, at packing? I've at seen you, John. Yeah, I just throw things in. This has been, <laughs> so I've been using this since September 2020. Have you? So this is when we actually launched. I've been using it since well before that. It is such a handy. I like a guillotine, you know. Some people prefer trimmers. I I'm a guillotine. I love yeah. a guillotine. I always say you're either a, you're either a paper trimmer girl or a guillotine yeah. boy, and I'm a guillotine boy. But it's self-sharpened, so this is a, a guillotine guy, a as guillotine Ross has just guy, said. Yeah. Our producer. But you see, that is perfect and pristine, is, still yeah. after all that time, because it self-sharpens. And that's what I love about Crafts Tool, and why we put the tools always on because they all, they're quality. Yeah, And definitely. they work because they're chosen by crafters. And even if you've got a larger guillotine, then that little one, as you say, for carrying around is just such a bonus. Yeah. Well, I it? actually have, to be honest, I carry one, I have two. One that goes in my kit, 
Yeah. One that sits there on my desk at home for anyone's in Craft Cave. Yeah. And I do have a 12 by 12 and that's there. Yeah. But I only go to that one when that won't yeah, quite course. do the job. I even know now to cut a piece of card to seven inches from standard card, I cut a one and a quarter inch strip off it. Ah, so I don't yes. even, if I want a five by seven, I don't yeah. even, I can still use that. Yeah. I don't actually have to go to another one. Oh, remember that measurement, everybody. Yeah, just take an inch and a, basically it's, it's, an in, it's the inch line plus another line. Yeah, job done. Brilliant. So yeah. this is the black frame we did. I'm going to put this onto a piece of card that I've done with the embossing folder, the waves. Again, I'm really getting into that sort of art deco feel. If I hold that oh, there. What have you see. used over that embossing folder, Jan, to get that effect? January the 9th. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what we were talking about earlier. Oh. Yeah. January the 9th. Oh, put it in your diaries. We're not allowed to tell you. No. But you're going to love it. I'm not allowed to tell you, but yeah. Now I've seen it. Now I can see how excited you uh, yeah, are. Why are you so excited? Yes, exactly. Wait till you see the colours. There are 30. <gasps> yeah. So, anyway. Enough sneak peeks, I shouldn't say. January but the I've got 9th. it on my desk, so of course I'm going to use it. So now I go for the gold, but just in the black. That looks nice. And you see how nice that stitch dot looks does, on that gloss it? card. How crisp it looks, because the stitch dot is on both sides. So it's on the cutting and the cut out piece. Got you. So you don't waste it. That's why there's 12 of them in the die sex, so that little bit does, wider. It does show up perfectly, doesn't it? It does. And you would, you would think it wouldn't. And it's because what we do is, on the edges of dies, a lot of companies actually do, and everyone's to their own, yeah. They do a deboss or an emboss line. Yeah. I don't. All of ours have got cut lines. Oh. So these lines, it's almost like when you send them to the factory. Yeah. When you want it to cut, it's got to be in red. If you want it to be a line that presses in a pattern, it's in green. Got you. I make all our patterns in red. Right. So it actually cuts into the card. It cuts through which gives you that crisper line. It really does work, doesn't And it does it? make a difference. This, yeah, oh, no, the boring things I've learned over the last six years, seven years, <laughs> that people would be bored with. So just, you see there, quickly, that fits. Yeah. Lovely. The white is exactly the same. I should have had this pulled off because I didn't realise time was flying. Oh, I know, I we're into the much. last minute. So again, I would put some glue on, but go quickly. Check those but baskets out, everybody. See, there we go. Fits exactly. Doesn't it? Quickly just onto a card perfection. blank, and we are done. But oh. I've made that from scratch. Wow. That, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So sophisticated, so classy. Those colours, I'm with you on those colours, John. The black, the gold, the white together. But look at the perfection and with it those have dyes. A butterfly on it. Oh, it hasn't. we need our little deco butterfly, don't we? We do. Oh, John, very busy hour. You're back at two o'clock. I am. All I'm going to say, everybody, don't wait until then. Check your baskets out now so you don't miss out. Lots more to come. Stay with us. Menu coming up. Oh, the lovely Eunice is back with Jasmine Knight next. And then we're back with Julia with Sentimentally Yours. And then All and Create. Keep it merry. That's Follow with Janet. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific, like our Stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits.
We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. Yes, indeed. A very good morning to you. I hope you're well. The time has just struck 11 o'clock. Well, I never. Where's the morning going to? It's nearly the afternoon already. Uh, and we have got a treat for you at 11 o'clock today. Now, we have it at 7 o'clock this morning, but... We're going to cover. We're going to cover more this hour. I feel so. If you were if you were pondering at seven, I wouldn't ponder any longer. If I was you, we are talking acrylic resin. Now, before we get into all of this, um, the details about inside about everything you get, you get an amazing little starter kit that you've got here. That you get sort of loads in there. You're getting molds in there. You're getting colours thrown in there as well. Uh, you're getting everything you need. It cures. Within 25 to 35 minutes is curing time on this one, which is absolutely phenomenal. It will make things like these from your starter kit. You'll be making five or six coasters, depending on the shapes that you're going for, whether it be the hexagon or the square. Now, you haven't got to worry about that because you get both of the moulds in the kit. But let's squash some of the questions. I've had a lot of questions between 7 a.m. and now saying, OK, Adam, I'm a tad confused slightly. Is it a resin? You call it a resin, but then it's not a resin because it's not clear. Well, let's do all that now. Let's cover all that. Uh, I've got Eunice with me in the studio. How are you, my love? Hello, Adam. I'm very well, thank you. I'm more awake now. But it's always better. <laughs> it's always better. Uh, let's squash some of them, Runa. So what okay. are we talking around here? We're talking about a product that is more akin to a gypsum. Well, it is a gypsum, a plaster, a cement-type product. There is resin involved, but it's an acrylic-based resin um, that has no nasties in it and, as you've already said, cures so super quickly. So within 25 minutes, you take it out, and the feel of it, the product feels like stone. It does. It's got a cornice to it. It's like you've walked along a beach, picked up a pebble, and that's, you know, marble, stone, that kind of feel. No stickiness to the product. So even if you get it on your hands, resin you don't want to get on your hands because nope. it's a nightmare to get rid of that stickiness. And the more you wash your hands, the stickier it gets. With this, it's there's none of that. So it's a, so either it gypsum we're talking about, so it... If you're all, if you're still concerned, going, I don't really. Know. It's a bit like it's a cross between a plaster of Paris, yes, and a and resin. And a resin. And it's in the. It's somewhere in the middle is what we're talking about with this. Exactly. Now it doesn't dry clear. Obviously, you can tell from some of the samples that we've got here. Uh, it's sort of got a white sort of texture, but you can add your own colours into this as well. Now let's see. Let's squash the other rumours as well. So we've got it in some of the moulds and some of the new moulds that we've got on the show. So let's demould. We did these less than half an hour. What time do we have our meeting? Quarter past. So half ten. We put these into the mould. We did indeed. Um, we did. And these are them now. So this is literally you made it, and these are fresh out now. I made it. I can feel the top. When they're setting, they go from liquid, obviously, to hard. They're very hard, and there's a lovely warmth to the surface. So that's your your no, yeah. if you like, that it's ready to come out. Always pull it back from the edge just as a double check, nice and clean. So just tip it over. I've tried something different on this one, so let's have a see. Oh, there we go, a zesty one. I've gone all citrusy on you. I 
like that. Isn't so that half, lovely? And you're telling that me now, is, half hour. It's a bit less than that because by the time I mix the product, I started mixing at half ten. Oh, okay. So 25 minutes And there. that's good to go? That's absolutely good to go. All I would do is sand the edge of the back where it's, you know, you just get that little sharpness. Just sand that back and it's good it's to go. Usable, absolutely. Usable, giftable, sellable. And whilst I was there, I thought I'd do a coaster for you as well. So we'll demold the hexagon coaster, pop that out. Look at that. Ooh. So all I did with this one, I had a bit of fun. I just drizzled it. So I mixed up the orange and yellow and literally went, probably you'll probably be finding it for weeks. I was just using a lollipop like stick it. and flicking it on. Okay, um, so another question that I was asked during the break as well was, so if it's, if it's a mixture between a resin and a plaster, yeah. obviously I can't use my normal resin moulds that I've bought from other brands, like my Zuri moulds or my moulds that I bought from Indigo Blue. Can oh, I use them excellent. with it because it will ruin them? No, it won't ruin them at all. You've seen, let me show you how clean that has come out, other than that little bit there. Look, absolutely spotlessly clean. Use it for everything. Use all your moulds. Okay. I use Zuri moulds. I love the mushroom one. Love the mushroom one. Um, and they're perfect for this because Zuri moulds have a matte finish anyway. Uh, so, yeah, use so this them. Is gonna give Make you a jewellery. This is going to give you a matte finish? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's a, it's a, so there you go. Yeah. So you're talking. So we're not talking a resin, but we're, not talk, we're sort of not talking a plaster. So it's that bit in the middle that you've got there. It's as strong as anything, as we've seen, from what the moulds that I've got mm. on the show. But you can also use your own moulds as well. So mm. maybe you want to make jewellery. Jewelry yeah. is beautiful. I've seen some beautiful necklace made with jasmine light. But they would be because you get the detail, you get the texture with this as well. Now you can add your own colours. Let's go through the bundles to find what you're getting. It will all come in the box for you. And inside the box, you're going to get your main ingredients, which is this one here, which is slightly milky, uh, which is your main one. And then you also get your powder. Mix those up. All comes together. It gives you full instructions on how much you need to mix as well, so you haven't got to worry about that. Uh, that's all done. That's your main elements. Then, so that is your jesmonite that we're looking at there. Then you get your colours. Now, the, the blue, the red, and the yellow, you will get them if you go and buy this bundle elsewhere. I will tell you that for now. But what you won't get is the two extra colours as well thrown in. You won't get the black and you won't get the white. And these are special. These are not just your acrylic paints. These have been made with jessamine in mind. These have been made for a purpose that you're looking at how. You can't just use any other pigments. Yes, you can use your mica powders and things like that. I'm not saying that. But when it comes down to colour, these have been made with this in mind. So you're going to get your white and your black as well. Treat those like your black and white gessos to give you that base, to give you that starting point, to give you that key before you start throwing onto other colours. Then I'll throw in two moulds as well. Fabulous. You're getting hexagon and you're also going to get the square. With the hexagon, you'll be able to make from the set that you've got here six of the coasters that you currently see in front of me. If you go for the square, because they're slightly deeper, you're going to make five and a half. Why would you want half a coaster? Well, that's <laughs> down to you. But you make five coasters is what you will make out of this one. Six out of this one. Then, on top of all that, well, this is all well and good, but I can't, how am I going to watch all this all the way back? Well, you've got a video tutorial. An hour-long video tutorial that you wouldn't normally get if you go for this bundle anywhere else. Now, I'll throw this out there as well. Go and find this bundle anywhere else. It's hard to come by at the moment as well. If you want your starter kit, £29.98 is what you're looking at on the two interest-free flexible payments. 951457 is your item number. This is a cracking little bundle. If you're just starting off in the world of resin, and you want to go down that route, but you think, resin scares me slightly because it's all about mixture, it's all about pouring, it's all about textures, and if you don't get it right, oh, what do I do? And you think, well, don't worry about that. Don't worry. I would say this is the perfect place to start. There's no chemicals in there. It's all your powders and your milky lads. It's safe for children to use as well, it so is. you can now get those involved. It's worth having a little look. Two flexible payments of £29.98 is what you're looking at. 951457 is your item number. Now, I've also got moulds on the show as well. If you like these, I love this mould. This is absolutely, no pun intended. Uh, this is <laughs> absolutely beautiful because I think there's so much scope uh, with this as well uh, that we're looking at on there. Um, 
Why, what would you have in mind when you created this mold? What was it for you that you think, right, I want the whole, I want the heart, but I want that slightly dip look. What did you have in mind to use it for? I had it as jewellery. You take your rings, your watch off at night, next to the bed, pop it on there. Or to put a little bit of incense on top. You could even put a tea light on it if you wanted to. Um, yeah, there's so much possibility with it but initially my thought was it's a really deep heart I, I see lots of molds out there where they're very shallow very thin around the edge this is deep it's substantial it really is it's a deep one that you've got there i think that absolutely beats because what i would also use as i said this morning um you know when you're making uh teas or coffees and you have the spoon or you would make a bolognese and you have your spoon uh, to put your spoon in there uh, maybe you paint it like you can then mm. rest your paintbrush in them so they're not going to drip onto your counter and things like that. There's so many possibilities uh, that you've got with this when you get it home as well. It's absolutely beautiful. How many hearts do you think would make from the starter kit? About five, 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 hearts. five hearts. Yes. I suppose it all depends on how deep you want them. If you you can make them shallower, absolutely. If Don't you only fill want them it to the top. You can see the thickness that you're getting on there. If you do want them slightly thinner, Maybe then go for your Dremel and you're going to start putting um, tube through them and things like that and using them as little hangers and you're going mm. to engrave into them. Absolutely. So I'm guessing we can engrave into them as you well. You can. Yep, you can. So it's worth having a little go. If you've got things like your Dremels and that at home, you could start engraving, which would be absolutely beautiful. How about, would it work, see I've been thinking during the break, <laughs> would it work if we added a scent into the powder themselves? while they were curing, and we left them on top of the radiator, would they give off an odour? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to try. Because you can buy things like that, can't you? You put on radiators uh, that are ceramic, that have a smell to them, and oh, when, really? you heat them, when you heat them up, they oh give off a smell. Oh, my God, that opens up a whole new avenue. Because ceramic is porous, so it, it absorbs the smells uh, that you've already got in there. It's worth giving it a go, though. Uh, it's worth having a little look. I don't know when you would add the scent onto it, um, but I'm guessing they would heat up. So if you put them on top of a radiator and stuff like that, even if you just put your scents in them with a little bit of water, the heat would get there eventually. It's going to start yes. smelling your room. Yes. £24.50, split the cost and two interest-free flexible payments as well if you are going for your starter kit, but if you're going for the heart on its own, remember, you can use it for your resins. Imagine this mould with your resins. With dried flowers on the inside mm. with letters on the inside that you're going to put there you're going to use them maybe for a wedding as table centers that you're going to use them sort of things you can do with it do not close the door with your resins if you've already got them uh, you can use them with that as well 24 pounds and 50 pence 107775 is your item number now you're shopping ahead for the pebble i like this one i like this one a lot as we said this morning you could get quite fashionable with these if you're looking at <laughs> let me take the tea light out of it because uh, they look like small shoes <laughs> i love that <laughs> you imagine going on with your paints if you're really clever but they're so soft <laughs> You could make it into a shoe using the different coloured jasmineites, so just colour them and apply it in the mould, or just do them white and paint them with your acrylic paints. You could have so much fun with that shoe idea. I love you really, it. I absolutely adore them, though. Just look how cute they are. They really, really are. Uh, then you've got the moulds as well. Now, remember, you can make to sell with these. So how many pebbles would I get from my starter About kit? About the same. About five. Five pebbles. About five. So five. Um, five of your pebbles is what you're going to be getting uh, out of these. Like a small avocado. Uh, Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence is what you're looking at on this one. Zero five five four eight five is your item number. Um, absolutely adore it. I think there's, there's something quite fun about them. And if, remember, if you're making to sell for sixteen ninety-five, I reckon yes. set of two you could quite easily sell for that. Mm. Easily. 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 A little crafting markets, little crafting fairs, uh, sixteen ninety five for the two. That's how I would tell them. They would you, fly you at that price. They would fly out. I'd absolutely adore them. So you're going to make your money back quite quick. Zero five five four eight five is your item number. Uh, from there, also has been busy. Is busy B. B pot. <laughs> I like the little B pot because it's more or less a two in one. It makes it look like you're cleverer than you actually are. For the sheer fact, if you look at any of the pots that you've got here, I'm going to pick one up. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. If we look at the pot itself, the pot is beautiful. Absolutely stunning is what the pot. That's what you're creating. Then flip that, and then it looks like you've uh, sort of enameled the bee on separately. So you know when we do our paws and we have the tiny little animals, and then we have to stick them on and we have to make sure it's all cured? This is already in 
the mold. How beautiful is this for a little plant pot that you've got? Maybe you've got little succulents. Maybe you're going to pop your little succulents into there. Maybe you're going to pop them on, uh, do a little set of them and have them in the kitchen. They would, look, they would look beautiful, maybe around the garden once again with a little tea light in, down a driveway, somewhere like that. So they would be stunning. You could block the hole. Um, we were saying in the earlier show that they do come with this little bit here. So it's got drainage as a plant pot. But if you wanted to go down the other route, when you fill it to the top, that is covered. You pop that through if you want it as a plant pot. But you could put a candle. If you're into making candles... You oh. could put a candle with a wick yes. and sell your candles in a bee pot. That would be good. See? See? Open up another, opens up another door. So you could turn these into little candle holders with the wick coming out and then you light them and then you have the pot left at the end Yeah. that you could use for something else. Yeah, a little bee wax candle, that would be worth a fortune. You could, once again, candles, 28.95, you did a set of three for that. They would fly <laughs> off the shelves. 050407 is your item number for your uh, bee pot silicon mount uh, that we're looking at, a mould even, not mount, uh, that we're looking in there as well. Busy for these, very, very busy. New today as well. Uh, your moon face is also very, very busy. This is your incense holder that we're looking at now. Uh, once again, you get the mould in there and it has got the little knobble on it. So that does create the little hole to put your incense stick in. So you haven't even got to worry about piercing this anymore. All the moulds do it all for you. But then, just look at the arrays of colours that you can make. With that star skit, remember you're getting primary colours. You're getting your red, you're getting your yellow, you're getting your blue. They're you all mixed make... from those colours. Everything you see there is mixed from the primary colours. I adore it. Now, the metallics, you can go for the micas that I've got on the show as well. So we can go for the micas, so you can put micas into your mould, like Catherine shows us to. Or you can add it to your paste as well, and we'll cover all that during the hour. Do not worry about that. But if you want to go for your incense holders, £16.49, 200 048 is your item number uh, for this one. I like the one down the front, like this one. Just now... I don't want to spoil any surprise. I don't want to be a spoiler alert <laughs> if you're wondering how we do this. Those little fragments that you see in there are technically waste. Oh, yeah. It's the bits you'd normally throw away. That's what, you know, when your pot goes hard and then you sort of crumble it all up and you throw it in the bin? That's them. Because when this dries, it dries like ceramic. It dries rock hard and we'll cover it all out the hour. Do not fear about that. 50% uh, of Moonface now has already <laughs> gone. I think I knew a kid at school called that. <laughs> I've really got a pot fun. here that's gone crispy. If you want to show yeah, how look, clean we'll it go is, with you. If you show how it's little show it's one. waste you get. So you can see, I've got most of it out, but there's still quite a bit of residue. I'm Because I use these lovely silicon cups. Whoops, it's gone all over the counter. I crunch it up and I'll just bring it over so you okay, can see. You. Here's my mix of multicolours and I'll just pop that in and that's done so a little washing up no waste every bit of jesmonite used you see don't waste a single bit of jesmonite that you've got there uh, moon face is very very busy that I love to know uh, <laughs> 16 pounds and 49 pence for our little moon face at uh, 200 048 is your item number and then I like this I like this next one soap back in trend not that it ever went out of trend. I know that sounds weird. <laughs> that, that, what, you've only just started using soap again? No, but soap sort of went out because we used gels and things like that, didn't we? We used body lotions and potions and things. But people are going all eager now. They're going back to soap on a rope, as it is, because we don't want the plastic bottles that you've got in there. So, uh, we all remember back in the day when you used to have, at Christmas time, you used to get the bar of soap with the little label on and you use that soap until you were just cleaning yourself with a label. Just a little <laughs> tiny label. You'd all have a little go with the imperial leather that you've got. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Those um, were the days. <laughs> there would be. Oh, I'd love it. Absolutely love it. It'd be all lava and then it goes to that little bit and you just squidge it in your hand. Uh, but you can do that with this because soap is on the trend again. I have a bar of soap. This is just me. I have a bar, one bar. That's all I have. One bar. No one's allowed to use it because it's just for show. It's just my show soap. 
goes next to my show towel. <laughs> no one is allowed to use a towel. It's just for show. Um, and if anyone does, by Jove, they get a wrap. Uh, so, you're getting the full mould, is what you're getting. Molly used it the other day. I had to throw it in the bin and buy another one. Because uh, it had all soap and bubbles on. Didn't look right. Just looked a mess. But now you can create your... Anyway, where was I getting to this? Soap issues is where I'll get into. They can be expensive. If you go to that Swedish store to buy yourself a little soap dish that matches with the bin and the soap dispenser, can you tell? Um, I, uh, it would cost me a fortune. It did cost a fair whack. But you can make your own and you can change them to your room. So you could have one in the bathroom if your bathroom's yellow. You could have one in the kitchen if it's sort of a mottled blue. You could have one in the downstairs blue. You can have one wherever you want to do. And on top of that, imagine making a soap holder out of soap. Make your own soaps because oh. they're moulds. So the whole thing would be a soap. <laughs> Genius. £24. Look out for my Etsy shop soon. £24.95 <laughs> is what you're looking for on this one. Uh, 9034544 is your item number. Clean your hand with the actual soap. Genius. No one would ever use it. Uh, 903455 is your number. Right then, let's see how this all goes together. If you've got any questions this hour as well, email me in studio at thecraftstore.com. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go. Uh, right then, let's go over to Demo Corner. <laughs> let's do that. Okay, so to start off, you need a set of kitchen scowls. Okay, we need kitchen scowls so that we can be sure that we've got the right amount. And it's one part liquid to two and a half parts of the gypsum. And you will also get, because I love you all so much, you will get an easy guide that I'm going to put with every order. So you can see how much liquid, therefore, I know we can all times buy two and a half, but sometimes I struggle, you know. <laughs> so you measure your liquid and then you add your powder. Now, one thing I didn't say on this morning's show is if you're using the colours just as they come, to squeeze a couple of drops in they're very very pigmented you won't need a lot if you want to mix a color so you want to make a green I'm gonna make green um, for this demo a good thing to do to give you more time because we've only got 25 to 30 minutes to work with the product is that you mix it in the liquid first when you're mixing okay do your mixology first and then add your powder okay so just... we always add the powder second yes we never had the pack. We never take the liquid. Really, it just. Uh, no, I'd always do okay, it that that's way. Good yeah. to, no, it's I've good never to done know. it the other way. <laughs> it's good to know these things. So now I've, whilst um, Adam was talking, I've mixed up enough to do. I want to show you the bee pot, the wonderful bee pot, um, and I'm going to do it in green. Now I just said if you're mixing colours, do it in the liquid, but I'm quite used to it. So, and I mix colours all day. That's what I do. If you want the mixy sticks as well, they're the end of cool. So I'm going to pop, pop in some yellow. Ooh. I want it more yellow than blue. I want a nice zit citrusy, greeny colour. Let's see what we get. Let's have fun here and mix those two together. Now, one tip for you. If you're looking for an earthy green rather than a bright green, we'll add a bit of red to it. Add a bit of red and that will take you to a more natural, you know, sort of you'd see in the real world. This is quite bright. Can you see it there? Yeah, you got it. It is very green. It's very green. I'm going to put a tiny bit of red in. Woo! One drop. One drop is enough. And you'll see that change to a more sagey, earthy green. The bright green's nice. I just fancied something a bit earthy. Let's hit that forward to camera one for me. There we go. Look at that. There you go. Luscious. Yeah. It's lovely. It's like a mushy pea green. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I had a bad experience with mushy peas recently in a restaurant that served it as something that it wasn't. Very expensive. Oh, you can't, you mushy can't, peas. You can't do this with me. Uh, what do you mean? A bad experience with mushy peas? I ordered a pasta dish that sounded really fresh and inviting, and it turned up with pasta basically in mushy peas. Yeah, it wasn't Sounds good. Delightful. <laughs> 
It's yep. all right if you're at home on the sofa. True, but right. when you're in a restaurant and you're paying a, a good yeah, price. Yeah, but I'm going to add some mica powder. Let's let's go mad here with this one. So I want my B to be gold against the green. I think that'll be a lovely combination. So this is why I've got mica pigment on the show. And this is one of the ways I use it with jesmonite. When I first found jesmonite, I didn't think you could get bling. And I love a bit of bling in my life. So here we go. Just take that mica pigment and really make sure it's well coated and get rid of any excess. <sighs> okay, get rid of any okay. dust. There we go. Nice, neat little bee. There's a bit around the edge. Okay, don't worry about that because you'll see when we come to finishing it, we'll just sand that off. And I'm going to pop that back in the right way. And then simply, I was going to do a dripping honey one, but I changed my mind last minute. The tip, the one of the tricks is, guys, when you're pouring your jesmonite, anything that you're mixing two parts, you're going to introduce air into. So you've got this batter now. We've got mushy pea batter <laughs> that we're pouring into our pot mould. Halfway, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to bounce my mould up and down. Just make sure I'm popping bubbles so the height is going to reduce bubbles and bouncing it's going to make them come to the surface. So unlike epoxy, we're not using epoxy resin, we're not going to be introducing a heat gun. We don't need that. They will just burst on their own. Wow, mushy pea pot. Oh, look All at the that. trend. <laughs> Reminds me of my little one was a baby. There we go. Now that's just going to sit. Just move it to one side and leave it alone. Don't touch it. Wait, you'll see the shine will disappear. And, that's, and then it's done. And then at 15 minutes the shine will go. It will start warming up. You'll feel a slight heat. And then in 25 minutes we'll be popping it out before we close. Oh, look, you can see the bubbles Mushy pea. slowly rising. I love this. So that's going to be that beautiful green with the gold with the bee gold. on the side. Yeah, it's like really dragon's, dragon's gold, I think they call it. The goldy green. So um, We yeah. are busy, busy, busy is what we are. Let me give you the details for the starter kit. Once again, 951457 is your item number. £29.98 and pence across two interest-free, flexible payments. So everything's going to come in your pot or it's going to come in your box. Uh, you're going to get all the powders that you need. You're going to get two moulds thrown in so you can start straight away. You've seen the amount of colour that you actually need uh, to get going uh, with this one as well. So these are going to last you an awful long time, uh, the colours. You're getting your three primary colours, your blue, your red and your yellow. But we're also going to throw in a black and a white as well. So if you do want that beautiful white, uh, you can get that sort of that base coat that you've got in there. Or you can just go sort of natural and nude if you want to do. And you can paint it once it comes out. Uh, you can do it that way. £29.98 cost two interest-free flexible payments. 951457 is your item number. If you want to bling yours up though, we've got some mica on the show. Uh, you're getting all three colorways of the mica that you've got here. So you've got your silver, you've got your gold, you've got your bronze, and you're also going to get your sealer. Mm. Now what do I do with my sealer? Your sealer is there to protect. So if you want to use your trinket dish as a coaster for your coffee, you don't want to get a coffee stain because the coffee stain will you know, it's a porous material. It's just like stone. It would stain. So you just use your sealer to protect it against spills on your coaster. And you would apply it to the first coat just half and half with water. Just brush it on with a very soft brush or sponge. Let that dry for five minutes okay. and give it a top coat. Then it can be used anything. Anywhere. Yeah. It's uh, not so going to stain. So I'm guessing as well, so we, oh, so we water it down, we don't use it neat. We water it down the first coat, second coat you put it on neat. So there you go, so it's going to last you a while, and for 13 49 you may want to stock up on that as well, if your sealer set and your mica powders, oh, 971. You, you can open. also use the sealer for another purpose. So you can use it with the mica if you want more of a bling. And we have some um, little trinket dishes, they're the hearts that have had mica in. That one was just silver on red. I did at the end of the last show. And it's a very gentle dusting of the silver. If you wanted it stronger, we'll just mix the sealer with the silver mica and paint it on. Oh, that so one. that one's had the gold. You um, can see it's mica look. You can see on the side. Yeah, you can uh, see the it sparkle. it does have a very good coverage. Just Look depends on if you want it subtle or you want more of a bling. If you want more of a bling, use the sealer, make a paint with your mica pigment, 
and uh, adorn as you want. I like these. I like these a lot. There you go, Hole. You can have my heart. <laughs> have it anytime. Uh, but something else that's busy on the show is our pebble. Now, obviously, your pebble, 70% of the pebble has already gone. Now, obviously, you don't get your candle, but that's what it's going to look like uh, once it's popped out. But 70% of your pebble now has all ready gone it's worth having a little look if you want the pebble right then let's go for more demos what are you up to this time we're gonna do the soap dish i think oh, lovely. we'll do the soap dish um and we'll throw in an incense face as well i've got enough to do both so in this instance i know that both of them need 120 grams of the liquid and i've already weighed out my powder if i can get the lid off the pot that would be great so I've got three, um, what was that? It's on my lid, look, I'm so good. 120, that's 240 and then 60, yeah? 300, we can do our maths. Okay. We just prefer not to. <laughs> so I'm just taking that powder in. Now this one, we're going to do terrazzo, which we've alluded to, alluded, I like that word, we've alluded to earlier. Terrazzo. Uh, terrazzo style. Terrazzo. So that's oh. like when you go into a posh, um, you get in your new kitchen, you're looking at all the work surfaces, you see those marbles with the broken up bits in, um, and what we just did earlier with our bits. So here's some I made earlier, Blue Peter style. Is that the actual name for terrazzo? Is that what terrazzo it is? It is, it's bits broken of up, yeah, where they've got smashed up bits of marble. So. You've made you my can, very happy. <laughs> you can use your leftover bits in your cup. So if you really want to make lots of a colour, just spread it like icing on a bit of acetate or something, anything, and yeah, you know, old carrier bag, um, and let it dry, and then smush it. That's why I like to use it on paper. Apparently, a terrazzo floor is the most expensive floor that you can have. Wow, imagine doing a floor in Jesmond. It's more expensive than marble and granite, a terrazzo floor. Oh, how interesting. Now we're learning. You don't get well, this on other craft channels. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Just so your viewers know the history of Jesmonite, it's actually got... come from the building industry. Okay. So that, ooh, I need a little bit more liquid because I've just splushed it. Yeah, they actually, they are, look it up, Google it or whatever other. Ask Jeeves, Amazon, <laughs> Ask Jeeves. all of those. <laughs> Yahoo. Yahoo, Yahoo it. And you'll see that there's houses, big mansions made of jesmonite. Slightly different one to this. It does come in different types. Um, say, landscape it? gardening. With the jesmonite. strength of, with jesmonite. Yeah, it's amazing. It is a sturdy little product, though, oh, I feel. It's hard to break. I was watching a YouTube video yesterday, um, and a company that the company that uh, distributes jesmonite do lots of these funny videos and they were trying to break a soap dish dropping it from a flight of stairs in, an, in their office and finally they got it they did get it onto a stone floor from two floors up and it broke but just dropping it off of here it's unlikely don't do it <laughs> don't worry <laughs> i know i live break. i know i live on the edge <laughs> but okay half. soap just dish i'm going to show you how to do a nice well, swirly pattern <laughs> Um, I'm just going to have half of this, one colour and half another. How are we doing for time? Are we okay? Uh, uh, we, we've got ages. Have we've got we? still about half hour. Oh, good. So I'm popping quite a bit of white in there. Yes. And... So the white gives me a, like a white base, doesn't it? The white gives me like a gesso it white. It does, me back yes. To, not if the I used colour. it naturally, it's like oat. That's a good Oh, okay. I'll try to see if I've got any natural. I tend to make everything white. <laughs> no, it's all right. I was just trying to look if we have got any. I don't think we have. Oh. Is, that, is that white? That's, that's white. That's white. Yeah, that's, that's white. white. I've added white that's to fine. that one. So I've got my white. Mix so that when in. cured, it is waterproof and weatherproof? Um, yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Um, better with the sealer. If you're going to put something out in the garden, definitely use the sealer to protect it. Um, and I'll just steal the black from this sample. We're going to do grey. Very popular colour at the moment. In, and Jesmonite's in all the home magazines. If any of your viewers like flicking through home magazines, so they're full of Jesmonite. It's become so popular, last year particularly. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of black in there. Two, three drops. Mix that in. So just judge it, you know, just see. You've got in your head what colour you want to make, how dark you want it to go. Now that's fairly light. It's a nice light grey. 
Lavender's nice. I like <gasps> These that. would be nice. Thinking. I'm thinking. Here we go. Here we go. So go for your jasmine because it gives you that lip, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got that beautiful lip. Then press flowers, a little photo, a little bit of rice paper, then go over the top with your clear resin. Absolutely. There's a lot of people mixing the two mediums. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought I was being creative. <laughs> Catch on. Okay. Here we go then. I'm very quickly going to add Micah in this one as well. Can you use gilding? We've had an email in. Catherine oh. from Birkin on Trent has asked, can you use gilding flakes on it? Yes, you absolutely can. And uh, gold leaf. Oh. Um, I didn't bring it with me. I, ha I have a pebble tea light, which is my favourite, in turquoise with gold leaf in. Gold leaf? Beautiful. Beautiful. Someone's doing all right. <laughs> yeah, who got? There's me with my gilding flakes. <laughs> Gold leaf over here. And use any of your metallic pens and paints on them afterwards as well. So we've got a gold face. We've got a gold moon face. So here we go. Moon face. 70% of moon face is now already gone. 70% of 70% uh, of the stock has already gone. Oh, here we go. Look with the, Here like, we go. Like We're going to do the kiss. So a couple of ways to do your swirly patterns. Try and get them to come mm. to the point at the same time and kind of pour one into the other from a height remember so it pops bubble oh that's so pretty isn't it just fabulous to watch it is it sad it is it's <laughs> quite sad. satisfying oh it. wow look at that settling now that's gorgeous and that's going to be the back of your soap mold so you've got that little surprise when you take it out what's it going to look like now i've got some gray left to pop over my moon face Actually, I'm going to make that darker because the gold's really going to pop. More black in there. And my stick. Um, I forgot to say the stick that you saw me using, the blue one, yep. is a paint stirrer. And if people are shopping, they might get a little pop-up message saying, do you want to add your basket? No need to as such, but when you're doing larger quantities particularly, it really very quickly, rather than just using your um, tongue display, presses or lollipop sticks to use that it disperses the lumps quicker like making your batter at home and that really is the consistency so from a height and it goes when are we adding the bits when are we adding the bits oh i was adding bits wasn't i oh, oh adam you're gonna have to fire me <laughs> We can do another one. Do oh, another one? well, let's do, let's do another one very quickly. Let's add bits. Do you want to tidy up a minute and I'll do a recap? Yeah, do a recap and we'll add bits. Uh, right then. <laughs> uh, very, very busy is what I thought. Like. Where'd she add the bits? Uh, £59.95. I didn't want to chip in just in case. Uh, £59.95. pence. Really good value for money is what you're talking about here. You are going to get uh, six of the hexagons uh, coasters made out of these. And you're also going to get... Uh, five and a half of the squares is what you're looking. They come with that beautiful lip as well that you're getting in there. So there is that stunning little lip uh, that you've got. I absolutely adore them. I really, really do. Uh, you could have, you could flip them over though and have them like a little uh, plant pot stand if you wanted. So you could uh, have, yeah, like a little tray that you've got there. So you could, if we went for... So like little plant pot stands and things like that. So you could, they would look absolutely uh, beautiful. They really, really would look stunning. Uh, but really, you can use them as a tray, but you could use them as the tray that way because once they're weatherproof, maybe they're going to catch the water uh, from your plants and stuff uh, that you've got going on in your succulents. Because you don't, maybe you've got a wooden table and you don't want to mark your table, but a coaster... It would uh, be beautiful on top. It would sit lovely on it. And the £29.98 is what you're looking at. You get your colours as well. Uh, you're also getting an added bonus of your black and your white. And you also get that hours tutorial online that you can watch back time and time again. Uh, yours, it'll all come in a bucket so you can all pack it away. Do not fear about that. 951457 is your item number. Jump to the website. The levels have got new moulds. The new B mould is on the website. The soap mould is on the website. The heart dish silicon mould is also there. You've also got your um, shine and shimmers on there. You've also got your pebble tea light uh, mould that's on there as well, which I think I like the pebble tea lights. I think they'd be nice giftables uh, for people uh, that you've got. So it's worth having a little look at the website. If I was you, there's all options uh, that you can choose from. And if you're into your incense, into your incense, it's worth having a little look at Moonface. 
uh, 16 pounds and 49 pence of your little moon face that you've got there. Right then, let's go back uh, for back. more demos. We're what are you back. up to? We're back. I'm measuring out my liquid. We're going to do the heart, and we're going to do the heart's going to. I love the heart in the terrazzo style. So I've got 50 grams of the liquid and 125 of the gypsum. So everything that's comes. Gonna you've, go you've done all the measuring out for I us, have. haven't you? There's you've nothing been... worse than getting a mould and trying to you know, guess and fill it with water and try and work out the volume and all that stuff. So that's all on a little sheet for you. So you know which mould you're going for, how much you need and away you go. I want you making as quickly as you can, you know, just get it out of the box to start. So here we go, mixing that to a nice batter. I am making a mess today. Messy crafter. Here we go. So with this stick, it really does disperse the lumps very quickly you can also use it for your Yorkshire puddings I wouldn't use the same <laughs> stick I am going to stress this now do not use the same stick uh, not for least your about cleaning it. Um, or for your uh, your your humor. don't don't just don't do it okay so we're going to put chips in I'm going to go for my white background again do you want me to just do it out no we're not going to demold this one anyway in time but I have another one I can well, show you 20 minutes Okay. I don't know. I don't, I'm, you're the expert. It felt like the last show went so quickly. Well, it does. We haven't got that long left. A moon face, though. How much, Meg, now, moon face? Three quarters of my little moon face oh. now has already gone. So three quarters of the stock of your moon face now has already gone. Uh, I absolutely love them. £16.49 and pence is what you're looking at. Should we do a Christmas one? Oh, let's do Christmas. Let's do Christmas. Let's do Christmas Let's hearts. do Christmas. Christmas heart. So I've got some chips from my leftovers. I'll pop that in the middle there. And I put about a third of volume in. So I eye it. I don't weigh it. Um, I know that I want a really chunky porridge. You know, or probably more of muesli. Okay. <laughs> and more of you can bread, overdo bread. it. You can put too much in. What happens if you put too much in? Um, it will still set, but you might have holes where the jesmonite, the liquid jesmonite, hasn't been able to travel around all the bits and bobs. So would you say jesmonite is sort of the way to go if, if I'm into my sort of my model railways and my scene building, if I've got <gasps> moulds and things like that that I want to create like boulders or Oh, it would be perfect, or... wouldn't it? Absolutely perfect. There we go. So we have our muesli mix, brightly coloured, into our heart. Now, what you should do, and because... Um, I forgot I was doing terrazzo and started doing swirls. Um, you should reduce the amount by how much chips you're putting in. Um, but just find another mould and pour, because you're going to make more, aren't you? You're adding volume. So uh, there we go. It's nice and lumpy. Now I want those lumps to sit down, so I'm just going to tap that mould. Let them sit down. Don't worry, we're gonna, I'll show you how we sand and finish as well. So if we are a bit lumpy on our back, we, do, we don't worry about don't it. Don't worry can sand about it. it. We can sand that off, yeah. Well, there we go. Right then, we will let all these cure. I'm going to give you a quick recap, and then we're going to do some demoulding. Uh, right then, let's give you the recap on starter kit once again. We are loving the starter kit this hour, uh, because you get a bit of everything. It's like you can try everything before you ever go into any mould. You're going to get two moulds included in this as well. Uh, it all comes in the box. You're going to get all the colours. You don't normally get the white and the black, and you won't get the hours tutorial if you get it from anywhere else. Uh, but trying to find it anywhere else is quite difficult at the moment. 951457 is your item number. Remember, it's toxic-free that you've got in there as well, so it is safe for children to use. Uh, so if you want to do it with the children, uh, it's really easy uh, to do that as well. Maybe you're going to go little. Remember advent calendars? You know, when you get your little chocolates in your advent calendars, it leaves that little cast? Well, just pour some into there. So then you've got 24 little ones that they can do, and then the kids can paint them and things like that. Because this sort of reminds me of, you know, the, um, the silicon moulds that you used, to, you used to roll out as kids and you used to pour them in. They used to be like rock hard. They're sort of, they're, they're sort of like those that you could do with these and get the kids involved. £29, and I had a set of Ninja Turtles, I think. £29.98 uh, on that subject. 951457 is your item number, and then you can make this. This is, what you could, this is what your house could look like. Uh, if you want to go hearts, though, if you want to go all the hearts, loving the hearts, I love these ones. Absolutely love 
thing, <coughs> things like this. I'm just getting excited. I'm just getting excited. I'm fine. Uh, so you've got the hearts that's in there. Uh, imagine popping your little spoon in there, engraving a loved one's name into there. Uh, that you could do. Uh, but uh, I love just the different looks that you get. I'm thinking a bit of scented water, popping it on the top of a radiator to give your home that beautiful smell uh, that you've got. If you make it quite thin as well, the heat would travel through quite quickly. Uh, if you had it uh, resting on the top of a radiator, uh, it would look stunning. For £24.50 is what you're looking at for this one. Then maybe you want to go for your pebble, your little tea light holder. Three quarters of the stock of your pebble now has already gone. £16.95, 055485 is your item number uh, for your little pebble tea light. Now, it doesn't come with the pebbles. You are just going to get the mould down the front. But it does show you these are the bigger burning uh, candles as well. So these are... So your normal four hour will sit nice and flush with the top. It is worth knowing that your chunky ones fit in there as well. £16.95, 055485 is your item number. Uh, our bee pot's been busy. You're, oh, I can't speak to uh, You're loving 70%, 70% of me bee pot now is already gone. £28.95 uh, is what you're looking at on this one. So you are going to get the mould, and the mould has got the B uh, on the inside. Okay, so I don't know if I don't know if you can see. I try not to scratch my arm on these plants. Uh, the B is just there. Look, so there, there's your B. There is your B that you're looking at. So it's really sturdy. So you're not going to break these moulds, are you? Not. You'll use them hundreds of times. So it's worth having. Uh, a little look at the moulds. I like all this. They're handmade. The moulds are handmade. I make them. I degas them. I've got a chamber that takes all the air out of the silicone. So it, it's a marvellous thing to see. It bubbles up like lava to the top of the pot and then sinks back down. Oh, and then oh. you're ready to pour it to make your moulds. How many bee pots would I make for my starter kit? Um, five again. It does, it, it's surprisingly little in the bee pot oh, because really? you've got that big plug in the middle so it's about the same as a tea light not much difference in them at all well, the I'm... only one that's hungrier really for the jasmine light is the soap dish because it's a well, substantial never. amount i would have thought it would be more uh, so you can make five of these from that starter kit as well 28 pounds 95 pence and if you're going for that and start a kit you can split that cost onto two interest free flexible payments zero five zero four zero seven is your item number uh, moon face <laughs> 80% of Moonface has now already gone. Uh, love Moonface because look how well it can all work together. Yeah. It all works together so, so well. Um, very busy for little Moonface now. So if you do want uh, little Moonface, you better get your hands on him now. Uh, he is a beautiful incense holder, £16 and 49 pence. Once again, make to sell with all of these if I was you, 200 048. And then last but no means least, is your soap dish uh, that we're looking at that you can have an entire set like a carnival uh, that's in there on all of these love them all a full set uh, that you've made out you're also going to get the soap dish that's in there and look how much you can make uh, from these four soap dishes Four soap dishes. I'm learning quick. Four soap dishes is what you can create. £24.95. 903544 is your item number. Remember, your starter kit is on flexible payments. But if you're going for more than, I would say, more than three moulds, that would also split the cost because we over that £60 mark. So you could split the cost onto interest-free flexible payments. Don't believe me? Here's our Catherine to tell you more. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. 
Yes, indeed, we are busy. Right then, if the proof is in the pudding, as they say, I'm going to throw it out now. There's been no camera trickery over the last course of the last 47 minutes. Everything you're about to see, um, we are going to demold live. So everything yeah. that we poured, we're going to try and demold live now towards the end of the hour. Let's go back to our B pot, first of all, where we gilded our little gold B. We did. We're going to bring our green and gold B to life. So with the pot moulds, the best way to demold them, obviously check first. It should have warmed up and start to cool down. That's the perfect time to take it out. And if you peel back, you'll make sure the edges are coming away cleanly. Okay. Then you're good to go. So just put your hands on the side of the mould. Don't worry, it's not going to tear or break. And push back. So you just roll it back down. Oh, it's turning around so you can see oh. the bee. This is a nice combination. This is going in my store. This one looks good. <laughs> there we go. What do you mean your Sim store? Are you going to sell this one? Oh, yeah. You can charge another 10 quid. It's Look at selling. that. Absolutely. Look oh, at the that's mica. Beautiful. Who would not want to make one of these? Seriously, just gorgeous. That doesn't need any more mica pigment, in my opinion. It's subtle, it's nice, That's it's good. a really good look. Now this, um, just to mention the plant pot mold, it's natural as you take it out as it is, has like a cement like feel that's a texture that's in the mold if you want it smooth and silky and shine more of a you know smooth tactile touch then just sand it and take the bobbleness off i think all the ones over there have been sanded but this one is just i love it i absolutely adore in that one okay just before you Sorry. move on your moon face is now limited stock Moonface <laughs> is now limited stock. Obviously, that's what yours going to look like. Uh, but we are now green on screen. So check out your baskets if you've got Moonface. I'm go not surprised. That is my top selling finished item that I sell. I've got another bee pot here. This was the one we made on the last show. So I'm going to take this. This one's got chips in it. Okay. Okay. We put multicolored chips in this. You can't see them. It's really disappointing. You take it out and there's a shadow of what you was expecting. So don't worry. I also offer sandpaper. It's another end of show. The end of call. You'll end find them call. on the end of call. Um, so all you want to do, best to use wet and dry sandpaper. Um, if you use normal sandpaper, you're going to create dust. It's fine, but you're going to create dust and mess. Wet and dry, I've found, is quicker, cleaner, and you're just going to give that a nice, gentle sanding. And what we're doing is taking off that top layer and revealing the chips. They'll start to make themselves known. Take about 10 minutes to thoroughly um, bring this one to life. We did another one in the show earlier, um, Adam, with green in it, yeah, which is now on the display. But I finished sanding back in the break. Oh yeah, um, it was. Uh, it's white with green in it. This one, I think. No, <laughs> it's got a green base. Look at its bottom. Yay! Between there we the go. Two of us. Oh, between the two. <laughs> uh, there's green bottom. Uh, but this is the one that's now been sanded back. Look at this. That's how it comes when you sand it back. It just B takes a bit of elbow grease. You've got to work at it, but it's worth it for that beauty. The B part is now limited stock. If you want your B part, it is now limited stock. Okay, so if you want it getting quick, and you can go from this to this to this. <laughs> beautiful. Imagine uh, them on your windowsill with your herbs in. Oh, they would be beautiful. Sorry, Hal. Okay. And then the pebble mould I'm hearing. Limited stock on pebble. I'm now limited. Moonface sold out. Pebble, I'm limited stock. B, I'm limited stock. I ain't got much left, to be honest. Oh, look at that. I can't remember. You didn't say. Oh. It's All coming through. In so you, yeah, it is. I do, I do love the multicolours. It's my thing at the moment. I love this. It's such love fun. Love this. And it's actually quite relaxing to do. If you just sat there, you have finished taking all your moulds off, you just sit there and stand them back and watch what's going to be revealed. It's just stunning. And I think we might be ready to take some more out of the moulds oh, as well. Let's do it because we've only got. Oh, how um, are we doing? We've got a less than four minutes. Oh. Okay. See, time just there. We go. So pop that to one side, get rid of my water. Moonface has been sold out now, Moonface has now gone. Oh, has he? 
Noon Beautiful. Gone. That's warm. So this was the um, soap dish. Single figures now on the pebble. Single figures also on Peel the... Peel back from the side. Bee pot. Pop it out. Oh, look at that. That was so That's good. really classy, isn't it? I got poured 15, 20 minutes ago we poured that. So quick. It's beautiful. Beautifully warm. I'll you pop it there and you can pick it up, Adam, and feel the warmth. This one's still fairly hot. Oh, you let's can see. as well. What order did I do them in? <laughs> I've forgotten. Okay, let's risk it for a biscuit. Oh, let's go back to demolding. We're going back. We're doing another one. Nice. I'm hoping I'm taking a little bit of a risk with this one, I think. What happens if we do take it out too early? It could crack. If you put pressure on it as you're demolding, I'm being extra gentle. Can you see? I'm just being careful. Oh, I can see. Here we go. We're fine. Oh, gold moon face. If you haven't checked out, I think you better hurry. <laughs> well, he's sold out. He's already gone. Oh, has he Don't gone? Bother. Check out everything else, though, but moon face has now, now gone. Look at that mica, Adam. Look. That's just dusting it in. Now, I would. it's up to you. You can leave the edges with that sprinkling on, or you can sand them back to the dark grey. Totally your choice. Beautiful. Look at that, it looks like it's painted on. It does look like it's painted on. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I just thought as well, if you have got moon face, sparklers. Pop a sparkle in, light them. Just saying. <laughs> On a little table, you know, a cake in the middle. Look cute. Save your old them. Uh, what else? Uh, anything else to demold? Um, the heart. Is but, he ready? Mm. Go on, don't yeah. break the art. No, this is a strong, you know, I have more confidence in this than the moon face. Okay. Purely because it's so thick. So it's unlikely. Oh, there we go. It's out. Oh. And again, that's the Christmas one, isn't it? Quickly, quickly, quickly. We've got time. Quickly sand it. Let's see the we Christmas got like sparkle. Two Put this on your Christmas table. This is not with a little, with a little, little, little mint on. Give it as a gift, you know. Ooh. Wedding favours. I did a, I did a christening favour in the pebbles for somebody, um, which went down really well. They would be nice favors. on the centre of the table. If you had those on the centre of the table, they would be one of those gifts that you wouldn't find at the end of the night. Yes. You know the one they're all that fighting also... over who's going to take the table decorations home. That's Here we go. Oh, uh, my producer had an idea. This one's always good. It could be a little bird bath. A tiny bird bath. Are we ready? Oh, God. Uh, look at this. How quick was that? <laughs> That's not, it's quite elfish. It is. It's quite elf I love on the it. shelf. That would be a beautiful if you are a little baby bird. Yeah, you could screw into look, that and drink. hang it, couldn't you? Like you, you could, said then you could wear it with a, I'm thinking a bit of a jupe or something like that. A big necklace. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, but I think, I think it'd be really, really nice. I think it'd be absolutely beautiful uh, that we're looking at on here. Leave it, Meg. It won't make a bird bath. Uh, £59.95 is what you're looking at. I'm not going to use it as editorial. Uh, £59.95. 951-457 is your item number. She's still chirping on about it. Uh, <laughs> £29.98 is what you're looking at for your beginner's kit. You're getting the colours, you're getting your black, and you're getting your white. I've only got 40 seconds left. Uh, thank you, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. It was great so fun. Much, great so, fun. so much this hour. Um, again, Enjoy. it's not a resin and it's not a plaster. It's somewhere in the middle, but it's a good starting point if I was you. Start checking out your baskets. Uh, Baby Moonface has now already gone, and some things are super limited stock right then don't you go anywhere you remember for all the hints and tips you can watch these shows back on rewind for the next 60 days after 30 minutes after the show has come off air but start checking out your baskets and don't go anywhere there's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of the craft store the craft shop that never ever shuts see you in an hour Yes, indeed. Talking about the little moon faces, our Julia Watts is up next with Sentimentally Yours. She's in. And then it's all in Create. You don't want to miss it. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. 
We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Hello, a very good afternoon. Yes, I can say good afternoon now. I was saying good afternoon this morning, Julia. That's what I was doing earlier. Yes, the... I know, I know. But we're here, and what a, what a good excuse to get up, to come and see you. Oh, bless. It's your charmer, given what I said about her earlier. Yes, I know. I shouldn't be nice to you, should I? Uh, yes, I will take it back now. Uh, the second live hour of our one-day special, and what a beauty it is as well. Absolutely wonderful. You know, we had Phil here this morning. Julia's taken over the reins now. We've got a couple more hours to go, but don't sit around. Grab what you need right now. Make sure your baskets are checked out. Now, we've got different options as well. We're going to start with the one-day special. Julia, because this is the first time we've seen you for this one-day special, mm -hmm. tell us about these and what you think of them. So, um, oh, can I say that on air? <laughs> uh, yes, I can. I absolutely can. Um, yes, so these are uh, Phil's last. Uh, new collection for the 2021 there's no new uh, designs and uh, he's actually done uh, some little diddy a6 stamp sets and they're for any celebration you might have so it's for birthdays christmas uh, anniversaries uh, new baby engagement anniversary whatever you can think of there's a stamp here to celebrate that particular occasion and that A6, is. so, so the, the, the actual images are small enough to make yourself a smallish card if you want to. And there are a couple of really dinky little cards um, in the, the shot that's uh, just below Catherine there. So you can make your four by four inch cards, but obviously you know what Phil's like. You can extrapolate them out and <laughs> make an eight by eight or a 20 by 20 inches if you want to card. So... Um, it's whatever you put with it. You can do a clean and simple card. You can do your tags with it. Uh, they're easy to colour in. Uh, I'm going to be using the watercolour blending brush pens because that's my medium of choice. Uh, obviously, yesterday and this morning, Phil was using the alcohol markers. But you can use your paints. Use your indigo blue paints. Use your uh, Art by Marlene paints. Use any of the paints that we sell here on the craft store to colour them in. You can use your Pentel pens. Use your, um, your Glitter Sakura pens. Whatever you want to, you can use them. Or you can just stamp and emboss onto the pattern papers or onto your coloured cardstock. You can fussy cut, you can not fussy cut, you know, it's endless and the combinations of the uh, kind of um, stacked up images are 
pretty endless actually across all five of the sets so i actually really like this set and when you look at the design team makes which are just out of this world they, really they are, are aren't they? absolutely stunning the design team have done a wonderful job with them and i think you get a feel of of, of the possibilities and that this is this one's by david who's the only uh, male member of the team and he comes up with some wonderful um, different sort of ideas not as fussy as perhaps our philip yeah. makes them you know not 97 million flowers but i mean that one clean and simple <laughs> i think that's one of uh Lozzie's, uh cards it is yeah so i mean doesn't have to be it doesn't have to have flowers on it at all that one's a beautiful composition there uh, using the cupcakes and the uh, lots of fizz um, sentiment and some of the papers. Um, That's great for a great idea for your scraps of yeah. papers as well, isn't it? That's from Facebook Live that I did yesterday morning. So you'll find that uh, both in the Crafting with uh, Phil Martin and Sentiment of Yours Facebook group. Do ask to join. And it's also on my Facebook page too. You know, Put in the daisies go perfectly. Look at those Don't few panels just. with the uh, embossed background and the little heart. Happy anniversary! Happy uh, congratulations on your engagement! Happy twenty first! I love can this be any one as of well. Those. That's very contemporary. That, that again is one of Lozzie's. I can recognise her work. She, You're doing well, Julia. She, she plucks some really unusual layouts out. And don't forget the double deboss circles and the double deboss um, squares. This is the last of the stock. Once it's gone, Phil yes, has said busy on this morning air as well. that he will not order them again. There we are. So that's the one day special. A six pound saving there under Flexi Buy to Boot 044655. Hold your horses though. If you're loving the stamps, we've got other options for you. Now, with those samples that we've just shown, you probably noticed the beautiful papers. We do have the papers as well. I think you can just about see me behind all this. There's so much, isn't there? Now, the whole collection here, you've got four different colorways. We're calling it the Cool and Rose, which is a great name, Julia. It isn't is, it? isn't it? So, yes, yeah. you've got four colorways. You've got the celebration. Celebration blues, the celebration teals, the celebration pinks, and the celebration lavenders. And you've got uh, ten designs each pack, and each pack has the same ten designs, and they're all tonal. So you've got shades of blue, you've got shades of teal, shades of pink, shades of lavender, all kind of intermingled. And you get four sheets of each design. You've got some that have got like a white base, so they're perfect to use when you're using your alcohol markers, because uh, you have to use the uh, super smooth. Um, um, uh, pure white card for alcohol markers or if like me you're using the watercolour card which has a cream tinge to it then you've got some like that one that have a coloured base to it and so then the white and the cream aren't going to kind of clash and look odd um, so I really like the fact that you can do that you die cuts brilliantly it's a 190 GSM litho printed which is the best quality print you can get as you'd expect from Mr. M. Yes, certainly uh, would. They're single-sided, so you don't have that kind of thing as to, oh, I like that side, oh, <laughs> I like that side. Which side shall I use? You've got a single-sided die cut beautifully. You can stamp on them. You can emboss them and either knock the colour back or uh, run some... Um, ink over the top if you want to with your briar or just leave them as is you can use your scraps for your borders for your little tags also um don't forget you can do the bar jello technique which um i will do in the next hour at four o'clock um they are just absolutely he, he's excelled himself i think with this collection so do i and you know the colorway that i've just shown there was the lavender but you have got all four in there the designs the same absolutely beautiful you've got a six pounds saving here as well 160 sheets in total now don't forget although we've got a saving on there because we've already seen one on the one day special as well if you are loving everything if you want the whole lot we can give you that big collection as well so that's 12 pounds saving already but we're going to give you more we are going to give you another 10 pounds and of course we've got flexi for you as well so it does spread the cost i think the papers are a must with those stamps you're going to use those papers with the stamps you're going to use them totally separately you've got enough to keep you going for such a long time 485 454 is the item number two-thirds of the entire stock has now gone on the big collection now we have got more for you as well so i'm going to go for a little walk because we have got the shimmer pearls now these are absolutely gorgeous what i must tell you is when they've gone they are gone and the first selection we've got for you three quarters of the stock has already gone julia as always with phil's embellishments the pearls those finishing touches 
there is, you know, when it, so much care and attention is taken with everything. Mm. And even with those small elements, it doesn't change. No, They've no. got to be absolute perfection. Yeah, and the shimmer on these, um, you've got the, I think he calls it the Aurora Borealis. So you've got like an interference uh, coating on top of the pearls so that they they actually kind of can actually change their colour depending yeah. on what cardstock and what paper you put with them. So this trio's got the ivory, the claret, and the teal in it. So obviously the claret and the teal will work perfectly with the um, the pinks and the teal paper pack. The ivory will go with anything at all. And you can see by the little ones that have been pulled out, you've got eight millimeter, you've got um, five millimeter, and you've got the little tiny three millimeter pearls. There's approximately 550 in each pot and then 16.50 across the three. Let me see if I can show you some of the samples in. You're right about the colours changing yeah. as well. When you see them in the pots like that, mm -hmm. they are beautiful. Yes. And you can see depth of colour. But once you start separating them and putting them with other colours, other papers, then they really, really are a world apart from other embellishments. I think these are absolutely beautiful. The teal there, we've just seen the ivory. Those different sizes, always nice to have. And, of course, the claret. Such a lovely colour. You've got a depth of colour mm. there. Yeah. I mean, that is just beautiful, isn't it? Is, it isn't it? And they are like a limited edition and um, these are the last of the last six uh, with the other collection of the uh, shimmer pearls uh, there are no more colors to come you guys have had them all now I don't know what he's gonna do next what I do but um, <laughs> I can't tell you um, but uh, yes yeah, so, so so I mean I know that we collect these I mean I've got pots and pots and pots of them and I absolutely adore them it, it's almost a shame to use them um, but they are gonna last you a long time and so, so if you really like them just get them while yeah, I would them. actually say multi buy on those yes, make sure definitely. you do not miss out I know it's a bit unfair if you're not quick enough and you lose out but mm. you know it is fastest fingers first 1647 512 576 is the item number now we do have another option for you these are so delicate in color they're absolutely beautiful you've almost got your passage you've got your lavender you've got your baby pink and your baby blue mm. as well absolutely gorgeous you know even on your mail cards Julia you know a little bit of a twinkle a little bit of that yes. that pearl Pleasant finish it just adds that finishing touch absolutely yeah I mean, you can be as elaborate or as minimalistic yeah. as you want absolutely yes yeah. so, so obviously the three millimeter are great for your, your, your kind of bubbles coming out of your fizz um, but just you know adding them to your center of flowers or in the corners or as lozzie has got there the accents uh, across the top there uh, and, and the bottom they just add something now your finishing touch and Definitely. Um, it, 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 I think it takes a card from a beautiful card to an absolutely stunning card absolutely and of course showing you those samples really showcases the papers and the stamps as well so if you are going for that big collection then you've seen as much as we can possibly show you for now over to the website that's where you will find much much more we've got dyes again we've got some dyes that once they're gone they're gone there are other ways of buying the stamps and the paper pads as well if your budget's a little bit more limited oh you mustn't miss out on those replacement bullet nip, bullet nibs we'll uh, give you a reminder about those a little bit later we've got the marker pen We've got the watercolours that Julie's going to be using. We've got lots of dyes for you there. Lovely, lovely samples on the uh, counter today and at the back of the studio. In fact, you've probably spotted the daisies that we've just seen on the website. They complement so beautifully with the collection. Right, okay. Let's get over to, to our Julia because... Do you know what we're going to see demo but let's give you the details again for that complete collection that's the papers all four colorways 160 sheets in total and all of the stamps there there are five sets but 56 individual elements within those stamps and they're definitely go-to stamps you are not going to put those away they're going to be used all year round for all ages male female children it doesn't matter right let's head over to our Julia because we're going to start with the first demonstration I'm looking forward to this Julia what have you got for okay, us so we're going to do use the um, lots of cupcakes um, so I'm just going to be using two stamps uh, on this project uh, we're going to use a cupcake and we're going to use a sentiment um, and I've already a die cut now I must I'm going to blame Phil because I can because he's not here <laughs> Um, because on the list that uh, we got from him, uh, we had the Charmed Rectangles uh, as one of the products, and uh, it's not on the show. But oh. have a look in the, the uh, brand shop, and there might be some on there. So I do apolo apologise, but it's not my fault, it's his fault. <laughs> so we're going to do... We'll just make that very clear. 
It's Pardon? not Julia's fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Normally everything's my fault, but this one isn't. So um, on the Lots of Cupcakes, you've got uh, two sizes of three different um, uh, cupcakes. And then you've got a couple of sentiments. And you've got the lovely flags here, which are so cute and so useful. Do you know, I picked the flags out myself. I love those. The mm. flags and the bunting as well. Yeah, the, with the bunting bottle. with the bottle. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. In fact, let me just find that set again. I think the uh, champagne bottle. We're thinking Christmas, New Year, aren't we? Yes. This particular 21st, set. 18th, mm. whatever. Yeah. Because you've got all of your numbers in there, you've got your bunting, you've got bottles, you've got the glasses. Of course, you can use them all individually, you can use them together. The bottle with the label has been left empty, so you can apply your own wording in there. So that's just one of the sets out of the one day special or, of course, that big collection. Very useful indeed. So we're just stamping the cupcake and I'm using Twilight, which is a navy blue uh, versus fine clear. So that's then stamped in there like so. Then I'm going to just pull it off here and grab a block. And I do apologise. Well, I'm, I don't really. But um, <laughs> I'm, I'm using just the first block I found on my desk. I tidied my don't desk yesterday. Don't apologise, Julia. It's not your fault. <laughs> this is. This is. You've uh, got a creaky uh, lid on your Oh, I've had a creaky platform. lid forever. It wouldn't be one of my demos without a creaky lid. It's a lot of my knees. <laughs> Um, so I've just popped it onto a block and I'm going to stamp it again onto the uh, blues, the polka dot paper. And I'm just going to um, concentrate on the wrapper. Now the papers, you definitely don't want to throw any scraps away. No. They're all going to be very They're useful. They're all going to be very they? useful. It becomes a bit obsessive really, keeping all the scraps. So there's our wrapper. So we've got a polka dot wrapper already. Lovely. And I've also stamped and embossed onto a piece of the, uh, this is the luster card. This is the powder blue. And I've got, got used Twilight again, but I've stamped it onto there, just the top of it, because I'm gonna actually have the, um, that as my topper. Okay, now you need to have a look at the luster card. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. There's lots to choose from. In fact, it is a pick and mix, choosing any three packs of 20 sheets. These are A4, of course. That is a really good price. Any three packs for 22.49. That's 60 sheets in total. Do you know, you can't appreciate the luster that you see in there. It doesn't show up on the screen, but when you get this home, it will be absolutely stunning. You will not be disappointed. 692 269. And of course, all the colours that Phil chooses complement all of the papers that we've seen before. The current papers, everything is brought to you so you know that everything works beautifully together. Brassy, not brassy, as the man himself would say. Exactly. So I've got one of the teeny tiny dies from the labels too, and my fingers are sticking to the actual stamp, and I've pulled the birthday wishes sentiment out of the um, lots of cake one. Okay. So it's very difficult to stamp onto this. If you struggle with this, then just stamp it first and then die cut it second. But obviously I'm, I'm being lazy and not die cutting. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to stamp the birthday wishes in and there. Like so, yeah. just about fits. I've seen this morning to Phil Jill. I love the fonts he's used. I know they're sentiments. really funky, aren't they? they they're are. really cool. So put that to one side. Now do a little bit of colouring. I'm not. I'm not going to do loads of colouring. Um, all we're doing is taking two pens from set two. Okay. Uh, so it's these lovely blues. I lo these are two of my favourite, favourite uh, pens from the watercolour blending brush pens. The kind of uh, baby blue colour and this denim blue here. Ooh, this is nice. absolutely wonderful, this denim blue. And then uh, these two mustard yellows from uh, set four. Lovely. So that's all we're going to use. So it's so simple colouring in with the watercolour blending brush pens. I'm not going to bother with the wrapper because... I've got that covered already with my paper piecing. Okay. All we're going to do is take some of the denim blue, just around the... I know we don't normally get blue flowers, but, you know, being a stamper, you can make things any colour you wish. You can do it, I don't know, purple and pink together or, or purple and yellow together, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And because the pens will actually blend with themselves, you can then take the pale one, Remember, I'm, the, I'm on the watercolour card, the super smooth, and we can actually blend those two colours together. And you see there, yeah. we've lost that harsh, harsh yeah. edge. Now, if you're finding that um, you're not getting much of the lighter blue, you can kind of scribble it off onto some extra card that I've not 
got here yeah but you can so you can clean the nib if you want to don't worry about contaminating because like I say you can just scribble it off at the end onto a spare piece of card and the blend works so well obviously you can tone it down if you want to just blend with your um, water brush and you and do get those two colors don't they complement the papers the blues yeah. we've got yeah you can yeah well any blues are going to work really because you've got tonal colors yeah okay Lovely. so we're just gonna we can paper piece on our wrapper well i'll, 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 I'll do the uh, center in a sec as well now am i right i think i'm sure we mentioned it this morning haven't we got the glues on a seven day saver we have but we haven't got the big size we've got the mm. six i think it's the 60 the 30 and then the 100 mil with the brush yeah, the but one it's all with the, the same glue. In particular, it's so useful, isn't it? There yeah. we are. We've got the bundle available for you with the three pound saving. Seven day savers will change at eight o'clock on Sunday, so the price will go back up then. Uh, we haven't got a lot of stock of that left, actually. So make sure again being a consumable. But if you've never used Phil's glue before, I can highly recommend it. And the one with the brush that you can see on the screen there is absolutely ideal if you wanted to glitter around the edges like Phil does. Mm. One two two seven six nine. Right, so I've just added some of the darker yellow to the centre and then I'm just going to blend it with that lighter yellow around there. So it's, it's only very subtle. Um, so, so that could be it. That is lovely. Yeah. We're going to add a little bit of the, the glue. And you could use, um, if you wanted to use your quickie glue pens, you could do that. Um, if you wanted to use a uh, sort of a lighter um, glitter so something like rainbow sparkles which is the super fine glitter oh, yeah. uh, but i'm going to use the diamond dazzle which he didn't put on the show but oh. it should be in the brand shop i'm all right using it because he used it yesterday <laughs> <laughs> if it's wrong it's not your fault you know? no not my fault nothing's my fault <laughs> Do you know, just while you're getting the glitter there, I want to bring a couple of other things in, if I may. Yeah. Because th we've got some dyes that were proving very popular this morning. They are again this hour. I think the reason being the double Ds, the double D bust, these are your central circles. Once they're gone, they're gone. We're losing stock quite rapidly now. You know, don't just get all of the dyes. You do get the magnetic sheet as well, which is perfect. I mean, the weight of these is incredible. It really is. Yeah. 35.99, you're getting 14 amazing dyes there. Seriously, you'll be amazed how much, you know, metal is actually in there. Really good, strong dyes. 202719. If you've got any of the other deboss ones, double deboss, make sure you've got these. You always go back to your circles and your squares. The squares are the ones we've got to show you next there they are same price 14 dies again with the magnetic sheet 903840 uh, stop looking quite vulnerable on those so make sure you check your baskets out I don't know they'll be around for later on today and if they're not it's not Julia's fault no nothing's ever my fault <laughs> <laughs> right so this is one that's dropped you can see here this is the one I've just done and so the glue when it's when it's um, goes goes on is is white and then it dries clear when it's dry so then you can see oh. all the kind of uh, frosting um, uh, stamped marks in there so you could just use that as it is but remember I stamped it again and embossed on um, the uh, powder blue luster card and I'm not going to colour it in because I coloured it in exactly the same way and, and then I've cut it out so I don't know if you can see oh uh, you can just see as oh, I wiggle can, that yeah. there because we've used the luster card, when you put the watercolour blending uh, pens on top, it looks like we've used something like a luscious powder or a mica powder. So that is literally just the card and the watercolour? That's, that's literally the card and the watercolour, yeah. It wow. gives a beautiful luster. Uh, Doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because the, the pens are a dye, so yeah. obviously they're, they're um, transparent, so you can see what's underneath. Um, oh, it's amazing, though. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's really lovely. So, that, so you could just leave the image as it is, but I'm going to just, I've obviously cut this out and I'm just going to pop this one on top. So obviously you don't need to colour in underneath, but if your cutting out isn't brilliant, it just does mean, or if you don't actually manage to decoupage it nicely, at least you can see underneath is, is still the blue. Well, actually with a flower like that as well, if you did purposely offset it, so you saw that double layer, it, it could be. Nice. Yeah, it could be like yeah. a bunch of flowers if you wanted it to be. So we're just going to um, use just the one millimetre foam tape. We're not using the deep one that Phil uses. Um, 
just map this onto another rectangle. And this is the majestic blue of the luster um, card. Um, oh, isn't that nice? It is uh, really rich and really um, opulent, I suppose. Uh, so that's going to go on there. Then we've got uh, the, the, the scallop from the um, labels too. And we're gonna, uh, because we've actually popped the image on a little bit of foam tape, we're going to pop that onto foam tape too. Then we're going to go to our background piece. Okay, definitely have a look at those labels as well. Again, coming with a magnetic sheet. These are A5 in size, only 1999, 708041. So I've embossed a piece of the... Because I'm using watercolour card, everything has to be have a cream uh, hue to it. Uh, if I did this in white, then it would look odd, and, and I can't be doing with that. So um, this is the watercolour card that's been embossed with the... Um, I don't know if you can see that. This is the um, Classic Flourish. Yeah. Just about... There we go. There we go. That's classic perfect. Flourish embossing um, folder. That is gorgeous. But we're going to just make that pop a little bit. So we're going to be using the briar and Faded Jeans Distress Oxide. Um, you'll probably find the briar, which is a sentiment of yours, briar, it's the four inch one. You'll probably find that on the brand shop as well. So light touch, we're just going to drag this over the top just to make that pop a little bit more. And this will tone in with the hues of the, um, the background papers that we're using. Oh, you have yours very little, and doesn't that make a difference? Yes, it does oh. make a difference. Remember to clean your briar, or yeah. to you can, you know, start making another background with it. And that's going on here again with the majestic blue, and then of the premium cardstock, which is also available as a pick and mix. Uh, that's your um, uh, what's it called? Da, 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 da. Not periwinkle. It'll come to me in a minute. It's not misty blue. It is sky blue. That's the sky one. blue. Yeah, there's lots of blues on there, isn't there? There is. There's imperial blue. There's sapphire blue. There's just loads. I do like blue. I think blue is my favourite colour. Is it? I think so. It used to be mine, and it's changed. And, and now I can't. I don't think I've got a favourite colour anymore. Mm. I do like all colours. I must admit, I do love teal. I mean, who doesn't love oh. teal? No, I don't think I've ever met anybody that doesn't love teal. Yeah, I love, just... I've said this so many times, but I used to hate any green, and now I love any green. Yeah. One of my favourite greens is sage. Sage oh, green, yeah. I think it's beautiful. So I've got a border here, and this is the border from the um, compendium box kit. And we've got another paper here uh, uh, that I've taken from the blues, and that's, that's just going to go in the middle. So it's just a scrap. Lovely. So we're going to pop that, just glue that in the middle-ish. It could be up a bit, could be down a bit, left a bit, fire and all that. <laughs> <laughs> the youngsters won't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> I used I used to love golden shirts. So did I. Oh, it was so brilliant. did I. In fact, they need to bring it back. They do reinvent TV shows, don't they? They do. I don't think that's ever been redone though, has it? Or am I wrong with that? I think you're probably See, right. See, I've got Katie May. I've never heard of it. <laughs> never heard of it. So we've got, this is the stars background. Oh, Remember, no. I'm... Huh? Kristen doesn't think she's ever heard of it Kristen either. Kristen doesn't. Of course she does. Adam, Golden Shop. Yeah. Adam knows about it. Bernie the Yeah, that's the yeah. one. That was a class. It's a classic, isn't it? Oh, you need to look it up online if you've never seen it. Yeah. So we've got the charmed ingots here, which are the rectangles with the corners cut off. And remember, I'm using the the solid backgrounds. Well, and we do have those ingots available. We actually. do. Yes. Yes. And they're an A5 set, and they're a bargain because they're only uh, 19.99. I think Leonie was saying yesterday she couldn't believe how inexpensive they are because. They, they're your, your layering dies, aren't they? All the charm dies, the layering dies. You've got, you've got a, a, an alter, alternate kind of scalloped edge and, a, and, and we haven't got a plain edge next to it. We've got like a debossed stitched edge, which is, you know, attention to detail, darling, I, as Mr. Exactly. M would say. I think say. they have such elegance to cars They really do, don't they? Let's check if that's straight. We've got lots of different options, actually, under the item number, haven't we? 708041, do have a good look for 1999. So, of course, mix and match your shapes as well, which is always a, a cool thing to do. So taking the rectangles, and it could be another ingot or whatever you want it to be. And then we're going to obviously put our little label here. 
next to down there like so then we're going to of course embellish it up within an inch of its life not as much as mr you know, this set is absolutely perfect if you make and sell cards i presume we can do that can we as long yes. as you make something yeah. You say, yeah because you know any type of celebration if you're selling on a you know a stall or you, there's a fate or something these are the sorts of cards or projects people are going to be drawn to because they work for all celebrations it's not just about birthdays it's not just about weddings and anniversaries it, you know this stretches all year round for absolutely everyone and of course you can you can personalize numbers with the uh, lots yeah. of fizz set Obviously, we don't have an alphabet with, uh, with this, um, but there are other alphabet stamps available from uh, Sentimentally Yours and Dies, so you could put a name on as well if you want to. So we've got the, um, these are the um, fo uh, succulent uh, foliage uh, oh, dies. They're a good price, aren't they? Four dies for seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, you've got the left and the right, and you've got two sizes. These are the small ones. So we're going to put our leaves on first. I always tend to put leaves on first and then think, uh-oh, didn't actually move them in the right place. Then we've got some flowers. Now, my flowers, I've used the, a mix of the... Um, I've got the papers with the delicate in the background and I've used the spotted paper. So this is the um, second different paper I've used in here, isn't it? Because I've got that one and that one and I've got the spotted. And then I've got the dotty uh, daisies cut from the um, sky blue card and then I've again, got another dotty and then I've got the stamens that are cut out of the majestic blue. And then the lovely pearl in the centre is the baby blue. Gorgeous. So we're going to have uh, two at the bottom and one at the top, I think. Those daisies have been used so often on the samples. They're beautiful, I, they're stunning, so they, they really so are. Yeah, they are absolutely, they're my favourite flowers that Phil's done. So we're going to have two down here. So only three flowers because there's lots of layers okay. to them. I can't be uh, doing now, 97 Now do have a look under item 162060 because you've got the delicate, the delightful and the dotty daisies all under that item number. 24.99, do have a look at the options there. Then we're going to just put a single, the largest single one at the top. And then we're going to add in... Just a pearl in the corner, so I'm going to go with the eight millimeters in the in the corner. So just a dob of glue. Those um, succulent leaves as well. If you just want to break those down into individuals, aren't they handy? To have yeah, them? great for wreaths and yeah. also the floaty fronds as well. Great for your leaves. I did notice Mr M put in his um, his um, uh, pearls in in the lid. I wonder where he's got that from. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Has he been stealing ideas, Julia? That's fine, I don't mind. I like sharing. <laughs> sharing is caring, Mr M. <laughs> Which is a good idea. Yeah, of course it is, because the poker tools are just brilliant for picking up. And, uh, I mean, you could, I mean, you can get um, self-adhesive self pearls, obviously not like this. Um, but, uh, to me... They all, I always used to add glue anyway yeah, because, so you know, I. once they've gone through the post, they'll, they'll fall off. Yeah, and the glue um, can dry out as well. Yeah, so, you know, you've got like an insurance policy, so they might as well be like this anyway um, without the glue. Um, so there's the last one, and there we go. All finished. Number Gorgeous. one. Half Absolutely past the hour, Phil. stunning. <laughs> Did you know Phil got two demos in this morning? I know, I know. And time and to last spare. Night, I know, I couldn't believe it last night. I had to watch at 8 o'clock. <laughs> no, normally I'm watching something else at 8 o'clock. Sorry, Crash Store. Oh, but. Julie, <laughs> that is stunning. Do you know, we could be fooled into thinking that was is one of Phil's own cards. But, though. you know, they're so easy to do, aren't they? So, yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely stunning. Well, if you're loving what you're seeing, that's only just a tiny, tiny uh, little fraction of what you could be achieving with the one day special and, of course, the big collection. With the big collection, that's where most of you are spending your money. I'm not surprised you're getting five stamp sets. You're getting 56 individual stamps. Also, the papers, which we've seen in so many of the samples and also, of course, all of the demonstrations as well. The papers are 160 sheets in total. You've got four different colorways. You've got the pinks, you've got the, the lavenders, you've got the teal, you've got those beautiful cool blues in there. Yeah, what a lovely collection this is. Absolutely timeless as well. The size of the stamps, Julia, is perfect because I know... Yeah. 
You know, sometimes Phil's not sure what size stamp set to go with. I think for this particular bundle, the A6 is just perfect because if you want bigger cards, they work beautifully. If you want smaller cards, they work beautifully. If you want long cards, DL cards, square cards, rectangular cards, circular cards, easel cards, they're going to work. Your gift bags, your tags. As we've said, male, female, young, old, it really doesn't matter. You can work with these however you wish. Yeah, design team, really, really well done. Absolutely beautiful samples right across the board, as always. To show you a couple more there as well. Keep every scrap of the papers. You will definitely use them all. You know, those tiny little strips will be used. Stamping onto them as Julia did for the cupcake wrappers. You know, the base of a cake even. Look about, Look at the ways you can change the cakes. You can separate them. You can build the layers. You can decoupage them. All of that collection at a great price. We're carrying over £12 savings from individuals. Six from the stamp, six from the papers. We're giving you another £10 on top. That's £22 in savings and flexi as well. 70% of the stock has now gone. Item number 485454. We're just having another lovely look at everything we've got on the counter there. So that's the stamps. Also, of course, the papers. Catching some of those wonderful samples again there as well. Now, I'm just having a bit of a wander down the counter to remind you about the pearls because they are very, very popular. When they're gone, they're gone. There isn't a great deal left. Make sure you're grabbing everything you need. We've got two different options for you as well. So the first three, let's look at those. We've got the ivory in there. As Julia says, the difference of the papers you use, the different colours, you're going to pick up different effects from these pearls. They will complement light, dark, bright your pastels we've got another set coming up as well this particular one is your claret your teal and your ivory you are getting approximately 1650 flat back pearls in there i'm just showing you a few samples again showing you the colors from this particular option you know whatever color you put them with actually they work don't they teal doesn't have to go on teal although on this particular card you can see that they work so beautifully i think the claret just lends itself perfectly to many many colors oh those navies and the blues together aren't they stunning and the ivory pearls have been used in the center of the flowers five one two five seven six for that particular option we do have a second option for you same thing applies when they're gone they are gone um yeah Phil's mum has to pack all these, bless her. There they are, the lavender, the baby pink, and the baby blue as well. Absolutely gorgeous. They are so pretty, aren't they? 592362 is the item number for this one. Let me just show you one or two more samples. Pay attention not just to the pearls. Look at the papers. Look at the stamps from the collection. You can see how everything works so beautifully together. Take inspiration from each and every one of these. If you're going for those daisies, if you're going for any of the other die sets as well, you'll see them all within these particular samples. This is a lovely one as well. You know, you can go really fussy or you can keep it very simplistic. Love this effect actually with the scraps of papers again. Putting those layers, those little tabs on there. This is another lovely. I bet I can guess who would have done this one without even looking. I bet that's Lozzie. Yeah. You, you, you do get to know the style, you don't do. you? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, make sure your baskets are full and checked out before the end of the hour. Do not miss out. Now, something else we've got here as well. This is the first time we've seen them this hour, I think. Uh, the replacement nibs. If you've got any of the alcohol markers, you get the brush nib and you get the chisel nib. You can now replace those. Well, I say replace, that's the wrong word to use. You can exchange them for the bullet nib because you can interchange. Now, you are getting 200 nibs here. £19.96 is going to get you 200 nibs. Crazy, crazy when it comes to value. 859734. I had a little chat with Julia about this earlier as well. Because you're getting 200 nibs, if you've got the full collection of the marker pens, there's 168 pens, if I'm not wrong. That means you've got plenty spare. I think you could experiment with these, Julia, yeah. and try different things. I was thinking maybe using those sort of that orange zest oil with uh, your, your waxy pencils. Mm. For yep. blending, yep. pinpointing with alcohol inks and maybe glues for yep. glitters and things like that. Yep. So definitely you've got spares there. What a good buy. Definitely put those in your basket you as also, well. If you've got an alcohol um, ink background or um, uh, an alcohol marker background, you could actually dip them in a blending solution and um, either draw um, a, a design in there or That's just, just dot idea. a design in there. And of course the alcohol... 
uh, blending solution will actually bleach out yeah. the design. So that's something that you could perhaps De play with. You know, it's worth experimenting, is it? I think you will find lots more uses for those, but definitely keep 168 for your marker pens if you have the set. Now, talking of pens, we've got some more pens for you. We're going to see those on the website, and I think we're going to see them with Julia as well. Of course, we've got the watercolour brush pens. We've already seen some of them being used. All have got five-star reviews. There's four sets. You will get no duplicates when it comes to those colours within those sets either. Yes, you'll get different blues, you'll get different greens, but you will get no duplicates at all. You also get the water brushes in them. And there's a little bit of variation between the brushes in the different sets. If you want to go for them all, there is a collection where you can go for them all. $29.99 as individuals. It might be a case of... Now, we're just looking at the individuals on the screen at the moment. If you're going for the individuals, perhaps you're missing a set. Oh, I'm just saying we haven't got the big collection now. We've only got the individuals. Oh. I think we've only had, ever had those in Have individuals. Yeah, yeah, the yeah because collection. they came out at different times. Oh, of course they did. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I'm thinking of the markers, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for these. And perhaps you've bought right from the beginning and you're getting ready to replace them. Well, grab a replacement set right now. Do have a good look at those. I think we're going to see more of these. Okay, right. Let's go back to Julia for another demonstration. Okie dokie. Uh, I mean, yes, we are, we are going to just blend pen with pen uh, probably in this hour as well. But coming back at the four o'clock hour, we do some uh, blending with the water brushes just to show you a different way of using it. So, um, yeah. Uh, incidentally, my uh, watercolour blending brush pens, I have had the first set since about October two years ago, September, October two years ago, and it's still going strong. Wow. So um, I've had to replace a couple of them where um, I, I destroyed them with some Versamark, but that's my fault. That is my fault. <gasps> Julia. I will own up. Uh, <laughs> so don't do that. Clean your stamp first. Um, but yes, they are absolutely brilliant pens. I absolutely adore them. So we're going to use the lots of presents, and I've already got on my uh, creaky <laughs> lid. Um, I've got the, the, the main image, this, this big image. And I've also got the little happy birthday label with the uh, ribbon on it. And uh, we've got watercolour card here. Uh, and it is the super smooth, uh, which is the, it's not, it is nice and smooth. It's not the, the kind of textured watercolour card, which is perfect for us stampers. But it will take a lot of water if you want to do your background techniques as well. It's a really good all round. That um, large stamp you could easily separate as well, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. You can. Uh, and you see Phil, um, in, I saw in the 8 o'clock show before I left this morning, he, was, he put like a slice of cake on the top, added more presents so you, and another cake. So, you know, there's lots and lots that you can do to change the image. Oh, didn't stamp that very well, did I? Let's add a little bit more ink. Creak, 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 creak. just creak, creak, creak. that squeaky lid. I know, I know. Right, so that's my main image. And Lovely. then... Um, taking a patterned piece of paper from the lavenders we're going to stamp it again don't need the uh, label though we're just going to stamp the presents those papers you get a lovely mix of sort of colored backgrounds I've done it again look what so, am i on <laughs> some have got uh, more open spaces in them so you can definitely change them around with your heat embossing your inking yeah your embossing your folding you, yeah, because the weight, those lovely folds that you can do, mm, the yeah. paper perfect for that. Make your envelopes as well. Ooh, yes. So, or so even just the inside of the envelope would look lovely. These yeah, papers. a liner. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or doing your inserts in the in this inside the card. Let's see if I can not put that over the bit there. Let's just put it there. <laughs> Live and learn, Julia. You learn by your mistakes, or in my case, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just using another a few of the pattern papers so I'm taking three in total and and doing this obviously we're going to do some paper piecing or it might not be obvious um, we're going to do some paper piecing so doing this means that you can make several cards from one batch of stamping I mean you'd obviously stamp the the, the main image uh, several times um, okay. on the watercolor card first but then this bit you're going to get three or four cards out of this at least okay. three just as Julia's stamping out, I'm going to let you know we're getting busier and busier on the pearls, on the main collection. We've got dyes that you might not want to miss out on as well. 
we have got another live hour at four o'clock but you know some things are looking very vulnerable so make sure you're checking those baskets out we're just looking at the papers again there of course individually available as a bundle there's pairs on there but you know the complete collection is where the value is in total on the complete saving 22 pounds splitting that payment two ways as well so it makes it very very affordable 485 Four, five, four. There's all of the stamps, 56 elements. Right, so we've got now, and I'll pull, pull in the ones I've stamped earlier because the ink's nice and dry. Because remember, Versafine Clair stays open or wet for quite a while. So you can see here where I've already used some bits and pieces. Um, and so, obviously, you can, you can kind of pull out and mix and match the paper to actually stack up. But you can actually use your watercolour blending brush pens on here as well. Oh, nice. Um, because it takes inks. So all we're doing is using two purples. Uh, we've got one from set three and one from set two. You can see these extra little splodges here of me checking whether I've got the right pen or not. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to do really simple colouring in. Obviously, we're just going to focus on the uh, images that we're using. So let's just go with the pen direct to the paper. No shading whatsoever. All we're doing is adding a little bit of extra uh, interest. Obviously, if you wanted to, you can go a step further than I've gone with your paper piecing, and you could just cut out the ribbon separately and stack that up yeah. in, as a different um, colour. I won't do all of this, she says, going it's on. It's worth, on, I think, if, every time you get scraps, while you've got these stamps to hand, just stamp onto those yes. scraps and keep them ready to cut out. Yeah, absolutely. So we can just take this plum colour from set two and just add our little splodges. The papers are so perfect for the presents because it looks like real wrapping paper. It does, doesn't it? That's what I yeah. thought anyway. And of course then you've got your wrappers on like we did before in the previous demo. Uh, you've got the wrappers that you can do as well. That would look nice with the stars as well. So that kind of thing. Right, okay. do it in yep. different different patterns. Obviously, you've got the extra presents as well, so you could make a, a really kind of stacked up image if you wanted to. So you don't need to colour in any of that. Just um, cut out that image because you're going to paper piece onto that image. And this one, all I would do is just perhaps add a little bit of the plum, maybe because it's the darker one. And so then, the what set did you say the, that colour? This from? one is from set two. Set two. Yeah. I hope so anyway. I have spied, I'm not going to give anything away, I don't think we've seen it on the screen yet, but I've spied the most beautiful flowers. Yeah. Are they done with the plum? Uh, they're done with the claret um, paper, the, the, the um, luster card. Are they? Yeah. So just using the water brush and we blended that out and it has like a pink or lavender tone to it once you actually bleed it out so that will go really well with the lavender paper that we're using. So let's go to all my bits and pieces. So we do the background first, then we do our paper piecing. So this is the Claret Luster card here. Oh, isn't that and gorgeous? it has um, oh. when it has it has a bit of kind of blue interference going on with it. Are we going to the camera one? Are we or not? We, we'll we'll try and grab that. that yeah, we'll stay there, Julie, Maybe. because I think. Oh my word! Look at this. Can you see the blue? <gasps> That and that midnight blue that you did show us earlier. I forgot the official name of yeah, it. It is now. midnight blue. It is midnight blue. Yeah. But, oh, those are they're my favourites so far. Majestic blue, sorry. Majestic yeah, blue. Yeah. yeah. So Isn't that wonderful? It is a wonderful, wonderful one. Some of them have interference, some of them don't, and this one doesn't. But you can see this one works perfectly with both the lavenders and the pinks. Yeah. Um, so we have just a really good look at that pick and mix because there's so many different colours. They are honestly just go for the colour. You will not see the luster on the screen, but when you get these home, you will be blown away. Mm. So we're using two of the background papers from the um, lavenders, and we're just going to glue those at the bottom and the top. So we've got the lovely kind of. Um, uh, I don't know, stri striped pattern here. Yeah. Again, I've gone for the one that has colour in it as opposed to white stripes because of my um, watercolour card. And then we've got the birthday girl, which we're having at the top. The stripes work beautifully, vertically or horizontally. Mm. And sometimes when you look at a bold stripe like that, you, you think, oh, God, I'm not sure, I don't know, that's going to be a bit much. But it never is never the way is. you see these put together. No, no, and they work very well on the... Um, 
the flowers as well. So don't worry if your um, papers don't match exactly or if you're, when you stick them down it's not perfectly straight. We're doing great for time, Joe. We've got just under 10 minutes left. Step Still. me, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in a bit of a race at the moment. <laughs> he said to me, I prepared five demos for three hours, and I, I probably sent back the laughing emoji at him <laughs> or something. <laughs> So obviously here, because we've got a gap, we're going to cover that gap, but you can actually have your border further down or further up, however you want, or slap bang in the middle. It doesn't really matter. And again, the border is out of the compendium box kit. Have a look in the brand shop. Beautiful. And just trimmed it down a little bit to fit nicely. Let me have a look. Let me make sure it's straight. Honestly, since I've been sitting down to demonstrate, because I have to at the moment, most of my cards are on the wonk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I always stand and craft, well, usually, but, yeah, you, you kind of, it's like the overhead camera, I suppose, yeah. isn't it, when you stood up? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, at home, I stand up to make sure it's straight, but I sit down the rest of the time, uh, and I'm very we'll, lazy. We'll I don't... be watching, Julie. Pardon? We'll Phil be watching yeah, now. Oh, did, did you see his wonky tag this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was a bit gutted by that. He saved it by... T I was shouting at the screen, it. turn it over, turn it over, and he <laughs> yeah, heard was me. was amazing. Right, so, so that's Why our base. Not what not? That's our base. Oh, I'm loving these colours. Yeah, and then obviously we've got the claret again, and we've got the flag. Now, the flag is a super, super, super um, die. As you saw with Phil, he used a smaller one to have, like, a flag tag either side... Uh, uh, side of your uh, flag board or rather either side of his image you can make um use the largest one to make yourself like a tag book if you want to yeah, i've done that before uh, obviously it's going to be your bunting if you want if you want to do your celebratory uh bunting you could, again use these stamps for your bunting Definitely. absolutely brilliant and the papers those yeah papers in yeah. the background you could alternate the designs couldn't you that actual uh, die set again it's under that uh, item number we've got various ones to choose from all for 1999 708 041 is the item number uh, i'm going to show you that tag set actually this is a really good this is the one with the, is it the buttons in the middle they've all got oh, buttons in the middle have they yeah they've all got buttons and everything across the 12 different because there's 12 different charm oh, sets these. um they're all different all the buttons are different they might be the similar shape but they're different sizes and uh yes yeah, so if you've got all 12 sets you, you're going to be on a winner rather than waste that area in the middle and do nothing with it because you pay for the metal yeah um he's he's, he's done something different with and that. i've noticed there's a fair few samples with those buttons on yeah. as well and they're just the finishing touch sometimes beautiful. it's nice to have the buttons in centers of flowers as well yeah, maybe with a bit of twine as well so you can see here i've got my present here and i've got the the spotty paper here and then we've got this is one of the star papers so i can um pop that one on there right, let's get all my glue on or not let's just do this one at a time before i get in a mess and you can see that you're going to put it in the right place because you've got that shading uh, there so you know you're going to have it the right way up and remember i've got the leftover bits from all the others that i can use on other cards like I say, you know, you, you, it looks like a lot of work to begin with, but it isn't. And just adding that bit of watercolour into your um, image, you can do that. Also, I don't know if you realise, um, but you can actually use your alcohol markers on the papers as can well. You? Yeah. Um, I haven't done it this time because obviously I've been focusing on, on um, these. But, um, yeah, definitely in the past, um, Karen... Um, Phil's sister has um, stamped images and coloured them in with their alcohol markers and I've actually demonstrated it on here as well oh, in the past so you can do it uh, it doesn't they don't react quite the same as using the um, the proper card as you'd expect but you know it's you just a, a difference still. Yeah, absolutely Fantastic. so we're going to just put this on foam tape and this I've got the so inner nice. one here I don't know if you can see oh you can see there probably We've got, oh, that's, nice, um, that's your beaded swags embossing folder, which is uh, with the classic flourish that we had on the background in the previous demo. It's one of the five embossing folders that there are on the show. Definitely have a look at these. 
Now these are all 8 by 8 you get 5 embossing folders. Got £5 saving as well. Oh, if you're going for the collection you put this in, of course you can split the cost as well. 171670. As always, everything that Phil brings us is absolutely beautiful. So classy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Classy, not classy, not brassy, is saying, always. isn't it? Always. So I'm just get, giving this enough bone tape with an inch of its life. Obviously, don't do bone tape if you don't want to. Let's get this on here first. Okay. I mean, you can obviously go around the edges with your inking. I've, I've actually um, done less of that uh, with this release. I've kept it, um, the edges plain and uninked because um, I'm just in that sort of mood at the moment. Phil was using the marker pens to go yes. around the edge as yep, well. Which you can was, do that. It gives a nice delicate look. It is, yeah. And then, of course, the glue with the brush was perfect for the glittered edges. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm not as glittery as, as ah, it's a nice it. embossing folder isn't it yeah it is it is and you can do loads of different techniques with embossing folders you can um if you run them through um with a piece of wax paper then the uh, image transfers to the uh, wax paper and then if you iron oh, you that did between that, two you? pieces of um uh, gloss card then add your distress inks or your distress oxides on top then you get a really cool um, finish to that that's a really cool background so there's our paper piece um, oh Julie that is just gorgeous once again it's really simple though isn't it it's really, not, not really lovely. Not difficult Ju the papers again you look at them the stripes the word anything no that's gonna be too much it's gonna take away from the stamps it certainly doesn't I think as long as you've got some sort of open background behind them on the top yeah. of there, yes, then I it works put, so perfectly. I wouldn't put that on um, a, a stamp background. So let's have a happy birthday. Let's have it actually on on there like that. Good choice. Okay. Like that. And then we again we're going to just um, one millimetre foam tape this. John, this one is one here. of those hours again that has literally flown by. Oh, we're doing. Oh, we're all right. We've just about finished We've this. Got probably three minutes. That's all. All right. Okay. So. We're then just going to add, oh, we've got some stars. So this is one of the smaller stars. So again, I've cut this out of my scrap. So we're going to have some stars coming down here. Yeah, like so. And then another one over here. Again, using very little of the paper, keep yep. every single scrap. Every single scrap. So we'll have one there like so. Then we bring in our leaves again i've used a smaller one of the succulents i use the floaty fronds this afternoon so we're going to just pop that down there like so and then we've got uh, we've used the claret for oh, the flowers, the flowers. And so this is on that luster card again yep yeah, yep yeah, on the luster card again so we're going to have let's have the biggest one just on its own without any leaves. Just are they the lavender pearls in the centre? These there, are the lavender, yeah. So they come with the baby pink and the baby blue, don't yeah. they? Definitely look at the pearls, both sets. We haven't got a great deal of stock left of those and when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Phil, you know, he's only got a limited amount of uh, pearls that come in. So let's just get those two down there like so and I would, I'm not going to, so you can do a little recap before the end, but okay. I would put, definitely put a pearl in each corner as well. Uh, oh, but there we are. Beautiful. Look at that. Totally different gorgeous. to the previous Absolutely one. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you know, once you get that collection with all those different papers and 56 different stamps in there as well, you know, just change the colours for, you know, how you feel to the day or whoever you're making for mix them together as well because they will work and complement each other beautifully if you're going for the full collection that 12 pound carried over from the individual six from the stamps six from the papers we are giving you another 10 pounds on top today your payment is just 44 pounds and was that 96 pence no it can't be can it let's just spin that back around Oh, it was 96 pence. Yeah, I did get that right. £44.96, and 96 pence. another in a month's time. Of course, everything will be shipped out to you in quick time. Item number you need is 485454. 160 sheets there within that bundle. Absolutely stunning, stunning samples. We're just looking at a few more here as well. Do you know, if you're using individual stamps, if you're using a whole mix of things, my favourite 
elements, I think, still in there and the most useful for me, the bunting, the little flags, the bottle, all in one stamp there. Those cupcakes, you've got candles, you've got sentiments in there, which are perfect. Julia, thank you so, so much. You're back again at four, aren't back you? Back at four, yes, a final call. Two more demos. <gasps> Can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> Do stay with us though. Much more to come. We'll give you the menu that's coming next. Yes, looking forward to this next hour again. I was watching earlier. All and create. Keep it merry. Then we've got Crass 2, Press Cut. That was very busy earlier on. Quilter's Trading Post a little bit later. Oh, I love to see the ladies. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself we cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities, so I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate. Um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. I hope to see you soon. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Good afternoon to you, I hope you are well. It's 12 o'clock, which means, well, I want to say it's 1 o'clock, actually. It's not even 12 o'clock. I've lost an hour somewhere in the day. Uh, it's 1 o'clock, and I really want to say a one-day special with this one because it is sort of a, a big old launch is what we're doing for. You asked back in the day that could you have the little cutie collection in Christmas form, and they said yes, and they bought you a stamp. Just the one is all they bought you. This time, we have now released the Christmas Cutie Collection. Keep it merry, Cutie Christmas Set. You are getting a full Christmas set here that goes hand in hand with all the little cuties that you've already got. Your item number for this one, 902563 is your item number. It is a weekend wow, which means... There'll be loads of shows over the course of the next 48 hours, over the next two days, taking us up till Sunday. This is the second launch of the All and Create autumnal release dates. Because we've got Tracy here tonight and tomorrow. We've got Leone here on Sunday with another one-day special. So, <coughs> oh, God, I'm excited. Uh, so if you're liking... If you're liking the first launch that we bought you a couple of weeks back, 
And then you've got the Wizard of Oz characters that were here a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago. Last week, I want to say. This is going to now add to your collection. Um, already a third of the stock has already gone of the weekend wow. 902563 is your item number. And I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. When we talk cuties, there's only one person <laughs> for the job. Yes, that's first of all why they put me back on the show again. Because of this little face just here. <laughs> the little cutie that I am. Also, it wouldn't be a little cutie show without my... Without, she's, my she's the Batman to my Robin, <laughs> as it were. She's the Morecambe to my wise. It's our video, <laughs> Jan. How are you? I'm really good, thank you very much. <laughs> These yeah. intros are only going to get bigger Aren't as the they? weekend goes on. <laughs> <laughs> these are quite, I'm looking forward to them. These are quite strong, but I'm going to work on them this evening when I go home. Um, what, was, what, was the, what was your first instant when you saw the very first Christmas launch for oh, the cuties? For these, I was, I was absolutely thrilled to bits because, um, for me, but also for the customers as well, because people absolutely love Janet's characters and they've been asking and asking for Christmas and Abs is a new and eventually we've, we've cracked him and he, he's, he's said yes, all right then. <laughs> So we've got the Christmas, and they are such lovely characters. They are, and, and they are versatile, as, as with a lot of All and Create stamps, they are very versatile, and some of them you can definitely use not as Christmas. So if you, if you, if you, you can use them all year round, so they are just really nice and versatile. I think, and Ab summed this up himself. Last time our Abs was in, doing the first release that he did, he, not that he's not a fan of Christmas, and I only mock and joke when I say that, but he likes his stamps not to be pigeonholed. Yeah. He likes his stamps that you can use all year round, and that's why he, the last collection he did was sort of Halloween slash Christmas slash a bit of this and a yeah. bit of that. So you can really do use them all the way around the year. And you can with these. Remember with the little cuties, you can change heads on bodies. You can uh, adapt some of the creatures that you've got in there, and some of the samples are absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, let me show you the stamps in all their glory, though, because they are are absolutely stunning. Uh, so first up, uh, we have the little reindeers uh, that we have, which I absolutely do. look how cute. So you'll see them uh, in a minute. See, that's the whole collection uh, that you're getting. But you, first of all, you've got those beautiful little reindeers uh, that you've got there. Then you've got your little sets of trees uh, with joy, love, peace, believe, Christmas, and the bauble. It everything's to proportion. Yeah, it's all. It just all works together really nicely and then you've got your little fox there with his, his little trolley of presents but we said earlier you can you can he's not Christmas he doesn't no, he's he, not. it depends how you color him um, he's got his little hat as well um, but the trolley you can cut the presents off uh, so you can use both halves separately and put other things inside the trolley you can put the little presents under the Christmas tree so it, again really really versatile and I love this next one. Yeah. If you have got the nan and granddad or the nan and grandpa, I think it was called, uh, from previous collections, they look exactly <laughs> the same. It literally looks like you've just dressed them up. They are so cute. I love the little faces. I love, I love Janet's characters. They're just so, so sweet. Yeah. It's the snip ability as well. Yeah. You could snip out that Santa hat and give it to another character uh, if you wanted to. Uh, from there, I have more to show you. Uh, you've got the girl. Oh, I don't see Christmas with this. You do that, that wouldn't be Christmas no, to me. No, she's just, this is Miss Mary, and it depends how you, obviously how you colour her, but she absolutely doesn't have to be Christmas. And you've got the little birds there as well, which again, used with anything. I love just adding them in, I just little quirky touches. And you've got your holly there as well, which obviously is Christmas, but you can, you can use that in all your other stamps as well. But the little birds, once again, they're going to work with the lemonade stall. Absolutely. They, they just work with anything. Yeah, they're really yeah. going to work. Yeah. Uh, we've also got this one. Next up, we've also got, I like, it's like the nativity. Yeah. So this is really cute. This is like the, the little kids getting all dressed up and waiting for Santa to arrive. And again, the tree on that one there, you can cut that tree off and make that a smaller tree, which um, I'm going to do as well at some point over the weekend. Um, yeah, so that, that works nicely. From there, we're still going on. You've got your snow people. So once again, I really do reckon you could make these smaller if you wanted to. So take some, swap some of the bodies around yeah. uh, with the skirt and things like that. Then you've also got the little snow dog uh, that's on there because little feet are made of uh, sticks that you've got. Let it snow. This is really useful as we saw yeah. in the first hour uh, when we launched these. And then last but no means least, you're also getting the stars as well with all your beautiful sentiments uh, that's on there. Uh, we were written in the stars. Uh, maybe I belong among the stars. Uh, reach. For the stars uh, shine like a star there and then you also get 
all the stars in there as well. Not only are you getting all of these, you're also getting, for free, if you're a Freedom member, the acrylic blocks, the A6 and A7 acrylic blocks as well. 70 pounds and 11 pence if you're a Freedom member or I'll split that cost onto two. Interest free, flexible payments for you as well. So it's worth having a little go at 35 pounds and six pence today is what you look. It is an absolute bargain. It is, that is a weekend well. Like Black, yeah, Black Friday doesn't start till next weekend, but that is a Black Friday deal. Yeah, absolutely. And and the acrylic blocks, even if you've already got the acrylic blocks, you you never have enough acrylic blocks. So it's always worth having another set of acrylic blocks. And the the Alden Create blocks are really good. They're they're lightweight and flexible as well, so you get all, get good images uh, prints with them. I like them a lot. It's worth having a little go at 902-563 is your item number uh, for this one with two flexible payments that you're looking at. So that is your brand new collection for your little weekend wow that you've got there. You'll see a lot of this over the course of this weekend. Right then, something else that we've also got on the show that is very, very busy earlier, this next one was, is the washi tape. Now, once we got uh, the washi tape that's in here, now, I'm, I'm gonna take you into a secret, another little secret. <laughs> After the first hour, when I said I shouldn't be telling you this, I got told off. I got pulled into a little office. and could we just have a quick word? Uh, could you not tell them about the big thick washi tape uh, and the price that we've priced it at? We've only priced it on the smaller ones, not the bigger ones. So please don't tell them that if they're going for the bigger ones, they're going to get a better deal. So I'm not allowed to tell you that this hour at all. Uh, so I won't, I won't be saying those words won't be leaving my mouth because um, I don't want to get told off once again. But I'd go for the big rolls because you get, get better money. Uh, so all of these that you're getting there in a pick and mix for the first time. So plain sold out earlier. It's back on extended delivery from the 22nd, which is only Monday, is what you're looking on this one. Then, this one here is your Eclipse. Very busy for Eclipse. Up next is your Inspire. From your Inspire, Ponder. I like the Ponder, it's a bit of teal. Then you've got an Encrypt. Now you Encrypt's one of the big ones. One of the big ones. You've got Artsy up next. Crafty, then. Winged Friends, it's all your birds that you've got in there. Fledgling, as you can see, just on there. Look at that, it's cute. Uh, now, this one here, cut a layer, a limited stock for one of the big ones. This is the one, once again, once again, it's worth having a little look. Uh, fragments, I like this one, because it's all the thimbles that you've got in there. Uh, back we go to the start. Uh, this time, this is Mother Nature, busy for Mother Nature. Then, horticultural layers that you've got. Uh, Fasteners, which are all your buttons. Passport stamps uh, is what you've got on there. Then you've got your twine, burlap, burlap a black, mix and match, poets, wishy washy, verdicule. This one? Beach rock. Beach rock, flower dancing. Verb, power words, mantras, motivation, joyful words light, joyful words dark, astonish light, astonish dark. Now, if, you, if you're liking these, wait till you hear Janet's fascinating facts <laughs> about the washi tape. These are good facts. Right, go Janet, fascinating go, facts right. time. So, the All and Create washi tapes, apart from being fabulous designs and absolutely brilliant, um, they're 10 metres on a roll, and uh, the average company does um, 5 metres on a roll. And I have a little strip here. There's a repeat of 37.2 centimetres. So before the pattern repeats itself, it's, there's, you've got this much, which is 37.2 centimetres, and the average roll, again, is uh, about 18 centimetres uh, before it repeats. So, so good, um, good, good value for washi tapes. So you get a lot. So say if you're doing like little bits and you're going the same word over and over again, yeah. you've more or less got a big old card there. Like yeah. an A4 piece of paper, yeah, you pull it out absolutely. and it starts repeating again. Yeah. So you've got a lot of different words on, on these ones with the words, but also the patterned ones, if I grab a... 
pattern one I've got here, um, you, you get different patterns on them. So most of the ones with patterns on, you've got sort of four or five different types of pattern on there as well. So, so really, as with everything all of Create do, just very versatile, very useful, um, and, and really good value for money. It's worth having Especially a look. At this price. <laughs> it, it really is. It's very rare, first of all, Abs is going to give you, because we've normally put them in bundles as well. Abs has now said, I don't know if it was us or it was Abs, to be honest. Uh, go on, go on, put them in a pick and mix. You can choose that you want. Cut tail layer now, sold out, back on extended delivery. This one here, uh, um, to the 22nd of November. So it has sold out, but we've bought it back on extended delivery. So your cut tail layer uh, that you've got there is now back on extended delivery. Uh, it's worth having a little look. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence with a five pound saving. You can choose whichever five you want to choose for. But as I said, I would definitely be going for some of the bigger ones. That's where the money is uh, because they've all been price established on these little ones. So they've all been, they've only got this price from these little ones putting them together. That's where your price is from. So the big ones, you can get more of a saving than what we're actually showing you on the screen. Uh, jump to the website, you'll see them all on there. Everything's on the website for you. Uh, all your tapes, you've got your Eclipse, your Inspire, your Ponder. I won't go through them again because you can see all the words that's there. Uh, but choose any five. Choose any five. You can go for two of the same. Uh, should you want to, you can go for five of the same if you're thinking, actually, I quite like that one. I quite like them. That one, that's the one I go to a lot. I'm going to have five, I'm going to have four of them and I have one of another. The choice is yours. Four eight four seven eight zero one three is your item number. Uh, something else uh, that we need to look at as well is, oh, I want to say this is the first time I bought you this stamp individually. Last time I bought it to you was in the big bundle uh, when Abs was doing his weekend wow. Uh, but this is the first time I bought it individually and it is a beautiful beautiful set of stamps uh, because it could be Christmas but it also could be so many other things. Yeah so this is by Bipasha um, so this is a fabulous set so obviously you've got the poinsettias and the um, lovely hat there and the, the fantastic little dog um, but if you cut the dog out separately he there's nothing on the dog that it says Christmas the words around it say Christmas you've got ho 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 but the others aren't specifically Christmas so you've got um, something like Believe in Magic, which, which could be Christmas or not, and then I can't remember what the other bit at the top says, but, but they, they're not necessarily Christmas words, um, so you can use it all year round as, as with everything, again, versatility. Uh, I love it. £17.99. and pence. I think it says new today for the studio. fact, it is the first time I have bought it to you individually. £17.99. pence. Six six zero zero eight one is your item number. And guess what? Not only am I here, we've also got more happy hours as well. Uh, this time we're going hexagons. Oh, look at these are some cracking little prices that we're bringing you now. £25.97 uh, is what you've got on this one. Uh, is that the happy hour price? Because we don't seem to be saving anything. No, it's not. I'm not, I'm not, selling, I'm not selling at that price. <laughs> that doesn't make me happy. Let's go, yeah, let's. That doesn't make me happy, that stamp. I don't care what Ab said. I'm not selling it at that. I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm going to show you something else. Uh, right. What are they going to do? Uh, so the flourish is what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, love the flourish. I, first time I've seen this stamp as well. Oh, this is a, a relatively older stamp. Yeah, this has been out a year, a couple of years maybe. But again, this is um, this could be this is one of those that could be Christmas or not. Um, so it was was not designed as a Christmas stamp, I don't think. Um, but for me, I see that as a Robin. Um, but um, but definitely um, definitely could be Christmas. But depending on how you colour it, could be just anything as well. And you've got all that lovely foliage around there as well, which is fabulous. So I think that's a ginkgo. I want to say leaf. That one I love that because yeah. I love the bird and that, and that. And that could be a blue tick, could be a grey tick, could yeah, be a robin yeah, if you it wanted it to be. Anything. There's yeah. so many things uh, that it could be when you get hold of it. Uh, and some of the beautiful cards uh, that you can do with these. Well, eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, Four zero eight nine two seven is your item number. Now they're telling me we're going back to happy hours, but will they make me happy? Let's find out. Uh, let's bring in your hexagons. Ooh. Well, that's a bit of a difference, isn't it? Let's be fair. <laughs> wow. Uh, a half price saving was twenty five ninety seven. I was going to bring it to you at, and I, I threw the toys out the pram. That's what I do. Uh, Twelve ninety seven is what you can have it for now for your hexagons. That is your A four, your eight by eight by eight. Uh, six by six. Six by six. Uh, A4, six by six. And you're also getting your set of stamps in there as well. Twelve pounds and ninety seven pence. And just to make up 
for the error that we had earlier, I'll throw you another happy hour in as well. I'll give you the squares. I'll give you the squares at a happy hour price. Go on. Don't say I don't give you nothing. Merry Christmas. Uh, £12.97, 853720 is your item number for your squares this time. Really handy to have. We've seen what Janet did with the hearts uh, in the last hour. The hearts and that one stamp uh, that I've got on the show as well what really works. Really, really works. And the squares are good to ground because you can put everything in boxes. Yeah. Um, and sort of like a block of flats and windows yeah. and things like that. Yeah, yeah. It's worth having a little go. Eight uh, five, eight, well, uh, eight five three seven two zero is your item number. Right then, let's go over to Crafty Corner. What are we up to this time? So I'm going to do um, like a Christmas card. So I'm going to do my little scene with the background. But again, I'm going to just show you different combinations of how you can you can do them. I've I've done this with the snow people and the stars and and built up the background. But um, you can you can use various combinations of of stamps for this. So I'm just going to stamp out my little snow people. Okay. Oh, look, I'm normally prepared. I've only got it all on my blocks and things. <laughs> so you've got the A6 blocks in here because the snow people don't actually fit on the A7s. They're a bit too big. Okay. So, oh, no, they do. I'll tell a lie. They do. They would fit on there. <laughs> but you couldn't get them both on them. You couldn't get them both on, no. So, um, but, but obviously the A6 is a fabulous size as well. So, and the little dog. Oops. And I like these. I like that. I like. <laughs> I do like quirky things. And um, and Janet really does quirky in a in a very nice way. She does it really cute, cute and quirky. Oops. So with your um, all and create acrylic blocks, obviously they're they're quite slim, um, and they are um, quite light. Uh, and also the thing with them is they're flexible. Obviously the the bigger the block is the more flexible it is the more flexibility you have but you do still have that flexibility with these ones as well so it just helps if you've got a, a bigger image um, if you just put some pressure somewhere put your thumb and just flex and then it puts the pressure so you get a nice image all the way across um, all the way across your, your stamps so those are my little snow people put them back so I know where they are for next time um, and then I have got them all cut out and coloured and ready to go. So I've still got my little collection of cut out ones here. And and you could, as Adam said, you could easily cut that there. And I think I've in this one I've actually cut his legs off on my finished sample because <laughs> he was mm. I didn't want him as tall as he was, so he, I just cut his legs off. <laughs> cut his legs off. Just cut his legs off. That's how I am. <laughs> um, and then you've got your really cute little dog as well with his little stick ears and his little stick tail and legs. But he's really cute as well. So I just, I really, really like these stamps. And I like, you could obviously colour them however you want to colour them. I like his top hat. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to use these on my background. So I'm just going to start on my background now. So I've got, um, this is going to fit on a five by seven card. So it's, I normally do four and a half by six and a half. Um, and I've just torn a piece of copy paper to make, um, I want some hills. And I like to just do that um, at a bit of an angle. And I'm going to, this is just a sin, really. <laughs> hmm. I'm just going to stick the back of this with a bit of washi tape, um, which I absolutely wouldn't waste washi tape doing things like this, but you can obviously use it again. So I'm just going to stick the back. Oop. I'm sure it actually sticks to the paper, not just to the card. Should have used a wide one, really. I? Right. So that's just enough to hold it in place so that I don't mess it up. And then I've got here, this is Blueprint Sketch. So I'm just going to sweep a bit of colour across my uh, paper. And when I'm using a brush, I always like to just um, start just, just a little bit off the paper, just so that you get a slightly um, more even finish you don't get a sort of splodge so the first time you put your brush down you kind of get a splodge and you don't want that on your project so I kind of just very gently do it off and I'm probably not going to do as much of this here as I would do when I'm at home I tend to always I think this bit's a bit boring to watch yeah, <laughs> so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't together. watch quite as much and then just because it can be a nice little sunset scene I think that's probably enough on there I'm going to add a little bit of pink into the middle of it as well and also that's going to tie in a bit later on as well 
So this that was blueprint sketch. This is picked raspberry, and again just a little bit of pink, just in the middle. Just to give it a sort of red sky at night sort of feel. And then when you when you take your card off, you've got your Look you've got your that. ground there. I want to leave that in place just for the moment. So then I want my trees in place and I've used a stamp set which you wouldn't immediately <laughs> you wouldn't immediately put with the cuties I think is fair to say it's called Wicked <laughs> and it's it's number 49 so it's an early stamp by Olga um, and I just love these trees I love these trees I've always always wanted to do these trees in a, on a Christmas card so Ab said what would you like in the show I said can I have those trees <laughs> <laughs> so but again it's not one you would necessarily put as a as with the cuties but um, I think it works really well details so, on the screen for that 9.99 is what you're looking at for this one so I've stamped these in black and what I want to do is just stamp them so that the bottom part of the stamp is on, on my paper, on my mask um, and then it will kind of, with any luck, it will look as though they're kind of nestling behind, um, behind the, uh, the sort of snow line. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop them like that and you can do, if you want to just do a little sort of faded one just in the background as well, oh, you can lovely. do that. Give it a bit of depth. So if you're just starting out, you may have not seen this stamp set before. 999 646974 is your item number. Let's uh, do another one there. And you can vary the height of them as well. It looks better if you obviously don't just stamp them all just across in a line. It always looks better if you vary the height a little bit. Just do one there in the background. It looks like a Matthew Palmer print. <laughs> Do a faded one. And then I'll just do a little bit on the end. So again, depending on how high up you have the, the stamps, you can look. And then when you take your, oh, your paper away, it, it uh, looks like you've got all your trees in the background there. I used to do that sort of thing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit to my sky and I'm going to use my picked raspberry and I'm going to use my dots. So these are from the snow people as well. So I'm just going to use my little dots. Put the details in for the weekend. Wow, this is where you're going to find the dots in the snow people set. So I'm just going to randomly stamp these around. I can't believe you get the acrylic blocks as well with this little yeah, bundle. Yeah, that's amazing. So just give those a little bit, just to add a little bit of something to the sky. Uh, and then I can take my mask off, yes. <laughs> there we go. This is the perk of using washi. Yeah, so that just comes off nicely. You could actually use that for later. There's no, nothing to stop you using that. So then I'm just going to pop my little snow people in place. And again, I'm going to just do what I did last time, really, and just show you, you, you can have loads of different combinations of these, um, however you want them to go. So I've kind of written this one. I did cut his legs off on this one because he was a bit Aww. taller than I wanted him to be. So I like, I don't like... People, if I'm doing a row, I don't like everybody at the same height. I always have to have them sort of a bit up and down. I don't know why. It's just, just the way I, I am. Like them, isn't it? We're yeah, all the same. we're all a bit up and down, aren't we? <laughs> I meant in height, but yes, oh, I'll, 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 go with that. I'll go with that as well. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> um, and then again, just pop your stars around and you've got that, got that there. Um, so again, you can do all sorts of different combinations. So it, it, it will work with all your different all your different stamps that you've got in. That's the one I'm going to go with. Um, but I will just show you other combinations. So again, you can have you can have your little Christmas tree here. He does still work, even though he's in the. You've got trees in the background. He's he still be in the foreground. You can have your little. I like the reindeer. Is my reindeer gone? Here he is. I like this one. I like this one carrying the presents, but he could be here. You could have him in the sky. You could have Father Christmas 
just watching him in the sky coming wow. across. So there's lots and lots of different combinations of, of how you, you can do them. Um, you can have your fox as well. He can be here with the, with the trolley. So again, you've got him with the stars, always just with your stars in the sky as well. You pop those in. So loads and loads of different combinations that you can do with your stamps. So they're really good fun. I had, I really enjoyed um, playing with these and getting all the different combinations uh, going. Um, and I just want to add a little bit of texture to the ground here. So I'm using the um, border stamp. So this, oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to stop using this one. <laughs> this is called frayed threads. <laughs> frayed threads. Frayed threads, which is not easy to say. Um, and I just want to add a little touch of something in the, in the, into the ground. So I'm using the blue again, or oh, I'm going to use a paler blue. It's a bit dark, that one, if I can find a paler blue. Details for your Freddy Threads are on the screen at the moment. You're getting three stamps in there. Can you get the two lines and you also get the hearts as well? 999-712-0010 is your item number that you're looking at for this one at the moment. 999 is what you're getting as well. With a three pound saving, this is what the stamp looks like. Uh, this is your thread thread. You're going to sort of that burlap hessian sort yeah, of look that yeah. you get from it, which I absolutely love. And you also get your three different hearts uh, down at the bottom. So it's three stamps in total, 712010. So I'm just going to add a few little touches of this into the, into the background. It's not really anything, just, just a little bit of, bit of colour and a little bit of, um, just a little bit of texture as well. So that just gives it a little touch of something. Um, and then I think that's all I'm going to do, apart from a bit of um, texture paste. So we have here my heart stencil. So this is in this is the six by six. Uh, I think this is might be heaps of hearts. Okay. I don't remember, but it's in the in the collection we've got with the stamp set. And then I've just got some texture paste. I'm just going to pop through a few little touches just in the corners. Uh, do another bit here. There. And then I will just do one on the ground as well, just because I like things in threes. So this probably isn't really going to show up very much, but it, it will do, just adds a little bit of uh, texture rather than colour. I'll just pop that there. I like that one. But then you could uh, you go in with your text page, you go in with your sparkles as yeah. well if you want See, to. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not a glitter person. I don't really do glitter, but obviously you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I, I do. And I was just, as I walked past the, the fill set there, and I said, everything was sparkling. And I thought, oh, you know, people, people do like glitter, and I forget that. <laughs> that just says a lot about our fill, to be honest. <laughs> everything was sparkling and shiny. He's but, like a uh, human unicorn. <laughs> So you do have to just clean your stencil when you've when you've used um, texture paste. Just clean your stencil, or you, you you clog up all your apertures, which isn't which is never a good thing to do. Never a good thing. You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> no, never do that. Um, so then we're just going to pop my little people back. And there was my little dog gone. Oh, yes, he's just going to go down there. And then I've I've put the same. So, tis the season to be freezing. Well, you've got other, in, in the, um, across the set, you've got all sorts of other greetings you could be using. So, that's just going to sit there. This isn't dry, so obviously my texture paste isn't dry, and you would leave that to dry before you did anything, like layer everything up over the top of it. Um, and then just to finish it off, I'm going to add some washi, because it's the law. Um, so this is number two, which I think is Inspire, is it? can't remember, but it's number two. Inspire, I think it's called. So I'm just going to tear a few little bits and pop them around the edge. Washi tape, very busy, 9.95. I've never seen five washi tapes at this price before uh, for £9.95. So it makes it just shy of uh, a pound of washi tape. You're getting 10 metres, 
10 meters per roll. Yeah. 10 meters per roll. You normally get five meters with any any other washi tapes that you're getting there. Uh, and before it repeats, you're looking at 37.2 yeah. centimeters uh, before you get a repeating pattern that is on there. You see, it's been drilled into all of us. <laughs> it's quite a quite a quite an entrance exam you have to go through with all the <laughs> yeah. a lot of statistics you have to remember. <laughs> What's this? What's that? Oh, every three God. months. Every three months. Exam. Yeah. <laughs> so then I would just ground all these little people as well, just with a little bit of washi tape to, to ground um, everybody so that they've got a bit of something to be standing on. Oops. Obviously you let your texture paste dry first. Yeah, let your texture paste dry first. <laughs> We're just in a rush. I'm really bad. I'm, I'm, I'm forever. Is that? Oh no, it's not dry yet. This is pretty finger in it. <laughs> just, Look I at do. That, though. I am dreadful. And then I would just, just, just to brighten it up as well, because it's quite dark. I'd just stick the stars around as well. So, so from the same stars. background, you could batch make backgrounds. Yeah, you absolutely you could. So yeah, many cards. you could. Oh, and the, the other thing I've done, I'm not going to put that on top of there, is in the die. There's a die here called Code. Um, and you've got, um, so does that show up on there? Yeah, yes, we can it does. See it. Um, so you've got your numbers. So obviously this is the die, and this is the bit you, you're probably going to use. But but don't throw away your numbers. So when you pop these out, you've got your numbers in place. So I've just used the two and the five from there, and just pop those oh, on yeah. there as well. And then just edge everything in black, which I always do. Worth having a little look at this one. It really, really, and because I also think if you use the dog's antlers and legs, you could make like a little bonfire, like a little campfire. <laughs> you could. If you started, if you just angled them in a way, you could make a little campfire uh, out of them as well. Uh, we are very, very busy for the happy hours as well. Uh, your hexagon happy hour. Uh, the price of this is better than half price is what you're looking at for this one. A third of the hexagons now have already gone £12.97 with a £13 saving. 222722 is your item number that you're looking at for your 6x6, your A4 and your, so your stamp set that's in there. Uh, we've also got the squares on the show and 50% of the stock of your squares have already gone. Will it be the stock or will it be the clock? that ticks out first. Who knows? 853720 is your item number. £12.97 is what you are looking at for this one. Let me, let's have go back to the weekend wow, if we may. Uh, because it's very, very busy uh, at the moment for your weekend wow. It's the first time that we have launched uh, the weekend wow, as in for the little cuties Christmas collection. They launched only a few hours ago and they have been flying off the shelves. What is a weekend well? It's a, well it's, it is like a time limited offer. We dedicate uh, two shows a day to the weekend well so you can see all the different designs and everything that you go through because this is the second part of the autumnal launch for All and Create as well. It's not just Janet's in over this weekend, Tracy's in as well and also our very own Leone will be doing a one day special over on Sunday evening for the All and Create brand. But let me show you some samples uh, that you can achieve with all of this that you're actually bringing home. So just using those dots, how good's that? Clever, isn't it? It's just Joe, using the it? dots yeah. that Joe's done there as a little Christmas tree, um, or just using the stars on their own. That's good. That is beautiful. I want to say the background to this is using a uh, Lavinia stencil. I'm going to go for because uh, I think I've got the same pencil. Uh, then using your circles as a frame. Oh look, they're holding hands with the love sign. Oh, that's cute uh, that you've got. Uh, using the trees. This is what my Christmas tree looked like on Boxing Day last year when I bought a real one. Uh, that you've got just there. <laughs> no word of a lie. That's what it looked like. Um, and there, oh, I just think these. So Joe's also given. Where she got this bit from, though? Oh, that's from the tree itself. So that little stump is that tree. So that is those. Yeah, she put the other tree. That she's the top. put. It, she's put the tree underneath. So it looks like they've got some bark, and then she's gone all out. She's had a bit of time to spare with these. These are so cute. Imagine these on your tree. I think I actually want these on my tree, to be honest. And then you've also got the reindeers as well. So you've got the t these are these are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. Thirty-five pounds and six pence uh, is what you're looking at for these ones. Nine zero two five six three is your item number. And remember, if you're a Freedom member, 
you're getting the acrylic blocks for free in this. All the acrylic blocks that you see down here, you are getting for free. £35 and six pence across two interest-free flexible payments. We are 40% in two shows. We are 40% of the stock over six shows. This has got a last four. Uh, who knows if it will. Once again, it's one of these. Will it be the stock or will it be the cloth? We are 40% of a vast amount of stock that ABS has given us. 902563 is your item number for this one. 35 pounds and six pence. Now something else that's busy. Come with me. Shawashi washi that you've got here. These are flying out of the door. I think you've slowly worked out now. You've worked out these other obviously I'm not allowed to tell you. If you're going for the bigger <laughs> ones, it works out to be better value for money. I, I can't say it. No, I get told off. That. I won't tell them. I got told off the first hour. But if you are going for the thicker ones uh, that's in here, uh, it works out to be better value for money. Because the prices that you see... Where are we? The prices that you see here, okay, are worked out on the thin ones. So we've worked them all out on this sort of size. So we've gone, okay, these sorts of sizes, which the majority are, we'll give you a five pound saving, we'll do them for 9.95 in a pick and mix. Then they've added the bigger ones in as well, but don't tell them, don't tell the viewer that the bigger ones are in there. And I wouldn't do that, I'm not that sort of boy. I'm not that sort of boy, to be honest. I'm not, that, I'm not Dell boy, I don't do that. I wouldn't tell you to go for the bigger ones because they're better value for money. You're not really saving fiver, then you're saving actually more if you're going for the big ones that are here. Uh, it is. It is like going for a meal deal and going for the lobster sandwich, because you know you can get it for £3.50. And rather than buying special own crisp, you can go for the big boys. You know? It's, it's working out your maths, but it's all your maths is there. It's two of them. Uh, I want to say two of them are back on extended delivery. Uh, your plane and your cocktail layer that you've got there. So these two here are now on extended delivery uh, that you've got. Uh, we're going through the names. Oh, go on then, treat yourself. So you've got the plane, extended delivery on that one. Then you've got Eclipse, Inspire, Ponder, Encrypt, Artsy, Crafty, Winged Friends, Fledgling, Cocktail Layout, back on extended, Fragments, moving down the line, we've got Mother Nature, Horticultural Layers, Fasteners, Passport Stamps, Twine, Burlap Black, Mix and Match, Poets, Wishy Washy, Verticue, Beach Rock, Flower Dancing, Verve, uh, Power Words, is this one just here? Mantras, Motivation, Joyful Words Light, Joyful Words Dark, Astonished Light, Astonished Dark. There are all the uh, tapes that you're getting. I mean, I'm going to go on and you can choose any five uh, that you want to choose. Um, you can double up on your favourite one, should you wish. Uh, you get a massive run, 37.2 centimetres a run before the pattern repeats. Each roll has 10 metres on a roll is what you are looking at, uh, whether your normal standard washi tape normally has five. Uh, so you're looking at 10 metres a roll, that's 50 metres in total, for 9.95 with a £5 saving. Obviously, if you go for the bigger ones, your savings are going to be slightly more, but I didn't tell you that. My name's Catherine, if I did. 478013 is your item number. Jump to the website, it's the quickest and easiest place to go. Because we've got pick and mixes on the show as well. When we talk cuties, we all pick eight pick and mixes. <gasps> eight of the A7s. A6s, you can choose any two. You can choose any five of the A6s as well as those ones. Then you've got your pick and mix. Choose any five of your washi tapes. We let you buy your way. You can, you can be the designer. Let's have a look at some of the A7s. Because these will be original cuties uh, that we've got there. Bird lover, cat lover, little magic that's in there, new day that's in there, uh, the giving heart that's in there as well. All will work. With your brand new cuties, they're all built to scale and they're all built to size. So it's worth flicking through some of these, if I was you, just to make sure you go, oh, I haven't got that one. Oh, I'd like that one as well. Uh, I haven't got that one either. It's worth having a little look. This is the best way of getting them now. If you want to stock up your collection, because um, I remember Captain at one point, the only way you could get the Captain and the Air Hostess girl was going for two separate bundles. That's how they were split. Uh, but now you can do them your way. You can pick 
which ones you want. Uh, Stan and Ali, you've got Marilyn in there. You've got the Time app that's in there as well. Uh, you've got the smaller houses. Um, you've also got the sewing machine. There's so, so many. Some of the newer ones that we've only just released are also in there. It's worth having a little look at them. Oh, there's Nana and Papa. Look, that are Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. They're the ones that work with the new collection. Um, I love them. I absolutely love them. All right, as we get back to demo, let's get back over. Oh, the um, signs are on there as well. Right, and what are we up to this time? Yeah, so um, I'm just going to do another little card with me with various, just a whole mixture of different bits and pieces that I'm just okay. going to put together. So um, there's actually nothing really stuck on this card. It's all just stuck over the top. So um, I'm going to start just by um, stamping out the bits that I'm going to use. So this is from uh, the Jolly Elements set. So this is the fantastic set with the dog. Um, so um, I'm going to use this, these two stamps here, so just to cut out the poinsettias and the, and the holly berries. So lovely stamp set, that one. Really nice for uh, Christmas or not Christmas, depending how you want to use it. This is my poinsettias, so these are beautiful. And what I like, this is by Bipasha, and what, what's nice about Bipasha is all the words she mingles in with her designs. And this one is a particular favourite, because <laughs> it says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle, Aww. which which I, it, that just appeared, oh, have I done it upside down? Probably, yeah. So here, don't get your tinsel in a tangle, which just appeals to me. <laughs> is that an actual saying? No, I think that's just Bipasha's Only made that up. Own, well, you say Is she or is that not? I don't know. My, I've not heard it before. My little, I was walking around B&M the other day, other stores were available, and we went past the Christmas aisle, and Molly shouted it out, Dada, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Oh, right, maybe it isn't. Then. But I don't know if it was a real saying or not. I don't know where she got it from. Uh, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. And then you've got the holly leaves there as well, so they're fabulous. Festive spirit. And then the little girl I'm going to use is Miss Mary from the, from the Weekend Wow, and the little bird that comes with her as well. So I'm just going to give her a little stamp. I like the little birds. You could do lots of them. Could be oh, I love these. I love these little birds. So that's them. And then obviously I've got everything. I've just coloured everything in. So I've cut out from here. I've cut out the two main flowers and I've just done everything twice. So I've cut two flowers out from each one twice. Oh, okay. And the, the holly from there as well. So another component I need <laughs> is, um, is this kind of, I did this background and I've used the, I think this is called Horticultural Layers, the washi yes, tape, um, which is beautiful pink colour by Tracy. So this is one by Tracy. And then I've just die cut it. So I've used um, this die here by Vipasha Cells. Um, and once you've die cut that, um, it, just, it just looks really nice. And I put that on white, it looks a bit better if it's on white. So um, it just gives your dyes something a bit more interesting. So don't feel you just have to cut them out of black card or white card. Use your washes and, or stamp as well. You can stamp a background and cut that out as well. That just makes your dyes look um, really interesting. So that's going to go there. And what I've actually done is actually chopped away these, these edges. And then I'm just going to arrange my, my flowers around here. Oops. me other little ones so I like the smaller ones on the edges oh, I've lost me other smaller ones no it's, there, it's flipped over look on the above the three ah no oh, no on your, on your actual piece of work all right go above the three <laughs> oh, right there it is. Well done. you're very good Adam I do try you are very I good I could have that in writing yeah I will I'll, I'll do a memo <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll I'll get rid of the one I complained about having to yeah, wait. Take, take, that, one, take <laughs> that one back off the desk. I'll take that one, off. one on. I'll stick another one on. <laughs> so that's just going to go there. Obviously, they would all be coloured in. And then my little girl is just going to stand here. She's just going to pop in there. And then I've got a Merry Christmas, which must come from one of the stamps. It um. comes from the little girl as well. So this is the, the Miss Merry. So you've got the Merry Christmas from there. And I'm just going to pop that in place there and then just to add um, I just wanted a little bit more to it than that so I've used my frayed threads again and I just wanted to add just this tiny little bit here that'll stick I've used this quite a lot now it's not sticking <laughs> to my block anymore um, and I just wanted this to kind of come out 
from the edges so I just did that and I just want it in the corner here as well we've got people over in America and Europe buying this hour as yeah. well we have we're very international very. this hour if you're watching me from America or Europe drop me a line studio at thecraftstore.com and Dan I would like to know where you're from yeah where are you watching me from at the moment as in area not room don't just put living room <laughs> you know people would living Lesson. room in in yeah living room in uh, Nebraska Australia or, or Nebraska somewhere, or yeah. I've never had anyone in Antarctica yet I'm still trying <laughs> so there so that all just goes together Kind of like that, but again, you could use that's any nice. of the little characters like that. If I bring in my finished one, which is doesn't keep moving, so that's kind of all. And my little bird, just to have a little bird sitting there as well. So that's that's the kind of main thing. And then for the background, I've just used my stencil again. So I've got my um, my hearts, and I'm going to use uh, green twisted citron. Let's bring up the details for your hearts bundle. It goes very well with your happy hours as well. £17.97. 050514 is your item number. Your 6x6 six six stencil, uh, which I'm using at the moment. You get your A4 stencil. And you're also going to be getting your stamps as well that's in there. So I quite like to do just, I mean, you could leave it on a plain background if that's what you wanted to do, but it's quite nice just to add a little touch of detail in the corners. Uh, I'll just pop that in there. Put that down here. And it really works. And sometimes we think no. a stencil you have to use everything. No, no, no. You just use bits, bits and pieces. Um, and then that's all just going to sit on there. If you wanted to, I've le left this one white, which I think looks quite nice. Obviously, I would edge all that in black. Um, but this one, I coloured it. it. I just brushed the, carried on brushing in, in a bit of green. Um, and that just, just finishes it all off. That's beautiful. It really, really is. Absolutely stunning. Uh, there's so many possibilities. Do you think we can fit in another cheeky yep, little demo? Yeah, another cheeky one. Uh, let's do it. Let's fit in another one. I'll give you a quick recap. Uh, of your happy hours, I'll give you a recap on at the moment. Because uh, remember, you've only got about less than 10 minutes now uh, from the look of my clock. Uh, get them while you can. Oh, yeah, actually, you've got a bit longer than 10 minutes. It's only, it's only 40, 48. You've got until uh, zero, 00. You've got 11 minutes to be precise. That's what we like. I run a tight and sturdy ship. £12.97 pence with a £13 saving. 222.722 is your item number for your hexagons. Uh, you've also got your four sides as well, for your square uh, that you've got there. Uh, different type, different jobs for different needs in it. Different jobs for different. Go for your favourite. It sounds random, but go for your favourite shape. Now, why do you say that? Because if you know, if you don't enjoy the shape, you won't use it as much. Maybe you're more au fait with a square. But remember, if you go a square and you turn it on its side, you've got a diamond. So maybe that's the route you want to go down. Eight five three seven two zero is your item number. Twelve pounds and ninety seven pence. Uh, details for the weekend. Well, let's pop them back on the screen for you. It's been very, very busy. This is the second live hour of four more. It's meant to last till Sunday evening. Our weekend well is 902563 is your item number, £77.90. Right, then let's get back for our last and final demo. We've got about uh, eight minutes. Oh, cool. Lovely. So I thought we'd do some tags, um, and you can kind of have these as Christmas or non-Christmas. So I've blended um, two colours on each. So this is mustard seed and red colour <laughs> and this is sorry I've forgotten and, and this is uh, mermaid lagoon and twisted citron I think but anyway so um, so I've just blended them round and then I'm just gonna add I like I've started this is something uh, that's a bit different for me I quite like just building up quirky backgrounds with my patterns so I'm using this is uh, quirky circles which is a fabulous and I often use these as rocks um, just to, to stand things on but I thought actually it's, it would be quite nice just as a, as a kind of background edge stamp as well so I'm just gonna pop um, that on my block. Your quirky circles come with your landscape lines as well so it's well worth having a little look at these ones 15 pounds and 98 pence is what you're looking at you've got 10 pounds saving on this 177285 
so I'm just going to pop these um, kind of not all of them I'm just going to use part oh. ah, I hate oh. it when I do that oh got away with it just about so I'm just going to pop some of these around Stamps like this I find just work as just, borders yeah. and they really do enhance yeah. your little, especially your little cuties as well, they, there's something for them to sit on, it's, it's for a bird to sit on yeah. or some of the dinosaurs that we had to move around as boulders and rocks. They are, they were, they were really good with the, with the dinosaurs as, as boulders, they were fantastic, I, I liked using those for that, but I just thought I'd, I have to stop using, try and use different things in different ways um, and so I thought I'd try it this but I really liked so I'll just mop up all my ink otherwise it gets all over everything so then we've got this fan fabulous background stamp by Janet so this will be in the um, A6 pick and mix by Janet Klein it's called visual ingredients and you've just got masses of all these different little elements that you can use to build up all your backgrounds so this is one of my favorites so nothing sticks anymore <laughs> this is a, a, a lot of use yeah this is uh, it's not so much the stamp doesn't stick it's just it picks up a load of gubbins on the back and um and you just need to wash it really that's what you need to do <laughs> janet you need to wash your stamps every now and do again janet says no it's janet does yeah exactly <laughs> so i'm going to use festive berries that was the red i used on there so i'm just going to stamp these in we can just start to bring oh, these nice. in from the corners as well sort of there's quite geo about this yeah I'm, I'm i just i'm not good at i'm not good at sort of random patterns and colors it's 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 something i find quite quite difficult to do but i've been really enjoying doing these ones and it's i'm i'm trying to uh, and find what colour green I used and then for this I've used Rustic Wilderness which isn't the green I used in the background but I just wanted it to show up on here so I'm just uh... sometimes it, hard, it is hard to be random it is very hard I find it quite hard it's not something I'm my brain doesn't do very well but uh, some people find it easier and then I'm going to use these little cross hatch things Remember as well, if you're going for your weekend, wow, well, you're also going to get your uh, little uh, plates in there, your little stamping acrylic blocks. And this is in Wild Honey for here. Oops. So I'm just going to sort of... We've got about two minutes left. Oh, right, okay. I won't do both of those then, but... Um, so I've got the Wild Honey in that. Gosh, that went quick. <laughs> it's got, it's, it's 57 minutes is flying oh, by, isn't it? just goes by really quickly. Is that you done for today now? Done for today, yep. I'm going to hang around and see Tracy because she's coming in, so that'd be what nice. What time are you back in tomorrow? 7 o'clock. So, what, for 7 a.m. show? Uh, yeah. I will see you at 7 a.m. tomorrow. At 7 we'll 7 do it all again tomorrow. We'll try and keep each other awake. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there. Um, and then the only other one is I've, I've stamped this, this green one, is this little dots as well. I don't know how much time I've got left, but... Oh, it's the same team on tomorrow. Oh, it's same all of us again, is it? Oh, oh, you can we'll roll have in a at half to seven yeah. if you want to. <laughs> we'll pass this as prep, people. But this is prep, yeah, so we'll do it all again. And then it's just really a case of just, uh, as always, just popping pop in all your little characters in. Um, and I, I have for these used... Um, some other characters i thought some other ones would work as well so these are from the the pick and mix so i've got the little boy he's he's from the the go fish so i think he would he would work quite nicely in there yeah, as does. well um and you've got your stars and your birds as well so don't forget always just to pop your stars around um and you've got the little girl she's the coffee drinker with coffee time she can just pop in here and again you've got the stars just pop those around so you can do lots of nice quirky quirky little backgrounds i've done actually probably better backgrounds when i, I wasn't 
kind of rushing quite so much. But do your backgrounds, have a look at your characters, see what you can use. It's um, worth having yeah. a little look. If I was you, we are busy. Hexagons, happy hours. We haven't got long to get these now. You've got about four minutes uh, to get them before the price goes back up. If you want your hexagons, two thirds of the stock now has already gone. Twelve pounds, ninety-seven pence, two 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 seven two two is your item number. And if you want your squares, they look a little bit like this. And your item number uh, for this one is 853720 is your item number 12 pounds and 97 pence for your squares right then your weekend well has been busy uh, and Janet is back in the morning 7 a.m. with myself uh, we'll do this all over again should we treat this as a rehearsal this hasn't gone out live we'll do it we'll go Live tomorrow, Janet. Live, live tomorrow. We'll get it so right all tomorrow. All the nerves are we'll now out. We'll, we'll, We've we'll had two right runs tomorrow. at this. Tomorrow, <laughs> professional. Through and through. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's, Janet always is, it's me. I let the team down. Uh, busy across the board. I've got to go. I'm going to hand the baton over to, I think it's Richard and our Alex taking you through the evening. Oh, what a treat. Yes, indeed. Crafts 2 uh, Press Cuts is up next. It's Quilting Traders Post. Pat's Hat. You can get the pattern. Pat's Hat. You don't want to miss that. Then it's sentimentally yours. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. You know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day seven days a week for free using our app on roku just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications your roku streaming player on roku tv accesses the roku channel store to add new channels by downloading the craft store channel you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your tv anytime you want to watch here's how you do it turn on your tv and connect your roku device Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. We like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. You know what time it is. Fun and frolics time yeah. with John Lockwood. Hi, I lovely. I love this one. I get to do jazz hands. It's the only time I ever get to do them badly, but I get to do them. Oh, well, I'm not that great either. <laughs> um, so, John, this is your last two-hour set, if you will, of the year. It is. You've got one more one-day special later on. One more one-day special, I think the 30th of November. And then? Which is the final John Next Door release of the year. Right. No more John Next Door then until... Early Janu late January or early February, could even be late February, to be honest. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is um, almost um, board game time. 
<laughs> I like that. Yeah, this is almost getting to the sort of, you know, we, we can play with board games because it's our last day. Absolutely. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right, well, we better get down to it then. So what we've got for you here is the complete rectangle die collection. You've got your notched, your plain and your stitch dot. And when you were telling me earlier about how much these sorts of dies used to cost and now how much they're... Did you say they're in this bundle, a pound a die? Yes. About that. I think it'd work out, looking at looking at the price, yep. I think there's 54 dies and this is, what, 56 or something. That's right. So you're talking a pound and some pence. Right. But £1.5p. There you go. That's it. Per, per die. die. And look at the size, how they get, how large they go up and to. And I, I know you go, OK, well, yeah, but you're also talking about that for the smallest ones. But yeah. look at the, the smallest one. You, pay, you can pay more than that. But I was talking to Mr Baker, our director, uh, at yes. the beginning when I came in earlier this morning and he was saying have dies come down in price mm -hmm. because as he said each one of these an A4 die set like this would have been 40 pounds right I've paid it yeah so this bundle would have been 120 pounds back in the day Gosh. technology's moved forward we've been able to put more dies into the metal yeah get more value out and prices have dropped I think as more players have come into the market and mm -hmm. crafts 2 press cut is crafts 2's basic range right it's it's essential die range it's what you need yeah that's the way we've always classed it and crafts too have got a a, a brilliant policy mm -hmm. of trying to price things at the best they can for crafters right they've been going for sort of officially i think it's 22 or 23 years mm -hmm. but really about 35 okay. all told and they've always pushed to get things at the best price possible mm. and yeah i mean i didn't think about it earlier but when you look at that you go I've paid nearly that for one set of these in the past and yeah. got less out of them. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just your value is incredible. And it's like, these are a staple. These are a staple in your collection. So shall we have a look at some of the things you can do? We shall, yeah. So you've got here, what I wanted to show, what I show with this one, it actually goes, it's that way, it's long it's ways. that way. Ooh. Oops. Hilarious. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, basically, you've got there the notch, and you see with the notch, we've changed the notch from the original press cut design. Yeah. So that, first of all, they all nest perfectly. Mm. The original press cut notch dies that they did a few years ago, mm. they, didn't no they didn't nest properly, so you wouldn't have got that thin border all around all four sides. Yeah. So that's the first thing. The second thing is these are all mathematically correct. Okay. And what that means is we started out with the plain ones, and the smallest die in that one is a half is a quarter of an inch wide. Okay, tiny, Every tiny. Every subsequent die is a quarter of an inch bigger on mm -hmm. each aspect. Mm -hmm. And I've done the same with the notched. So now you can see with that card, we've got the stitch dot, the plain, and the notched all together. And it's the same border size around yep. all four sides. I really like that. Because they're all tied to work together. And I know I've tried in the past of getting... There are so many rectangles out there, mm -hmm. oblongs, different shapes. These yeah. are based on the UK five by seven aspect ratio. Okay. So if you think I of the old, the maths. you think of the old photographs. Yeah. They were four by six. They were indeed. So there's a four by six die in here. Good. There's a four by six notch die in here. Yeah. And there's a four by six mat in the stitch dot as well. Okay. There's the same for a seven by five, for a three by Those five, photos. for a two by four. Brilliant. So it's every single one and every quarter inch thereon. And that's what makes the difference. So you can make cards like that mm -hmm. without a guillotine or anything when everything just works and gives you exactly the same size border. I know. That, I find, it saves you so much time because I am... I am rubbish at getting, when I do my score lines on the scoreboard, again, I always say there's nothing wrong with the scoreboard, but I, I just, they're, they're, I'm always out. You will always be out on a scoreboard yeah. because you're actually stretching the paper. Oh. A die will always give you a truer line. That's a right. good die will always give you a truer line and give you the right mathematics. And but when we get down to it, I'll be able to show you on this yeah. cut piece as what I mean by that. That's cool. But seriously, even though, so I've got three trimmers and, or guillotines, however you want to call them at home. And even then I can't seem to get the straight lines. I don't no. know what it is. It's paper stretches and moves. The best way, and I know that, you know, it's, it's my job to say this to people. Yeah. To, to say, oh, because we want to sell the dies now. The best way to get the precise matting and layering to get that exact round is to have dies that cut it out for you. Absolutely. And the best way to get the even layers is to have dies that are mathematically correct nice. and that are designed to it. So if you measure any of the plain dies, yep. you will see it will fit. So, I mean, if I, if I yeah, show you here, so basically this is every die, thank you, Sam, has cut me every die in the planes, cool. right? Yep. So they've been die cut, but look 
that border is mm -hmm. the same Perfect. across every single one. And this set of dies mm -hmm. that I'm using, yep. these are mine from original samples. So these dies are 18 months old, so have been used mm. by me hundreds of times. Yes. So that's the difference is you've got that exact every time, no matter. So let's, let's take that one. So I've got that one. Let's mm -hmm. give it a measure, shall we? Sure. Let's see what this one is. So this one is three and a quarter. Yep. Yep. By five and a quarter. Right. Okay. Exactly so the same. next die on this set then should be five and a half mm -hmm. by three and a half. Well, let's check. Five and a half. Exactly. Yep. So bring it in so you can actually see it. Sorry. Five and a half by three and a half. Perfect. Exact. Yeah. So your mats and layers are there and you can take then one of the dies from the stitch dot mm -hmm. and you can see there exactly the same border all yep. the way around and that one is again three by five yep so you've got those but what we've done now is we've introduced the notched mm -hmm. exactly the same look that one mm -hmm. two and a half yep by four Perfect. And a half. Yep. So every single die will match together, will work, will nest, because all of them have been cut. We take the smallest stitch dot, mm -hmm. we add the smallest plane. Yep. See, that fits it exactly. Oh, and you can just stamp a And touch us the then. dot. Yep. Take the smallest, or the, I'm going to take the next size up in the stitch dot, sorry, from the plane. Yep. That fits on exactly. Mm -hmm. We can then go, oh, let's go up a couple. You could go crazy with this, And let's to be take fair. the next one. Yeah. So we worked out earlier, there are 12 in one set, 20 in another, and 24 in the next. Right. So if you start the basic maths of combination, mm -hmm. of that times that, mm -hmm. and that times that, and yeah. that times that, there's 108 combinations. Wow, that's cool. Before you bring all three in, yeah. which then quadruples it. So there's about 3,000 combinations Ooh. of what you can get. And every single one is guaranteed mm -hmm. to be mathematically correct. I love that. And I keep mentioning that because Sam's come up with a new drinking game. Right. Because he's fed up with me saying mathematically correct because I say it's so much at home. Okay. At this die, because we, we were checking new dies for next year last night. Right. And he's like, have you checked it for the math? So I went, yeah, it's mathematically correct. Yeah. So he said, now, every time I say that on this show, he's going to take a drink. Okay. So are you getting So yeah, that's his tea. new drinking game. Tea. Tea. Well, tea. he did say vodka, but since we don't have any in the house and we don't drink, <laughs> okay. then it will be, it will be tea, tea or it will be um, uh, blackcurrant pop. And he said, Ribena then. Okay. But I'm not allowed to. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there's, there's voices in my head. Right, okay, so for all three of these sets, that is a lot of dies for your money. I think we said 56 in total. It's £58.97, or you can spread the cost to payments of 29 49 Saving £10, item number is 721736. 40% of these dies have now gone. Um, and I just love the fact they go to a really, really diddy, well, really large, really diddy. It's lovely. And you've got everything in between um, on Sam's drinking game, mathematically correct. Uh, right. So um, now you're already shopping ahead for the happy hour. And here it is. Now you've got the sets of pearl ink pads. You've got the moonlight and the dawn. 16 colours in total, and they're really, really beautiful. Uh, I, and I just actually really like the palette that they come in. Okay, I am going to hand over to you, John. Right, okay. So, I, in the earlier show this morning, which you can catch on Rewind, I spent more time going into the ins and outs of the sizing and things. Yep. Um, and showing you how we can create frames, so how we make sort of double frames like that. So you can see here, I'll show you here, you can see how we make a frame that goes down or how we make this sort of frame where we've got it worked out perfectly. And this is the difference with using dies to make your frames and dies to make your piece and when they are going mathematically correct. Because you'll see what we've got there is, that's actually an eighth of an inch layer between the black and the gold. Yeah. An eighth of an inch layer between the gold and the white all the way around on both sides. 
it's very hard mm -hmm. to achieve, certainly with a knife or a trimmer. Right. And it's very hard to achieve unless you've got dies that are designed that way. Mm -hmm. So I've gone through that. So that's all on Rewind, but also we get the shows from the craft store and we put them on our YouTube channel. Yeah. So hopefully in a couple of days you'll be able to see it on the YouTube channel that's as well. Cool. Yeah. Because it helps. So what I thought I'd do this time is show you what we can do. People always say, and I always used to say, if I've got a die that will do the same job, mm -hmm. I'll use that one. Yeah. So I wanted to show why it's important, not just that you have, say, dies that are from us, mm -hmm. but why you have dies that are mathematically correct. Mm -hmm. I've got to stop saying that. <laughs> and the reason is, what I'm going to do here is I've cut here. This is, we've got this on the show. This is the butterfly, deco butterfly frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've cut this out now. There are a couple of ways that you could decorate this. Mm. And one of the classics is that you would stick it down to double-sided adhesive, okay. cut it again in this sort of salmon colour and this pink colour, yeah. and then paper piece it in. Right. Yeah? Very time-consuming. Life's too short. And life is a little bit too short. I will do it for about six pieces like this, but I will get very, very bored. Yeah. But because what we do is, when we work all of our dies, so this is a John next door, mm -hmm. but I made sure that this again works on the same maths and you'll find a lot of your dies in the UK will be exactly the same. Mm. So it'll work this way. So what I want to do is I want to have the pink around the outside. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is take my dies. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take my plain dies and I'm going to find the die that fits this frame. Yeah. This was drawn oh good 18 months after these. Okay. So now it's too big. Yeah. Just working in until I find it. Should have noted it down really shouldn't oh, I? Worry. Which one which you see there, look, yeah. that fits Perfectly. there. Yeah. And we'll go down a couple. There we go. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> that fits there. Yeah. So we can easily give this a two-tone effect just by using the two dies. Nice. Because they match and they fit with that standard mm -hmm. sizing that we work. So we're going pink on the outside, do you Why think? Not? Yeah. So all I have to do to do this is put pink... So I'm just going to cut it roughly in the middle of a piece of card, and I've trimmed these down to five and a half inches. Cool. And roughly in the middle of the sort of... This is actually called champagne, this colour. Is it? It probably doesn't show as brightly on the cameras as it, as it is, but it's, it's a little bit... It is it's a creamy, champagne-y... Peachy. Peachy colour. <laughs> yeah. I've always thought of it as being more peach. So we'll just cut that. And this is what I love, is it doesn't matter how I put the dies in. Yeah. So I've got there two of them cut... They'll both cut. Yep. And it's one of the things that we did, and I'll show it with the dies. Yep. Traditionally, to get these fine borders, you had to buy two sets. Right. Because you remembered, I think it was Catherine remembered, A and B. Oh, yes, yes, yes. First yes, rectangles, yes, you I bought remember. set A and set B. That's right. Yeah. And that's because they're on thick metal. We've pushed the technology quite a bit uh -huh. so that we can get 24 dies in a set, and this right. would normally be 12, by making them finer. Mm -hmm. But because of the quality of the steel we use, so I would say each one of these dies has been through my machine at least 50 times, wow. if not 100 on the time I've been doing it. Yeah. But if you look, you get the perfect square yeah, pristine. every time. And because it's not got that deep metal, you don't get that big impressed line, mm -hmm. you just get an almost chamfered edge. Oh, I like that word. So you get that turned chamfered finished edge. If yep. I hold it there... You'll be able to see there, look, how fine that edge is. Yeah. See what I mean about it being chamfered? It's finished off. Yeah. But there's no massive impression line running around it. Nope. So that's the other benefit of these. Because I would always question, why would I need more rectangles? <laughs> True. Um, and if, you, you know, if, you, if you're starting out, mm -hmm. the two sets that you will always start with on nesting, yeah. squares, then rectangles. I have to say, the rectangles that I've got, and I've got a couple of sets of nesting, but they're not as fine as these, and I haven't, nowhere near have I got as many in the set. No, you don't have. You, yeah. you normally, traditionally, you have a lot, lot less mm -hmm. um, because they're done a lot wider. So there are changes that we've made. Yeah. It's basically me being me, <laughs> to be quite honest, and making the factory change what they do. Yeah. So this is the easiest thing ever. So how long do you reckon it would take me to cut this in the three colours and paper piece it? A long time to paper piece. Yeah, it will yeah. probably, I would say, let's, let's say five, ten minutes to be okay. precise. Yeah. So now, really simple. I've spray glued that for speed. Yeah. 
So we're going on the outer frame, aren't we? Perfect. So let's just get that in the right place. No, nope, it's not right there. So, of course, when you do this at home, it takes absolutely no time whatsoever. But, of course, here it's it will do. TV. So there yep. is my pink filled. Perfect. So here we'll just fill in. Oh, it looks really pretty as well. Suddenly. Yep. Let's get that right. Let's give it a proper spray again. Okay. Into the box, obviously, we've got down Absolutely. here. Absolutely. The box is most certainly there. The miss, the invisible box from what we usually say it's really useful boxes, don't we? Yeah. But you see there, straight away, that's filled. And it's beautiful. That's paper pieced yep. and so intricate and detailed. Yeah. And it does actually look like you filled in the pink. It does feel like. Because it's got that layering, it looks like I have paper pieces. But also, it. I wonder if it's to do with that, you know, you're saying the, the chamfered, the chamfered edge. The chamfered edge finishes it and turns it as a die cut edge. That's fascinating. So that's what you're getting in. But yeah. to finish that off, I don't really want those butterflies to be showing in the both colours, do okay. I? So with this die, you actually get a plain butterfly to go with it. Right, good stuff. So this is where I cheat slightly. Well, not cheat. This is where I'm going to use. Mm -hmm my double-sided adhesive I love card. That yep. So, I need to cut two of these. I should have got my Kaleido out. That's definitely what I'd have used at home. Let's try two. One of the things you will find with these finer dies is, if it's a basic shape, it will cut two layers. Hopefully, yep. And you would think the thinner the die, mm -hmm. the less it would cut. The thinner the edge of the die is, the yep. more layers it will cut, and the thicker it will cut. Yes. Which just sounds weird. Ooh, I have overplayed that one. So the machine doesn't want to, so we'll do one, okay. do another one. Do you want to just cover something a minute, Alex, I while I... Um, so what are we referencing? Apologies. Here we go, the butterflies. There we go. They are £14.99. So you get that lovely... It's very much, I feel, like an art deco feel to this. And then you've also got the... I don't like to... Go, I'm going to call it the solid shape in the middle. That is £14.99. £189. 398 is your item number. There it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this deck. Any occasion. Yeah, it's such a beautiful classic frame. Yeah. So we've got one out. So I need to cut a second one. Yeah. So we'll put a second one in. And I'll just run that through and I'll let Alex say something yes. again if that's okay. <laughs> I would if you like can to find some something samples, else. Actually. I know you love showing samples as I know, well. So I like it's to important. give you time. Um, shall I show samples on the... What are we doing here? Here, let's have a little look. Oh, all right, just quickly, the rectangles are half the stock gone. Uh, it's £58.97, and it's a £10 saving. 721736 is your item number. And you can spread the cost to payments of... Uh, £29 pounds and 49 pence. Really, really busy for those. So we've also got the squares. I've got them here. Well, in fact, they're in front of me. Why am I... Yeah, let's have a little look. Um, but you've got 32 dies in this one and 16 in this one, so obviously 48 altogether. You've got a £5 saving. It's 44 98 Two payments of £22.49. and 49 pence. Item number is 280609. 48 dies. Now, we've got... So, oh, now, see, these, I think, are really cool. Look at just that. How cool is that, using your dies? I just think that's just it's so just, super it, cool. And that's literally just using um, your... I think it's the first five dies in your stitch dot. That's it. But we forget. When I say that these are the basics that you need, it's not just for making frames or matting and layering. It's actually for things like this or like this. Yeah. Which makes me think of sort of like a modern art painting. Absolutely. That's a background. You could stick flowers, butterflies or anything on that. Nice. And then look at this. Just, so that shows you all the different... But look at this when you start layering it up. That's a beautiful sample, that one is. But you've got to have... To get those precise layers, they've got to be right. Yes. They've got to be the right maths. I'm trying my hardest not to say the word now. Yeah, I know. But they I do know. have to be mathematically correct uh -huh. and layered and designed right to do it. And it's a lot harder than people think to actually get it right that way. Yeah. Lovely. All right, so if you want to go for... 
the um, plain and stitch dot die sets, the squares this time. It's 48 dies in total. Two payments of £22.49, 280609 is your item number. Quick reminder of the happy hour, so you've got 40 minutes left to get these at the price on screen, which is £12.98. So basically, it's buy one, get one free. That's basically it, isn't it? 16 colours in total, and you've got your moonlight and your dawn. Uh, your item number is 423864. Lovely jubbly. Back to you then, John. Right, okay, so now I've got my butterflies cut, so I'm just going to take off the um, covering and I'm going to peel this back, hopefully, carefully. There we go. So these are designed to pop in. So these give you the solid behind. So again, it adds even more to that look that we've paper pieced. Yeah. Because suddenly you've got a different colour behind it. So what I'm going to do is... Just because, for some strange reason, I think I'm having a bit of an 80s moment at home. 80s moment? Yeah, because I'm going for this sort of pink and peach and grey. Oh, I see. Which was, I mean, pink and grey was just massive in the to 80s. To be fair, though, I really like pink and grey nowadays. It, it's anyway. a really trendy combina colour combination yeah. to me. I really like it. Mm. So I'm just going to drop that in. There we go. Get it in the 80s, right place. 80s, all those... Uh, Ankle warmers. Ra-ra skirts. Yeah. And so this is actually the winter pollen. Mm -hmm. This is the grey from it. Ooh. I don't think I've seen that. I don't that. saw the winter pollen. No. We did. It was beautiful blues and purples. And it might still be on the website. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's got the most beautiful grey in it. And it's going to be really useful for something we've got coming up next year. Mm -hmm. So let's just pour that back. One day I'll be able to help you pull that back in, John. I know. I know I'm so used. To, I've gone past the point of being used to passing it over to you for, to let you do it. Now we're not allowed to. So I've just obviously got a little bit of my glue eraser stuck on, glue stuck on there. And then we're just going to... It was lazy of us to do that, to be fair. <laughs> Let's just take that one off. What you always do before you do this is obviously make sure you've taken any of the excess glue off. OK. Um from the tape which I didn't do so we'll just there we go comes off so there we've got mm -hmm. quick more spray into the box obviously yeah not just into the air so we've got there quite That's simply really done pretty. and then all I'm going to do to finish this off because I would normally stamp a sentiment I want to bring the white back in so I'm just going to grab any one of the pieces I'd cut earlier, mm -hmm. pop that behind, Perfect. and we're done. And then just pop any sentiment you any like in Any sentiment you want in it. Yeah. But again, how, to me, how classic mm. and classy that looks. Absolutely beautiful. But it looks like it's paper piece and we've had to spend no time doing it whatsoever. Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you, John. Thank you. Lovely. Right, so we do have our beautiful butterflies on the show. So this one is the Deco butterfly. Here it is. Um... This one is the Deco Butterfly. Apologies. It's going well. Uh, it's 11 99 Now, I've got a board here. Um, I've got the board here with the lovely decor decorative um, um, butterflies. And then you've got all of the different sizes of the solids. There's a lot there in that. And there oh, I've got to show this sample. Ah, oh, I'm currently in the process of making these but with sprouts instead. Penny sliders. Love a penny slider. Are you using That's Jenny's cool. sprouts? Um, how did you guess? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you, Alex. I know your shopping habits. I know your crafting <laughs> style. Um, oh, by the way, so this one's by Rock Ro Rocky, sorry, because I always like to say, and this one is also by Rocky. How have they done that? It's um, I zinc pigment ink onto oh. acetate and then die cut, That's stuck on beautiful. and then embossed over the top. It's a beautiful technique. Really nice. I wonder if this one still lights it up. It does. Oh, does it? Yes, I yes, checked yes. it. Yay! Oh, I love things but like that. But that's the difference, because if you... That's actually held on a double-sided adhesive with microbeads front and back. Yeah. With, with the butterflies sort of stuck, embedded into it. Mm. But what makes that look nice is the frames. Yeah. If you saw that, if you actually show the side and the back of that, because it's not on a card, it's oh. really messy. <laughs> But look at the front. It's stunning. It's using the, the squares. They yep. really do make a difference. That beautiful stitch dot edge really works through on there. Mm, lovely. Okay, so that one then is your uh, 
Deco Butterfly Die Set. It's eleven ninety nine, and you get a three pound saving. Item number is zero one one zero eight eight. Okay, then we've got the butterfly frame, which goes obviously perfectly with the ones I've just shown you. And again, it's absolutely stunning. I've got the board here. So you've got the frame, and then you've also got that extra one there in the middle. And then look how classy these are. Isn't that stunning? Beautiful. Any occasion. Look, this one, Easter wishes. And then we've got, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful box. Isn't that gorgeous? Very expensive looking. Oh, got another box coming up here. So that's made using the same technique as I've just shown you. Right. And I made that in my Craft Cave Live on Wednesday. Oh, did you? Yeah. So if you want to sort of see how that was made, yeah. it is on the group. And within the next week or so, yeah. written instructions with photographs for that will be available on the Facebook group as well. Brilliant. It's using the same technique as I did earlier. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. All right, then, fourteen ninety nine for the butterfly frame. Item number is four. Um, item number. Item number is one eight nine three nine eight. Righty ho. Then back in stock. Now these sell out continuously, don't they? The cut ombre card, glitter cards. They stock. do. And I was actually having a conversation with Julia Watts about this. Oh yeah. Um, as we were talking between shows, because mm. we're in, we're in next door rooms. I know, aren't you? Because we're all yeah. separate. Because we have to be separate, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I was talking to her at the door, and she said I had to stroke that card. <laughs> she said, and I couldn't understand. She said, I wish we got touchy vision. Yeah. She said, because my hand is saying I'm touching velvet. Yeah. My brain is telling me I'm touching sandpaper. It's amazing, isn't it? And when, when another demonstrator says, I want some of that, it really does make you think, oh, we've, you know, it is right because it's she's lovely. actually felt it. But it is faux glitter card, no glitter used. Yeah. Completely non shed because there's no glitter in there. It physically cannot come off because there yep. isn't any in there at all. It's amazing. But the stuff. ombre colours are just absolutely beautiful. They're delicious. They really are. And it does, are. and it's sold out the last two times we've had it on there. Because you and the last time we were together, you were making those crackers, weren't you? And they looked yeah, brilliant in the these. Yeah, crackers look amazing in this. If you've got mm. the cracker die, mm. you want to make some crackers out of this because they just look as if you spent hours at them. Oh, look at these samples. Oh, just stunning. And there we go. Look look at that one. That's a work of art, that one. Yeah, that's just using one die, but it shows how beautifully it die cuts. And again, so what I was talking about, first yeah. of all, with the dies having the chamfered edge, but normally with glitter card, if you get into the middle of that, you would see a rough edge. Uh -huh. You would see a little bit of a gritty edge. Right. It's not. It's completely smooth because of the way we've had the card made. Amazing. And it's still got that chamfered turned edge yep. that you wouldn't normally get with a lot of like the low shed glitter cards. You wouldn't get that at all. Good stuff. All right then, so 9 99 you're getting 24 sheets. They are 250 um, GSM in total. Item number is 675906. Oh, the happy hour again. Let's have a little look at these. They are beautiful inks, and basically you're getting buy one, get one free. Uh, it's £12.98. You've got the moonlight and you've got the dawn. Uh, 16 colours in total. Really, really busy for these. 43864 is your item number. Back to you then, John. Right, so I thought I would can show you some of the ombre glitter cards. I'd like that, yeah. And I want to show you how we can actually use the features of the notched nesting yeah. to actually give us a almost um, a completely, a really good effect, mm -hmm. but almost from no skill and no trying. So I'm going to take the second largest. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to actually take the second largest and I'm going to put it here. In the middle. Now, you might think I'm being wasteful, but I'm just going to... The reason is, I want this colour transfer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? And you'd never, you'd find bits for, you know, to do with the other pieces. And oh, you, you, you will. Well, what we'll do is we'll cut top. butterflies from those. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the die number two from the notch. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move it over slightly so you can see how I'm... So I always go, that is die number one, the largest. Yeah. Because we read from left to right, mm -hmm. I always go one, two, that way. Yes. I know a lot of people go number one is the smallest in the middle and work out. Uh -huh. But to me, going one, two, it doesn't make sense. I guess I'd get confused as well. Yeah. yeah, so I always go, choose which one works for you and stick to it. Yeah. Doesn't matter if we do it differently, stick to the one that works for you. So I'm going to go the second die, number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to skip one, so I'm going to skip number three. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to skip number four and I'm going to go for number five. So it's kind of hit one, skip two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So skip two, hit one. Okay. Skip two, hit one. Okay. Skip two, hit one. So in actual fact, I'm using number two, number five, number eight, number 11, number 14. Cool. If you want to count it that way. Okay. And all I want to do is just get these nice and even. So I'm going to do my usual trick. I like this trick. Long piece of tape, pick up the first one, get it even, judge it round mm. on four sides. Yeah. You would think this doesn't work. Even if you're off with this, it will still work. So pick up the next one. Mm -hmm. I kind of placed them roughly on that one. And if you're not comfortable with taping dies down and you're a magnet person, you can just do it on your magnetic base or your magnetic sheet. Absolutely. And it's even in the middle. Yes, yeah? no, I love so that So I'm trick. just cutting. I mean, as it is, I love that as a pattern. Doesn't that look really Art Deco, Stunning. Art Nouveau? Yeah, it's really, really nice. So um, I'm just going to put this, and I'm going to run this through the machine if you just want to show a few course. more samples. Absolutely. Lovely. Let me just move these over. Right, so here we go. Let's have a little look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And then this one. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Again, with that glitter ombre card, it's absolutely stunning. And then we've got this one. And then here's... Do you know what? You've still got a little bit of time if you want to send in any of your photos. If you've been doing anything with the ombre card. And there we go. Isn't that amazing? That's really psychedelic. Lovely jubbly. Um, so we are now over half the stock gone of our rectangles. I can't believe how many you get, actually. 56 dies in total. Um, so you've got the notched, the plain, and the stitch dot. You can spread that cost to payments of twenty-nine pounds and forty-nine pence. Seven two one seven three six is your item number. Um, so, John, we've had a question come in. Hi, Barbara. Good afternoon to you. Yes, it is good afternoon. So, if you fold an A4 piece of card in half to make an A5 card. Do the rectangles make matten layers to fit an A5 card? Hope right. that makes sense, John. Basically, almost. Almost. So what I'm going to do is I'll fold a piece of card in half. Now, that is the standard. Yeah. Okay. That is our largest. Can you see? Oh, yeah. So it's slightly off because A4 card... Yeah is an old measurement. Okay. okay. Oh, interesting, yeah. So A4 card actually bears no resemblance to our standard, like, photo card or anything else. Right. And I so, see that. Yeah, we mm. think, a, everyone thinks A6 yeah. is 4 by 6. Mm -hmm. It's not. A6 is 4 by 5 and 3 and 7 eighths. Or something like that, yeah. yeah. it's a little bit. So if you see that, yes, what you have to do is just trim off a little bit at the bottom. Okay. Not yeah. much waste, though. No, there's very, very little. It's basically that A4 card is just, yeah. I think it's a quarter of an inch yeah. longer than the actual standard sizes that we have. And I think that was die number three from the outside, I think. That's die number three, yes. Yeah. So basically what you would do is I would take an A5, a piece of A4 cut in half. Yes. And what you do is you take... A quarter bit. of an inch off. Okay. Now I happen to know that that's a quarter of an inch on my guillotine. That's fair enough. And that will do it exact. Nice. But what you'll question. actually find as well is that when you buy A5 card blanks, yeah. A5 card blanks are actually a slight bit smaller than this, because when you buy pre-done cards, mm -hmm. you're you're buying them on the envelope size, right? not the card size. Cool, you've done your research. Yeah, so if you buy <laughs> six by six cards, you will receive six by six envelopes yeah. and five and three quarter to five and seven eighths Makes sense. square cards. Yeah. So it's the same. So if you're buying your A5 cards, mm -hmm. these will fit perfectly. Okay. If you're making your own with A4 card, literally take about half an inch to three quarter, half, sorry, a quarter yeah. 
to three eighths of an inch off the bottom right. and it'll be perfect. But that is the UK aspect ratio. And the reason it's different in America mm -hmm. is yeah. America don't use A4, they use letter size, yes. which is slightly bigger still. It all gets confusing. Anyway, I, it's Barbara. so boring, but I have to know all this. I hope no, that helps, I'm, Barbara. I'm fascinated, Barbara. Great question. Great question. So, what we've got here is... These have all now cut. Right. This is what I love. Look how fine they are, but every single one... is so satisfying doing that. I know, I bet. <laughs> ...has cut. Okay, so these are coming off, and I would put them back properly. I know, but it's for, normally because we're on time. I'm not yeah. going to. I'm just going to stick them on my board. I feel really bad doing that. Mm. I don't do that at home. And the thing is, I mean, I don't even have two sets of these. Right. I have one set of these. Uh huh. Um, and the reason, and you know, so these are the ones I use all the time. These mm. are not my TV ones. Right. These are mine that live here on my shelf at home yes because I know I reach for them all the time yeah. so I know exactly where they live so what we've got then is we've got our outside border okay yeah and what we'll want to do is I'm gonna want to set something on that so remember we use number two yes we use number two for a reason and we use number two because I'm now gonna pull in should we go for a bit of grey again why not let's do it so I'm gonna cut so I need a mat to cover the cuts right so I'm going to cut number two in grey, but obviously I could need a mat for that mm -hmm. one. So let's have a look. Which one did I use? I'm not going to have enough out of this one. No, they're going to overlap, aren't they? Only just. So we'll just do this one to start with. Cool. So I'm just going to cut a mat from that one. So that's running through. Do you know when I look at those, the way that they are, do you know that... You know those things that you pick up and they, they're like a spiral, like that? Yes. I wonder if you could actually make them out of these I guys. I reckon you probably could. You'd have to be that <laughs> little bit cleverer perhaps than I am. Well, I'm just, no, I was just thinking like a, a, even if it's a little piece of tape or something. I don't know. It's just you where could, my mind's you going. You could spiral it round because yeah. of the way that they work. Yeah. So here we've got... So I want to show you... This is the easiest effect for a background or for a frame that you could do. Yes. So, I've got the grey there. Yeah. Now, because I cut this from number one, this aperture was cut from number two. Mm -hmm. And let's just take a piece of card to actually put these onto. Cool. So, I'm going to take a piece of white. So, again, spray into the box for speed. Indeed. So, let's just set that down. So, okay. So, there is my first layer. Beautiful. I just love the way that looks. Yeah, it does. But again, you wouldn't expect it to feel like that or anything. Yeah. Spray. Now that completely covers Excellent. that gap. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So we're now not wasting it. So I'm going to take all of these. I'm not separated them yet. They are cut. Mm -hmm. Spray glue them all together because I'm lazy. That's what I do it's at quicker, home. Quicker though. It's a lot quicker. Okay. And we'll take first of all. The first one. Yep. Yep. So that's that way, isn't it? Mm hmm These are perfect nesting dies. Indeed. So are you gonna switch that, it up? And we can easily layer that on. That's cool. But you see how the border just is that little bit, identical isn't it? and yeah. it's just it literally is now. That's an eighth of an inch yeah. all the way around. Let's take the next one. And, of course, I'm going to rotate it. Oh, this is looking really funky. I like but you it. would think this wouldn't work, would it? Because mm -hmm. I used the dies. I stuck them down arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. but the reason it works is I've already done all the maths. Yes. So it doesn't matter how you stick them down. It will work. It does look beautiful. So this. that goes to the bottom. Yep. There. And you've only used one piece of card, as in, like, for the ombre, where you actually you'd think you'd use two? You would think I've used quite a lot. Yeah. So I could take that panel and pop it back in there in the middle. Mm -hmm. Or what I love about dies is I cut this grey one out, didn't I? Yeah. With number two. Yeah. Uh, with number one. So if I Sorry, take number yeah. one and drop it back over... So I'm just one. So that would be the background. Yes. Yeah? We're going all the colours from all of it, but this time to turn this into a frame, mm -hmm. we just slot it back on. Get it in the right place, just make sure. 
that it's in the right place. It clicks on as they do. Yep. Good. Okay. And then I've got a little bit of a grey border, haven't I? Mm -hmm. So I'll want a little bit of a grey border on this frame. Okay. So what I do is I take the next one down. So I think I stopped on 10, so I'd need die 11. Right. And I put that there. Oh, yeah, perfect. You see, it continues it on. So, because I hate wasting anything, I would always, when you're doing something like this, cut the spare card away. Yeah. Okay. And when I put it in, because I'm asking it to cut through two layers here mm -hmm. and that there, I'm going to tilt it to yeah. give me more time pulling over. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to run that through like that way so we, we avoid the sleeping policeman. Lovely. So that runs through. I've got my centre here. Yep. I could take the spare, grab my butterflies. And this is what I love about the, the card. Look how small they are and how intricate. <laughs> These will cut. Oh, yeah. I think you need a clean mister, don't you? He is two and a half years old. See, and you've, uh, you have to use him every day. <laughs> I, I have kind of hammered him quite a bit. Yeah. So I would put those on there, cut those out, and I would cut that. I would cut those. We're going to run out of time for those, so I'll just show you the frame, but that's what I would do. Yeah. So just me trying to fill time again. Don't worry. But you see there, it's cut through the white yeah. and the glitter card. Mm -hmm. So that's how good the dies are. That's amazing. That's Look at that. has gone through all of that. All of those layers, yep. Plus that one's worked in the middle despite the heat, despite the height. So now, I'll just tell, take that one off. Mm -hmm. We'll take that one off. But you can see there is Perfection. a perfect oh. frame. But look, it's all even. It is. It's just lovely. And it goes either way. And, of course, what we can do is just take, that will now fit in behind. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. So that looks as mm -hmm. if you've used, oh, two or three sheets. How have you, that's one of those Absolutely. that people say, how have you done that? And then I would decorate with butterflies, put a sentiment on, mm -hmm. onto a square card. But we've used less than one sheet. Yeah. Of, we've used half a piece of grey and we've used less than one sheet of the ombre. It, do you know what, it's making me a bit jealous because, you know, I was saying, going back to... So when I mat and layer at home, yes, I've got dyes to do it, but sometimes it's not the right size that I want. So I'll end up shearing a bit off and then shearing a bit off here and then that's a bit wonky. So I'll shear it and then and, and it just all gets like this. And in the end, I go, oh... No. Get your dies out. I know. And again, with these, you, you're guaranteed with these to always have an eighth of an inch border all the way around Brilliant. if that's what you go for. Lovely. Thank you, John. Thank you. Right then, so the rectangle's very busy for these. We are over 60% of the stock gone. You've got 56 dies in total. Now, at this price, it works out at only £1.05 pence per die. And the biggest one, in fact, I'm not quite sure how large it goes up to. Um, but it is a big size. Now, you can spread the cost. Two payments of £29.49. You've got a £10 saving. 71736 is your item number. So you've got the notch, the plane, and the stitch dot. Oh, I love all these samples. But each time, look at that precision. Doesn't it look beautiful, matted and layered up? That is absolutely stunning. I mean, just to pull one of those, oh, yes, just to please. show you. On that one's using just the rectangles and the stitch dot and the plane. But see how it perfectly works with that background stamp? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Because everything's sized from whichever company tend to work on these yes. A6, A5, A4 sizes. Yeah. These will tie in with those perfectly. Love that. Oh, same ish here then. Look at that. That's, that's just That's actually beautiful. the Christmas winter pollen. Is it? That's the winter pollen on the back. Ooh, that's beautiful. I haven't, I don't think I've been on no, with that. No, I think you've missed that one. <laughs> I've missed it, darn it. Um, then you've got this. I love, I have to say, I love the notched edges. It just makes such a difference, the notched it edges. It really that. does. It's something different. It is, isn't it? But the fact that it ties in with our plain ones just gives us so more, many more possibilities. Gorgeous. Right, you can spread the cost, as always. Two payments of £29.49, and pence, and you've got that £10 saving. 721736. We are now approaching 65% of the stock gone on our rectangles. Complete collection, no less. Now, we are also busy for our ombre glitter card. 
this has sold out time and time and time again. John, you know when you were saying that you were sort of stood, sort of, because um, you're in the room next door to to Julia. Yeah. I literally had this image pop up of you know the old tin cans. And the <laughs> yeah, it was a, a bit chat. like that. Yeah, between no, actually, I was at the door and she was yeah. sat on the table halfway no, no, down. I just but yeah, I can see that as talking, as gossiping like that. <laughs> and the thing is, it, it is a good thing, and it's a great yeah. thing. We all do genuinely get on. Yeah. And we do all genuinely praise each other's products when we like yeah. them and buy each other's products when we like them. Yeah. And I think that's such a good thing here. Nobody's, you know, everyone's like that. So Julia wanted to. to she basically said, she'd come to see me earlier, I said, do you want me? She said, I just, I touched that glitter card, isn't it? <laughs> and we had like a 10 minute discussion about glitter yeah. card, but that's what's so nice about it. It is, it is. Uh, and it is, as um, John has been saying, completely non-shared. You're not going to get any anywhere. But look at these effects. They are gorgeous. And personally, for me, I hadn't seen these sorts of colours ombre. So, you know, the blues into the pinks, you've got the, I mean, this reminds me of tropical waters, this one, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and then you've got three sort of colours here with your um, purples into blues into pinks. Uh, what else have we got? Our greens into that lighter green. Beautiful sunset colours. Oh, so romantic. Right, you've got 24 sheets. You get two of each colour. Uh, 250 GSM, so great weight as well if you're making your gift boxes, as I always go on about. Now we are half the stock gone, half the stock gone. So you've probably already been through several batches of your ombre glitter card. Now is the time to stock up once more. 675906 is the item number. Now we've also got the uh, ombre glitter card as a 12 by 12 if you want to use it for your scrapbooking or you just prefer 12 by 12 sizes. So you've got your 24 sheets again. Uh, it's 190 GSM this time and it's 1499. Item number is 030633. That's your item number. Now you have got just over 10 minutes to get your happy hour deal. You've got 16 colours in total. Uh, you've got your moonlight and you've got your dawn colours. You're saving £13. This is half price. Just £12.98. 423864 is the item number. Uh, right then, so we've got about 10 minutes, John. What's your fancy? Excellent. Right, so what I thought I would do is, so we made this earlier. Yeah, Okay. we did. So I wanted what to we... sort of, this was a two-parter, but I wanted to show the ombre technique. But... You know, look at the edges, it's a bit scrappy and it's not quite finished, is okay. it? So we want, what I do is when I've made something like this and I'm not feeling, because I know what you would do with this, Alex, mm -hmm. it's what I would do, yep. is I would pop this in my guillotine. Yes. And I would start trimming it down and trying to get an even border. Mm -hmm. And, and I cut into the next bit. And I end up cutting it so far that, that I've, I've got, basically I go into that bit because I get it wrong. Trust me, I'm feeling this pain. Yeah, I know, because I know it's exactly <laughs> what we've all done. You know, none, none of us are immune <laughs> from any of this. So there's two ways to solve it. Okay. The first one is basically just take, because as I say, certainly all of the John Next Door all of the press cut dies, mm -hmm. all of the 2Js, anything that we do, yeah. are all in the same maths, they're all in the same aspect ratio, yeah. they will all fit. Yeah. It's the same for, I was testing again, I said last night, dies for next year, mm -hmm. um, for press cut, and they're all still in this aspect ratio, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is, it will work with any of our dies and most other people's in the UK. Can you see, I can, Yay. I can cut that out with a die, yep. yeah? But, I think it sometimes still looks a little bit raw. Okay. So what I want to do is what finishes it off to me is a frame. Yep. So yep. what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a die. I'm going to use a stitch dot. And I actually want a nice tight frame that's going to make it look like those butterflies are sort of just hidden behind it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I've taken here die number three. Okay. Cool. And then I'm going to make a frame. So I'm going to take die number one. Okay. Again, these are both from the stitch dot. So... I'm using the grid sheets. Mm -hmm. The grid sheets, if you, have you, I don't know if you've ever seen these. These are for the press to impress. Yes, I have seen them. Yep. But Sheila, a great friend of mine who comes to some of the workshops, mm -hmm. said she'd been using the grid line sheet, the acetate ones on the top of her magnet, yeah. to lay down her nesting dies to get them perfectly even. Oh, right. Okay. And I thought, brilliant idea. And if I did it on the paper ones, yeah. I can get it and tape it down and it's easier. Yep. So that's what I've been doing. So that's what this is. So all I've done is take this to an even line, okay. red line all the way round. 
Yeah, these are available as an end of call, I think. Oh, thank you. Okay, I didn't realise that. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to the next one. You see now I've got an even space all the way around because I've gone to the same line. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be useful mm -hmm. if these were available in A4 size in Imperial, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you, that might happen. Oh, good. <laughs> That might happen next year. Thank you, John. So, because it would be a lot, lot easier, yeah, to be absolutely. honest. Um, because it would be fit exactly. So all I'm going to do is run it through. Okay. So that's the easy one. But what oh, I'm yes. going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of grey for something you can do a second. Yeah, because we've had a lovely email through. This is from Christine. Hi, Christine. Hello, Christine. Uh, now, she's saying, hi, Alex and John. Thank you for the excellent explanation of card sizes. I thought it was brilliant. Um, it all makes sense now. And I was fortunate to meet John at Stamperia on Sunday. Oh. And she said um, that you had a look that they ha you and her, you two had a lovely chat. Um, I, I met some brilliant people. I had a wonderful, wonderful day. It's wonder I, I mean, I'm desperate to go to these again. But anyway, I digress. Um, she says, uh, you're such a genuine and generous person. I noticed John uses spray glue for the demonstrations, but is it OK to use it for permanent projects? Thank you for the excellent programme. Kind regards, Christine. It is. Right. Um, I cannot say which brand I use. <laughs> Have you just turned that around? Yeah, yeah. so that you can't, because I'm not supposed no. to say yep. what brand I use. But if you're on my group, you'll know. Right. Um, I use it permanently for my card making. Mm -hmm. As you know, I keep all my samples in plastic boxes in Sally the Sample Shed. Yes. Or now in Consuela the Sample Shed 2. Oh, my gosh. Because we've had a second one. Right. Consuela Banana Hammock the third. Consuela what? Consuela Banana Hammock the third. I named the first one, Sam named the second, and he's a big Friends fan. Oh, oh okay. So, um, and they are kept outside in there, and obviously there's no heating and no draft or anything, and I haven't had a card fall apart. Right. And so, but you have to use a really, really good spray glue, and it will, you will pay for it. Okay. Yeah. You, you, it's one of those you get what you pay for. Yes. In fact, in actual fact, that can of spray glue costs more than one set of these dies. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's going to last you as but well. But it is going to last you. Yeah. yeah. And it will. And I use it permanently. It's not just for TV. Okay. Um, so you can see there, I've got the perfect frame. Mm -hmm. But I want to bring this grey in. So I'm going to age. Ed, I just want to, I want to bring that in a little bit. So now, if I so, go to the next one down. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit, it's wide. Okay. Yeah. So this is where I swap in. Yeah. And I'll find one in the plane that will give me that beautiful, really fine border. Mm -hmm. So I think it's one, two, three foot. It's about number five for this, but there we go. Okay. So now what I can do, if I want the frame to go on the outside, mm -hmm. I would pick one that's larger than this. Right. Yeah? Yeah. If I don't, which I don't on this one, this is the easiest frame going. I'm basically just going to put it on and cut it roughly in the middle of a piece of A5 card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, now, just while you're doing that, the rectangles are now 70% of the stock gone. Uh, please do check out your baskets. Like we've been saying, can't believe that the price is um, only what it works out at only one pound five pence per die. Um, it is if you want to spread the cost, two payments of twenty nine pounds and forty nine pence. Item number is seven two one seven three six. But seventy percent of the stock has gone. You get the notch, the plane, and the stitch dot, and there's fifty six dies in total. Right, so, little bits of foam tape. Yep. And I've just realised why my machine is going, woo, 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 woo. Why is that? Um, that's not my B plate, that's slightly thicker. Oh. I've picked up the wrong... I must have picked up and put in my case the wrong um, plate oh. when I was at Newbury. Still cutting that. So if anyone finds a B plate Can you at Newbury Race course, course <laughs> and is missing a six millimetre plate, um, could you let me know? Swap. <laughs> Swaps is... So that's cut. I'm just taking the foam tape off. Yeah. Um, but one of the other things that I did do is if you use this method of going, of hit one, almost miss one, yeah. you'll always find your 10 mil foam tape will fit and not poke out the sides. Right. Again, I tried to make sure that the dies would fit with the tape that I no, used. That's I'm that lazy. <laughs> I don't think it's lazy. I think it's working it out so that we don't have to, which yeah. I think is really nice. Well, let's face it. Life's too short mm -hmm. to be actually taking foam tape and trimming it down. I've done yeah. it in the past and, oh, no. I can't be bothered, you know. 
<laughs> I'd rather be crafting. Yeah, absolutely. So all you do when you want it to just go on the inside is literally move it round. Yeah. I've put a little bit of glue on so that I've got manoeuvrability, of course. It doesn't help. I'm going to turn my board over. I know I haven't even got time for that, but there we go. So I can see the grey a little bit better. Uh-huh. That's why I love our boards. Great, black on one side, pink on the other. I oh, know, I like that a lot. So we just go, there we go. Yeah. But you see now, I've got the perfect, again, eighth of an inch. Yeah. And all I do is undercut, tilt okay. my scissors. Yeah. So I'm cutting under that frame, making a mess as usual. Don't need to do that one, just a little bit on that one. So that would then come in. Yep. That fits exactly. Cool. Covers it completely. Yep. Would go onto a white card blank, trim out the excess, and we'd be done. Excellent. So that's as far as I can get, I think. Thank you, John. <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, but, yeah, honestly, uh, the, the show has been so informative today. It really has. Thank you. And the dies, like I said, please don't let the dies slip through your fingers. They are excellent. Even if you've got, because I'm sorely tempted, let me tell you, because even if you've got rectangular dies in your crafty stash, look at how many you're getting and look at those precise, precise increments and the fact that you've got the notch, the plane and the stitch as well. Thank you very much. John. Thank you very much. See you for the ODS. See you for the ODS for my last visit before Christmas. Oh, 30th of November. 30th, yes. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We have got coming up Quilter's Trading Post with Pam, Emma and Richard and I expect him to be wearing a hat when he goes live. Uh, yes, see you after this short break. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hello, I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process.
Good afternoon, it's Richard here for the Craft Store. Welcome along, lovely to have your company here as we hit the three o'clock mark in this fantastic day on the Craft Store. I'm gonna be with you for the rest of the afternoon and into the evening, and we have a lovely hour for me to start off on because it's the first time that I have ever met, even though I'm about to meet them way across the studio floor, I'm about <laughs> to meet Pam and Emma. Hello, hello, Pam hello. and Emma, are you all right? Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh. We're good, aren't we? Are we good? We're I'm good. good. Are, Are you good? good? We're good. Yeah, we're good. Make your mind up. Yeah. I love the way you have to ask your mum whether or not you're good. Oh, I was good, actually mom. asking her if she was good because she wasn't listening, was she? Right. No, that's what it is. <laughs> know the feeling. I do know the feeling. Now, I see already there's a big deal being made out of your hats. You're wearing hats and oh, everyone yes. says that I have to wear a hat at some point. Oh, absolutely. Yes, you do. Yes. That's, it's mm -hmm. mandatory, is it? Absolutely. You, you brought along Pam's special to. hats today and yes. I've got a choice of, well, you give me a whole choice of two. Thanks for that. Well, you're welcome. We're nice oh, like I'm, that. Can there I take some from the, down there as well? You can yeah. have another flower do, if you do want. Do you have a particular recommendation? I mean, just taking a look at me, looking at your colour scheme there. Oh, we have got a purple hat here. What are you trying to say? <laughs> purple would match my skin tone. <laughs> okay. Would. Hang on. Am I, am I allowed? I'm just, do you know what? Throw it. The, Throw it. Go on. Go on. Throw it up. Thank you. Lovely. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> right. I think I've just broken about 55 rules there. Uh, we're, we're good. Okay. Do you know what? It does actually go with the uh, with my top. It does. There it does. You go. I wouldn't say it fits me <laughs> massively, but I it have does. always been told I've got a massive head, so mm. we're fine. There's no reflection. No, no, that's fine. Do you want me to do? Just bring... you oh, turn yeah. the room light down. Oh look, that's oh, quite right. yeah, yeah. dapper. Oh yeah, that's do mannish. Oh, that's what? lovely. I'm I feel a little bit of a Batman's Joker vibe here. Oh, yeah. there you are. Quite cool. I look quite. Oh, I like it. I like it. Right. OK. And do you know what? I'm going to leave this on for a while. I'm going to leave my hat on, as the song says, for a little while. I'm not doing anything else that the song suggests, mind you. Right. Let's crack on, shall we? Oh, I'm really excited about this. Okay, I'm going to excellent. work my way down the counter, and along the way, you guys are just going to tell me what's going on, which yes, is yeah. always the way. This yes, is how yes. it works for me on the craft store. Very good. Um, now, this is brand new. It's very exciting. This is our Peacock and Cherry Blossom Hand Embroidery Fabric Panel. There's your item number, so you can make a little note of that and have a look at the price. Twelve ninety nine, and you get to make that beauty. Woo! Love a peacock. I love them. Absolutely love them. I think they're so fantastic, aren't they, on, on designs? They're just because they lend themselves, don't they? Because yes. they're, they're so pretty. They have so much great designery yeah. already on them. Yes. My granddad was a peacock. I've said it before. His name was it's, Fred it's Peacock. It's the family name. His name's what? Fred, Fred Peacock. Peacock. Fred Peacock. Yes. Yep. I've got to say, it doesn't sound like a sort of peacocky name, that, does it? Isn't Fred, it? Fred. Something a little bit more exotic when it comes to peacocks. <laughs> Feels like he should have a, well, she should have a French name, I think. But, uh, OK, Fred, the peacock there. That's, yeah. that's the there name. Yeah. But uh, what a beautiful creature. What a beautiful design to have the flowers there as well. And obviously, you've got um, everything you need to you to, to make that, imp that that panel right you've got the panel and then we got to do is provide the thread is that yes. right yes choose your own threads yeah yes. yes you've got the picture there so you can choose similar ones to mine if you want but you okay. don't have to we've um, also given you the yeah you've got the fabric there and, and it's you've printed. got a um, Let me open this up properly. paper copy of that pattern so that you can make up more designs if you want right okay yeah here we go Right, so I've got, let me get this the right way round. Oh, a quarter of the stock's already gone. We're super busy already. Oof. We haven't even got going yet. We've only been on, on air for a minute or so. There you go. So you're getting this fabric panel here, and you, you use your whatever thread you have. So you can go with the colour suggestion that's yeah. on the front here. Yes. And, you know, that is the standard kind of peacock colours there. I think you can't really go wrong. But if you wanted to make it a little bit different... Mm, yeah, you could. Yeah. I mean, I guess a peacock could be any colour, couldn't yes, it? Yes, they can. You can we do all was, sorts. We were saying gold thread would look fantastic oh, in the wow. peacock. We didn't put yeah. any in ours because we hadn't got any. Mm. But, yeah, you could do all sorts of things with that. I can well imagine. And then it comes, of course, with all the stitches and instructions here. Oh, that's good. Look. You've made it easy for me to understand here. All the different <laughs> stitches that you've got on the left-hand side there. Chain stitches, fly stitches. It tells you how to do them. It shows you how to do the preparation. Oh, these are simple instructions. I like these. We mm. try. Mm. Did you have any in mind when you were making these instructions? <laughs> it, they are. No. They are for beginners. Get the simple beginners. instructions out. Richard's doing this show. There you go. <laughs> put, the, put the complicated ones away. That's really easy to follow. Okay, that's good. So we've got the fabric panel here. And then once you've actually made it, you can hang it on your wall. Yes. Anything you want yeah. with well, it. What else can you do with it? Any, any suggestions? You could put it on a bag, maybe? 
Yeah, you know. could you could put it on a cushion. You want to put it on something that wasn't going to get too sort of thrown around or scruffed up because okay. it's obviously handwork, beautiful. Yeah. Wall decoration would probably be the main thing. That's what I would do. Yeah, with you it. can do anything. Yeah. I keep thinking oh, you've got the pattern there. If you use a trace down pen or paper, you could put it on the back of some clothing, a piece of denim, a denim jacket. Mm. Use the pattern. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that looks really nice. That doesn't it? Oh, yeah, there you go. There. Pop it on yeah. the wall. You've got a hammer and a. Hammer, nail. Oh, no. yeah. Good Nothing. luck, mate. We're having all right. that back. Thanks. I'll just, oh, it's all right. I'll just hold it. I'll hold it up for the rest of the day then. Oh, doesn't that look nice? <laughs> That's great. So you can pop that on the wall there. Now, very busy, as I say. Already a quarter of the stock has gone. Five seven eight zero nine zero. If you would love, uh, like to have that fantastic quilters trading post, peacock and cherry blossom hand embroidery fabric panel with full instructions as well. <coughs> and all you need to do is to provide the thread. Whichever colour scheme you'd like. Wow. Now, I've got one of the hats, but there's actually nine options here in Pam's hat kit. Look, you've got all of the different options in front of us here, including, I see here, ladies, two Christmas designs. Two Christmas designs. <laughs> Why did you just shake a, a doll? Is that you, a Pam? That is a Pam doll. Pam dolly. It's a Pam doll. Yes. yes. Now, when you shook that at me, was that some sort of voodoo doll thing? Were you trying to, like, yeah. you know, throw a curse <laughs> on me or something with your special magic doll? That's a worry. Is, did you make that yourself? Yeah. Well, okay. we did it between us, didn't we? I made that one. Mum made the hat. Oh, OK. I did. Yeah, Pam. So this dolly. is the first time that uh, Pam dolls uh, debuted the... The Pam hat. Yes. Oh, the hat. Yes. Yes, yes. it is. Yes. We we were we were discussing doing the hat next time, and somebody said, "Well, Pam has got to have a hat." So we put we put one. She's on got her. a hat. She's got one like mine. Yes. Lovely. She matches because they're both Pam. Very nice. You have the rest of the show to produce a, a doll of me wearing this hat. I oh, know pressure, but if you just crack on with that, we'll have a look at the end of the show yeah. as to how that looks. Right, moving on. No. <laughs> the face is like, no, they did, that wasn't in the meeting. No. Uh, right, 662070 is the item number, and obviously you pick the, the, the colour scheme, the fabric, the design that you like here. You've got nine colourway options here. Uh, now, let's go along the top here. We've got penguins. There we go, jolly penguins along the top here. Then, next up, trout fossil fern. That's trout fossil fern. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, I like that. It's kind of a rusty yeah, look to that one. Now, <laughs> moving along here, this is a similar kind of pattern. Missy fossil fern. So, just, we've just adjusted the colours on this one. And again, along the top here, which one's this one? Stormy sea. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, some lovely blues and browns in these ones here. And then as we go along the bottom, you can see this one at the top. Charisma, this one's called. Lots of colour on this one. Lovely floral design too. Then we've got the Japanese woven. This one's a little bit more understated, I think. I really like that one, a little checkered pattern. And then similar here, this is Japanese woven, but this isn't black. Oh, there you go, that's the hat for that. This is limited stock here for the black version of it, the Japanese woven. Uh, that's beautiful. And then next to that, we've... Oh, we've got Camelot. There you go. Camelot, so kind of a an old. Oh, I suppose that's kind of a. It's got like royal emblems on it. Is that why you called it Camelot? It was the range that it came in was called Camelot. It's fossil oh. fern, isn't it? No, it's not. It's no, it's actually they're almost like snowflakes. A beautiful yes. design. Feel free it to is. open it. Oh like, yes, I know which one it is. I think yeah. of Camelot, and I think of like you know knights and Snooping yeah, Arthur, Arthur, and Arthur. also lottery machines as well for some bizarre reason. Well, I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then the we have this ho ho ho. We've ho, got ho, another ho. Christmas design, and that one is being modelled by Emma. Oh, yes. Lovely. Back of my head. Look at that. Isn't it good? Oh, and I've just been told that the Japanese woven black has just sold out. I've got a oh, feeling that's gonna, yeah. I'm going to be saying that quite a lot in this hour. <laughs> oh. uh, I really do. It's been super busy already. Now, are you getting everything you need to make this, these yes. hats and hat kits? I don't yeah. think there's anything else you need no, except a sewing machine and, a, and some thread. And some Have thread? you thought yeah. of everything? Well, 50 yeah. centimetres of fabric for the hat and a 40 centimetre iron-on interfacing as well. Mm, That's full instructions? Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, mm. not, they're not overly complicated to make, are they? No. Are they not? No. That, that's no. good. Well, I suppose, yeah, you've got, it's already pre-cut all the fabric and everything, so are you sort of, you're cutting it into, into smaller parts and yes. then stitching it together? I should be demonstrating those later. Oh, excellent. Ooh, good. Yes, right, yeah. I'll take notes then, because I, uh, I might try one myself a little bit later on. Um, <laughs> that's great. Love that. That's the hat kit. But of course, maybe, maybe you just need the pattern. You want to provide yes. your own. 
uh, fabric because um, you know one of these might not be to your your taste. Maybe you've got something lying around in your stash and you think that's what I want to make my hat out of. You can just get the pattern as well. So the pattern is $9.99. The kit, the hat kit where you get the fabric is $15.99 and the pattern as you can see along the bottom of your screen there is $9.99. Very reasonable too, I have to say. Mm. It's really growing on me this hat, I have to say. I might... Yeah, suits him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Would I look weird driving no. home with this on, do you think? Or was that... No, so you can travel home with it. Oh, yeah, I should go with this, you know. Uh, now, we're moving on to our hand... Yeah, Obviously, I pay for it. Now, we're moving on to our hand embroidery blocks here. Uh, we've got Robin here, Christmas Robin, and we've got a poinsettia holly ring. So it's two designs. It's not a case of choosing one, is it? You're getting no. both. Yeah. Both, yep. We couldn't decide what to do, and so we said, tell you what, just give them both. Stick it in a set. Yep. Yeah, if in doubt, stick it all in. There you go, 674-439 is the item number for that. Now, uh, these are pre-printed hand embroidery blocks. It's being designed by yourself, Pat? Yes, yes. Quite busy, aren't you? Oh, ever so busy. You don't <laughs> like I about, crack you? that whip, I tell you. Yeah, well, you're just always coming up with new ideas. and We yeah. have to, yeah. 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 yeah, you have to do new ideas here all the time. Right, yeah. and I, I don't know, because obviously I've just met you guys, so I don't know yeah. exactly how it works. Is, is Pam the predominant design, or do you do no. loads of it as well? Both. I do a lot of things. In fact, that other half of your counter there is me. <laughs> oh, OK. So yeah. I'm Listen. just saying Pam a lot, and I just don't want, to, I want to give credit no, where credit's due. Yeah. fine. No. We do half and half. We do different things, don't we, yeah. on the whole? I do a lot of applique and yes. the, a lot of the embroidery. Emma does some embroidery. Okay. I do We've mainly some bags and quilts, We do really? half and half, I yeah. think. Sounds like a dream team. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like you know, one does the one thing yeah. and the, you know, so you've got strengths and, and weaknesses. They, yeah. they come up very different, you know. Yeah. Emma's things are not like mine. Yeah. So, no, you know, different. it makes good... Is it, is it fun working as a mother and daughter yeah, team? Yeah, we have nice? good fun. We have little um, yeah. spats now and again. Of course you do. Oh, you're mother and daughter. Anyone. That's what you've yes. done all your lives, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally. But yeah. no, it's lovely working. Yeah, well, that's yeah. nice. That is really nice. Okay, let's, let's uh, have another look at this then. It's 19.99 here. This is your hand embroidery blocks. You've got your, your Christmas robin uh, just here, and you've got there you go, and you've got your hand, uh, you've got your ho poinsettia holly ring just here so you're getting both of them you don't have to choose that's great now uh, moving along here we've got a botanic garden hexi bag kit for you uh, this is now i've this is i've learned lots of things over the last few weeks and one of the things i picked up because i you know i actually came up with this myself i picked it up and went that's English paper piecing, right? Oh, yes. It is. Yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah. I'm quite happy with that. You know what you're talking about. I, well, I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> but I certainly remembered that yeah. bit. So, so you get all of this with it, and this is, what you, this is what you put the material around to then get this effect that we see on the front of the bag. Exactly. Here. Yeah. 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 Now, what are you getting with this kit then? Everything? You are getting all of the fabrics you can see in there, plus the lining. The only thing you're going to have to add to that is the wadding. Oh, it's okay. your so you choice, choose what you like. yeah. yeah, of which sort of weight wadding you want to put in yes, there. Yes, and that is dependent on you know what, what you're going to use it, it for it, and yeah. how much you want to, uh, to spend on that. You're yeah. getting a £10 saving on that. So once you've got the wadding, and you probably will have some wadding already, don't you, at home? Yeah. You've got the wadding, this will do everything else. You've got the, uh, the little uh, layer cake here of all of the different fabrics. This is from uh, Botanic Gardens. Uh, this is also, we've got the, uh, the ribbon on the, the front here. We've also got full instructions, obviously. And what, a metre of ribbon, that's quite good. Got the uh, bag outer and lining fabric too. And uh, put it all together. How long would it take you, do you reckon, to, to make this? I can do it in a day. I'd give yourself a couple of days okay. just to be easy. The, the, the English paper piecing is probably the thing that's going to take the longest because it, it's handwork, so it takes a bit longer to do that. But it's good fun because you can do that in front of the telly. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm thinking as well as I just hold this up is that is also going to the colour scheme here that I'm wearing. So I've got the hat. Oh, it does. I've got, I've got the wow. shirt. It suits you. And it, uh, that background as well. Look, look at it. Oh, look at oh, this. It's so coordinated wow. at the moment. Wow. 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 OK, let's make it really garish then and then bring some green into it. There you go. Yeah. Um, now, this we're going to move on to the Farm Girl Vintage Fusion Quilt Kit here. So you're getting all the fabric here that you can see down the front. Yes. Uh, I've got loads of more of it at the back here, but you can see all the different... Now, it's... it's each one is a completely individual design, cut and colour option, yes? But not every single square well, is different, no, but no. you've got that many different ones. You've got a lot of different fabrics in there, but you've Loads. got 72 squares altogether. 72, OK. So yes. is, it, is this just making the front of the...? It makes both sides, oh. front and back. Oh, you've pushed the boat out here, haven't you? Oh, I like I... that. And then, of course, th this is for doing all the, all the, the, the crochet, is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and the it's crochet. cotton, isn't it? It is. It's cotton, it's cotton. cotton yarn, and it does all the crochet around the edge, mm. and then obviously joins it all together as well. So you don't have to bind. Yeah. You don't have to quilt. 
It's all there for you. You do have to crochet, though. You do have to crochet. You do have to crochet. Mm. Okay. You, all right, so you literally just need that and that and your crochet hooks and you yes. can make what's behind you. That's amazing. Yes. We've, had a, we've had an email in from Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Uh, she's asking what's, what wadding is best to use with this, in your opinion. Well, you're going to be um, blanket stitching through it when you're sewing it, so a lightweight wadding would help. It doesn't really matter what brand or anything, mm -hmm. but a lightweight wadding. I use a cotton or a polyester is good. A polyester is a little bit easier because mm -hmm. it's not as tightly woven as a, as a cotton Yeah, wadding. I'd use polyester. Mm. Polyester. There you mm. go, Sandra. I hope that's uh, answered your question. Something a light and uh, polyester-like. There you go. If polyester being the probably best thing that would be polyester-like. Uh, we've got two flexi <laughs> payments there of £27.50, that's £54.99, which represents a £5 saving on the usual price. And then you get to make that lovely quilt that we can see yeah. just behind Pam there. And uh, you get all of the, the, the squares with it and you get all of the, uh, the crochet, uh, is it crochet yarn that we call it? Yes. Thread? Yeah, it is yarn. Yes. I usually call, call it wool, but it's because it's not wool, because wool right. is wool. So this I is, get yes. a bit confused. It's cotton. So it's, it's cotton yarn. It's cotton yarn. It's okay, not so cotton you're getting wool, everything though, you yeah. need to make that. And it's both sides, remember, as well. So when you spin it round, you have the squares on the other side, too. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. All you've got to do is add the wadding. 434351 for that. Now, it's time to uh, go into our, our little book club for the day. Got a lovely little bedtime story for you. It's called. Pam's Morris Inspired Applique Patterns and Projects. I'll tell you now, the story's a little bit rubbish, but <laughs> there's some beautiful illustrations in it. Okay, so the plot, not up to much, but the illustrations, wow. And at the end of it all, you'll have lots and lots of fantastic projects as well. Um, as we flick through it here, you've got uh, some, oh, look at this. We've got a wall hanging there, lovely full colour pictures there, additional project ideas. There's your patterning and it all folds out, right, like this? Yeah. 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 Yes, it's all full size. Yep. Ooh, Mirror nice. imaged as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, and it's on the it's on the sort of ring binder as well, so it's yes. nice and easy to, to lay out flat mm. too. There you go, you've yeah. got a daisy block there, uh, flag iris block, flax block. You can see all the different, it's all uh, set out into sections here, and then in each section you have the pattern, then you have full instructions uh, inside as mm. well. So that's great, we love that. Full size pattern, 12, 12 applique blocks it makes. Mm. Yes, mm. all different oh. ones, there you go. So There's when you project. put it all together, you can make that? You can make that, yeah. Yep. So each one of the 12 designs is up on the wall there. No, there's there. only Have seven there. Look. There's only there's seven, seven in that there, oh, you can pick oh. a mix. Yeah. Okay, so there's even yeah. more than that in the yeah. book. Oh, yes. That's yeah. good. Okay. Mm. Let's, have a, let's have a little look. There's I've got another seven. one here, actually. Mm. Yeah, there is. That's, that's not on there. Mm. Yeah. So you could use this for all sorts, couldn't you? Oh, this, yeah. this is a cushion. Cushion cover, yeah. Cushion cover, yeah. Uh, yeah. Table covers. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. 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 There's projects in the book, but we've also given you some, as you as you saw, some extra ideas as well. But you can do anything you like with those or applique, so it's really versatile. So once you've got made one block, you can just repeat that will do whatever you do want whatever you add want. things around yeah. it yeah that's great there you go that's the book there for 24.99 you're getting 12 blocks there so oh that's about two pound a block that's pretty good value isn't it mm. to get that pattern in that project book i like that five five nine five six five and then finally oh i've reached you guys yeah, here we are. Here we are. I got here eventually <laughs> it's been a long journey uh here i am for the dining room delights set here this is the kit now you can get either christmas or you can get tea time Tea time, though, is limited stock, mm -hmm. so you'll have to uh, get your skates on for that one. But the Christmas one here, let's have a look. Have we got, to, have we got one I can show everybody? Or we just, oh, we, I suppose we can have a little look at that car. We've got some yeah. snowmen on it. Yeah. You get the general gist. You've got the traditional curls. Oh, right, you're getting lots of different designs on there. I've got you. Yeah, lots of reds and greens. I can see reindeers in there and snowmen and holly and berries and all the rest of it. Oh, That's great. And then this is the tea time version with lots of teapots on it, and then lots of uh, different um, material and designs that goes with it as well. So it's all very coordinated, mm. lollipops on there, pinks and blues. That's limited stock though, so you will have to uh, crack on a little bit to get that. And then, it's the sort of thing you can make, is that right? You've got the... Yes. You've got instructions yep. to make all those projects, and it's your choice how many and which ones you want to make with your fabric. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to make a lot of coasters, you can make a lot, although you can make less right. <laughs> of the bigger projects. But yeah, you've you? got all sorts there. What have you got? A coaster, a placemat, a yep. table centre, and a table, table runner. runner. Mm. So you can make you know one table runner or maybe a table runner. Yeah, you can, we can mix and match it all. But once you've got it all together, you've got the full dining room 
yeah. experience, haven't yeah. you? You've got the, everything you need to decorate it. That's and it's a it. mixture of quilting and crochet and English paper piecing and yeah. a bit of everything, really. Very, not, not too much quilting. You don't have to do a lot, but you can if you like. You can go yeah. overboard. But, yeah, I just love the crochet on the edge of projects. Yeah. I really, really enjoy really doing nice, that. Nice frilly edge there yeah. as well. It gives it a little bit of... Uh, elegance and intricacy and there's your uh, cotton yarn that you would need for that too and the price of that one is a five pound discount so that's 34.99 today on the craft store 6.76058 oh so I, we've seen some lovely things down this counter i must i must say and i've enjoyed uh presenting it all in this hat uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, i am starting to feel a little bit on the warm side under these studio lights it's very warm yes it yes. is quite warm it is a little um, <laughs> right don't forget it's all on the website of course along with everything oh, else the craft store dot com is where you head to if you'd like to get all this today it has been very very busy so far the show but i think we've reached that time of the hour well, we go time. Home? Oh, yes. no. no, no, not when you go home, oh, Emma. Oh, okay. When you do some work. <laughs> oh, no, that's not me. That's Mum. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. okay. I'm just here to... You're just here to supervise, are you? Absolutely, just... to, right. to model the hat. Right, okay. Yes. So... We've changed sides, so I hope the <laughs> camera knows where I am. Okay, so I'm <laughs> getting oh, right, loud and clear now. Pa Emma's Pam's plus one. I get it. Yeah. It's all about yeah. Pam. Pam, what are you going to do for us? <laughs> I'm going to show some... Em oh, yeah, one minute. Ooh, I'm going to show some embroidery that I've done, because really I'm a beginner as well. I haven't been doing this for very long, nowhere near as long as I've been a sewer. Yeah. So, you know, these things that I do it should be pretty easy Simple. for people yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when I start off, what I do is I use a six inch hoop because I find that easy to get my fingers around because I like to be able to um, go ahead with my up. finger and my the finger that's at the back there so I can see what I'm doing and push okay. it up a bit makes yeah. it easier. I always use um, three strands. strands of embroidery thread. Um, which is easier to fill things in because it's not as thin and you don't have to go through so many times. I use quite a long thread because it uses up really quickly and I don't like to keep casting on and off all the time. So there you go. I know some people say you should use it much shorter than I do, but no. Now I'm going to show you how to do some satin stitch because I always find satin stitch to be the least easy to do so um, when I do one of these, you see these petals, petals on this um, flower. flower. <laughs> what do we call it? A cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. Flower. Cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. That's there you what go. you were there for, Emma. It's just to fill in words. She is you, absolutely. You yeah. I couldn't do without Emma. So she's she's always finishing your sentences for you. Yeah. yeah. It's because yeah. she forgets what she's saying halfway through. <laughs> I'm a bit of a prompter, really. I'm going. I'm getting there. too old now for all of this, but I like doing it. Um, so what I do with these when I'm doing this satin stitch, to, so I can get it even. Because if you start one end and move across, you don't get it as even, I find. And I like to bring them in a bit so that it's sort of shaped. So I start off at the top, come down to the bottom, and then go in there. See, I've got my, thumb, uh, my finger there, this one, to work it with. And then just up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, on the line or just over the I'll line? I'll do it on the line. On the line. You can do okay. it just over or just inside. It doesn't matter because this is so nicely... Um, printed emma does all of that oh thank you Mum. um it, it's nice. just right if it sh it doesn't really show even if you're a bit the wrong side and so you carry on like that down there and i go a little bit closer on the bottom ones and it brings it in a bit okay all right you see how that's going hmm. so it's just really just slightly over from the previous stitch yeah I don't do satin stitch very often, and mine are not that good, so... Well, I've been doing a lot now. The more you practice anything, the better you get at it. That's true. It is true, mm. absolutely, because yeah. I'm a lot better at doing... Do you know I've never demonstrated this before, because I've never dared, <laughs> so... Well, the satin stitch? Yeah. I hadn't noticed that. No. Oh, she's sly, isn't she? Yeah. They say you have to do 10,000 hours of something before you can officially be good at it. Yeah. No, oh. not with this. This is 10, too easy hours. for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. you can... Yeah, you get mm. good... Yeah. Ten thousand hours. Ten thousand hours. Yeah. We all know. How long is that? Then? I should be quite good at doing I this. I should be dead now, by then. <laughs> <laughs> be presenting for a while. Uh, oh, you'll be good you at think, it. You? There you are. So yeah. that's what. That's how you do that. Now I'll show you a bit of um, chain stitch because that's another stitch I use a lot of. It's your favourite, isn't it? Yeah, but I've yeah. been very pleased with this. The way this has worked out. 
I did do this as an applique. I don't know if anybody remembers that. It was done as an applique, this pattern. I've changed it a bit so it fits better with the um, embroidery. With the embroidery. Mm. Go on so. then, I'll, I'll ask my first dumb question of the day. I'm not proud. I, I will ask it. Yeah. Applique. Yeah. Please, just please explain it to me because it's, I've heard it mentioned several times now and yeah. nobody has actually sat me down and, go, and gone, this is what applique is. Applique what it is, is, oh, you, yeah. is you cut out mm. a pattern yeah. and you apply it to the background. Apply it to the background. Yes, there's yeah. all sorts of ways of applying. You can um, mm -hmm. uh, um, sew it. You can stitch it with a machine. You can hand stitch it. You can do raw edge applique, satin stitch, all sorts of things. We okay. do a sticky applique, so you stick your fabric. Right. To your fabric. So that's not applique. No. No. That's filling in. in that's embroidery filling in the yes. design. Yes. Yeah. Applique is when you cut add pieces out. A fabric. pattern or a fabric on yeah. top. Of that yeah. box applique, yes. the, the William Morris book, and you can see all the little pieces, and then you put them put them on together. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's have a little, uh, a little look through here. Applique yeah. is yeah. Applique is applying, and embroidery is sewing, sewing. into. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Well, I mean, it's all I in the actual it. title when you think about it, isn't it? Applique. Applique. It's one of the few things that actually does make sense when you think about it. Yeah. A lot of our things that we say probably Don't. are a bit odd unless you've come yeah. across them before. Well, there's quilt speak. You see, you have Where to learn is. quilt speak. Quilt speak. Yeah. Yes. I've heard of the quilt police. Everyone keeps mentioning about you know, the you know, quilt oh, police. Me out on it. Yes, we I met like one them. once. Yeah. I met a did quilt you? police. Did you? Really? Did yeah. you I get spent arrested? a night in the cell thanks to the quilt police did once. You? I wasn't happy at all. No, I wasn't. Really? Yeah. No, I was no. sent away yeah. immediately. Really? You away. were sent away. Wow, you've I done was. some time, have you? Wow, Pam. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a revelation. It didn't go well. You know if she had it in her? Blimey. Right. I won't go into details of why you went to. Why you went. I was in the wrong from. place at the wrong time. <laughs> well, you were. I, I was. Remember that. It's rude. I'm not just. I'm not she just did saying get that. told off. I did get told off. Did you really? Mm. Yes. By who? The quilt police. The quilt police. For yes. doing what? Being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh my word! <laughs> oh my word! I don't. I don't want to know what that She's place was. She's a bit was. of a rebel. This one. <laughs> yeah. It was when we were setting up a show. Yeah. And I was somewhere where I shouldn't have been while they were judging the quilts. Uh, that's all. It's not something that anybody could normally do. It's just me. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fair enough. I was keeping yeah. away from Emma while she was setting up because she tells yeah. me to go away. Right. Don't mess with the quilt police. <laughs> no. That's Call the moral me when of the I'm story. setting up a show. <laughs> right. So you're right. doing chain stitch, my right. am, am I there again now? Am I showing? <laughs> yeah, there we there are. Go, well, then, there yeah. you go. Right. Stick a needle in, bring it up, and then you push it down. Where you came up? Yeah, look, and that's where my finger's pushing this up. Can you see where that one's pushing that up? So it's easy to stick it in without going up and down, which is, takes a lot longer. This is a lot more controlled. Stitch can stick your needle down, bring it up, and it doesn't matter if these stitches are not all the same size either. So what you're doing is you're taking the needle up through the fabric, you're it, putting it back down in the same place, mm. yeah. bringing it up a little bit further yeah. along the line through the loop that's made from the previous stitches. Yeah. Okay. And I use this stitch for tree chunks. Um, because you can, it's a filling stitch when I use it like this, yeah. and it, it looks sort of like tree bark. Oh, yeah. And it, yeah, it's yeah. ever so easy because it doesn't matter if you do it a bit wobbly or whatever, because it looks more yeah, like it's a tree. Part of the texture, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, makes a good texture for a tree, mm. and the satin stitch makes good texture for the for the flowers. And there you go. I do like the way the hoop kind of. It selects that circle from the overall pattern and you yes. kind of, it make, breaks it down into a smaller side, manageable yes. size. Oh, isn't yes, it? yeah. It gives you focus, doesn't it? Mm. And when yeah. you've done, I do everything in, in the hoop that I can get to easily. Yeah. Like, I'd probably start that, the, the peacock's head, mm. um, and do his beak and his eye. I get these all finished mm. and do that, that tree trunk down to there. Oh, hang on, I'll show you. I'll pull that out and I'll right. show you. Down you... to there. Okay. And then move the hoop now yeah. people think it's difficult to move the hoop because you'll spoil what you've already done and That's i can assure like, how do you, you it move doesn't the hoop onto actual in existing embroidery you can't yes you, you don't can. want to do that do you because you're going to bend it or no, shape it's fine it? it's it absolutely we've never had fine. a problem with doing that if you no. look at any of mum's work she's done that on all of all her of work them. yeah and so the threads do bounce back they do but what you do you do this carefully you unscrew your hoop so it yeah. comes off easily yeah and then you put it down in the in the place that you want to remove it to to move it to and then you put the top hoop back onto the bottom one carefully so that I try to put the part that I'm starting off with mm. on the um, already done work okay and then yeah. I push it down over to the piece that's not got work on it 
right. and then screw it up tight again, really tight. I do it, and then I pull it on the part that hasn't been worked, Stitched. and yeah. then re-screw it up until it squeaks. <laughs> I can yeah. see why you got into trouble with the police. <laughs> um, yes. By the way, I, I'm getting news that half the stock has gone oh, on wow. this hand embroidery okay. uh, panel here. Uh, yeah. half, and what, by the way, once it's gone, it's gone. You can, you can forget your extended deliveries in this hour. Forget about it. Oh, no. This is a case of once no, the stocks no, have no. gone. No, no, no. No, no. It's totally gone. Yeah. No, no. no, uh, no five, no, seven, eight, no, zero, no. nine, no. zero. <laughs> there is no, there is no extended delivery. That's what I've been told. No extended delivery. Um, you might think we're teasing you. We're going to go. Not really. It's coming back. No, absolutely not. I got it. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. That is right. <laughs> right. So I better do something different, hadn't I? Ha! Do I need stitch. Right. So what I'm going to do next? Um, I'll show you the moving, and then I'll put some fly stitches in. Oh, yes, because you can't do a fly stitch. Well, there isn't one, can you? No, the fly stitch is down the um, it's one wing. Of my it's on stitches, the wings. Though. Oh, it is. It's a wonderful filling in stitch, and it's ever so quick. Yeah. It didn't take me too long to do this to to embroider this, but longer than some of them because it's quite a it's a decent size. Oh, here we go. Right. I think it's a lot I'll, easier when you haven't got your needles still. I think <laughs> I'll cut that thread off. I can always fit it back on again. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. wouldn't normally do that, by You'd the way. You'd finish your stitches yes, off before you, you would. Them, but. And I think I'll take that one off as well. I have unpicked this when I've done something like this on the show and redone it because I wouldn't leave this unfinished. Right. So what you do is just move it around and yeah. stick that right in the middle. Okay. Like that, so I can work on it. And that that um, that circular uh, shape that's been created by the hoop that just you know drops out, does it? Yeah. After a while? We iron them. Right. We iron them. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. again, I've not had a problem ironing it. Other people have different ideas, but the, for our embroideries, you'll be fine ironing them. I mm. even spray them on the back with water and iron yeah. them, so and they the come back, out really yeah. well. On the back, yeah. Yeah. That makes iron them on the back. Yeah. Right. These um these are printed um. It, if you really need to wash your fabric, if you spill anything on it or anything, the print is permanent, so you haven't got an issue with that. Okay, that's good to know. But my hand's shaking. You've got a shaky hand. Your screwdriver's too long, isn't it? Yeah. There we are, and you screw it up really tight. You screw it up half tight, and then you can pull your um, fabric tighter. I do machine embroidery, and when you do that, you need it even tighter still. Right. We'll be doing that sometime in the new year. Yeah. I've demonstrated that before. I like machine embroidery. You yeah. do. But I do like hand embroidery. I've liked it even more and more since we've been on lockdown and that. And, you know, sitting watching the television doing it, because you can. Well, I mean, you it's can... two totally different things, I would have thought. One was oh, kind are. of getting on with it, and it's very uh, convenient, and it's yeah. kind of, everything's done quickly. And the other one's almost like a like an art form, like something you can just lose yourself in and just... Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, that's what I'm guessing, having not actually done hand embroidery. Would you say that's the... Yeah, no, yeah. You're, you're spot on. Yeah. I think the thing that's also really nice about hand embroidery is this time of year when... You, it's something you've got to do when you've got time to sit down and do it, but it's that time when you need a bit of a break from everything. We're really busy most of the year, most of this time of the year. Yeah. You can sit and watch those really fun Christmas movies that mm. don't take a lot of brain power to watch. No. And you can have real fun just embroidering. Mm. Yeah. Time I for yourself. I absolutely love it. The only thing I can't do is work on it very easily with a cat. She likes playing with a thread. She does. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't avoid your cat. That's no. That's, that's <laughs> they not don't like again. it. Please. We'll no, she likes she likes me thread though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what you do? <laughs> you put a nice knot on the end of the thread. I always put a nice big knot on the end. No problem right. with that. Right. Pull your thread up. You're starting at the bottom of what you would think would be the fly stitch. Yeah. Don't start the other end. It didn't work. The pointy end. Yeah. And you put it down there, can you see? Okay, and well, you get the way. Yeah, where that where that V comes, you bring it up on that side. Pull it tight. Well not tight, you know, just put a good tension on it. Yeah. And then you do what you do when you're doing a um, chain stitch. You stick it down the other side and bring it up again in that. You really need to get it up into that into that same stitch. Same stitch yeah. there because it mm. looks neater when it's done. Look, magic, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then down there to the next joint, out to the there. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that. You do exactly the same over and over again, and it's so easy and it comes so quick. It's so satisfying that. Yeah, 
It's great for leaves as well. Yeah, it leaves. is. Yeah, I do use it for centres of leaves and all sorts. You, you, you're literally drawing, aren't you? With, yeah. with thread. Oh, yes, like you're you drawing are. the whole line out of, yes. that, of, the, of the thread. Yeah. yeah. Of the uh, the leaf uh, markings there. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing difficult go. about that, is yeah. there? I mean, you could no. do that, couldn't you? Uh, Yes, even could. I could do that. You could I hear what you're saying there. We don't know your skill yeah. level, but I'm sure, I'm sure you could do that. Even no, if you I, I, I reckon I could actually. Yeah. I know you I could. Think I could do that. Yeah. 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 Last Which time I, I told about my sister that she hadn't done any embroidery and she did a lovely embroidery yeah. with a peacock on it she and I brought it, it in to show, yeah, and it was just lovely. Yeah, right. So would this be a good one for beginners? Would you yes, say? it is a yeah. beginner's set. Is it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Because you've got a beginner's design in them. I mean, you can see the mum's done this before and she yeah. doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah. But it isn't hard because yeah. she did it and I was like, mm, I think I'll have a go at this. And using her technique, she's yeah. not wrong. It is doable. It is yeah. doable. Yeah. I'm not a hand stitcher by any means. Well, you're making light work of that. I mean, yeah. I can see how quickly that's going to be all done oh, yeah. once, you, once you get it going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to uh, let you get on with that because we've got to fit in a, a hat demo. Yeah, you've got to show me how to make the hat. Oh, yes. So you, so you set up for the, the old hat demo yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll recap good. here for everybody. We've got eight options left now. It was nine options, but the Japanese, the, the black version of the Japanese woven uh, colorway has gone. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I just move this out of the way then. Oh. Oh, hang on, that's the Camelot. Oh, it's gone. It's already gone. It's already been taken away. That's good. Right, so we've got eight options here that you can see. Um, it's a couple of the, uh, the hat samples we have for you here. Uh, that we've got, this is the Japanese uh, woven in the beige. Oh, it's green, is this? Cream. There we go. Uh, if we go along the top here, we've got our Jolly Penguins. There we go. That's one option there. And all in time for Christmas and winter with the snowflakes on it as well. The next to it... Trout Fossil Fern, and we've got a few designs that are very similar to this, but this one's got a lot of greens and browns and yellows in it there. I like that. You can see the, you can see the, the, the fossil and the, you can see the fern shape in it as well. This one here, this is Misty Fossil Fern. So uh, again, the, the fern in there, but we've got more of a blue tinge to that one. Stormy Seas Fossil Fern, so a turquoise effect on this one, and I love it. It's almost like you've got water droplets all across it as well. Really, really like that effect there. And then moving along the bottom here, we've got Charisma. Uh, as you can see in the background, that's the hat that it makes that I've got just here. Here we go. Just there. Hello. There you go. And then uh, we've got our Japanese woven in cream here. That's next to that. That's on limited stock, by the way. So the Japanese woven has been really popular today, hasn't it? We've already run out of the black. Uh, the Camelot, which is this one here, is also on limited stock. So that's another one with our, uh, our sort of very uh, regal patterning in there. And then finally, ho, ho, ho. Uh, now, I wonder what time of the year that would be suitable for. Uh, let me know if you've got any ideas as to what we could use this for. But the, it's called Ho, 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 and there's the hat, and it's on our Emma. Very nice, Emma. Thank Lovely. you. Lovely. Thank you. Got a hat for, we've got a hat for everything here. We've got, we we've got all the other ones are all uh, the other patterns as well. Yeah, wow. Oh, you've changed hats now. Emma, you've got the uh, you've got the penguins on, so we've all gone Christmassy over there. You've even got is that a Christmas jumper you're wearing there, Pam? That's not Pam. No, that's not sorry, Pam, Emma. We've swapped <laughs> We've swapped. <laughs> Don't confuse me. <laughs> Do you know what I just nailed this hour? And then you just swapped places. We did swap oh, my head. <laughs> Okay. You know, I spent about three hours before the show going, Pam, Emma, Emma, Pam, Pam, <laughs> Emma. I put, I put name labels up and everything. Oh, we're interchangeable. It's fine. So, yeah. Thank you. Can I just call you Pema or Emma. Am? Just that to would sort work. Of, yeah, that would that's work, fine. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 662070 <laughs> is the item number for that. And if you want just the pattern, because you've already got fabric, you think... That, that's going to work really well with this hat. That's what I want because I've got something else in this fabric and I want a hat that, that will match my bag, for example. Then you can just get the pattern there. It's just $9.99 is the pattern. So pattern $9.99, the full kit with your fabric, $15.99. Uh, you've got eight options to choose from there if you do go for the fabric. And it's 662070 and there's plenty to choose from too. 
That's great. Pam, you're famous. I just noticed it's you on the front cover it there. Is, wow. Yeah. She Emma need to insisted get your on that. She insisted. I did. Yeah. I insisted that she be on her own pattern cover. She wasn't very happy about it, but it she did. It is your hat, isn't it? it that is. would have been fun if it's a Pam's hat and it was just pictures of Emma on the front, like, you know, <laughs> nicking all the glory. That would have been quite amusing. Oh, it would have been brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah. Next time. Next yeah. time. <laughs> um, right. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get a pen so I can get your autograph, Pam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are we going back to Demo Corner now? Yes. Let's go back. Are you going to make a hat now for us? Yeah, we're going to make a hat. Yes, we will. Just yes. about. If we'll we try. do it quick enough, how, how much? Yeah. We, we've got time if we do it quickly enough. Well, stop talking then. You've let's got, go on with got it. about 20 minutes. That's yeah, plenty of time to make a hat, isn't it? Uh, mm. Well, <laughs> if it's, we'll if give it a go. Half made, yes. yes. <laughs> right, so the first thing one wanted to show, and I'll, sh I'll do this, yeah? Yeah, take the, take take the, the pants off. off. So you've yeah. got your paper pattern pieces. I would suggest cutting them out first before you start cutting out your fabric. It's a lot easier because yeah. it's, it's good thick paper, so they're going to last, these pattern mm. pieces. You're going to take your fabric. So this is one of the ones we've got. I think this is Stormy Thee. Yes. Half metre. Half metre. We've given you a half metre, and it is already folded down the middle. You'll find that's a, that's a fold from when it comes off the bolt. So leave that folded. Fold it in half again. Uh, Mum's already done that. Mm. Now, you will find the selvage, you don't want to be using that, so you could... I always put that on the top, Emma. Yeah, the, the, the selvage. So, so you can see it when you put the pattern pieces down and well, you don't get in messed it up. Yes, I'm just folding it so that you can see the little spots are over the edge, so you know you're not yes, going to have a problem. Yes, but, right. yeah, you can see the selvage, you don't want to go in there. But what you do want <laughs> is to do, it tells you on here, two on the fold. So there's a fold, and because you've folded it in half already, you've got two on the fold. Because mm. there's two already. This is the easiest way to do this, to make this hat. You've also got four layers now mm. altogether. So to get this to all fit, you have to do it in a certain way. This is in the pattern to remind uh, well, you. Yes. You have to sort of be a you know, box clever here and yeah. Yeah. You know, mm. be have economical. I got it right, yep, that's Put right, it yep. a certain way so you get it all. Yeah. yeah. And then slide this over a bit. Away, and you've got yeah. plenty of room to do that. You will have some scraps to do other things if you want to with it. Yeah. Little yeah. bits, little bits. But that's yeah. it. And then cut it out like that. Pin yeah. it and cut it. There you're sorted. Mm. So don't think you haven't got enough because you have. You'll, you'll be fine. When you cut it out like that, then you know they're all exactly the same size, so it's yeah. easier to put it together properly. Um, right, so the next thing we do is to sew down all the side pieces mm. on the hat pieces. No, the next thing you do is you get interface, you're going to cut that the same that. as well, and you're yeah. going to put Folded it on. Fold it in half, don't you, the interface? Fold it in half. It says in here again, yes. <laughs> Brilliant. It is good, isn't I it? I love this. Banter. I love this. This is like this is proper. This is genuine, like mom and daughter just <laughs> yeah, yeah, like squabbling and having this. Before I clever like, off. Yeah. 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 So Go yeah, on. it tells you how many. And again, you're gonna do it folded, but then you've got you're gonna do half the pieces. There was four of these pieces. These are the hat crown. You're gonna put two interfacing pieces and two that aren't interfaced. You're gonna so stick one down. I'm gonna have to there, stick one down. down. Why don't you stick down. it? I mean, really? <laughs> Doing. What are you playing? Have you, met each other have, you, have you rehearsed this? This would be quite quite good if you actually did the practice run. <laughs> it's always like this. Yes. Funnily enough, we're just we're, we're just this good without having to practice. <laughs> <laughs> so my iron's not on. Oh dear. So you're going to sew them down the yeah. sides. Yeah. So there we go. Look, she's already done it. What are you I've talking about? One. Yeah, I was going to sew them down the side to show you how you sew them down the sides. You know. That would be complicated, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Mighty, I'll show you what the next thing oh is. Oh dear, Emma's then. got the hump. Emma's got the hump. It's going to be a long journey back home, isn't it? It really is. I'm driving. Right. You put marks on so you can see how to join it to the um, crown. Have you got the crown piece there, Emma? She's not talking to you, uh, yes. Pam. Sorry. I know. That's it's naughty, right. isn't it? Now, the best way to do it is to mark it with a... With a pen, with yeah. With a pen, because Again, if you don't, then when you put the snips round, they disappear. If yeah. you use it with, If you mark it with a snip, it'll disappear. Yeah. Now, ask me how I know that. How do you know that? Because I've done it. Oh, now she's done it go. wrong. The yeah, voice of experience, oh, bitter experience. Yeah. On the pattern pieces are marks. Yeah. Oh, as you said, ordinarily you snip those, but in the pattern we do tell you to mark them with a pen. Yeah. So that's on the, all the pieces have got little marks on them. If you don't want to mark it with a pen and you want to use the snips, then pin it to the crown piece before you put the snips in. Mm. And then you haven't got a problem. But you'll see what we mean later. And you put snips all around this. It's the short piece, not the, not the wide piece. This is for the crown. We're making the crown. Okay. So you put little snips in all the way around. So like that. <laughs> That's the crown Ooh. side piece, I should point that out. Yeah, the crown side piece. That's what it says in the pattern, <laughs> that it is. Oh, I tell you what, every time you mention getting the snip, it's making me wince. It really <laughs> is. is. It? No, I can't <laughs> I wouldn't why. know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> no. I don't know, for some reason it's making yeah. me go all funny. <laughs> yeah. um, 
Okay, okay so you, you're slipping all the way along the, yeah. the side there. I've got to do it. I should have done this before, shouldn't yeah. I? You should. I mean, what were you playing at? I don't know. I thought I got everything organised. Um, Pam, it's fine. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. So you've got the side pieces sewn down at each short side yeah. and you've snipped around the, the top of the crown piece. And you must iron it. Um, okay. I was going to tell you about ironing the interfacing on. Yeah. Oh, I've just done that. Mm, you haven't. Iron it on the right side. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> I was actually, but I didn't know. Oh, There's a reason. There is definitely yeah. a reason. Yeah. <laughs> when you're doing your interfacing, if you like us, you've got your iron set on the highest setting because you, you, you're sewing with cotton. But don't ever, if you've got your iron set on a cotton setting, iron your interfacing on with your iron on the interfacing side because all it will do is melt. Right. Again, I've done that. I did it yeah. yesterday. Um, so pop your interfacing down, pop your fabric on top, make sure it's all to line, else, else it's sticky, and then iron it on the fabric side. Oh, okay. And then you can flip it over. Is it stuck well enough? Mm -hmm. I've missed a little bit there. Pop it back again. Feel you have to stick it because your iron's not that hot on the interfacing side. Don't rub it, just dab it down onto it. Don't do what I'm doing then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So that fuses it all in and that's stuck pr permanently now, is it? Stuck. Like yeah. Jolly yeah. good. Now, get your um, piece that you've just prepared with mm -hmm. your snips and everything. Yep. Take your um, crown piece. It's going to be the wrong colour because we didn't get round to doing that. Have one. you got two different pieces? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Don't matter. No. It's going to be a fancy hat, this one. Um, join your um, side seam up with your snip there. Or your mark. It or will be a mark. mark. It'll be a mark or whatever. Um, I've got a snip there and a mark and a, a seam there. Join the same one the other side. Now. We've got some cues on the phones now for oh. everything here. So website, I think, is the place to go yeah. if you'd like to uh, order anything you're seeing. Oh, Camelot, very That's limited. Cool. Camelot yeah. version. Right. Oh, and the Japanese woven as well. Very limited. You'll have to be quick if you want those uh, two for the hat. Sorry, carry on, ladies. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to put it now. With my sewing machine, I've got an open toe foot because I love open toe feet on sewing machines. I use them for my um, applique and everything, oh, right, okay. satin stitch, because I can see where I'm going. Now I've got my needle moved over to the right so it does a quarter inch seam. However, you can use a quarter inch foot. Yes, you can. Totally no problem yes. with that. Yes, yeah. But this is what I like to do and it works for me. Yeah. Now what you do is you put this down onto your, always do the, um, flappy side on the top and the flat piece on the bottom. This is not just when you're making a hat like this, when you're doing anything like this and putting a, um, a piece in to make it shaped. Yeah, so the flattest piece yes. goes on the bottom. And then you just machine round a quarter of an inch in or make sure you don't go onto this side of your snips because if you do, you get a hole in your hat. Ah. We don't I, want that. By the way, breaking news, what, what? Uh, we have sold out of not just the Camelot, oh. but also the Japanese woven in cream, gone. Ooh, yeah. I told you they weren't coming back as well. Look, that's so what you're left with now. You've, got, you've still got six more options here. What's limited now? Charisma. Charisma, that's this one here. That's the one you can see the hat. That's now limited as well, so that's going to go soon. Very, very popular, the hat kits today. Good. Wow, mm. you see, your stylish yeah. mum. You never knew it. <laughs> yeah. Just realised we haven't got uh, my purple hat as an option. No. no, shall I tell you what your purple hat is? Go that on. is the one we made in the pattern because the purple and the white thread stood out best. Ah, so you okay. have a really special one. Oh, thank a one you. One of a kind. Got there. That That's one. part of the pattern, that one. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, not available. Nope. Not nope, available. Nope. Some of the, the hats we've got on the table are not available as a kit. Hmm. But they are the first ones that Mum ever made. Ah. So we thought okay. we'd bring them along. Yes. But it just proves though that you can do it in any fabric, doesn't yes. it? Any you fabric, can, yeah. yeah. Half a metre of whatever fabric you've got. Now I won't go all the way around here. I've just come round to the second um and you can Joint, see how yep. well it fits in. Especially with the snips, just give it that yeah, little I mean, bit. You of can't do it without give. the snips because it, it just wouldn't fit. Hmm. it you'd think it was too small. And that, uh, that applies if you're putting um, feet into the bottom of a toy. You know those little round um, feet into the bottom of a toy? You do it exactly the same way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or um, if you're making a cushion with a... Uh, ooh, a, a finish a sentence for her. 
Um, guess it. Guess that's it. the one. Sorry, yes, I was a bit lax there, yeah, wasn't yeah. I? <laughs> a bit lax. <laughs> yeah, I, I was away with the fairies. I was away with the other piece that I need to do next. <laughs> now, I've got another... Yeah, I've got a piece done. <laughs> I was ready. That's yep. it. Between the three of us, with Pam not being able to finish the sentences and, and me like completely forgetting your names and getting them interchangeable, I mean, it's, <laughs> a, doing good. it's a right old shower, isn't it? Oh, it's <laughs> fab -a It's kind of entertaining. How yeah. Yeah. There you see. some fun. I'm enjoying this. Oh, That's good. what it looks yeah. like. We try. Yeah. Although this is the lining. You make the lining exactly the same yeah. as the crown. Yeah, just um, without the interfacing yeah. on it. And then we start on the brim. The brim. So I need the brim pieces here. Here's the first one you gave yep. me. Mighty ho, jolly good. So what you do is you make the two brim pieces exactly the same as you did the sides of the hat. Side crown. Yeah. And then you pin these together. Oh. So yeah, so around you've got, the edge. You've got the lined piece pinned to the non-lined yes, piece or right. interface piece. Yeah. And you just pin it round and then you machine it all the way mm. around. Um, how much time have we got? Yeah, we, we're getting on a bit, so I don't need to show oh, you me machining that. Because you've already machined it. Because I've already, already machined, machined it. one here. You mm. just go round it all the way round. Now, this is something I, I'm just trying to show you the tricky bits, really. Um, you open it out like that. Now, this is where this machine comes in handy. Because if you fold that back, this back, like that, pull it open and fold it back so it's tight and you want that piece underneath you put it under your machine what are you doing that's, my way <laughs> that's it Do, shall i shall i cover um pam's blushes here by like Shush. cutting straight over here for a recap while no, she that's just right. sorts no, I've, got it, I've got it i've got it that's nice yeah there um, we go we've got to, uh, the ho 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 yeah and stormy seas <laughs> we've got uh, stormy seas on limited stock at the moment and we've got Misty as well, which is this one. Yep. That's, uh, is that on limited stock? That's OK for now. OK, so we've got the Ho Ho Ho. This one's on limited stock. This is the Misty. Uh, we've got the... Uh, no, that's the Misty. That's the Stormy Sea. That's on limited stock. OK. Right, I'm across it now. Then we've got the Trout uh, Fossil Fern. Yep. Jolly Penguins. And Charisma, which is extremely limited. OK, so that's, uh, that's where we're up to now. A couple of limited options in there. Right, did you sort it all out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, I've got the interface piece this side. Yep. I've pushed it underneath that way, that seam. The seam, OK. And then this is the non-interface side, and this is underneath. So this is a thicker piece. Now, I've got that pushed right up against the side of my open toe foot. And it just automatically stitches it right on the edge. Right. You'll, you'll find on a quarter inch foot, most quarter inch feet have got an eighth of an inch marking on them. Yeah. On the inside of the foot. But so this you can is less that. than that even. Yeah, you can use an eighth yeah. of an inch. So this is just top stitching that seam in it's place. It's putting isn't it? a facing on, really. Mm. It makes it easier to. Um, it makes it much easier to turn it through mm. and iron it. You see, pull it out like that as you go along. You make sure with your thumb on the back yeah. that you're pulling it over each time, and then you just machine along. It's the sort of thing you want to take your time doing, isn't it? Yeah. This bit? And the thing is, people think it's difficult to edge stitch, and if you do it like that, it isn't. No, give yourself a guide. Yeah, you've got yeah. a guide there easily to do it. And I really like to do this way with um, facings on garments. Mm around the neck of a garment you push it through the other side and then you can't see it on the right side and it's okay. all pressed over beautifully now we've got about five minutes left there's uh, just time for me to quickly tell you now don't take this person i don't mean this in an offensive way but we are completely out of charisma oh, uh, we've, oh we've lost all the charisma yeah that's the charisma option here which is the this hat we've got that that's gone that's taken away do you know what? I'm, I'm doing a good job of tidying up I'll say at the end of this hour we started off originally with nine options uh, oh. and then there were five uh, I wonder if we're going to lo lose the lot by the time we get to two o'clock. I'm feeling like I'm not modelling the ho 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 very well. Mm, yeah, oh. I'm slipping a little bit there, Emma. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, to be honest, out of the two, I've got to say you've done, you've definitely done the least amount of work. <laughs> um, just an observation. Although well. <laughs> if we talk about the quality of Pam's work at times, it's been a little bit uh, <gasps> sketchy. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no. Well, the prep, the prep, no, I mean, the, the finished result's fantastic, obviously, Pam. I just mean, you know, sometimes you've had to ask what's, what's happening. It's, what it's a word fine. is, yeah. yeah. You know yes. I get ever so nervous when I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you should. Well, you shouldn't be. I think oh, you're doing yeah. a fantastic job. We've been job. here long enough. Yeah. Five years or more. You've yeah, been doing it longer than I have. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. so look, 
I haven't even ironed that. And look how beautifully that turns through. Yes. And it comes so that it's the same both sides. comes up to there. And then when you've done that, you machine all around it with a um, narrow stitch Sorry. right on there the edge. Right? So this is one I made earlier. Mm. So oh, you're, okay. you're going yeah. to stitch yeah, right on the inside just to hold them all the pieces together. Yeah. If you want, if you don't want to do that that I just did, you can press it back and then top stitch it an eighth of an inch in together. All together, yeah. You, you can, can do, do that, that if you don't want to do what I just did. Yeah. Now you put this onto the um I've made already made that one top and what I did was to top stitch round that the same way as I did round the edge of this. Right. Right, and then I need to fix this onto there. Oh, so what you do okay. is you get this like this, and you fold Got about it up. Three right. minutes left. Uh, ho ho ho! Is this coming up on the inside rail? Coming in fast. It could be a winner still. We're, we're lots, lots of ho ho hoes going. It's just, it was, it was all in the way you modelled that, Emma. I Amazing. Think so. Yeah. Beautifully yeah. done. I've worked really hard this hour to model this beautifully. <laughs> Yeah, you need to lie down after this. Wow. I will, yeah. yeah. This is what. all in the pattern with pictures and everything, so you can see what you're doing. Yes, we have put lots of pictures in. Yeah. Of the hat you're wearing. Yes. Oh, really? In the pattern. Are, are they? I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you won't look, they won't look the same because it's black and white. Okay. Because it kind of stands out a bit better in black and white. Mm. <laughs> but it was purple to begin with. Okay. Yep, and then you put that on like that. Put pins all the way around if you want, and then you just machine it a quarter of an inch in. Absolutely. Make sure that your, your um, brim is on together with the, with the um, crown, and then we're away. Now, I hate to rush you, Pam, but you have 120 seconds left. But um, don't let... Don't let me rush you. But you are back though, aren't you, both of you? We are. We're back yeah, yeah, but not with this. We've got some What are you doing at seven? Oh, we've got some quilts. We've got some dolls. Mm. Oh, it's going to be oh, a party. we've got some really lovely dollies of Emma's. Yeah. Oh, really? What, a bit yeah. like the Pam doll that we can see there? Mm. No. 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 Really different. We have Christmas and Halloween-y type dolls. Now, we've done Halloween, so you can look at the Christmas ones, but yeah. you can be ready for Halloween next year as well. Oh, we're already like, well oh, in advance of Halloween and right. just in time for Christmas. I like it. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Very good. Uh, the patterns of uh, bit people are popping the patterns that are just on their own in the basket for the hats here as well. And also, I understand that the stormy seas is uh, is limited stock as well now. So uh, really, are running out of uh, your options here for uh, Pam's hat, whether it be the kit or the, uh, the pattern as well. I suppose you just get the pattern, you can you suddenly got lots of options, haven't you? You've got all the fabric in the world to choose from. So that's good. I've not made this hat. I'm yeah. going, oh, I could do this. Yeah. I had yeah. to make that little dolly hat yesterday. You did. I, I made did. her make a little dolly hat. Yeah. Did. So uh, we've got about 45 seconds left. I'm guessing we're not going to see you finish that hat, I are think we? you are. Oh, you, no, no way. 45 no, seconds. You might. No way. I don't believe it. Shush. <laughs> Shush. Sorry, She's I'll be quiet. <laughs> Let you concentrate. 30 seconds. Absolutely no, no chance. It won't have lining in it, but you sew that in by hand afterwards. Okay. Let's just imagine she's finished it and let's just, let's just humour Pam. Yeah, yeah. So you're never, not going to finish it. Never going to happen. <laughs> okay, I'll just, wind, I'll just wrap it up now. Very good, Pam. Don't she's worry, finished man. it. Lovely. Ten, nine, ten seconds. Yeah, seven I've got seconds. ten seconds. I've got ten she's seconds. finished. She finished it. Yes. Nearly. Well done, Pam. We'll see you at seven o'clock. Yes, I can see she's finished it. We'll see you later. She didn't finish it. Coming up, sentimentally your celebration, then it's the nutcracking, Christmas cracking, uh, crafting even, and then it's the all and create birds, beasts, and dot, dot, dot. Hmm, interesting. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. Make sure you don't miss the Sew Totally Trisha shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. 
These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine, which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our stitchery, which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. It's final call time of uh, the Sentimentally Yours Complete Celebrations. That's what it's about, stamp collection. Uh, here to demo for us is Julia. Hello, good afternoon, Julia. Hi, everybody. Hello, lovely. Um, so, really lovely, um, fest well, not festive, actually. Well, they birthday. can be. They can, I suppose. They yes, can be, right. because, uh, yeah, you can definitely use the champagne, champagne bottle for your True. happy new year. Yes, You can point. definitely use the uh, presents and um, colour them in Christmas colours or use them with Christmas papers for your Christmas cards so there's definitely could be a Christmas element excellent so basically then all year round mm -hmm. what about Easter presents even why yeah, not absolutely and you've got your cupcakes mm -hmm. you've got your slices of cake so you've got your birthdays anniversaries uh, weddings that sort of thing I mean obviously all of the the sentiments are mainly aimed at birthday but you do have the celebrate um, sentiments in there as well so that will cover um, I mean, with the numbers that are with the, the lots of fish, you're going to be covering all of your uh, birthdays and, mm -hmm. uh, and your anniversaries um, with the numbers. Yeah. You've got the bunting. I, I, it is for all occasions. Absolutely. This. Any celebration you like, yeah. whatever it may be. Oh, look at those slices of cake. I'm going red velvet, Julia. <sighs> I like a bit of carrot cake. Oh, really. carrot cake! I carrot don't, I don't cake, not yeah. The carrot cake. I like anything with lemon in it as well. I do like the, uh, the time of year that's just passed. I do like pumpkin cake <gasps> as well. Yes. Yeah. Or I'd go pumpkin pie actually. Oh, I love that. Oh, I like pumpkin pie. I used, to, I used to make pumpkin pie. You know, we're making everybody hungry now, right? Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Um, I'll just show you one of the um, stamp sizes just so you get an idea yeah, as so well. Yeah, so that A6. Yes. I mean, normally Phil does his stamps uh, as, as A5. Yeah. And he could have actually made bigger images and put this onto an A5 sheet. But then, of course, you're dealing with the fact that you really only need to, can make sort of DL cards or 8x8 cards. Well, you might get away with some six by sixes, but then you're not going to be able to do your mats and your layers and throw all your flowers on. So he's gone for an A6. Um, so um, the, the, you can make something from like um, a little tag or you can do a, a four by four inch card if you want to. But of course, when you embellish it, mat and layer it, add your die cuts, you can actually make your bigger cards with it as well. So all round, it's a win-win situation because you can do such a variety of sizes in there. And of course, being A6 stamp sets, it does bring your price down as well so nice. it makes it a lot more affordable for you so win-win
cupcake dinner. Absolutely. There oh, you go. Oh, cupcake, cupcake dinner. dinner. <laughs> oh, doesn't that sound good? <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, what I want to do, and as always, I'll show you some samples in a second, uh, is break down the cost for you. So that's officially the one-day special, and you've got a £6 saving on that, which is going to carry over for the mega collection. Uh, so it's £53.95. It is on FlexiBuy. Two payments of 26 98 Item number is 044655. Now, we have the most delectable, I mean, all of Phil's papers are just mm. beautiful, yeah. but these are absolutely delicious. They're, again, a sort of celebration of gorgeous papers, um, and you've got your beautiful rose colours on the bottom. Yeah, so you've got you've got your um, celebration pinks and celebration lavender that yes. you can see at the bottom, and you've got your celebration blues and your celebration teals, and there are um, ten different designs, mm -hmm. uh, the same designs across all four packs. Yeah, and there's four sheets of each, and you've got a mix of uh, they're kind of ditzy designs, I suppose, because they are small designs, mm -hmm. and you've also got um, uh, kind of stripes in there as well. In the 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 blue and the teal have birthday boy papers, just a set of, of four. Okay. And then the the uh, pink uh, and the t uh, lavenders have uh, birthday girl papers in them. Yeah. Um, and they're 190 GSM. They're uh, litho printed, which is the best quality of print you can get. Mm. Um, they're single sided, so you've not got that angst as to which side mm. to actually use. They, um, you can stamp on them. You can run them through your embossing folders. Um, you can, uh, you know, sand them back to reveal the core if you want to. You can um, add your inks to them. You can do all sorts of things with them, and you want to use every single scrap. Absolutely. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Sounds good. Right then, so if you would like the papers, they are delicious. Literally, the colours, I think, work perfectly with all the cupcakes but and everything they else. Do. They absolutely do. I mean, obviously, the, it, it, it's part of the celebration collection, so all four of them have been made mm. to work with the stamps. But you're going to be using them with everything that you've yes. got. They are they're beautiful complementary sets. Some of them have got like a white base to them. Yeah. So they're going to be perfect to use with your uh, card, your images that are on white paper. Mm -hmm. But if like me, you're using your watercolour card, which has got like a, a creamy hue to it, then you've got some that have got a coloured base to them. Mm. Uh, and so they're going to be perfect for those. And they're all tonal. So within each pack, mm. you've got various shades yes. of that colour. Uh, and that means that it's going to marry up with lots of the cardstock that Phil does, both yes. the luster and the premium cardstock. And they're going to work together as well. I mean, Phil says you could you could pick any two and they can work together. Well, mm. I've used four mm. different designs on a card yeah. and they all just complement each other beautifully. Love that. Right. I think oh, these are, like I said, delicious. Now, if you notice, there's a, a further £6 saving on this one and that's going to carry over to the mega collection. If you want the set of four papers, uh, the pa paper pack, it's 45 pounds and 96 pence uh, 968150 is your item number now if you want everything that you've just seen the papers all four packs and the stamps that is part of the mega collection so that six pound saving six pound saving carries over so that's 12 pounds and then you get a further 10 pounds off what is Phil doing so you've got a 22 pound <laughs> saving in total we've been really really busy for this collection we are 80 percent of the stock gone this is the last live hour that you're going to see these and think you know think celebrations of all kind it could be celebrations because somebody's passed their driving test yes. it could be celebrations because somebody's got married celebrations like you've, like we said you've got the birthday sorry you've got the gift so it could be birthday it could be Easter it could be Christmas the possibilities are endless that's what Phil loves to do he doesn't give you one-trick ponies. You are going to use these time and time again. In fact, they are timeless. I feel like I'm Craig Revel Horwood. Yeah. In fact, timeless. I mean, obviously, <laughs> the, the papers are your consumables. So mm -hmm. your papers, yep. uh, I mean, you're getting 160 sheets in that, True. In that set. So that are going to last you a long time. But obviously... The website you'll not only will you find the collection of four but they're actually in duos as well so you can buy the teal and the blue on their own and you can buy the pink and the lavender on their own so if there is if you think oh i've got lots of girlies that i want to buy a yep. four, or those are your favorite colors then i would definitely multi-buy you know add an extra pair yep. into your basket because uh, as usual once the papers once the stock i mean i'm not saying that that we've loaded all of the stock that phil's got um so i'm not saying they won't be back again 
again. They might be, who knows? Um, but one, he won't do another print run. Mm. So once this print run's gone, that's it. Right. Um, and, uh, and I mean, we know that it's, they're good quality and oh, you yeah. know you're going to use those. Obviously, your stamps you've got for life. As long as you take care of them, mm -hmm. they're going to be your tools for life. Excellent. So it's not just that £10 saving, it's a further £12 saving, 22 all in all that you're saving. And it's also on Flexi Buy for you. Two payments of £44.96. This is a fantastic collection, but remember, 80% of the stock has now gone. 485454. Now, you know what feels like with his coordination? I feel um, he likes his beautiful pearls. You sounded like him then. Thank you. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. Uh, right, so we've got uh, sets of pearls for you here. Um, they're really, really pretty. Uh, so first of all, we've got the claret, the teal and the ivory. And they come in different sizes, don't they? Yes, yeah, so you, within uh, each pack, you've got 8mm, 5mm and 3mm. And mm -hmm. you've got approximately 550 pearls in total in each pack each uh, pot yeah so it's approximately 1650 across mm. the three pots and they've got uh, they are the, the the these six this collection and the next three are the last six in the shimmer pearl collection oh. that he's brought to you there are no more shimmer pearls to have okay and they've got like a coating on them like an aurora borealis uh, uh, coating on them mm -hmm. so they reflect the light and they will also uh, kind of sometimes take on the hue of whatever card or paper that you use with them so mm -hmm. they can look a little bit different what you, with whatever you're putting on but they are absolutely stunning they stunning are. pearls I, and I, I love the fact that you get the three different sets again they'll work perfectly with the mega collection 80 5% of the stock gone, 1,650 pearls you're going to get at £16.47. Uh, Does that work out at a penny per pearl? I don't know. I'll let Ross do the maths. Um, <laughs> 512, he's just gone, what? Um, 512.576 is your item number. I think you're right. Is that right? Yes. No. Just, just a fraction under a penny a pearl, isn't it? Because if it was a penny a pearl, it would yeah. be 16.50. Oh, I've actually done some maths. I know. Well done. Thanks. I'm impressed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Where is Alex? Where's she gone? Anyway, so uh, 512576 for those. But remember, 85% of the stock has gone. Then we've also got the lovely um, pastel shades. We've got our baby pink, lavender, and baby blue. Again, look how well they go with those paper yes. packs. Delicious, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. I mean, obviously, with, with the six that you're seeing here, the claret and the, and the, and the baby pink are going to go with your pinks. The lavender's going to go with the lavenders. Baby blue with the blues. Yep. And then the teal with the teals. And then the ivory is going to go with everything. Mm, absolutely. Uh, we are 70% of the stock gone. It's 16 pounds and 47 pence once more. Again, 1,650 pearls, 592 three six two here's the website again so that you can see everything that we've got there's even more on there so go to the craftstore.com we've got nibs that are going to fit the pens uh bullet no bullet bullet thank you nibs is bullet for nibs. the alcohol markers That's they're it. not for the watercolor blending brush pens which is what i'm using they are okay. for the alcohol markers uh, but there you go. So they're on screen for you. We've also, uh, of course, got the alcohol markers and we've got the uh, water brush pens on the show as well. Set one, two, three and four. So do have a look by those. Uh, you can shop by brand. Do go to Sentimentally Yours. Oh, we've, we, oh, have we still got some then? Have we still got some of those lovely acrylic circular ergonomically designed blocks mm. that have five star reviews? Mm, they're wonderful. I and know. don't miss out on the double debossed circles and squares because um, he He's ordered those about four or five times, I think, and uh, he said he's not going to order them again, and stock is very, very low. Wonderful. Thank you, Julia. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you, Julia, and then when we have our little breaks, I'll show some samples. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay. So we're going to actually start with the background first on this one. Yep. And we're going to do a bar jello background, which uh, I'm sure the quilted ladies know what that is, and if you are a soft crafter, you'll know already. So... Um, so what I've done is I've taken three papers from the teals. Mm -hmm. uh, I've taken the, um, the sort of um, random little stars. I've taken this star paper and I've taken the polka dots. Yep. And um, I've cut them all into one inch strips. Now, if you don't have one inch um, markers on your um, trimmer, Mm -hmm. You can do it about two or two and a half uh, centimetres, whichever you prefer. 
what is, is fine. And we're using copy paper. Don't use card, use copy paper. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to take your strips. Is this, have I got two here? It feels really thick. No, it's not two. The, the paper's so thick, you right. can't tell. So, okay, so this one's a bit dog-eared, but, but I'm just going to show you what you do. So you glue, working this way, you yep. glue them next to each other. You can actually put it on double-sided adhesive, but then you, you're committed once you actually go down there. So you alternate them. So one, two, three. Then we need to go back to the polka dots again. One... Two, three, what? and you and you want to have it so that it when you stick it down, you've got uh, probably um, three sets of three. Mm -hmm. I've run out now because I've made other other bits to take us further on. Um, so I don't. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Julia. Go on. Apologies if I missed it. Why copy paper instead of card? If it's card, it ends up being too thick. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's why we're going for copy paper. So you glue one, two, three, one, two, three, and then have another three. So you've got nine strips. Yep. Once it's glued. And it makes, it's a good idea to wait till the, sh the glue's dry because if you're using wet glue, it, it's going to be hard to cut. Mm -hmm. You want to turn it that way, trim it down. So remember, an A4 sheet is eight, in eight and a bit inches wide, eight and a quarter. Trim it down to eight inches and then cut it into one inch strips down there. Obviously, using centimetres, use it the same centimetre that you've used before, two or two and a half. So then your strips end up being... Da, 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 da like this yep they end up having squares right right so then you take another piece of copper paper and I'm working this way for some unknown reason but I am and then you're gonna actually put glue them down so you can see that I've glued them down so that they're stepped down see all the ah, pattern going that way yes I think you. that's how bar jello works so then I'm, I'm going to carry on because I want to use this so I'm going to just carry on so I'm going to do my um, uh, width of, of eight it'll be eight um, strips that I'm going to pop in down here mm -hmm. so this one we can put down in its entirety now did you know Julia that Phil's fabulous glue is one of our seven day savers I did know that yes details coming onto the screen because it's a good deal here you get your 30 your 60 mil and your 100 mil with the brush up click applicator yeah and the brush which I was going on about all yesterday and the day before I love the fact that it goes right, right to down the bottom to the bottom yes and yeah. you can scoop every last bit out it's very satisfying yeah you can so um, are we with thee again yeah, yes okay. sorry. so um, next strip obviously we can't just put that down there because our pattern doesn't work properly so we're going to be stepping down one okay but we don't want to waste anything at all so we're going to just cut this bottom one off like that and then we're going to glue this in place and we're going to glue this one back at the top. Ah. Okay. It's, I right, like doing this. You can actually do the Bargello. Um, so if you've got the double deboss squares, mm -hmm. you can just um, use either the smallest but one or the smallest but two, whichever you prefer, of your squares. And just use your scraps and cut lots and lots of squares out. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually do your Bargello you know, manually with squares if you want to. But I couldn't, uh, I'd, I'd lost the will to live about, you know, to, to cut all those out. But if you do it, whenever you're cutting something, yep. if you cut yourself one of those. Also, the charm diamonds and the charm labels one makes a really nice pattern as well. Right. So this one, obviously, we're still following our line down. We've got to go down two. So this time, we're going to just cut off the bottom two here mm -hmm. and then pop these down. It's quite satisfying, it this, is. isn't it? I actually really, really like doing this technique. I haven't done it for a while. I, I, I go through phases. Mm. Sometimes I, I go through phases of doing a background to death and then I get fed up with it and then I go and do something else and then I, I bring it back again. But uh, it's my friend Sue Wilson that showed me how to do this many, many, many years ago. Okay. And, um, you know, sometimes the old techniques are, are, are some of the best, actually. So this has got to come down to the star. That's the little star like that. So you carry on, and now what we would do is we go up to the top. Could you back to the beginning? Could you back to yep. the beginning, right? Yep. So I'll just stop there, and then we can just carry. I'll show you what else the next bit to do. So what we're going to do now is add a little bit more interest because we can. Of course we can, right? Yeah. So I'm going to take this happy birthday from the lots of presents, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a bit of stamping on my background because we can. 
so we're going to stamp this mm -hmm. and uh, when you first find Claire's yeah uh, warm breeze <gasps> matches Ooh. really nicely yes with the teal let's see if we get it the right way up so happy birthday so all we're going to do is okay. just stamp the happy birthday in the the kind of planer of the papers oh that looks lovely gosh you make your own wrapping paper yes nice. You may just make your own background completely. Yeah. Yeah. So we just do that. Dip my finger in it. So you carry on. Do the whole thing. So you've got it eight inches wide and you, you do all of your stamping of your birthday. Cool. And then. Oh, look at this. So you can see here what I've done is I've cut a double deboss square out mm -hmm. here. You can just about see the double deboss. And at the same time, I've cut the plain um, star out of the middle. So this has come out of the middle there. That's what it was like. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I've cut that out at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And I've because I because I can gut it because I can do that. And I've also I don't know if you can pick up. I've also run it through the double diamonds embossing folder as well, which adds a little bit more detail. Let's see if we can get that embossing folder showing round. Going through. There oh, you go. I can see it now. It's just coming onto screen. Yeah. yeah. So you could, if you wanted to, you could either brayer over the top of it slightly so that they would pick up the high points mm -hmm. uh, with some ink, or you can also sand it back as well, which would reveal some of the core. So there are a few things you can do with it. I haven't done either of that. I've just left it so it's very tactile. Mm. Um, so now, when we come to actually do the the, the, the bit that goes on top. Um, I've got my border here. This is the border from the compendium box kit and I've used the polka dot paper So it's the same as that. Yeah, and that's going to go in the middle So we stick that that and then we've got a decision to make oh. uh, As to what we actually do okay. with the star that fits in So the card that I've used to coordinate with this is is totally turquoise which is from the premium um, card stock mm -hmm. Uh, also, Secret Lagoon goes very well with the teal papers oh, as well. Secret Lagoon, what a great yeah. name. It's a darker colour. Mm. There we go. So that's going to go in the middle. Then we need to choose. So obviously, and uh, when the stars, with the charm stars, it's not, um, all the points aren't the same. Okay. <laughs> Which is what was that little laugh for? <laughs> it just drives me nuts. It just really <laughs> does because it takes me ages to figure out what's come out because obviously that's that's come out of there because yeah. I can see that because of my continuation of, the, of my pattern. But then to try and figure out where it fits on here is, is another thing. So what I've done is I've put a number one here um, and I've got a number one on the back of there so I know which one goes where. So we can actually have this. So this hasn't been embossed. So that, because you've got the largest of the charm squares there, mm -hmm. so it's obviously bigger than the, the actual aperture that I've cut out. So yeah. we know that that's going to fit on there and you're not going to see where you've gutted it. That's really nice. So that's going to work. Yeah. But is that too samey? Mm -hmm. Right. So we could use that on another project. And we could, where's my number one? There's my number one. We could just bring that in there instead, mm -hmm. and that I think sets it off better because it's totally different. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what we're going to go for. So let's get that stuck before I lose my number ones again. <laughs> that's a good idea though to do that. <sighs> Sometimes I put, you can do it with a permanent marker on the die itself. Oh, yeah. As well. That's a good uh, point. Yeah. But obviously that does wear off in time, but then you just put it back on again. This is where you discover that I've turned it around slightly and it's not in the right place, but mm, it is, it's, fine. it's fine, it's yep. fine. Yeah, I've got a bit of wiggle, wiggle -abil wiggle ability. That's a good word. <laughs> <laughs> and because now it doesn't line up properly because it's not got words, I need to remember where it is. So what we're going to do, to not to confuse matters, we're going to throw a pen on the floor. Okay. And then we're going to pick another one up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to write number one there and that's going to go up there. Okay. Don't forget, Alex. Okay. <laughs> I'll take responsibility. <laughs> I was saying earlier to Catherine, it's, it's not my fault. Whatever it is, it's not my fault. <laughs> a bit like a little child. I didn't do it. That's my motto every day. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Yeah. So now we're going over our one, so I need to remember. Cool. The one's there in that corner. Oh, no. Now, how can I remember? 
I, I know where it is, don't oh, worry. I'm, I'm keeping my finger there so okay. I know where it's going. And then we're going to do our stamping of our, um, our cake, or well, presents it is on this one. So that's going to go. What a there. lovely, um, uplifting, happy card that is. And it's not finished yet. It's not finished yet, no. 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 I love doing backgrounds, as you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, whichever colour way you work with, it's going to look slightly different. And I've got this one that I can use on another card. Yay, win-win. Right, so let's do our stamping. So I've got, I've got, I'm using the, as I'm using the watercolour blending brush pens. That needs a bit of WD-40. It's needed some of that for absolutely ages. And every time that falls out of my cupboard, think, I think, I must go and do that upstairs and immediately forget. <laughs> <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. I know, I know. So we need, with some of the presents, so we're going to have this large present here. Yep. And you can, I mean, this is an A6 piece of card. You can just do batch stamping, you know, and... Um, make your life easier by uh which one do i want the big one um make your life easier just by just to do loads and loads of stamping at once because you use cut a6 and leave it on your stamping platform and just keep on stamping we want this posh little thing here then we want to go to the cupcakes and we're going to pull out the yeah the happy birthday these little you've got the little flags with happy and birthday on which are so cute, so cute. Mm. I know, Sorry. I know. It's funny, isn't it? Every time I do a Facebook Live, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a haunted house creaking door. I know. <laughs> it was quite fun when I was doing my Halloweens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so inbuilt sound effect. Yeah, it's perfect. So now we're, I'm going to the black, uh, okay. the Nocturne, Versafine Claire. As always, it's a good idea to have a nice juicy ink pad. Yep. Good press. Lots of pressing. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Put that out of the way. Okay. It even squeaks when I pull it out of the way. Look. Let's move that out of the way. Ugh. Right. So, so this, we've got a bunch of, of colours Ooh, here. I like those. In fact, let's go to the ones that I know are dry. We'll use these already. I'm not going to do loads. I'll just do, let's do this one, which is the easy one. So you can see here, these are what I've used. And when I put like little swatches at the side, that's where I'm trying to locate the same pen again. Yeah. So I've got um, three of the kind of paler colours from uh, set three. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of um, tealy blues from set one. And then I've got a couple of uh, uh, blues and a teal from uh, set two. Yeah. So, and they're all different. I mean, those, they, these uh, look the same, but they're not. Um, in fact, that if I can find whichever one it is, let's see. Soon find out. Let's do this on the back. Am I right in saying you like to take them all out and put them in shade, like colour, shade, order? Is that right? I don't. Oh no, no. Mine are all all, all set exactly in the in sets. One, two. Okay. Yes, yeah. Right. yeah um, can you see how that one's changed? I don't know if you can pick it up. Yeah, there is. There's a slight more blueiness. To I know, that but, one. but when it goes out, look, it's really weird. When it goes out, yeah. it looks it looks green. And as it dries, it changes oh, yeah. to blue. Oh, it's a magic pen. I know. It's really weird. Because when they go out, these two look almost the same. Yeah. But they're not when they dry. Oh, I like seeing that. Isn't it weird? Yeah, I It like catches it. me out every time. But it's just, it's just so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so that's the one I want anyway. So um, let's just, let's just colour this in um, just with whatever. So um, it's really easy to just use the blending brush pens. Obviously, the card is important, and the, um, the watercolour card is nice and smooth for you to stamp on, mm -hmm. um, and that helps, it really helps. Mm. It's much better than the textured, uh, the cold press card. This is hot press, which is why it's smooth. And you can see that Phil's put you some kind of suggestions of where the shade's going to be. Yeah, that's But good. honestly, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's quite um, random, really. That's why I like, I love these pens because I don't have to think about it at all. I like not having to think. Mm. So 
Obviously, each pen get uh, each uh, watercolour brush, brush pen set gets two water brushes in it, and they vary. Yes. Some of them have fine tips, some medium tip, some have um, a, a broad tip, flat tip in them. Um, so, if you've got all four sets, pretty much you'll have different um, a full set of watercolour uh, uh, brushes mm -hmm. in there. But you can see we're just pulling the, co oh, the, the colour out. Light yeah. shade. Yep, but it's not difficult at all. And if you find that you're not getting a, a variation from where you're pulling it out, just clean off the end of your water brush because it means that you've got a lot of ink on, on your water brush. Mm -hmm. And um, that will give you your shading. Obviously, you can go on with more than one coat if you want to, if you want real depth to it. I'm not, um, I'm not bothered by that. I just don't do that. So that, this is the one that's got the green in it, I believe. Yeah, it's coming on green. Yeah, nice. So this one, we probably won't do much about the shading on this one. They really glide, these pens, don't they? They are absolutely wonderful pens. And um, I'm using... Oh, I forgot to pull that out. Um, I'm using the same set that I've had for two years. My set really? one, yeah. I've had for just over two years. And you know I use mine a lot because I, I not only use it for my sentimentally your shows, yeah. um, I also use them when I'm doing some of my other shows as well. All my fairy hogs images are coloured in with these. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I use them a lot. If I was still doing workshops, I'd be using them in the workshops as well. Yeah, cool. Um, so see how easy it is. It's nice. not rocket science. I'm not being, you know, super, super careful about it. It's just working really well. And all the images are easy to cut out. Um, of the things like the stems of the, um, the champagne glasses and the bunting are a little bit more difficult to cut out, but mm -hmm. the presents are an absolute doddle. So I've got some that I've coloured in already okay. and cut out. And they are here. Oh, they look fabulous. And so we're going to add these yep. to our card. And I've already put some foam tape on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm just going with one millimetre, um, so it's not too deep. So we're going to pop this in my star kind of there, I think. And then we're going to bring this one in. We're going to add a little bit of glue to where we haven't got foam tape. I am on glue. Yeah, I'm about halfway through, so it should be absolutely fine. So that one's going to come down like so. And then we're going to put this one on with the super duper bow. Mm -hmm. In here. And by the way, going back to the um, water brush pens, watercolour brush pens, if you your budget can't stretch to all four, you can get them individually. Uh, you might be missing one. Uh, so individually, then, they are, here it is, $29.99. But each set um, are under different item numbers, just so you know. So we've popped set one on the screen, 334739. And they are, every single pen in there has, has a different colour ink. I mean, yeah. although those... They look similar sometimes, they are actually different and you can either blend them with your water brushes or you can actually blend pen with pen as well, which yeah. works really nicely. So now we've got our happy, which is going to come in down there. And um, we've got our birthday. Mm -hmm. Did you put glue on there? Yes, I did. Birthday's going to come in down there. Oh, this is like looking fab. So. Yep. And then we want our flowers. Ooh, which flowers are these? We've got, well, first of all, we've got our leaves. These are okay. our floaty fronds. Now, your floaty fronds, you can actually bend if you want to, so you can give them a little bit of dimension, mm -hmm. or you can just put them on as is. We, as, as, as I want to make sure we get two demos done, we're going to put them on as is. So I'm going to put my glue on first, which is quicker, rather than picking them up one at a time. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you my flowers. Oh, yes, if you want the floaty fronds, have to say it like that, uh, <laughs> it's fifteen ninety nine. And what I love that Phil's doing now as well is that he's popping in the magnetic sheets for your storage. I love that. 
15.99 you get the four dies they're a lovely size and you get the lefty and the righty uh, and your item number is 369819 it's very important to have the left and the right yeah uh, and don't forget that if you're doing your um you know if, if you're putting a christmas wreath on your uh, card mm -hmm. or if you're even making a christmas wreath from for the inside of your house then uh, they're going to be perfect for, yeah. for that as well so we've got here let's pull that out just a little bit further actually um so we've got here um mm. we've got the um delightful daisies out of the totally turquoise and I've used one of the stamens in the centre and we've got one of the baby blue pearls in there with the lovely shimmer on them. And then the um, delicate um, daisy I've cut out of the star card that I've got in the centre there and I've got uh, the totally turquoise um, stamen in the centre. So nice. we've just got a little bit of a, of a mix there. So we're going to have three down the bottom. Sure. Um, and if you want the delicate daisies, the delightful daisies and the dotty daisies, $24.99. You are cho choosing, by the way, choosing if from one of those three. Uh, 162060 is the item number. And remember, they'll come with that magnetic sheet. Yeah, they come with an, they're an A5 uh, magnetic you. sheet with those. Um, you get uh, an A4 with the uh, double D um, bossed circles and mm -hmm. squares. So let's just pop that on there like that's such a lovely large flower isn't it isn't i want to wear it in my hair <laughs> well there's nothing stopping you making one for I your know. hair you can actually um cut them out of uh, felt if you want to or felt, foam yeah felt will cut like butter really it'll mm -hmm. cut really well so that's going in there like that and then we bring this other one in down here give them a bit of a press yep and then we'll pop just two up the top here Let's have the bigger one down there mm -hmm. and the smaller one just up there like so and press and then just to finish off we will pop a blob of glue in each corner cool because it would be rude not to i love that finishing touch yeah you have to remember your corners mm -hmm. they're very important and then we'll grab our Baby blue pearls. No, no, are we baby blue? No, we're tealing. Sorry, we're tealing. If I said baby blue, I meant teal. Forget tealing. What I'm using. Okay. Tealing, we are. And uh, what our pickup tool? Cool. These are really busy, actually. They are a, a limited stock now. You get the teal, the ivory, and the claret. 1,650 pearls. Uh, but green is on the screen, as Yanis likes to say. It's £16.47. pence. Item number is 512576. Oh, is this right, Julia? Once they're gone, they're gone. Well, yes, yes, because, um, yeah, that's it, yeah. For today, good. Okay. Well, I, I might, you might not get them back at all. Okay. Uh, it's very rare that shimmer pearls come back um, because we release them and they just fly off the shelf. Yeah. Um, so there we go. Pick up, use your pick-up tool. And there we are. Beautiful. Thank you, Julia. That is such a beautiful full card. I just mm. love it. I love the colours. I love the composition. Gorgeous. Thank you. Welcome. All right, I'll do my numbers then, but you need to be really quick, OK? So I'm going to break it down again for you, just in case you haven't yet seen uh, the one-day special or the mega collection. The one-day special is um, a celebration, and really it could be any celebration you like, not just your standard birthday, Christmas, but it could be Easter. It could be you've passed a test or a driving test. It could be somebody's christening. It could be somebody's wedding. These aren't going to go out of date. You're going to use them continuously. New Year's with the champagne bottles, etc. So I'm going to show you the stamps here. Here we go. Let's have a little look at this. So we've got our celebrate. We've got, and he's absolutely our, our Phil has absolutely jam-packed these uh, A4, A6, sorry, stamp sets. So you've got all of your beautiful cupcakes and the celebrate, and they're ever so detailed. They really are. And then look at this one. So let's just get it the right way round. Um, with that, I mean, that's a special cake, isn't it? Love that. Beautiful set. Again, absolutely crammed with detail. You've also got sentiments on there. Uh, happy birthday to you. Celebrate. Hip, hip, hooray. Uh, there's all sorts there that are never going to go out of date. We have lots of presents, like so. Again, for any occasion. And if you just bear with me, I'm just going to duck down because I've dropped one. Thank you. 
Here we go. <laughs> Here I am. And here's the one with the bunting. You've got numbers on there. Uh, you've got your champagne flutes and your champagne prosecco carver, whichever one you want. Uh, and so if you want to go for this, the one day special, this is your last time to see it today. Uh, you've got a six pound saving and that will carry over to the mega collection. It's 53 pounds and 95 pence, but we are losing stock rapidly. So please be quick on the one day special. Two payments of 26 pounds and 98 pence. If you want to spread the cost, 044655. Then we move on to our papers. These are delicious, just like all the cupcakes and things that we've seen in that collection. So you've got your, uh, your, your basically your rose pinks down the bottom. They're sort of the pink and the lilac, if you will. And then you've got the blues and the teals at the top. You're getting all four packs, 160 sheets. Um, yes, the cool and the rosy collection, we've called them. Now, I'll just flick through one set of them. And they'll follow through. With the blues, there's a sheet or a couple of sheets. How many sheets was it again, uh, Julia? You get 40 sheets in each pack. Thank you. You get 10 designs, four sheets of each. Thank you. Right then, so in the blues, you'll get the for the boys. And in the pinks, you'll get for the girls. Uh, so let's have a look, see if I can find it. It's ba the baby in terms of. Here we go. So you got that one. There you go. So there's baby boy in that one. But just imagine if we're showing you the pink. It's baby girl. They are single-sided, so it's true, so you don't have to agonise over which ones that you're going to use. But there's an absolutely beautiful collection um, for any occasion, and of course it goes with the one-day special perfectly. Now again, there is a £6 saving that's going to carry over to the mega collection. If you want to go just for the papers on their own, £45.96, uh, 968150. Now, the best value, of course, is if you go for both the papers and the stamps. So this is the mega collection. Not only do you have a £10 saving, but that six and six carries over. So it's actually £22 that you are saving. Now, you can spread the cost as well. Two payments of £44.96. pence. But please do be quick. This is the last time that you're going to see this. Now, I'd love to show you some samples because I think that's really important, as I always say. Um, this is beautiful. If there are any names on the back, I will tell you. But look how wonderful. Look at the diff Look at this using the papers. I think and that's one of Phil's. I is think. it one of Phil's? Um, it's so got lots of glossy accents and glitter on it, then it's Phil's. Okay, all right, we'll take that. So you can <laughs> see you've got the heart paper there. There's a band there. And then I really like that splitting up the papers. I think that looks beautiful. You've got your centerpieces of your presents and cupcakes. And of course, that beautiful array of flowers. Here's another one. There we go. That's a lovely size, actually, like DL shape. On That's the one side. of David's. Is it? Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yes. Just seen his name now. Like that composition as well. And loving those soft greens. A little bit different. Hang on. I'm accidentally picking a couple up. Let's bring this in. This is Lozzie. Lozzie's done this. Isn't that so clean and elegant, the way she's popped that together? Mm. Yeah. You see, you don't need to do a lot if you don't want to, <coughs> if you haven't got time. Yep. You know, I mean, I think it's a good idea to actually, as I said before, do a lot of stamping and you can just sit and colour in front of the telly or yeah. if you've got half an hour. And then at some point, if you need them, you can pick up your images and make yourself a quick card. I like that. That uh, composition's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, that's another one by Lozzie. Just love that, the way she's broken it all up. Mm. And then that centrepiece and she's used the um, flags tags. Yeah, charm flags. Thank you. Um, here is one by... Is this Phil? That's by me. Oh, that's, it's by that's, you. That's a Facebook Live I did yesterday morning. So oh. you'll be able to watch that back on my Julia Watts Crafts page. Oh, that's nice. And again, look at those. Using the, Are these the Delightfully Daisies? Uh, y yes. Yes, good stuff. Sorry, you probably can't see very well from there. I and then again, are. using those beautiful papers. Let's do one more because I know you want to get the other demo in. And this one is by Alona. Yeah. Good pronounced her name correctly and that's a lovely one isn't see, it that i mean that anniversary wedding mm. valentine's i think that's absolutely stunning i mean looking at ilona's card there mm -hmm. um i should should again mention the crafting with phil martin and sensibly mentally yours facebook page yeah uh because uh, both ilona and uh, helen are members of the design team because they're work has been shared in the group yeah so obviously we encourage mm. um uh, viewers and customers to actually share their makes on the group you know it's a friendly group to be in mm. you know and and you know we do have guest design uh, team members so you can actually kind of uh, request to join that 
and sometimes the guests become per permanent uh, yeah. design team members like Ilona and uh, Helen. So, so you know, do join that group. It's good for inspiration. It's good for early sneak peeks as well. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Julia. Well, in fact, I'm just going to go to you for the second demo. Right. Okay. We're going to be working with the pinks now and um, I've got a charmed ingot here so basically um, this is one of the, the, the kind of plain ones again it's caught with the watercolour card and you can see we've got that lovely uh, deboss kind of stitch detail around the edges because nothing's plain with Mr M mm -hmm. and basically it's a rectangle with the corners cut off right okay that's well that's what an ingot is and we're going to um, stamp this this fantastic cake um, from the uh, Lots of Cake mm. um, set. So we're going for the Nocturne Versifying Claire. And this has got um, like, um, you, you know, sometimes you see in restaurants, you see cakes with sparklers on them. Yes, that's and this, a big this, celebration. And this looks like it's got those coming out of it. So it's got little hearts and stars coming out of the top of it. So it definitely is a celebration cake. Mm. You can decide what flavor it is, you know whatever you want so there we are now don't worry about the the kind of little bits that are missing there it's supposed to be like that if you look on the on the actual image sheet yeah um it it, it, it gives the inference of a firework coming Got out you. of something so don't be worried about that so that's our cake and while we're at it while we're doing our stamping we're going to stamp one of the sentiments from the lots of um birthday wishes we put that to one side for a moment and we're going to bring in uh, a scalloped tag here which is also on the show i think you might have those on the top there alex scalloped tag one moment I no, on the it. top top oh yes yeah, sorry <laughs> top, top. <laughs> that top top <laughs> not the bottom top <laughs> that was the top top <laughs> have i got the right ones yes that's it yeah excellent there we go Oh, on the magnetic sheet as well. So, yeah, you've got, you've got a set of three tags in different sizes there, and you've got three of the reinforcement rings. Yeah. And you've got your A5 magnetic sheet. Lovely. Fifteen ninety nine for that trio. Two zero six three two eight. Now, with the hip hip hooray, which is the sentiment that I've picked out, you don't need to worry about it being uh, that straight because obviously it's it's a celebration sentiment, so it can be slightly wonky. So I've got my excuse sorted out already we're going to stamp that onto the tag mm -hmm. so it fits beautifully and that's got it's surrounded by uh, kind of little stars or it could be flowers however yeah. you want to see them Oink. <laughs> it's funny isn't it right so that is our sentiment <laughs> definitely sounds like my knees um <laughs> So, how are we doing for time? Okay, we're all right for time. So, uh, just going to do. I'm just going to do this bottom cake here. Sure. So, we are looking at mm, pinky pinky. pens from uh, sets one, two, and four. So, let's go for a pale pink. So, we we'll go for this one, which is number one, and we're going to go for this dark um, number two. That one there. So just once again, um, we're just adding a little bit of colour around the mm -hmm. edge, not worrying about it too much. So this is a bit of a salmon pink kind of pink. Yeah. There's, there's a, there are more pinks than those ones I've, I've pulled out. If you're looking at the pens and you've not bought any yet, then um, set one is definitely a good starter set to have, as, okay. as, as, as is most set ones that you ever come across. Um, set two will build on that and set two has actually got um, my favorite blues in it it's got a lovely kind of baby blue and it's got a denim blue in it which i really absolutely love mm. and then set three is the one that has got um, uh, some skin tones in it okay uh, so if you do lots of people and you only want to start with one then start with set three um, then set four has got lots and lots of greens i mean they've all got They've all got a good spread. Yeah. Uh, set four's got lots of greens in it, and it's got some really good Christmas reds. So if you're looking to do, still do Christmas crafting, and you want those sort of things, then um, go for that. Oh, that's good advice, that. Okay. Yeah. Now that's still quite wet, so I'm not going to be able to do my bow just yet. So let's just move up two levels, and we go to this one here, and we're just bringing in this slightly darker colour here, mm -hmm. just working around the edge. That's all we're doing, and just moving the colour in, like so. Yeah. 
So see how easy it is to do? What? Because we've started colour on the outside, when we drag it in, we've still got a lighter area yeah. in the centre. So it just looks like you put shading in, but you haven't. Mm -hmm. So we will risk the lighter colour here, the darker colour here. Risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, we, we just add a little bit of this darker colour just in the centre of the bow. I love how fine the tip is on these pens. Do you know, I, ordered, I went to have my eyes tested on Monday and I've ordered new glasses yeah. because I do need new glasses, so I'm going to hope that my colouring in gets better. Looks and good I, to me. And I don't go outside the line so much because I do go outside the lines a lot. Uh, I'd best not talk about glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone the whole hog. I'm getting sunglasses as well. Oh, might as well. I don't know. I haven't had sunglasses since I don't know when. So you can see... Yep. This is quite wet, this, this, but we're col moving the colour, so we've got a little bit of interest going on. So, Lovely. I've got one that's coloured in completely. Cool. Let me go over to our piece that we're working on. You can see that's coloured in completely Ooh, now. Gosh. Okay? Yeah. And, and those little bits on there. And I've put it onto, this is the claret card, and I'll show you on the back of my flag. This is the claret uh, luster card, mm. and it has... Um, Oh, look in. at that. It has kind of like uh, blue hues Is to it. Is it like an interference almost? Yeah, it's, mm. yeah. I mean, some of the lusters are like the same colour, luster on luster. But this, when you move it, it's got a, like a blue to it. And so this colour goes nice. really well with the lavender and the pinks, I think. Um, so let's just construct this card now. Mm -hmm. So we've got paper on the back, yep. one of the striped ones, and we're gonna, we've got the charmed rectangle. I apologise, it's not on the show, might be on the brand shop, yep. but Phil told me it was on the show, so it's his fault. <laughs> um, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he tells me one thing's on there and it's not. Um, and then we've got the charm flag here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just pop, think about where we want that, and we're going to just glue the charm flag in place. We're just going to pop this on flat. Yep. And we've used the birthday girl um, paper for that. Now don't rely on the stripes too much to get things 100% flat okay. because they're not perfectly um some some of them got wiggly lines right so just beware it's not you're not going balmy it's just uh, that they're not completely straight mm -hmm. and then we've got our rectangle here and i'm only popping one millimeter tape on again so it's not too deep i, I love the hearts yeah love the hearts okay so that's going there then we're going to bring in our image panel here Probably their charmed ingots. Lovely. See all the all the charm dies because of the fact that they've all got that lovely scalloped edge. You're mm. going to all work together, yeah. and they'll also work with the charmed border from the um, uh, compendium box kit. So I've cut the same size of the. Um, scallop tag out of the claret card and I've also cut one of the reinforcements yep. and I'm just going to just lay those together like that so that they're offset but you've got a little bit of a, it's like having a mat but you haven't got a mat Yeah. Um, so we're going to just add a little bit of glue to the back here oh I see, just so you can offset it just so we can offset it so it just makes it look more interesting than just using that on its own. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to pop that. I think we're going to pop that. Da, 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 fa, 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 fa. <laughs> uh, about there, I think. Oh, yeah, about there, I think. Okay. Yeah, so we need a little bit of foam tape. Which side do I need it? This side. Cool. Just and, to give it a little bit And we bit need a little bit of glue here. Yep. Yeah. It. I don't want it over there. I want it so that it doesn't look weird like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Hippie fact, hooray. Yeah, let's have a little bit more tape underneath. Fancy in a bit more lift. I want a little bit more lift, yes. Cool. As he actually said to the bishop. Maybe not. Right, let's pop that. This is what, what, what happens is you've got, because I'm only using one millimetre, once you step down, you sometimes... Um, 
you've got the, the, the depth of the card to deal with as well. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Stick. And then we've got our flowers to go on. So nice. once again, we're using our floaty fronds. Okie dokie, they are on the show for you. Details just coming up. They're a nice size, aren't they? And they've yes. got snippability. They definitely have, mm. yeah. They definitely have. So they're going to go... How many flowers have I got? Where's my flowers? What are you after? Flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. flowers, flowers. flowers. I'm trying to have a look for you. There you are. Okay. I haven't got them out, that's why. I think I've got three. Yes, I've got three. Lovely. So, and we're bringing into these, we've got um, uh, the paper, background paper with the hearts on, we've got, uh, which is the delicate, mm -hmm. then we've got the delightful, and this is the, um, oh, what's it called? It's a, a pink luster a card. I, I don't, it's not candy pink. Oh, sorry, do uh, Rose, I think okay. it's called. And then we've got, uh, th there's like a little hearts there on the stamens. Oh, and that's from the claret. Detailed. And then you've got the claret pearls on there as well. Nice. So that's going to get, they're going to go at the top, I think. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing all right. Yeah, you're doing brilliant. You're going to, I reckon you're going to be absolutely perfect for time. Nailed it. See, I've got, see, the trouble is when Phil does two demos, it's like so unusual that you have to kind of, I feel like I'm under pressure now to keep up with him, uh, even though I normally do too. <laughs> so did you say he, he did two at eight o'clock last night? He did at two night. at eight o'clock last night uh, and two at eight o'clock this morning. Wow, what's happening to Phil? I know. And, well, I think he's making up for the fact that he didn't even finish one during the launch hour. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So let's have let's just have two up there okay. because they're quite large. It's up to you. You can go. Uh, the, you know, the large um, daisy is very large. You might not want to go that large, but mm -hmm. it's up, let's have that one stopped underneath. Um, but it's up to you how large you go. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have them with leaves. So we're going to put this one down just down here without sure. a leaf. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to pop our pearls in the corner, and then we'll be done. Nice. So that's going to go just there, overlapping that. Wonderful. And then we're going to pop our pearls in the corner. Remember, the, the glue try is nice and clear and matte, so you don't need to worry about making a mess. Yeah. Oh, you're going for a bit of claret. A bit of claret, yeah. Yeah. And my pickup tool, which is invaluable. I must admit, when Phil bought these pickup tools out, I thought, why do I want to use one of those? Oh, no, they're you know, brilliant. Why? You know, I can use tweezers, but it's so much quicker with a pickup tool. Yeah. It really is. We actually had a set, I think it was the previous week or a couple of weeks ago. Oh, in the seven day savers? Yeah, and I yeah. was like, oh. Did you get them? Stuff. Yes, I did in the end. Oh, have you used them? Of course I have. And what did you think? They were brilliant. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Right, okay, there we go. Wonderful, here we are. Stunning. Thank you very much, Julia. Thank you. I've enjoyed that. Yay, I have too. Oh, okay. The pearls, in fact, the ones that you've just been using, the claret, the teal, teal. and the ivory. Yes, thank you. And the ivory. Limited stock, so they're going to go. Uh, last chance saloon for these. £16.47. 512576 is your item number. Now, don't forget the mega bundle. That's where you're getting... All of those beautiful stamps for any celebratory occasion, birthday, Christmas, Easter, passing exams, driving tests, anniversaries, any celebration that you can think of. And you're also going to be getting those four packs of beautiful papers that work. They're just the right colours to work with the stamp collection. So you've got your rose colours, the pink and the lilac, I think, at the bottom. Then you've got the teal and the blue at the top. Uh, you've got that £10 saving, but it's not just £10. You've got this uh, £6 saving from the one-day special and another £6 saving from the paper pad. So all in all, that's £22 off. Don't let that slip through your fingers. Thank you very much as ever, Julia. Thank you, my darling. Yay, see you very soon. Yes. Good stuff. Right, do check out your baskets. It's a fantastic collection. It won't date for you. You'll be using them for any occasion. See you after the break. We have got a nut-cracking Christmas uh, with Bee Crafty. I nailed it, Bev. I nailed it, Bev and Sam. And then it's all in Create One Day Special.
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I really hope you can join me and continue your crafting journey with me, and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and um, we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles all with lovely crafty beads. I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Welcome back to the craft store. Stop. You're laughing already. We haven't Sorry. even started. You're not taking this very seriously. Oh my word. It was that day, Julia, making me laugh. going wrong. We are five seconds into the show. Complete disaster opening. Um, right, we're back. It's uh, the craft store. What time is it, by the way? It's five o'clock. <laughs> wow, it's getting dark, isn't it? It is. Got no windows, can't tell at but all. But I'm pretty sure it is. Mm. Yeah. What's, there's a disembodied voice reaching me, wafting across the studio towards me, and it is Bev. Hello, Hello. Bev. Hello. I do um, apologise for starting out with a laugh, and it was that there, Julia, it wasn't right. me. I yeah. usually have to apologise before the you. start of it. It was Julia, <laughs> stop distracting Bev. Um, I usually have to apologise at the start of every show to the guest to say well, apologies in advance. Uh, Bev, we, we haven't um, we haven't actually worked together yet, have we? And today is your lucky day. That's one way of putting it. Yeah, well that's <laughs> why I'm um, No, you've been doing this right for absolutely You've been doing this for absolutely ages, I understand, yeah? Yes, we yeah. have been on the craft store since the beginning, yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. Seen a few changes. Seen been a few changes. Clocked up a few miles. Seen a few new presenters, you know, I think they're Come in. and go. Yeah. You see, some, they, can't, they roll in sometimes, two weeks later, they're out on their ear because you have a word with the boss. And, oh, I don't yeah. think I've got that sort of power. Especially the tall ones. <laughs> don't like tall presenters. We got, we, that's why Derek's still here. <laughs> Oh, oh bless lonely. him. That's why, that's why everyone's, everyone's short, aren't they? Harsh. I'll be gone, I'll be gone. I'm anyway. not, I can't say anything. I'm not exactly touching the shop, <laughs> top shelf there myself either, so, you know. Bev, um, yes. I would like you to, I mean, you've probably said this a million times on the show, but I'm new, so can you explain who you are what to, and what Bee Crafty is about and how it all started? Okay, so Bee Crafty has been going for 20 years next year, and the way I can always remember that is because it was started the same year as Sam's eldest son was born and he's 20 next year. Um, so it was started by my mum, yep. um, and then, now this amount of time scale, I can't remember, so, but we'll say we'll go 10 plus years ago. Okay. Um, we started designing and making our own stamps um, and that sort of thing, and then six years ago, when the craft store began, yeah. um, we, um, we we launched on here, and okay. we, yeah. And, and we and rock up every month. And Sam is sort of there. lurking in the wings. She Sam, sometimes... Sam is yeah. my big sister. Yeah. Um, also designs a lot of the stamps. Yeah. And basically she keeps me in check. 
Right, so it's a kind of family-run business. Absolutely, yeah. and all of our MDF is laser cut by my dad and oh our templates word. as well. So, wow. Yeah. Have you got the family pet doing stuff as well? It's just like <laughs> if if I could get them to, yeah, I probably would. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. It's a little idea for you. Just uh, you know, that's on me that one. Thank uh, you. Right, we're going to go down the counter here, and we're going to start off. We already, I have to say, people are pu putting a lot of this, a shopping head, and putting it in their baskets. We Thank haven't even you. started yet. Uh, which is good. Now, we're going to start off with our stamps here from Beecrafted. These are our art stamps, and these are Yuletide, because the theme of this is uh, you're, you're cracking me nuts, aren't you? It's well, a nut-cracking Christmas. See, and I was going to try not to play innuendo bingo, and there I'm we go. I didn't, so, I didn't say it was an innuendo. <laughs> I didn't say it was an so, innuendo. Yeah. So this is our nut-cracking Christmas. Now, in all honesty, this started with uh, my mum um, saying about doing the MDF. Uh, yeah. in, in the Nutcrackers, in the four gorgeous designs there. And I was like, but I'm a stamper and I love to stamp. So I was like, right, well, I need to do some... And it sort of fired up the, the creative engine in terms of doing that. So then I came up with these two lovely Nutcrackers and then the accessories to go with them because you've got the buttons in there. You've got the little hot chocolate or a coffee cup. You know, the, the mm, Christmassy lights, the bows, the baubles. Yeah. So just little extra accessories you can put together to create so many different things. And in fairness, for example, the button stamps. Yeah. Since I've, I've had my set to play with, the button stamps, I'm using them on everything because they're so useful to create backgrounds or accessories in your art journal It's well. not just a Christmas thing, is it? It's no, for life. No, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. You've, you know, you've, all the accessories, I think they'll stay on your desk, actually, you know, well, a lot of Also, time. I'm just looking at this. Now, you can shoot me down in flames if I'm wrong here. Okay. But, they, but these baubles here, you could, if you, if you decorate them different, they look a little bit like Christmas puddings. Yeah, definitely. Just throwing that out there. Or Christmas cakes. Absolutely. Yeah? And, and, that, and that's the thing. And this mm. is why we love, um, you know, we love our design team so much as well, because they come up with some absolutely beautiful designs. And well, this is something we always say as well. When you're making with our stamps and, and our products, please show us what you make, because we love, absolutely love to see it. We really, really do. Is this based on anyone in real life at all? Or we a little picture of our man there, is it? No, I don't think so. Say that, my dad's got a tash. It's not your dad or anything like that, has he? My dad's got a tash, he does. Has he? Yeah. Oh, my So it could word. be. Oh, wow. And wow. on air, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, it could. <gasps> what it's a confession Billy. to make it's live Billy. on air. I hope he's not watching right now. There it, you go. Now he's, he's busy laser cutting his Oh, fine, fine. So, yeah. got him work. It's <laughs> Billy. Billy the Nutcracker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. That's all the stamps there. It's 14 of them in total, and it's on the. Uh, you can get all of those today for 941160, your item number, and 1599. And I've got lots of samples to show you. Already a quarter of the stock is gone. Okay. Already a quarter of the stock is gone. Wow. It's going to go quick, this, isn't it? Here's I get some that things. Feeling, yeah. Here's some things that I didn't make earlier. Here we go. We've got. Uh, oh, hang on. No, shall I hold this? Do you like the way I hold these things? Do you like the way I. <laughs> I don't so, feel I've known you long enough to yeah, judge yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it another two minutes. You'll be fine. There we go. You've got that one there, which is nice. And then. Are these coasters? Yeah, so Charmaine yeah. made these for me um, as a sample. And I yeah. think they work really, really well. Yeah. So I think. And to show you that. You know, the stamps we, we love to use to make cards and that sort of thing, and, and for me especially in my art journal, but you can use them to make decorative items for your Christmas table or, for, or as gifts. Mm. So, you know, use them for your mixed media, use them for your home decor projects as well, and it'll just sort of expand what they can do, because the more you can stamp, obviously, the, the, more, better the more better value, the we'll more go with it. Better the more value. better value they are. Yeah. The better of value. Come better on, get your English right. Sorry. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, the, um, this reminds you of playing cards. It's like a... You, you know, can like make your own card. playing cards. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm glad I thought out. of that one. This is good. Um, and then you've got to put it onto this box as well, which looks really nice. That's a good Christmas gift box, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, make, make your, gift, your gift wear as well. And I think that's the thing. Stamps, the, one of the reasons I love stamps is you can practice, you can play, and you can do that. And if it goes wrong, which it does, it does mm. for everybody, you've still got your stamps. You've lost nothing. It's still yeah. there. It's just a piece of card. It's just a piece of paper. You don't have to worry. So when you're playing with your stamps, like I say, really go to town, have fun with them, and show us what you make, because we like to see. Wow. We've got lots and lots of different ideas here as well. It's a great design, isn't it? It's very, very Christmassy, and a little bit different is what I like about it. Uh, 941160, so you can have a lot of fun popping all that onto your cards there and your various uh, coasters and your boxes too. That's 15.99. Now, how about we supersize those bad boys? Because if you like the stamps, whoa! It's an MDF and it's massive. Look, we've got four of them here, four XL-sized nutcracker soldiers here, which is fantastic. And uh, we've already a quarter of the stock has already gone of these. Uh, now, 
Um, what kind of things can you put on MDF to, to decorate these? Well, in fact, all our um, MDF, I will say, is FSC approved, so it comes from approved forest before it's laser cut. So it's all intricately laser cut as well. Mm. Now, in fairness, with ours, if I tend to, I'm not a patient woman, I like results and I like them quite quickly. So unless I'm going on with pale colours, I'll just go straight on. I won't worry about necessarily gessoing it first. Um, you know, unless I'm going on with, say, a yellow or something like that, because I really want it to ping. Yeah. Now, if you look at Sam's sample, she hasn't even gone that far. What she's done, she's kept that sort of craft natural look from yeah. the MDF and then just highlighted it with white pen. And I have to say, that is purely selfish on her part, because it goes with her Christmas decorations in her house. Oh, wow. So <laughs> Wow. So is that how, you, is that how it all works right there? I'll, just, I'll have that sample. I'll yeah, have that so, yeah. you know. Okay. Um, but, but this is the thing. So you, I think because they're so intricately cut and so cleanly cut as well, mm. what it means is you can leave them and just add a little bit of pen work if you like that craft look without having to worry about any scorch marks or anything like that. So you can just really sort of have a play with them. But, you know, like I say, in the smaller ones, we've got some really intricate samples from the DT that show you all the different colours you can go with as well. But in fairness, I've gone on these directly with pens, paint, um, your Distress Oxide ink pads go on really, really nicely. It all really works. Nicely. Do you have yeah. to prime it at all? Um, <coughs> Like I say, not unless you're really going in with your paler yellow colours. If I'm going in with something like a green or a blue, I don't tend to worry about it. Do you, do you like the way I said, do you have to prime it there? I, I feel quite proud. Hang on. <laughs> I, just said, I just made an intelligent point. Oh, sorry. Would you, would, would you like a moment? <sighs> just give me a moment. It's just been, it's been a few weeks. It's been emotional. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, OK, so occasionally, depending on the medium yeah. you use, yeah, OK, yeah. I get it, OK. Brilliant, those four of those, and obviously, I mean, you've gone kind of subtle here, kind of quite uh, sophisticated uh, look, the, the minimalist look, but then you can go to town and go for the really bright red <laughs> while you pull your face like that. Hasn't gone minimalist. I'm sorry, it's just not a word that generally goes with Sam. Minimalist. No, sophisticated. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. OK, good to be right in the thick You're of the You're right in the middle here. there as well. You're totally yep. in the firing line. Uh, let's move along here now. Now, we are going a bit brighter here about well, our smaller versions here. These are the regular size nutcrackers. Uh, a third of the stock has already flown off the shelves here. Super duper popular here in our Bee Crafty Hour. And look at this. Immediately my eyes are drawn to the... Uh, this, now you, met, you said this is the acetate version? Yeah, so yeah. basically that's been done, I think that one was done by Anne, and she's yeah. done the acetate on the back and then coloured it in with alcohol markers. Yeah. So that is giving you this beautiful stained glass effect. So what she's done, so what we probably should have said is all the um, nutcrackers, they, oh, they come, right. the fronts and the back are separate, okay? Yeah. What, and what that means is if you just want to use that front and then put an acetate behind to create that stained glass effect, you can, and it's really, really quick and easy. And I will say as well, you know, we've said these are regular size, but as you can see, they're nearly a four mm. so these ones are a pretty decent size as well it's just the other ones are massive yeah <laughs> what? massive massive okay massive. this is great isn't it so obviously if you shone a light through this as well it's going to look absolutely amazing absolutely. Right? you could hang it up in a window yeah you know you've got all that as well so and i think this is the nice thing so you can really see the dt you know they've used glitter they've used sequins they've used different colors of acrylic paint and the acetate as well which i think really show off the different things you can do with the mdf nutcrackers Love that. There you go. You've got eight of them there. Eight, it's, uh, four in there. Eight pieces in total, I should say. It makes four regular nutcrackers. I've got loads and loads to show you. I'll just quit. I'll, I'll give you a couple. I don't want to show them all in one go, but there you go. There's a couple there just to be getting on with. A couple of uh, more that have been put together by Sam, by any chance? No, those were by the DT. I think they've got the names on the back. By Sally. That's there what you I go, then. By Sally. Well done, Sally. There you go. The other one hasn't got a name on it, so I'll claim that one. That's by me. <laughs> there we go. Credit where credit is not due. And it's very good. Yeah, it's great. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Um, so that's 420137 for that, which is great. And that is doing very, very well. And then we are going to have a look at the website because you can shop ahead and see everything here. We're going to get to the happy hours in a second because time is ticking away. 50 minutes left on the happy hour. But look at all of this MDF that you can have here. All the gingerbread men. You've got the Christmas trees. Then you've got the stamp sets of robins and snowflakes as well. Tons of it from Bee Crafty here in our nut cracking hour. Very exciting. This is the happy hour, by the way, so you've got around about 50 minutes left of this. So, uh, it's a third off. It's 15.99 normally, you've got it to 9.99. It's actually a bit more than a third off, isn't it? Uh, 48 minutes left on this. So this is your snow blizzard uh, set here, and it's got accessories with it as well. You've got four stamps. Talk me through this one here, Bev. 
Is that a blizzard, right? Of it is. That's, that's yeah. the snow flurry. And the thing about this one is it's, it is a large stamp. So if you're using your super skinny Be Crafty Slims, that means you will need you will need the biggest one for that. Um, because it's a really big stamp. But the nice thing about it is it's got all the intricate bits of the snowflakes and everything on there. But what you also have on that set is a smaller version, which is great for doing borders around your cards as well and your corner. And the stars, because they're pretty and there was a gap. Pretty. Oh, Pretty. yeah, yeah, might as well use the gap up, Absolutely. right? Mind the gap. And then you've got this one here, which is the uh, Snowboarders, Flakes and Words. I've got the stamp itself here. And this is also... This is also 9.99 as well. Yeah, so this one is also a happy hour. And the thing is, these two go together so well. And the snowflakes that are on your um, words match perfectly with the snowflake with the snow flurry on the other stamp set. So if you want to add in some more snowflakes and make it even bigger, you can. Oh, what I like as well is that all the writing here, if you're getting really close, it, is, it says words like icicle and drift and twinkle and flakes. It's, it's all themed, yeah. isn't it? Very yeah. good. Good to check that, though, because it could say anything, couldn't it? You maybe it want to could. Make sure. uh, well, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad I did the right thing, because you actually checked. Yes, I have checked <laughs> it for you. I can, I can give you that. It's got the stamp of approval there. It's been quality checked. And here is a few samples that uh, the team have come up with here to show you how it's all been put together with these stamps. Uh, there's the sentiments on the front there. We have the bauble behind. And we've got the snowflakes. Is that using the blizzard flurry at all? Yeah, well, that'll be using some of the flurry and some of the individual snowflakes in the corner and then yep. your sentiment on the front. So, you know, and that's the nice thing. You can piece them all together. Now, what I love about this one is it's not traditional Christmas colours. It's, mm. the, it's the reds and yellows awesome. and oranges. But with that snow flurry across it, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I do like the, uh, the the tiny writing here, which is really good. it's a real sort of talking and point. And that's the thing: at... patch it together and make yourself a background. It doesn't don't you don't have to look at the stamp oh. just as it is. You know, you can piece it together. Shake a card, right? Yes, it I is. I do like that. That's uh, and what's this made? That what's this being printed onto here? It's like a kind of rubbery. It's effect. heat embossed, so it's heat the embossed. stamp been heat embossed onto some black card with white. Lovely. God, these these are making really nice uh, cards, aren't they? Really lovely. Let it snow, baby. It's cold outside as well. Got ton oh, I'll finish off on this one because this is a nice big one here. And you've got the little gift tag that goes next to it as well. And I made those ones. Did you? I did. Don't sound so surprised. Oh, no. my word. You know what? I, j I feel like I should just show the other two because Snow Blizzard is on limited stock already. So oh it's going to end in a minute. I won't get a chance to show the rest of these. There you go. Two more samples here. And if, uh, yeah, it's going to go. It's going to go. Limited stock already on Snow Blizzard. 279210 is the item number for that one. And it's 999. It's the happy hour, of course. So as soon as we get to 6 o'clock, goes back to 1599. So here's your saving. Uh, while stocks remain as well, until 6 o'clock, it is 9.99 to get those two stamp sets for that price. Right. Oh, individually, of course. Um, now, are we, is it time for a demo yet? Or should we have a look, a look at the website? Let's have a look at the website. Uh, this one here is your MDF Bauble Reef. You're getting 48 accessories with this. And this is at limited stock as well. Wow, everyone's shopping ahead here, Bev. Is this what normally happens when you're on the... Uh, on the show? Sometimes. Oh, okay. You never I thought know it was only when Sam was doing it. That's <gasps> what they told me. But so this is really, this is a real <laughs> turn up for the books. <laughs> MDF Bauble Reaper, 48 accessories, 533828 has just technically sold out. Game over. Uh, still in people's baskets, so obviously please check out if it's in your basket right now because there are other people that would like that if you don't want it. Here's your baubles. You've got three of them. Scenery baubles. These are limited stock as well. 325480. Wow. There's been a lot of uh, advanced shopping in this hour, hasn't there? It has. It? People don't muck about, do they? They like it. They like to see a bargain. They like to get their MDF in for Christmas. To be fair, I get it. I love a bargain. Mm. I love a bargain. Right. Let's uh, have a demo, shall we? Okie dokie. Mm. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by stamping up some of the Nutcrackers from the Nutcracking Christmas set. Now, what I love about the Doodle Art stamps, <clears throat> and you'll see this because we've also got the Doodle Art um, Snowflake and Poinsettia and Robin on as well, um, is it is a really relaxed doodle style. So these are hand-drawn by me, and it's, it's, it's not too specific. It's not too definite. It's not, you know, so it's relaxed. So if mm. you are new to stamping or you don't feel like a confident stamper, and you miss bits, it's absolutely fine. Just go and add it in, yeah. you know, with a fine line pen because you're not going to be able to stress too, you're not going to need oh, to stress okay. too much about it because it's such a relaxed style. It's not oh, too. Okay, cool. I've never know. heard anyone mention that before. So is that a thing? Is it you can actually just go over it, you know, bits and absolutely. pieces of it? Absolutely. So, for example, yeah. okay, 
Where I have stamped hmm. this one here, yep. I've sort of missed the top of his hat a little right. bit. Right. Right. So if you wanted to, and you were like, say it was bothering you. Now, in all honesty, it wouldn't actually bother well, you. Well, I mean, I guess it probably would bother me, but for but, other people, that might be part of the charm. It's exactly. kind of like part of the artistic look, isn't but it? But for Sam, Sam wouldn't be able to leave that. No. Sam wouldn't be able to leave that. Well, so because Sam's sophisticated. Because that's Sam's why. sophisticated. Yeah. So because of the doodle art style, you can just go in with your micron pen and just add in that line. And if you have to do it a couple of times, it's fine because around the stamp, is three separate lines all right every single line is done three times to give it that sort of sketchy doodly look okay so if you do miss a bit you can just go in and just add in that line and then you don't have to worry about it so if you are like i say new to stamping or you work because a lot of people they start stamping and then go do you know what i can't do it i don't like it because i can't get the image right and you know people do worry um, and that's not what stamping is for me, should I say. Mm. Because I like to, I really like to relax and colour in and it's fun. And I don't want anybody to feel stressed about it. I understand. Would you, would you, would you find it relaxing if I butt in in the middle of your demo? Not to, at to bring all, you, an you important, carry on. To, to bring you an important announcement. Go for it. See this? It's gone. It's sold out. That, that. You see that? Forget about it. It's gone. However, however, you see this? Still available. Just. There you go. This is on the happy hour. So this is the other stamp set, but this is now on limited, limited stock we have for this here. It's $15.99 normally. You're getting this for $9.99, but only until 6 o'clock, about 45 minutes to go. There you go. Sorry, Bev. No, no, Back that's absolutely you. fine, my lovely. Yep. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating a border mm -hmm. using the buttons. Like I said, they're a really, really useful stamp. And what I do is I usually, when I'm doing stamps like this, I'll go on the end of my super skinny border block. So that's in the set of four. They're on the, I think, I'm sure they're on the show. Okay. So you can just go along with your buttons and make a border. And you can do that all the way around your card. You can do it across a scrapbooking page, your home decor projects for mixed media. You can do all of that, creating these borders and using the buttons. And like I say, I think they're actually really, really good for projects that aren't Christmassy as well. For example, if you were making, but if you were making, for example, a card for a sewer. Now, I'm rubbish at soft crafts. So I don't have the patience for it, unfortunately. And I'm just not talented with it. But if you know someone who is, you know, you can make them a really nice card using mm. those buttons here. Oh, so yeah. I'm just going to heat set that ink before we start colouring it. What do you, how do you do that? With, with your heat gun? <coughs> just with my heat tool. Yeah. Um, I've stamped in Versifying Claire. Um, but, you know, which, because I'm going to use, but I am going to use watercolour ink. So you could use Stays On or Memento. It's okay. totally up to you. When you use a heat gun, right, is that just purely to speed things up? Like, in other words, could you leave it just to dry naturally? Yeah, you could leave it overnight. For example, right. some, some, when I'm, if, for example, I want to do, <laughs> do some crafting, yeah. but I'm not feeling particularly, um, like the ideas just aren't coming, I'm yeah. losing a bit of crafting mojo, yeah. I'll stamp up a lot of things. Right. And that way, you know, later on you can sit in front of the telly and you can colour or something like that. So oh, it sort okay. of takes that just pressure away. Just do all the away. sort of basics. Like yeah, the, you sort know. of build your stock up, yeah. for want of a better description. Good idea. Okay, now, so I've stamped on the EcoLine printer paper, because I'm going to use EcoLines. Now, I have also... Used, done some of these on the Dolly Dimples Mixed Media cardstock, but I colour a slightly different way. If I'm going on the Dolly Dimples Mixed Media cardstock, I'll make sure I've got my Be Crafty Blending mat out, and I'll put the eco line on there, and then colour from there with my water brush. So, for example, I'll pick up the colour with a brush, and then go in and colour that way. But when I'm on my eco line printer paper, what I'll do. And this, and this, again, it just makes your colouring so much easier and whatever. What I'll do is I'll just pick out the bits that I want to be, for example, in green. Okay, and I will go along and just where I want it to be the darkest. Now, if you look on, on the drawings, I've put yeah. some lines mm -hmm. in. Now, you can use those as highlight lines or you can use them as an indicator of where to put the darkest part of your colour. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go in... With where I want all the green, now I have done this slightly opposite to where I was planning to, so that I've lost honestly track. looks genuinely relaxing. I know we're in the studio is. and you're you're yakking away, and so am I. And it's like, <laughs> but I can imagine like you sitting at home with some nice music on, yeah. just to be up, just to colouring in like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, you, know? you know, have really you know, have your tablet on or whatever, just yeah. you know, where you can hear Richard gibbering in the background. Gibbering, gibbering. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? 
<laughs> Elo Eloquently it's funny articulating, it's true. I think, was the uh, expression it's funny you it's true. gibbering. And then, for example, yeah. by the way, the happy hour turned out to be about a happy 15 minutes in the end because it's sold out of everything. Right, okay. Well, that's good. That means I gone. picked a good one. Yeah, it was a good, a good one, wasn't hour. it? There we so, go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm we just going to go in. That's gone, I'm afraid. Sold out, nine ninety nine. Uh, oh, we've got, I've got a little update for you as well while we're there on the nutcrackers, the regular nutcrackers. We've gone to limited stock on the regular nutcrackers. There they are. twenty four ninety nine. if you want to grab hold of your, your, <laughs> grab hold of your nutcrackers. <laughs> what am I saying? That nearly went wrong halfway along the sentence, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, couldn't, I couldn't paint myself yeah, out of that you're, corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, and basically, I'll just go in and do that with every colour I'm going to use. Just go in, do the darker bits. And then what I'll do is I'll use my water brush. Yeah. Now, this is something that I do that annoys Louise Sims something chronic. I use a water brush, but I don't put water in it. I use a water pot. And so I it's just a brush, basically. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. Yeah. But I do, so, you know. Okay. What's it's life without a bit of whimsy? Mm. So it's good effect, this, isn't it? Where you, so you can just blend it, you can sort of make exactly. it run a bit. Exactly. So yeah. with the water, you just go on. Yeah. Oh. And there you go. His boots are shaded. That's a weird shade as well, because it's... Was that black you put on the outside It's, it's, a, it's a brown. A brown, I was going to say, because it's... Quite it's, a dark yeah. brown. It looked so. almost black, and it's... Uh, yeah, you've got that brown shading there. And there yeah, you go. Like and then, so again, you'll go to the green on his glove. Right, just... do you need to sort of, like, wipe the... Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Or does it not... And then the green Could you just move it from one to the other? Would you get any I did. I did just put a bit more water off and wipe right. it on my yeah. cloth. And then just go around and do all the green. Oh, OK. So it's like you're shading. And it's just easy peasy colouring, mm. which is great. Like I was saying earlier, I'm not a patient woman when it comes to this sort of thing. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, I will sit in colour like this mm. for hours, but at the end of those hours, I want a lot of things coloured in. Right. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's not yeah. like, it's yeah. not because I don't want to spend the time doing it. I just want lots to show for it. Mm. <laughs> so we'll just go in. And then that's. And you can really see how quickly then mm. you start to get. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've got, you gone with the traditional green and red for Christmas. I mean, is there exactly. an actual you know, default colour scheme for that particular nutcracker, would you say? What would they normally wear? What's well, the... I have got yeah. a blue, yellow and green one. Yeah. What is it in the... See what is I mean? It, is it based on the nutcracker suite, on the tri I just, I just like them. I yeah. mean, they've been getting more popular as well, I think, yeah. again, for the last few years. Didn't think, didn't think and... I get to say Tchaikovsky today. Wow. <laughs> That's like very highbrow, isn't well, it? Well, there Sorry, you Carol. are, you think? Hello. I'm, I'm glad I gave you this opportunity. Thank you. But you Go can on. see, whatever <laughs> your preferred Christmas colours are, or your preferred Christmas scheme, um, colour scheme, you can mm. actually make those, or to suit. For example, if I was sending a card to Sam, Sam has cream and gold in, in, in craft colours for her thing. So I would do, if I was doing her a card using the Nutcrackers, those are the colours I would use. Because yeah. it's going to sit in her house on her mantelpiece. Right, OK. Do you see what I mean? So yeah. it's, if you know someone that well, I will also say as well, when I was saying earlier about the um, the loose lines around, you know, you've got the three lines. Mm. With this one here, this is, what, this is the smaller one on the set. What I've done is I've gone around the edge with mm. a Secura Stardust pen. OK, so not only is it giving it a glittery outline, it's also giving it quite a solid outline. Yeah. So if you want to give it a more definitive edge, yeah. make it more solid, you can do that with your Secura pens and just create that lovely solid edge. And I think it looks really good in the glitter as well. It does. OK. Yeah. Like that. Thank you. Mm. Right, so... Do you know what? I really fancy the hot chocolate you put on this. But we feel like it was a real I thing are, right and, now. And as well, I have to say, mm. Sam and I, we're really... When, when it comes to hot chocolate, mm. me and Sam are do it properly or don't do it at all. Oh, it's you like, don't know mucking about it. You've got the whipped cream no, on it. It's, and the, it's in the pan with the milk. The chocolate flakes yeah. and all sorts, yeah. yeah. The full Monty. I'm sure that doesn't come as a surprise to a lot of people. <laughs> so, you know, with these, with the buttons, what I'd do is I'll go around and create sort of like a sequence. So, for example, that's got the green on the outside, that's got the green on the inner, and then I would... Skip one. Do you put marshmallows in your hot chocolate? Absolutely. Mm, sure Absolutely. Not sure about that one. Uh, it's the kids, they request. Everyone in the gallery would put booze in there, so... Uh, and I, think, I really I can't that, do that I think that says kids, everything we lie. need to know about the, <laughs> the staff on, on shift today. Please, uh, please do drink responsibly, though. Yeah. Especially, please drink Especially your hot baker. chocolates <laughs> responsibly. <laughs>
<laughs> now, there's a right. safety warning I did not think I was going to be giving out. <laughs> I tell you, my show has brought you all sorts it of surprises. It has, yes, I'm getting a lot of new experiences here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, so then, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just create a pattern that sort of mixes and matches with... with the colours I've used on the Nutcracker. So, again, I'm just doing this really quick. I would take a little bit yeah. more caution if I was at home, so, but again, yeah. so basically pull, bring the colour and then just pull that colour out. It's one line, you know, you pick out like a line, you, you follow an outline and then you, then you get your water brush out and you Absolutely. kind of blend and it in and then, then, that's then the shading, yeah. you've got that instant shading without yeah. having to worry about. Now, Whatever. there are lots, you know, direction of light and that sort of thing that you can follow, instructions you can follow. But mm. for me, when I'm crafting with an obviously, you know, doodly styled nutcracker. I really don't think you have to worry about light source too much. Okay. You know, don't put the pressure on yourself. It's no. just, it's just not worth no. it. No. You know, and well, then no one's going to be sitting there going, "Oh, look at that! I reckon the sun will be coming and up if they from do, behind." Yeah. Take your Christmas card back. Yeah. Just say you're they not worth it. it. You're absolutely not worth, not it. worth it. If no. you're going to like criticise it, forget it. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just rip it up in front of them I and storm off. And storm off. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, say, I'll be in my trailer. I'll be taking that mince pie with me. Thank you very much. I'll be in my crafting Winnebago. <laughs> oh, that would be good. A crafting Winnebago. Ooh. I'm sure other large vehicles are available. Yeah. But yes. How, well, ask, crafting ask the, Winnebago. Uh, ask the powers that be here. I'm sure they'll arrange crafting them for you. No Winnebago. problem. Okay. <laughs> now, when I go, once my drawings are completely coloured in, I'll then start adding in, if I want to, hmm. more details. Like I said, so with this chap here, I did the glittery lines. Um, for this chap here, I've done sort of like the, the white dots. Okay, so basically what I do is I go around with my secure pen. I do like to leave them to dry a little bit longer normally. Yeah. Um, because the colour will lift a little bit. Oh, yeah. And then just go okay. in and add the white dots. And it just adds... That does add something, doesn't it? It's like a little... That little bit of extra detail. Yeah. It just makes it a little bit light. Nice little and embellishment, fun. that. And then when you... So if you were doing that on a card layer... I will warn you right now, my lovely. I am not always this prepared. This is this is this, this, is, is, this, this is, is you. New. This is you prepared. This is new. Yeah, this is me prepared. Because if you do, honestly, Meg is going to be going. <gasps> <laughs> right. So um. then you have, you can create your border. Obviously, you don't want to sit and do me, see me do this many white dots. No. You know, but you can create these lovely borders with your buttons, but you can do that with the twinkly lights that are on there, with the bows, because mm. you've got all that with you as well. It's really pretty. It's, it's really not necessarily Christmas, is it? That's, that could be used exactly. all, the whole time. All but like I said, because you can colour match it with not only who you're giving it to, but, you know, say you've got quite a bit of... You're thinking, right, I've got a load of yellowy cardstock. Mm. Use that for your Christmas cards and make that sort of like your colour theme. Okay? Meg uh, in the gallery is just informing that the other day was National Button Day, which does beg the question, how on earth does she know how that? How does she know this? Did she celebrate things? it? Like, was it... How does she know it, these was it, things? Oh, did we celebrate it on the craft store? I wasn't on that day. Oh, we did. That makes sense. I, mean, I, thought, I thought for a second we were Meg just had, very impressed like, with just your commemorates there, it every Megan. year and gets like a little hat out and has a <laughs> dinner, you know, says Yay, Grace. That's National Button Day. Let's remember all the buttons. Yeah, around the world, all the ones that have, you know, s sadly passed away, have a couple of minutes silence. <laughs> oh dear. Right, anyway. I'm just going to carry on now. Carry on. Carry on. Okay. Let's do, pick, so, pick, pick it up from the, pick uh, the it, buttons. Just, yeah, 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 I'll just yeah. pick it we'll up pick from it the up buttons, because there was a line and you just kept going. Yeah. Right, so we've got, so what, the thing is then, you can put your nutcracker on there, and then with your sentiment, what I've done is I've cut that, I've stamped it, I've used my red eco line just to highlight those lines because on here you can see it's got those little lines so you can colour that um, to suit your, your project as well. Right. So you can really make that match up. It doesn't just have to be in black and white, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So on what I've done on the card yeah. is I have coloured that in with the red and then cut the sentiment up so that I can just sort of offset it a little bit. You can do it however you want. Or you could put it on a jaunty angle. Mm. I love a jaunty angle. It would, it would sort of suit it, wouldn't it? A cracking exactly. Christmas. Exactly. So, you, you know, crazy. and that's the nice yeah. thing. You can really piece these things together mm. to make some lovely projects. But, you know, you were saying earlier about traditional colours as well. So, mm. I did this tag as well in the purples and greens. Mm. Again, using the buttons in the background just to create. So, it just shows you you don't have to set to a certain colour theme. It doesn't have to be traditional. It can really be however you want. Hmm. 
That's lovely, that is. That's a bit of a different uh, look, isn't it? Like an outer space nutcracker. Yeah, I love like it. That. The other one is like, the one you just finished off was uh, is very festive as well. I do like that. So lots yeah, see, of detail. Yeah, see, that one would go in my house. Right. Because I, I do the the red, the red, green, and gold, but Sam's more. Sam's more galactic. Sophisticated, apparently. Oh, sophisticated. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to live that one down, am I? No, that's not, not going away. That's, no, that's not going no, away. No. 941160 is the item number for what you're looking at here, which is, the, which is our stamps. And we are super, super busy here. 45% of the stock has now gone. Uh, so it will be a cracking Christmas for lots of you out there who are ordering this. Uh, we have got lots and lots to show you. If you haven't, if you just tuned in, you haven't seen this yet. Other applications you can use the stamps for here. Coasters. We've got coasters here. There we go. Uh, lots and lots of. Um, well, these have been. What is this? Um, did, why have you put these in? To, what I is, have no idea because Charmaine oh. made them. Oh. <laughs> that Charmaine that appears on the show? Yeah. That Charmaine? That Charmaine. Oh, right. Oh, okay. That's good. And See, it's her birthday. Today? Yeah. I Happy think birthday, it's today. Charmaine. Yeah. Didn't get you a present. Here's another Me card. Me neither. She's supposed to be my friend. <laughs> is it really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, make her a card. You're quite good at that, aren't you? Uh, I have some medium support. <laughs> you, hey, I've got a card for you here. You can give her that. <laughs> there you go. That's a, give her that one. That's on me. We've oh, got this cheers. box as well, which is really nice. We've got the, again, we've got the design here. The, the, the stamps themselves look like this. We've got 14 stamps in total, and these are flying off the shelves right now. 941160, 45% of the stock has gone on that. 15.99. Now, big nutcrackers, MDF ones, which are fr uh, you can stand up, you can lean up against, well, you can pop them into like a little um, base or something. Could you Absolutely, do that? Absolutely, of course would you, you do? could. Hang them up on the wall. Or? And, and this is the thing, because they're so lightweight. If you wanted to, you know, if you put temporary hangers up for Christmas, which lots, lots of us do, you know, like the, the plastic ones that sticks to the wall. Because mm -hmm. they're so lightweight, if you were to hang them and put some ribbon behind them and whatever, they, they would hold and they would look beautiful. Mm, love them. And uh, yeah, I bet these would look, these are good actually with the, with the kind of glittery effect here. But also you could go to, you know, proper old school reds and deep reds and all the rest in the gold. Absolutely. And that would look uh, really pop out, wouldn't it? Yeah. Really like those. That's the big size ones. You're getting four of those. There's eight pieces in total because you've got the backing as well that goes with it. There you go. You see, you've got that bit and you've got the bit behind it as well. 459211 is the item number for that. And it's 34.99 to get those four. But then maybe you want the, the smaller version, the regular version, uh, a little bit more manageable size-wise. These are a real statement, the big ones. These ones, I could see these being used all over the place. Uh, on your Christmas tree, they'd even fit on there, wouldn't they? They wouldn't look out of place there. Uh, hanging over your doorway, on your mantelpiece. Lo lots and lots of different ways that you can use these. We've got lots of different examples of them as well that have been covered. In. I've got a couple more here. I feel like, like landing a plane when I do this. Um, <laughs> I hope I'm not going to cause any accidents. There you go. We've got a couple of those there. Those are really good. Like those. And we've got the, 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 uh, the blue and red kind of traditional look. And then what you've done here is you've um, used a little bit of your glitter. And uh, you, is that like an icy, icy snow effect? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's using the different glitters on the front as yeah. well. I think that one's at, uh, Jane's. Um, but Ooh. the thing is, like I say, the design team and all of these, all of these are online. Okay, so once you get your nutcrackers home, if you're like, I've totally forgotten what they look like, don't worry. Or the pictures of all of these are in the Be Crafty Stamps group on Facebook, so you'll be able to find those and use those for inspiration if you want. Right. I don't know why I'm holding these up because they've just sold out. Technically uh, sold out right now, no. so um, I will now put these down and um, clear to land. Uh, <laughs> put these away, which is good. Uh, we have got some other MDF for you, though. We've got some gingerbread people. Uh, we've got a couple, in fact. Are they actually are they going steady? They they together? Is um, it, are they an item? I, I, I have no idea, you actually. Asked. I don't, no, it's none ask, of my business. It? it is actually listed as a gingerbread couple, so one would imagine yeah, that they, they are. are romantically linked. We've got... Uh, They're the North Pole bakers, I think. Oh, OK. Got, uh, we've got oh. gingerbread blokey on the left, got uh, gingerbread lady on the, the right here, and we've got all the, you get the buttons with it as well and the little heart accessories, which is nice at the front. XXL size. Shh, you didn't hear that. <laughs> And uh, this is what uh, this is what it looks like when you when you uh, put some decoration on it, which is nice. And then there he is. There we go, holding hands. Lovely. Aww. There we go. That looks great, doesn't it? 
What would you do with these then? Where would you put these in there? Well, the thing is, the good thing about these is they, they actually already have the hanging tabs on top uh, as well. Yeah. So you can hang those really, really easily. Um, I would, I'm actually desperate to use one as a Christmas tree topper because I think it'll be really, really cool. That's really um, funny. Because it's quite big. Well, instead of the fairy on the top of the tree or the, the star. <laughs> yeah. Right, see, the fairy on top of the tree, that's one of those things that gets to me. It's not a fairy, it's an angel. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> good call. You're right, actually. You isn't know it? one of those trigger things. Yeah, no, it's not fairy. Sorry, did you have an, an angel incident as a child or something? Is that a... no? Obviously, not, a fairy one. We don't talk about it. A fairy one. Okay. All right. Well, um, I won't, no, I won't mention it more. The gingerbread couple, they're lovely. And yeah. the nice thing is, if you are just starting out with MDF, yeah. and this is what we like, we like people to start something. You know, have to have a bit of fun with something. If you mm. haven't had one before, they're these lovely big areas to paint. Yeah. They're laser etched, so you can see where the edges are if you want to change, or for example, put icing around the edge. So, you know, more of a white effect but the laser etch is there so you haven't got to worry about where you know where to put the eyes where to put the mouth and you know, all that because it's all laser etched for you that's great i love those and i imagine kids would have a lot of fun painting definitely these. They, yeah. they really really nice would easy. Can't really I mean, go I'm wrong, sure can you? Just painting would. it brown and then putting... Do what, sorry? I'm, I'm sure my kids would, but I'm, I'm one of those, you know, the kids get your colour in and then they disappear and I'm still there like an hour. Yeah, and then you look, you, you look around and you realise they they're on the screen. And, and yeah. they come back and they yeah. want to have a go and you're like, no, because it's neat now. Yeah. I'd be like this with my kids. Do you want to do some colour right now on a, on a tablet? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no. Um, but anyway, there you go. So that's our gingerbread couple. 144757 is the item number for that. And that is... Uh, Eleven ninety nine. Then we've got these three scenic baubles here. So you're getting all three, and already you've been shopping ahead on this. These are limited on limited stock right now. Three two five four eight zero. Now with these, I'm having a little look. You're getting three pieces, and you kind of layer it on top of each other. Yeah? And, and this is this. What I love about these is so you can build the scene how you want. So for example, if you want to swap over and put different bits, for example, a different back with a different front mm. and make the scene yourselves, because you basically you've got six scenery pieces and three baubles. So uh. you can put them together however you want. Alternatively, you can just use one piece per bauble and use the other scenery pieces for something else. Oh, that's just blowing my mind. I didn't realize it. I thought it was the same two designs on each bauble, but no. they're, uh, they're completely no. different scenes each time. Exactly. So, so you've you got can those mix six and match. Ones. Yeah. So you've got the six different ones. You can piece them together however you want. You oh, can, right. you know, you can make them any colour, so they'll go with anything. So these are beautiful for your tree, or obviously again as other decorations to hang around your house, or as a gift. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of doing this backwards, but there you go. Oh, th yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. And then we've got some, some uh, finished examples here. I'll, uh, well, you can see the ones in front of me. I'll just pull these up here in the background as well. And obviously, you put, pop a bit of ribbon on it, and uh, they're going to hang up beautifully, aren't they? Yeah, it's and really like nice. I say, what I like about these is I don't think they're too big for a tree either. So, for example, even if you're, because I have quite a small tree that goes um, on a step, um, and, and they're not too big for that either, even though it's quite a small tree. So, uh, but I think they're big enough to hold their own as decorations if you wanted to hang them up in a window or in your kitchen or something like that. Lovely, I like that. I like the snow effects there. Is it, used, is it again a bit of acetate there, and you've got yeah. like the snowfall, and exactly. that gives it a real three D layered look. It looks like you're looking in through a window, doesn't it? And oh, it's just sold out. Oh, oh, right. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I was going to talk about that for ages. I was really enjoying that, and you, you went out and bought it. Oh, so should I do do this instead? Yeah, do that instead. Do this instead. Okay. Well, how about uh, some of this? We've got some more MDF for you here. A little selection. Uh, we've got uh, three gingerbread men and three gingerbread ladies, and you're going to get all six of them. You've got 28 accessories as well to go with this. Your item number is 677106 here. And uh, I guess if you get quite a lot of these, you can, have, you can almost make like some bunting, Exactly. Can you? So you can make it sort of like a gingerbread oh, garland. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, I say, but um, yeah, you can see on that one, you can see sort of like the icing effect around the outside that I was talking about with the yes. bigger ones. So you can you can do that. You can piece them together. In that, you've got accessories. You've got snowflakes and buttons and little hearts. So lots of things you could use. You could use them on the front of cards. You could use them as gift tags. Yeah. Because you've got the six, you could make them the gift tags for for presents as well. So because they've still got the little hangers on. So you've got so many things you can do with these little ones. And again, they're so easy to colour in because you've got those laser etched details. I absolutely love this. So that, there's the MDF. And then what's, what's this effect? What's, what have you actually coloured the main body of the gingerbread with? Because it uh, really has a good effect. It looks like paint. gingerbread. Just acrylic paint. Acrylic paint. Yeah. Just looks like gingerbread, that. And then you've got the little... And that really looks like icing because it's got yeah. a glossy look to yeah, it. Yeah, so the that's sort of like a white enamel. What I'm trying to say is I actually want to eat it, but I'm not going to. I wouldn't because advise I, that. 
You what? You tried it? I wouldn't it? advise. No, I wouldn't oh, advise okay. it. You wouldn't advise it. All right. I thought you said you already tried it. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Um, six seven seven one zero six for that. You're getting all six of them. Plus, you're getting all the accessories. So you get all the little hearts and what would you do with all the little bits? So just pop them on the actual gingerbread yeah, themselves. Just yeah, just use them to embellish. But obviously, you don't have to do that. You can save them for another festive project. Yeah, true enough. You the, can but pop they it are in there for you to use as you please. Use it on your uh, your scenic baubles, or maybe, or perhaps uh, on the on the nutcrackers. And, that, and that's the thing, mix yeah. and match all your MDF up. Mix and match it all up, there's your regular nutcrackers, you've got eight pieces in total. Oh, we've got some good news about this, we've managed to get it back in stock, we've worked, worked our wonders, but it is on extended delivery now, so it will be dispatched on the 26th, but don't worry, that's not the 26th of December, it won't have missed Christmas, that's the 26th of November, and that is only a week away, so a week before it's dispatched, but other than that, good to go. You can now get hold of the regular nutcrackers. Woohoo! Woo uh, 420137 is the item number for that. Now we've got uh, just under 15 minutes left. Bev, what have you got for us now? <laughs> Something very fast, hopefully. Mm. Right, okay, so what I wanted to do was show you this guy here. So we saw Sam's very sophisticated nutcrackers. <laughs> okay, so this is the one I made. Yeah. And it, what I've done is I have used um, Dilution Shimmer Paint in the back. Okay, and then I've gone over with the Secura Moonlight pens to create all these little details over the top. Okay, but what I've done is I haven't stuck him down because I want to show you. Like I said, you get the two pieces um, with your MDF nutcrackers. So you don't have to be that tidy when you're painting the back. Because the lines are so strong and solid, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to be that particular you can just really keep it quite you know it's really really simple you don't have to think it's that complicated yeah and that's like that but what yeah, i've it also very done, basic i mean not, not, it is no but it is it is that's absolutely fine. But, you know that that looks like <coughs> almost like a child could have done that exactly. like it's a, it's and basic then, paint and then you put the thing over the top of it and suddenly it looks very very elegant, and that's the beautiful thing yeah so again you know using you know we were showing the outline Mm. earlier you know if you were just to use the outline yeah and i mean this one doesn't fit it but if you see the and you just wanted to do you know say you weren't confident enough to do the the back in the color oh, but you nice. think oh i could do the little paint details yeah. on the front yeah you know you can do it that way which is really really beautiful and that's the thing it's having all these options for you to play around with and because you've got the four you can have a go at different things and the nice thing is if you don't like it you just go over the top and go again. Start all over again. Exactly. This is just yeah. such a great fun thing to do, isn't it? especially if you're just starting out using MDF and you want to just, you know, you want to have Absolutely. a little go at different ways. It's a kind of fun, small project. It's not too, you don't have to put anything together. Exactly. And yeah. I think a lot of the time we get caught up in, who can I make that for? Mm. We well, don't have to make this for anybody. Make no. it for yourself. Yeah. Have a go. It's something you want to play with and just have a go for yourself. Yeah. Because that, that's, you know, because that's fun. Exactly. Okay. So what I did, just to... So these ones, these are painted, I painted these first. You were talking earlier about priming. Mm -hmm. Okay. These ones I painted one coat of the Pretty Gets Gritty black gesso okay. before I started adding in all the details. You can see the dilution shimmer paint still really pops mm. um, on the black paint, but on the black gesso. But it was just one coat and I was then able to go over with all the Secura pens. <clears throat> so with this one, again, so you can just see how cleanly... That is a cut that is not the right side yet. And um, these do go a specific way. So make sure that you've, you're painting it the right way okay. before it goes on. Because, for example, if you do it that way, back to front, it's just not going to fit exactly. Right. Okay, okay, so it's not exactly symmetrical. So make though. sure, yeah. yeah, so make sure they're the right way. Mm. And make sure you've got the right body for the right outline mm. when you're doing. But again, you can see like Sam's done on hers with the craft... Uh, should I say the what's the word I was gonna yeah I'll go with it the naked MDF mm -hmm. go with it yep. on the white gessoed background yep. again that looks really sophisticated Richard yes looks yes. sophisticated yeah but you could you could gold glitter that you could gold heat emboss it okay and that will give you lots of options right so for, for the to get the, that white I did do two coats of the white gesso but for the black one I did just do one coat and I'm going to show that to you now Okay. As we go over this outline, let me just get a smaller brush actually. So with, and you'll see when the black gesso goes on, it really does. You can see I'm not particularly. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I can see why you're not need particularly one coat careful. Of that. Yep. Okay, but you can just go yep. on, and it just gives you a much stronger outline to see. And what I wanted to do is do, show you this because I think it shows the pattern mm. really, really well. 
um, because it, you know, it's yeah. what I like about these is they're an intricate pattern, but the lines are still quite bold. You haven't got to worry about breaking it or anything like mm. that. You can still, you know, get on and get the job done for one of a better description. Because mm. when things are too fine, I always worry about breaking them. Um, some some good suggestions know. from the floor here. Could you use that as um, as a stencil with spray paint? Absolutely. If yeah. you look in the samples for the smaller ones, you know I said Anne did the acetate one. Mm -hmm. There's also one where she's drawn through it to create the background of that one. Uh, we'll leave him with that for a minute. Yeah, listen, give me, give me a few <laughs> minutes. Give me about half an hour and I'll get back to you. Um, I think, so it's one that's been... Sam's going to help It's one... <laughs> Call in the cavalry. So it's one that's been black gessoed and then she's she's doodled Thank through you, it. Sam. But yeah, you could absolutely spl spray through it. Okay, so really what cool. this was this was you sprayed this? No, so you no. see the one that Anne did the acetate on to make it look like stained glass? Yeah. So what she did was before she did that, she used it as a stencil to draw the details uh, onto that one. Oh right, okay, yeah. So you okay. can do that as well. So yes, you can use it as a stencil, but not only to spray through, mm. but also to, you know, create a doodle on that back. So the background one isn't yeah. um, redundant if you've not used the front. Yes, I got you. Okay. That's good. So, yeah. yeah. And, this is, and this is the thing, but like I say, it's one of these, and honestly, which we say every time we're here, mm. um, which I know hasn't been a lot recently, but we say every time we're here, when you do make things with your Be Crafty Pro, Please show us. Please, show. we we absolutely love to see. It. And when we go out to shows and things like that, people go, "Oh, I got this," and I, but I didn't know whether to show you. Please show me. Yeah, I'm you know I, I like to see what people you've got are making. Any time now, and you've got some bee crafty products that you've uh, put together at home. Absolutely, you've got a finished project. Just email us in now. See. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Studio at thecraftstore. I'm always com. emailing in. Um, email in if you can, and we'll we'll show it. If we've got any time, we won't have time. I'm always emailing mm. but if you. We but if we haven't got time to show it on air, we'll, we'll show, we'll pass it yeah, on to, to, to Bev and Sam. So don't How's worry. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm always e emailing in, usually saying, tell Charmaine to put her lids on her ink pads. Drives me mad. Drives me mad. Okay. Right, the, uh, by the way, the gingerbread couple, they've gone limited now. I don't know whether that's, <laughs> that's a relationship or... They're lim <laughs> these two are... They're sort of... They're, they're not limited seeing, they're time. Not, they're not seeing anyone else. They've gone limited. They've gone exclusive here. Uh, so it's limited stock now for the uh, gingerbread couple. There are only a few of these left. One, four, four, seven, five, seven. You can decorate how you want. This is just an example. Uh, but it's the MDF uh, gingerbread couple you will be getting. And this is an example. Oh, there you go. That's what it looks like when you get it. And then you can use all sorts of uh, different techniques and uh, mediums to decorate okay. it how you like. So I just want to quick, I'm not going to finish all this because it will take me too long and you'll mm. want to see other things. So you can see how much more defined you can see those lines now they're in black. So it is, it is much, really good to see that way. Yeah. But again, black and white is, is becoming a really popular, like that monochrome Christmas mm. is a really popular thing. So if you were like, well, I'm not sure I want to add all those details on or what I want to do. If you were just to do the, the back in the white gesso and then go over the top with your black outline, yeah. that is a really effective look yeah. um, to, to your Christmas. And then you could go on and add, for example, some white details with your white pen like we did with the stamped version. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, you can see on this one, like I said, this is the one I showed you earlier with all the lines. Let me just take... There. Yeah, those little it's dots really uh, lift it up, don't they? Yeah, That's and it. they don't take as long as you think, yeah. I have to say. They don't take as long as you think. So, for example, I haven't done his moustache, his moustache, as the kids used yeah. to say. Like right. little fairy lights, those, aren't they? So all it is, it makes going It makes around. him look like he's wearing a really expensive outfit, like he's got into his, um, his best. It's just not sophisticated, though, is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> a like pearly king, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Cool. Is that, has he got little um, green dots on his moustache? He's got little green dots on his moustache now. So we're just going to go around and do those. <laughs> and like I said, when you're sat, when you're sat sitting, and you're just going around, it really just doesn't take that long. Mm. But it just adds in that bit of extra detail. <laughs> it's just, like I say, it's just fun. And it's something you can do. There we go, we'll go around his eyebrows now. And it's just something you can do for you and just have fun with and really piece together. And when I was painting the colours at the back, like I say, that was done with the Dilution Shimmer Paint. In fairness, all I was doing was sitting it over the top and going, right, hmm. purple about there. So I'd lift it up and go purple, purple, purple. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. And then I'd do the same on the other leg. I really didn't... Because it's um, fine, because as long as the, 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 you know, it's all... 
exactly. covered over by the framework. Exactly. You can't see where the joins are. Because the yeah. line, lines are quite bold, you mm. have, you've got like a little buffer. So yeah. if you go over where, where it's supposed to be, it really, really doesn't matter. And because the lines go right to the edge, mm. if you go right to the edge, it also doesn't matter. You so definitely it just be able to, means... If you, if you went out uh, clubbing, you'd definitely see him from a mile off, wouldn't you? You would! Club? That it's is like, a you'd be lit up like a Christmas jacket. tree, wouldn't you? I mean, wow. <laughs> that is a spangly jacket yeah. and we love it. So yeah, then I think that's the lovely thing about these. You can really sort of dress them up or keep them quite simple because they are quite decorative anyway. Love it. There you go. Okay. Four five nine two one one. Thanks very much, Bev. That's uh there you've got your nutcrackers there, those are the regular ones. Those those are the, oh no, these are the XL ones I should say. Those are the big ones which I've got right in front of me here. Uh Big, big size, and you can do all sorts with them. You can stand them up, you can hang them up, you can do what you like with them, but you can decorate them crucially using all sorts of different techniques, which we have seen today from Bev and the design team and Sam as well. Lots and lots of different examples. Uh, it's thirty-four ninety-nine to the craft store price today, and the item code is four five nine two one one. All on the website. Um, half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone now on the big ones. Uh, we've already sold out of the uh, of the little ones and managed to bring them back. Half the stock's gone on the big ones. Have a little look through the website. I know many of you already have because you've been shopping ahead today. This is where you've got all of your MDF collections from Be Crafty, including uh, your MDF tags there. Lots and lots of those in time for Christmas. And you've got your tab book and ripped notebook as well. A couple of journals there for you. And that's $14.99. That's all on the website as well. So uh, we're going to go. Oh, we go, should we go back to you, Bev? You can if you like, my love. You've got um, literally here. four minutes. Have you got anything to do? Is it, four minutes. Have I just stitched you up there by saying back to you? Or is no, that no, right? no. It's absolutely fine. What we're going to do is we're going to use the nutcracker again. But okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this pinky coloured one that I've already coloured in. Right. Okay. So we're going to take a piece of card and we're going to quickly try and put together a bit of a border and a background. So we've got lots of inkables on the show today that we just haven't had time to get through. Lots of different snowflake ones that I think will work really, really well with this. So I'm going to grab a blending tool and a purple. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll go with the brushes quicker. Okay, so with this, we're just going to go on. So this is our snowflake mask, okay? And then we're just going to go around with our brush because this yeah. is a really quick sort of easy background to go with yeah i'm gonna lift that off and we've got our snowflakes on yeah. there okay yeah, and then we can go on with again our buttons and we're just going to go around and add one in each corner and like i was saying that's one of the things i love so much about this set it's not just the the main characters as it is it's the it's the accessories all the bits and pieces it. that come Absolutely. with them yeah you haven't so. put hot chocolate on it yet <laughs> i haven't <laughs> no, i haven't i need to add that one on don't i mm, definitely that's quite a good one so then we'll just go around here and what i love about this but it's sort of like bubbles it, it could bubbles, be baubles it? it could be do you know what i mean so again mm. it's a really useful berries it could be as well as, yeah. exactly we refer to it sort of like a workhorse stamp that's mm. why on the packaging yeah i've colored it in all the different christmas colors i've used on here so that you when you get it home it's like it's not like it's just for one color yeah you can whatever. see You've it got yeah, those like different a, ones yeah gives you lots of ideas okay so he will be able to go on there and he's a little bit taller than the card which is cool but what i've also got is some baubles and buttons that are coloured in to match and some bows and all this sort of thing. I can tell this prep is sort of like blowing Meg's mind right now. So, <clears throat> and you've got the different, and the nice thing is you can play with the layout, okay? If you, if you do a real good stamping session and then you do a colouring in and then you do the cutting out or like me, use your husband and kids to do the cutting out, you know, you <laughs> oh, by that point, <laughs> right? Called, uh, <laughs> well, slave labor, it means you yeah. can then yeah. you can then just piece them together, play mm. with them, play with the layout. You know exactly as I have done with this one, and really play. And you can see, you know, this is a really big card, the one we did earlier. Yeah. Whatever. So that's a big eight by eight. That's a six by six. So you can really sort of put them, and that's the bigger one. If you wanted to go with the smaller one, so if it's perfectly on. You've got that, and you've mm. got that in that one stamp set. All those pieces that, that you can use 
to make them how you want. That's brilliant. We've done loads, haven't we, with, the, with our we soldiers have. today? Absolutely loads, and lots of MDF as well. It's been super duper popular. Thank you very much indeed. You're very it's welcome, been, my lovely. It's been a pleasure working with you. You no, loved it. I loved every second of it. I know you won't. You won't uh, work with me again. You'll be straight <laughs> out there into the office and like, no, no, straight, just take off it. anything with him. Um, but uh, hopefully we will uh, work together again, yeah. which is uh, which is good. I have enjoyed looking at uh, all of the bee crafty stuff today as well, which is great. Uh, Nine four one one six zero, by the way, is the item number for that particular uh, nut cracking Christmas stamp set. Great. When you're next? Uh, December the fourteenth. We look she says to completely it. confidently. You might want to check your diary <laughs> by the sounds of it. I will see you a little bit later, though. I've checked my diary. In just a second. Wow, is it all that time already? It's a one day special. Then it's the quarter's trading post, and then our one day special continues from All and Create. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. Good evening. Right, this is a super exciting launch. This is the Autumn Part 2 collection by Tracy Evans. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good evening, evening everybody. Hi, Alice. Lovely to see you. Lovely to be working with you yes, again. Yes, it's lovely to be here again. Oh. It doesn't feel like that long ago, actually, to be honest. Well, we saw each other, didn't we? We worked with each other just for a snippet, and yeah. then, you know, but it's <laughs> lovely to have your company. Um, so, would you like to tell us a bit about the inspiration behind the One Day Special? I will just say to you as well, there is a complete collection, so you might want to get ahead, but I just wanted to find out your, your thoughts about the One Day Special. I mean, the part one and part two were actually yes. designed at the same time. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when you design stamps, you don't just do, I don't do like a small amount. Mm -hmm. I do like a big amount of stamps in one, one sitting. Yes. And the idea for that is that then they all work together. I say this every time when I come on the show mm -hmm. that, you know, the ethos is that they will all work together throughout yeah. the range. 
but when I created part one and part two, it's important that you know they're designed at the same time, yeah. and therefore there's the same feel about them, yeah. um, and that's why they work so well together. So part two, as always, is inspired by nature, yeah. um, but this time I absolutely love the mix of sizes. Yeah. So for me, we've got really strong focal image on the A4. Should we um, show that one? Yeah, and mm. I love the clocks. Mm. And I think what's good about the clocks is you can use that with any stamp. So if you wanted to make a masculine card, which I'll show you a journal page, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to make a masculine card, you could use the clocks in a masculine way. Absolutely. Or you could use them in a feminine way. Yep. You could also use them for New Year mm -hmm. as well. So the idea is that it's, it's adaptable. But obviously, I like my flowers. That's, that's what I'm, you know, my style is. I love nature. I yes. love layers. And I like to stick to my style, mm -hmm. but try to uh, sort of up the level each time Absolutely. so that I don't get too predictable. Mm -hmm. And I always add a little bit extra in there, you know, just so that you can finish off things. And, and I adore then, this one. Yes, I love the keys. I love, I love look, at, look how scruffy our hedgehog is. I <laughs> it like has him. to be a scruffy hedgehog. Yes. And the reason there's a hedgehog and a squirrel is that I listened to my followers who requested a hedgehog and a squirrel. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I would also like a really tiny one, so maybe that'll come. I'd like a really, really tiny one just to add little details. So I might have to think about that one as well. <laughs> I tell you what, so we'll look at these two. I'm going to give you the detail because I tell you why the complete's getting really busy. Right. And then we can come back and chat yep. about the rest no if problem. that's all right. Lovely. So with your one day special, you've got that lovely five pound saving on the stamps. So you've got all of these stamps. So we'll come back to these stamps in a second because they are absolutely beautiful. So you've got that five pound saving there. You can spread the cost two pounds, uh, two save, two pounds, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> two, two flexi buys. Come on, Alex, get, get it together. Two flexi buys of 23 pounds and some change. But you've got 33 pounds and some change and you've got that five pound saving that carries over. OK, then you have got these stencils. These are also brand new. Uh, so we've got here, it's all about the pluses and the crosses, isn't it? Yes, and you need to ask Janet Pring okay. what mm. she actually called the pluses, because she didn't call them pluses. <coughs> Just think about taking out the L. Yes. She oh. didn't call them pluses. <laughs> Somebody, everybody's chuckling in the studio right now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that in. <laughs> oh, no. oh, well, I thought it was really funny. What, so you, you'll go for it, So what, what you'll find with Abs is he likes generic shapes. Yes. But the reason I think, you know, I'm talking on behalf of Abs, but I think he goes for them because he likes them to be able to be used across the whole range. Mm -hmm. So that means with Janet Klein's, yep. with the Pashas and with mine. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want them to just be used with one person's range. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's good about Absy stencils. And yep. I love using stencils and mixing them with the layers and adding mm -hmm. layers. And if you don't like adding layers, you can use the stencils on their own. Absolutely. They don't always have to be used with the stamps. Nice, there we go. So here we go. Now you've got your stencils. You've got your four stencils. Uh, now you're also getting the two stamps. So you've got your A4 stencils, your six by six. Have I got that right, That's Tracy? It, yes. Excellent stencils at the bottom. And there you can see there's the pluses and the crosses at the side, either side. Uh, and there your stamps. You've got a five pound saving there. Now let's go to the complete collection because that five pound saving and that five pound saving all carries over, so that's £10 so far. Plus, now in the complete collection, not only are you getting what you've just seen so far, the stamps and the stencils and the other stamps there, you've also got the acrylic blocks. So here you've got your A5 and your A7, so they're a little addition for the complete collection. And then there's a further £13 off. Uh, so that's £23 in total when you look at it that way. Uh, and it's also on three flexi buy payments, which is awesome. So that's three payments of £38.95. And guess what, Tracy? Already 10% of the oh, complete well, collection thank gone. You. <laughs> so thank you very much already for purchasing. So I'll just go back to our lovely stamps. So let's have a look at these beautiful stamps so you've got there you've got the uh, violet yes it's and not upside I up. wanted a flower that was a little bit more delicate I was actually thinking about people who uh, sort of stamp and create like Janet does yeah in a more clean paired back look and this delicate flower works perfectly for that but the days of the week are so that you can create your own garden calendars yeah so if you want to give gifts you can add them or if you like your journals you mm -hmm. can add the days of the week you can also add the days of the week as a background as well lovely so they work really nicely then we've got to talk about the penguins <laughs> now i love the penguins and i don't want you to think about the penguins as just just for winter just penguins yes. 
think about them for Valentine's. You've just got to put them opposite each other, put a heart in the middle, yeah. and you've got a Valentine's card. Oh, I love so that. again, it's thinking about moving forward and not always thinking about just the, the few weeks ahead. It's thinking a lot further than that. Mm -hmm. And I wanted some sort of characters that will also work with the clock images because you could have winter time Absolutely. as your sentiment. Uh, and you could just combine those perfectly with those clocks as well. Yeah, lovely. And we've got one more here. Tell us about this lovely little A7 stamp. Now, this works beautifully on the gel plate. Uh, ah. If you stamp that on the gel plate, it works beautifully. And it, mm -hmm. it'll give you a subtle background. But on its own, it works as a background purely on its own, stamped in a colour, and you could just add a sentiment. Yes. It doesn't have to have a focal image with it, but it works beautifully on the gel press. Amazing. Now, let me tell you, for this complete collection, we are so, so super busy. We are almost 20% of the stock gone in just six minutes. Um, now, the phone lines are on fire. Please do check out, if you can, at thecraftstore.com. I'm just going to dip down here because... We have some samples, which I've got to show you because they are just amazing. Oh, I'm going, to, I'm going straight for this one. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> Everybody knows my taste. Look at this. How cute is this? Well, that shows you that Joe's taken that as a decoration, but if you sort of change the colour slightly yep. in the background, again, you could make it a Valentine's Couldn't thing. You? you could stick it on the card and make it a Valentine's. There you go. And then, uh, so... Do you know who did this one? Yeah, oh, it's well, Joe Rice, wasn't it? That's and then Joe Rice. This one is Joe Elliott. This is Joe Elliott. And Joe colours beautifully. Mm. And you may look at that and think it's simple, but when you actually see the card in real life, it's got beautiful dimension and exquisite colouring. It has, And that it? shows the stamp perfectly how I designed it. Nice. And this one is by Janet. And she's using the pluses and uh, the pluses there. Yes, that's the pluses that she can't get the name right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just we're just going to leave you to guess at home. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this one is by Joe Elliott as well. Uh, there we go. So the look at that. That's just so pretty, isn't it? I like her stamp background but too. But imagine if you were having you were just having a newborn, mm -hmm. oh, and you yeah. could use the little penguins as a new arrival. That's so you so just have pretty. to think outside the box. Absolutely. And then we've got this one by Debbie. Oh, that's beautiful. You How... see, and this looks like gel plate work. Doesn't it? Uh, yeah, and look at that background stamp. Doesn't it look beautiful? Mm. I love the background stamp. Very clean and elegant, yeah, that one. Yeah, absolutely. This one is by Philippa. Oh, she's gone to town here. And I like the way she breaks all the words up as well. Yes, and I like it because Philippa's style is completely different to everybody else's style. Yes. So it shows you how to use the stamps in lots of different ways. Nice. Uh, this next one is by Debbie. Debbie Martin, there you go. Oh, there's a whole family of them. But if you were having an invitation or a party, yes. you could put invitation across the top and Good it idea. would be a party invitation. Love that. And that could be New Year's, actually. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's just thinking outside the box with your stamps. And then this one is by Philippa. Now, this image was inspired by my garden. You actually get these when they go to, they go to, when they go to seed, in other words, when they're not flowering and they're orange, they're mm. orange. Yep. They actually go to like a... Um, a skeleton leaf kind of oh, effect I see. and they're absolutely gorgeous mm, they're beautiful. gorgeous i'll do one more then uh, this one is by debbie martin as well uh, absolutely beautiful wow and that really because of the the colorful background and then the softer the pop, colors yeah, yeah, yeah it just bam it's yeah, beautiful. It's, but that's what's the best thing about the design team. Yeah. Because they have nobody telling them what direction to go into. Mm -hmm. They receive the stamps, just like yep. we do, and they have to come up with the inspiration themselves. They don't get somebody giving them the inspiration. Yeah. They have to think of the designs themselves, which in some ways is harder. Absolutely. But then it proves that the stamps inspire. Yes. Which is good. Thank you, Tracy. So I'll just give the details one more time then. So on screen, you've got the complete collection. You'll get all of these fabulous um, new today stamps. Uh, so you've got, I mean, just look at that. In the stamp collection, you have got your clocks and flowers, key botanicals, violet, frosty, penguin and falling blossom. That's there. Remember, for the one day special itself, five pounds carries over. Then, still going as part of the complete collection, though, coming over to our other stencils, so our pluses. I'm going to have to think about this now. <laughs> pluses and crosses. Um, so you're getting the A4 and then the 6x6, six six, and then either side of the stencils, you've got those stamps.
And then also, as a little bit of a Brucey bonus, in the complete collection, you're getting the A7 and the A5 blocks. Now, 20% of the complete collection has now gone, and we've got a deep stock here for you. It's only 10 minutes in. Do check out your basket. So remember, five and five carried over. That's £10 plus a further uh, £13. So you're talking £23 saving. And then you've got this on three flexi buy payments. Uh, which is 38.95. They three 38.95 instalments. Item number is 899013. Not only that, we have also a happy hour deal for you. Here we go. Uh, this matches perfectly with the stencils and you've got a six pound saving only up until the end of the hour so you've got about 50 minutes to get it. So do you know what? If you want to get the complete collection, which most of you are, that opens up your flexi buy basket, so you're only paying, what is it, £3.33 for your first instalment on this happy hour deal. Win, win, chicken dinner, or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, 185912 is your item number. Uh, without further ado, then, I'm going to hand over to Tracy, but what I'd say is check out your baskets now, then you can sit back, relax, and watch Tracy's demos. Here we go. Thanks, Alex. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to take a couple of seconds just to look at this journal page. I don't want you to think that your stamps are just usable with cards. They're perfect with scrapbook layouts, journals, etc. And what I wanted to show is the new release, which is the clocks here, also work with the previous releases. So this is a border stamp, and the border stamps are actually on a pick and mix. So if there's some stamps that you haven't got, there's actually a good deal on the pick and mixes uh, during the next five hours. So this just shows, I just wanted to show you that you don't just have to create cards with your stamps. Yeah. Just move that on one side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this card this hour. Cool. And everybody knows that oh, I nice. love, I love sort of grungy uh, and I love layers, so this just sort of is me off to a T. Mm. I love bright colours as well, but yep. this is my first love. love. that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Abs's stencil first. Okay. Uh, and this, do you know, I keep getting them mixed up between crosses and pluses. This is the crosses. I know. I mean, like, this is... has just said that in my ear yeah. as well. I, I'm, just, I'm going to get them wrong. I just know I am. Don't you worry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add, let's just mention the colours. I'm using Mermaid Lagoon okay. just as my first layer. And this is a very strong colour. And then I'm going to use the Vintage Photo. Cool. And these are Distress Oxides. It wouldn't matter if it was Distress Oxides or Distress Inks. That's just your choice. Just remember that the Distress Inks are translucent and not opaque. Right. And I'm just going to give that a wipe just so that we don't get in a mess. You're so good at being clean. Oh, I have to be or else my cards will end up in a complete mess. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do then is just spritz the stencil. Just give it a good spritz with water. If you don't spritz it with enough water, you won't get enough of a print. Okay. But then again, if you want it nice and delicate, Janet likes it to be delicate in the background, then obviously add less water. I want something a little bit more, more powerful in the background. So I'm just allowing that to sit on the background just using my kitchen roll just to mop up the excess mm -hmm. and then we can just take that off and the, it just gives you a beautiful background mm. and then in true Leone fashion we don't want to waste <laughs> we do, I can hear her now in the ear yeah so we don't want to waste that print so you can just do a second generation print and I always think it's important when you're doing demos it is for me anyway we all demo differently but for me, it's just important to go through detail of every step. Yep. That's just the way I work. So I'm just adding that second. And then you've got still a beautiful second generation, Amazing. which you can use for another card. <gasps> Quick stock update, if I may. Yes. Here we go. So we are almost a quarter of the stock gone on the complete collection. We're only quarter of an hour in. Hey, it's going minute by minute by minute. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much, everybody. I really appreciate it. So what I've got here, this is what takes the longest when you're prepping for shows. It's actually the steps I that you have to stamp out. Yep. Now, I need this to be dry. Now, I could stand here and heat it with my heat tool, sure. but I just thought I'd have one ready. That's yep. the only difference. Now, as you can see, this one is a little bit stronger than that one. Yes. It doesn't really matter. That would actually probably work better because you'll see more of the crosses in the background. Mm -hmm. But I never class anything as a failure. So we're going to use the one that we've got. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's get the stamp, 
Come on, Tracy. So I'm going to use the A4 stamp set, Clocks and Flowers. And I'm going to use this image here. And I just think this is a fantastic background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Vase Fine Claire. I've even put on it's new and the date. Ooh. Just how organised is that? You are so good. <laughs> I like it. I love organisation. <laughs> so what I'm doing is before I actually stamp anything, what, when, I, when I was first doing this, I was going to put it straight in the middle mm -hmm. because that would make a nice card just with the flower on the top. Yeah. But then I thought, no, I want to change it just so this stamp, I want to show you that it doesn't have to be that shape. Right. It doesn't have to be stamped in that way. So I'm just seeing which areas I want to stamp. So I'm going to ink. Always ink up more than you're perhaps going to use because then you won't miss any inking. And always add layers of ink with a patting motion just to your stamp just to make sure you've got a good even layer of that ink. Don't be rushed when you're doing your stamping. You're meant to enjoy the process and not rush it too much. And if you get a little bit of over stamping, just wipe that off so that you don't get in a mess. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a touch of this stamping just on the edge here. Mm -hmm. Just like so. And what I'm doing is I'm showing that you don't have to use the whole image. You can use part of the image. And I haven't, I've just loved using these clocks, absolutely mm. love them. And you can see that you've got part of the image there. Yep. And it's always better to ink more than you're going to use when you're doing part stamping like this. Okay. Because if you don't ink more than you're going to use, you end up missing bits. Right. So again, I'm going to ink the stamp again. And as I always say, even though I'm on live TV, I still make sure that I've got a good layer of ink. And while you're working, remember to leave your ink pad upside down. That will extend the life of your ink pad. Oh, that's a good tip. And what I'm going to do now is use the other half of the stamp. Sure. So you can just, you can move it around and see where you want it. And I'm always thinking about the aesthetics. I'm always thinking about the composition while I'm doing this. I'm also always thinking about open space. And I'm always thinking, yes, I like layers, but I don't like to overclutter those layers. I still like to leave some open space. Mm -hmm. Open space doesn't have to be white space all the time. It can just be open space, whether it's coloured open space, black open space, as long as it's got some open element. Mm -hmm. So I'm just lifting that acrylic block. I'm using the A5 acrylic block, and I've got that flexibility, and that just gives me a beautiful background. Yeah. And what you can see... Let me just move this out of the way. What you can see is that because you've got those stars in the background, mm -hmm. those stars are acting to draw your eye into the background, mm. even something as subtle as that. What you need to do then is just give your ink a blot. Because that ink's got a good open time, yep. and it stay, which means it stays wetter longer, just give it a blot, especially if you're not going to dry with a heat tool, just to make sure you're not going to smudge that image. Mm. You just want to make sure you're not going to smudge it. Cool. Then we're going to take the other stamp, on the A4 stamp set. I'll just bring in the stamp set. Well, you can't see because the label's straight over it. That's, oh. really, that's perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this flower here. Sure. And I'm going to use the border stamp for this. Now, what I tend to do, depending on the size of the stamp, I've got a lovely hair on there, which is off me, because <laughs> I molt worse than my little pugs do. <laughs> so what I've got here is, when I'm using the acrylic blocks, depending mm. on the size of the stamp, I always use an acrylic block that's a little bit bigger. Okay. Because it means I can flex it. Yes. If it fills up the whole acrylic block, I've got nowhere to flex yeah, it. Yeah, it makes sense. So I always do that. Cool. What we're going to do then is we're going to use um, Versafine Claire. We're going to use Warm Breeze and Pine Cone. Mm, lovely. And I forgot to mention the size of the card, which is three and a half inches by eight inches. Right. So it's like a DL card. And what I'm going to do is start with the lightest colour first, which in this case is Warm Breeze. So I'm just inking with Warm Breeze. And then I'm just going to use the Versafine Claire Pine Cone. And I'm just adding touches here and there. Just make sure you go light to dark. It just mm -hmm. stops too much contamination. And then I'm just going to stamp the flower. And again, because I've used an acrylic block that's just slightly bigger than my stamp, mm -hmm. it means that I can flex. Yep. It means I've, I've can flex the acrylic block. Yes. And you've got a oh. beautiful image. I like I those just think colours. That, I know. And yeah. it just, even that image, because that's what I was saying about the varying sizes, 
the varying sizes of the stamps allow you to have composition mm -hmm. when you've got different sizes. If everything's yeah. all the same size, you can't create depth yeah. and, and the composition becomes harder. It's nice that that's a silhouette stamp as well because if you're not confident with colouring, the inks have done it for you. Yes, mm. and also, like I mentioned in previous shows, if you wanted to do the kiss technique where you add another stamp on top, like a background stamp, yeah. you can then get a totally different image as well. Cool. So what I've done here is I've cut out the flower with a white edge. I don't always add a white edge, but the reason I've added a white edge this time is when I've done my background, this is going to pop more. Yeah. But for me, when I was creating this card, it was still a little bit too stark for me. So I wanted to add some more layers. So what I've got is I've got two circles here, around about one and three quarter inches, because I know somebody will ask me. And what I'm going to do is use that black ink. And I'm going to ink up one of the clocks. So I've just cut out the circles. You can just draw around something, no problem at all, if you haven't got a die. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to add the clock image to the circles. Now, imagine if you've got some little clock hands, if like me, yeah. you actually buy vintage clock hands. Imagine using that and adding it to the centre of your clock. Oh, okay. It will then give you a different element, some more different detail to your clock. So we've just got a clock image there. And I'm going to wipe up each time, just so that I don't get in too much of a mess. And I just want to use the same clock again, just to add to the circle. Cool. She says, I can't pick the acrylic block up. <laughs> it's all good. I always do that when it gets wet underneath. I can't pick the acrylic block up. So I'm just going to add that clock just Perfect. there. Perfect size. And you could add any clock. You could add two parts of a clock. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be that one. Yep. And what I like about this clock image is it's also got a, f a couple of little sentiments in there. So it's got minute by minute. Oh, yes. And make every second count. Mm. So again, it just extends that stamp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in these clocks. Right. This is going to give me some dimension. Now, I don't want to put them on 3D foam mm -hmm. because I'm going to make them stand out a little bit more anyway. So we're just going to adhere those. And I don't want to cover this image up too much. I want to be able to still see the clocks underneath. Just adhere this one. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how warm I am, Alex. My face is getting red by the minute. Oh, bless you. <laughs> it's, a, it's been a woman of a certain age, I think. <laughs> Phew. Right, so I'm just going to add that there. And then what I'm going to do is I always, I often say, you know, use your ink-tense pencil, your grey ink-tense pencil to add a little bit of definition. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to add a brown because I'm going to add more brown to this card later. So I'm just adding the brown. So I'm just drawing around with my ink tense pencil. Just going around, just simply drawing around. Or I nearly flicked it down on the floor. That's what happens, you see, when you get a professional. Just make sure that your pencil, and then just blend this out. Yep. And you're just doing this just so that it, it, it sort of blends out. Just so you, and I'm just doing it every step as I did at mm -hmm. home before adding anything else. Yeah. So I started like this. I've got this little hair following me around. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit of depth. Cool. And it's still not enough yet. We, we still need to add more depth. So just, so just adding that. Now what I want to do is bring a little bit more color, a little bit more of a vintage element to it. Yeah. And what I like to do, excuse me, reaching for kitchen roll. No worries. I just, when I'm, when I'm inking, it's just a habit that I get into. So I'm using vintage photo and I like to use a piece of kitchen roll just so that I'm not resting my hands on the card. It just means that I'm not going to make any marks. It still happens, but it's, it's less, you know, it's less possible when you, when you sort of use a piece of kitchen roll. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going around just to add like this. Mm, makes it look very vintagey. Yes, and it just finishes it up. If you like it, you just want it, you know, clean and fresh. You can leave it, leave it clean and fresh. But I love to just change it up a little level. Now, what I'm going to do, Alex, I'm going to wipe this first. 
and I'm just going to spritz this with water just to vintage it up a little bit more. So what I just need to do, Alex, I don't know whether you've got something to update. Yes, I just I need can. to dry yep. that for a little bit. Lovely. Um, so this is now your time. If you haven't already, please pop this into your baskets. A quarter of the stock of the full collection has now gone. It's only the first live hour. We're only 25 minutes into the first live hour. Now what I'm going to do, however, is just break it down in case you are just joining us. So we've got the one day special, which consists of all of these beautiful stamps. I'm going to show you them. So the first big A4 stamp here, this is just beautiful, isn't it? Have a little look at this. So what you've got are the clocks and the flowers. What a lovely combination. I love this flower that uh, Tracy's just used. And then you can see the clocks. There's always those lovely splats that are there. We've got a badger at the bottom. There's so much detail in these wonderful stamps. There really is. So that's one component, your A4 stamp set. Then we go on to our key botanicals. Uh, so here we go. We've got the key with the butterfly wings. We've got our beautiful florals. We've got the squirrel. We've got, I love him, lovely scraggy hedgehog with a nice little smile on his face. Um, and of course, you've got some sentiments as well. Your essence of nature, which I adore. Then moving along. Here we go. And there's lots of sentiments in this one. It would help if I held it the right way, at least. Well, actually this way up and then the violet, whichever way. You're going to see anyway, you've got the violet and you've got um, lots of sentiments. Let's turn it this way so we can, you've got the days of the week, etc. You've got garden calendar, you've got journal. That's all in there. Uh, weekly, monthly. So this could be good for your planners. Then we move on to our frosty with our penguins. Ah, oh, and they so cute. But like, uh, like Tracy was saying, not just for your winter cards. There's all sorts of different options that you've got. Could be family cards. There we go. There's our penguins. That's the other one. And again, you've got some lovely sentiments. Brrr, hugs. <laughs> Me and you love that. And then last but not least, we have got our falling blossom. Let's just show you this one. There we go. Let's hold it the right way. So there we go, that's our falling blossom. Now, if you do want to go for the one day special itself, a third of the stock has gone. It's 67 pounds and 94 pence. You've got a five pound saving and that will carry over to the complete collection. Then if you do just want the stencils on its own, again, no problem, we've got that for you. You've got your, hang on, Crosses and pluses, I really oh, had to... Oh, no, your crosses and your pluses. Yes, that's right. Um, so you've got your A4 and you've got your 6x6, six six, plus either side you have got the um, stamps as well. Oh, Chris has just said so. I know, I've been thinking this. We've now got to watch the word clocks and pluses. <laughs> Right, so if you want to go for the stencils, uh, two payments of £23.47, pence, four four two one four four. But if you want to go for all of it, the, uh, the one day special and the stencils, you'll also get, <laughs> excuse me, as a little bonus, you've got the A7 block and you've got the A5 block. Uh, and so not just a £13 saving, but you get a £5 from the one day special and a £5 from the stencils that carries over. Now, a quarter of the stock of the complete collection has now gone. So please do check out your baskets. I'm just dipping down for some, uh, so some more samples here. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this penguin. And he's holding in his beak a little ball ball to put on the tree. And have you seen where the tree's from? That's a Janet Klein. Oh, is it? Fabulous. Yes. Oh, no, that's from the monthly mega deal, right? That's from the weekend. Wow. Oh, sorry. That one. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Or is it? No, you, you are right. You are right. You're sure. Yes. Ta we'll be with we'll be with Janet as well, so don't worry. <laughs> um, so that's by Philippa. And then we've got, oh, isn't this a lovely book? This opens up. I know, it's a lovely idea. But if you got with the violet, you could use the days of the week. Yeah. So then you yes. could create your own garden journal. That's so nice. Uh, that's uh, by Philippa. And then we've got another one here. This is also by Philippa. So that's a paper cast in the background. Oh, so that's you can say. use your stamps to do a paper cast. <laughs> that's amazing. Let's go back to our penguins. One moment. Here we go. This one is also by Philippa. And she's using a bit of everything there, isn't yes, she? Yes, she's got the stencils in the background. She's added some detail in the black areas, like I've done, when you've got like a, a silhouette stamp. 
Mm. She's added another detail from another stamp or stencil just to add detail in there. Lovely. And then this one is by Debbie. See, that's completely different, isn't exactly. it? Lovely warm tones. Yeah, exactly. And that shows exactly how that stamp works with part one. Mm. Oh, great stuff. Yes. Because yeah. remember, this today is part aut autumn part two, but you can actually get autumn part one if you want to. Uh, this one is by Philippa. Here's another one. And that's quite grungy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But again, monochromatic. It doesn't have yeah. to be all colour. No. You know, some people just like monochromatic and that shows to perfection just the yeah. varying styles. It's lovely. Badger in the dark. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, this one is by Joe Rice. Completely different style. But that's what I like best about the design team. The yeah. fact that they do bring different styles to the team. Mm, yep. Yeah. And this one is by Janet. There we are. Oh, and love the border she's done as yeah, well. So that shows that the, the stamp has been used and it's shown in a bold way in the mm. background. Yep. But you can pair it back and make it more subtle if you want. Excellent. Last one then. This is also by Jo Rice. And Jo's echoed the colour there mm. from the flower into the ribbon. Yeah. Uh, and a, a little bit into the splatter as well. So that works perfectly. And then dragging the ink pad down in the background. Stunning. So we are super, super busy. Please do check out your baskets. And then, like I said, you can chill out, relax and watch Tracy's demos over the course of the next 24 hours. It's not just a £13 saving. It is, in fact, a £23 saving with the savings carried over. Uh, you can spread the cost three ways. And don't forget, as a little bonus, not just the stamps, not just the stencils and the other stamps, but also you have got... Sorry, Chris. Also, you have got the it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. You've also got the um, acrylic blocks, the A7 and the A5, which are perfect for all of these stamps in the complete collection. Lovely, Jubbly. Now, we do have a happy hour. You've got less than half an hour remaining to get this deal. And it works absolutely perfectly with this complete collection. You've got a £6 saving. But obviously, if you're going for the complete collection, your flexi buy basket opens up and you're only going to pay a third of that price on the first installment. 185912 is your item number. Uh, fastest way is to go to thecraftstore.com, our website, to check out because we have still got long queues on the phone lines. Over to you, Tracy. Thanks, Alex. Sometimes it's just important just to dry things, just so yes. you can do it. The reason for that is because the next technique, I need to make sure it's dry. I'm using an anti-static bag okay. just so that my embossing powder won't stick here, there and everywhere. Right. Really, if you're doing it properly, you should let the card dry naturally. Okay. You shouldn't really be rushing it like this. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be using my Follow Your Own Path A5 stamp set, and this is in the pick and mix, and I'm going to be using this text stamp here, right. mainly because I can't stop using it, let's just uh -huh. be honest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Versamark ink. When I was creating this card, I actually got to this stage and then I walked away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to walk away. I know it needs something more, but sometimes I'm not always sure what the next step is going to be. Yeah. So I sometimes do have to walk away. What I need to do now is, because you can't see absolutely anything there. Right. So what I do is, when I'm doing something like this, I yep. just scatter the embossing powder Ooh. bit by bit. Now, are you going to be heating this? I am. <gasps> so... Is it all right if I mention the pick and mix just of while course, you're... Of course, yes. I'm going to carry because on just adding a bit more gold. I didn't realise, Tracy, that there is a £21 saving on the pick and mix. 21 Apparently, that's what it says on the screen. You're picking any two... I wasn't told that bit. Uh, well, it's everybody's uh, luck <laughs> at home then. Um, so you're picking any two for 17 97 there are so many for you to choose from uh, so please do again check that out and add it into the complete collection well i don't know if there's been a mistake but hey just pop it in your baskets as well but there's loads there for you thank you very much back to you then tracy thank you so i'm just adding it's a little bit more time consumed alex but because i can't see where i'm stamping i don't want to over stamp so can you see i've just added three here yep Sorry, I just has moved that there. That's all right. So you can see I've just added three there. Now, I want to add a little bit more just to give me some balance. Sure. So I'm just adding a little touch here. And you don't have to press too hard. And I just want to add another little touch. Now, this little gold touch really brings the design to life. Mm -hmm. It gives it a little opulent touch. So I'll just bring this in so you can see what I'm doing. Yep. I seem to use, I seem to use more and more desk as the <laughs> hours right. go on. I always think I've got a huge desk space and then still end up using more than I absolutely need. So we're going to heat this now. 
my favourite bit. So you just need to make sure that your heat tool is heated up. Look at that, that's a perfect camera angle. Uh, there so you go, will be happy. <laughs> that is, it's perfect. <laughs> so you just need to heat your heat tool up because there's no point wafting it over your project when the heat tool is not heated up. Yeah. And I'll see if I can just tilt it a bit because sometimes it can be a bit difficult to see it changing. Just take a couple of seconds because I don't have one of these high-powered heat tools, mainly because this heat tool suits me. I don't like something too blowy and too powerful. Yeah. So you can see that just going now. And what I love about this is you can still see Abzi's crosses in the background. Indeed. So we just heat this up. Remember to move your heat tool. We have to remember we've got beginners watching the show. They may have never done any embossing. So just remember when you're embossing, just to move your heat tool around. When it starts to turn, move your heat tool. Yeah. Don't leave it in that position because it will just go back to being flat again. Cool. I mean, talking about beginners, because I only learned, I learned live on air when this oh, channel you? launched. Yeah, I'd never seen it before. Oh. Never seen it before, and it just blew me away. But you're right, we get new people tuning in all the time. And you should never take for granted yeah. that, you know, somebody new isn't watching. Uh, we are now almost 30% of the complete collection gone. Uh, so please be quick, because we have uh, a very deep stock, and it's already 30, nearly 30% 30 gone. Right, over to you then. So what I'm doing now, Alex, is I'm adding this blue flower because that pop of blue makes the design sing. It does for me. It's what makes me happy because that just that pop of blue makes it sing a little bit more. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of the sentiment. So on this big stamp, yep. I keep looking for scraps of card. I've got more scraps of card lying around everywhere. Uh -huh. So what I've got is I've got the sentiment in here that says, make every second count. Right. So we're just going to stamp that so that we've got that. And don't worry, I have cut this out so we won't waste time cutting out. So we've got make every second count. Mm -hmm. And then everybody who knows me now knows that I have to have a blackbeard. So I'm using my A5 stamp set, the blackbeard stamp set. Are they your favourite birds? I just... Do you know, blackbeards aren't actually all black. They're actually more than black. Are they if like bluey black? You can get like blues and purples. And Ooh, yeah, honestly, like it's surprising that. what, what, what colours are actually in blackbeards' feathers. So it is surprising. So just going to ink those up. And just stamp the blackbeards. I have got all these cut out, so we're not, we're not waiting. I think it's nice just to see the images. How they stamp, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Especially when people are spending money on stamps, I think it's important that you see them stamped out. Cool. Um, Blackbirds are in the pick and mix. That one that I just told you has £21 off. I just checked it on my uh, notes and I was like... <laughs> Did you think you is? said the wrong thing? <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, just for a second, but no, I've checked it. So okay. what we've got is we've got this every set, make every second count, just a little bit of a sentiment, and I'm going to add this here. And this will also act like a little perch for my bird. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make that sentiment just pop a little bit more because at the moment it's getting lost in the background. Right. And what you would do at home, you would let everything dry. I repeat myself over and over again, but as a demonstrator, I just think it's important to repeat these steps. Yeah. And we all get a different amount of projects done in a show. We all work at different levels, but for me, it's always important to show every every stage. So I'm just adding that just to make it pop a little bit more, just so it stands out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add that little black bird. Now that's going to irritate me because it's not black around okay. the outer edge. So just colour around your black bird. Mm -hmm. And we'll just add that to here. I just love I can't stop using this blackbird because it oh. just perches yeah, perfectly. perfectly just on the card. And then what I've done is I've created a mat that's just a quarter of an inch bigger. Mm -hmm. So the card was uh, three and a half inches by eight inches. Yep. So I've just added a quarter of an inch. If you don't want to add a quarter of an inch, you can make it a little bit less. Entirely up to you. And I always like to hover over my card just to make sure that I've got it laid. Yeah. It's just important, it's just one of the, I'm just a bit pernickety when it comes to laying the layers, just to make sure it looks right. Yeah. 
And then we've got a card blank, which is four inches by eight and a half. And I just give the measurements because I know a lot of yeah. ladies, if they want to make the card tomorrow or tonight, then they've got the measurements. And I just make this card out of a piece of A3 card. Oh, I've just moved my black beard, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> so just add that there. And then I'm just going to add some splatters of white pen. Of course, the white pen is not the one that works. Well, wouldn't you know it? It's always <laughs> the one that doesn't work. <clears throat> so just add some splatters. Cool, you don't need I to like add that. many. And if I turn that round, oh, you can brilliant. see the gold just on the card. That is absolutely stunning. And I've now made the cameras go absolutely mental. <laughs> don't worry. Sorry about that. But I just Lovely. love how that looks. Do you want to give it a wiggle so we can yeah, see the emboss? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, to camera one. To camera one. Yeah, backwards and forwards would be great. There, there we go. That's hey. amazing. Anybody thinks she was a professional. <laughs> it's, it's all good, it's all good. Thank you, Tracy. Brilliant, thanks, Alex. Do you reckon we can fit another yes, one in? Yes, we're going to have a go. Yes, oh, absolutely. Excellent. Now, um, you can, of course, get the one-day special. You can get the stencils, but the majority of you, of course, are going for the complete collection because that's where your saving is, and everything goes together beautifully. Uh, so you've got your, I mean, we're just looking at some samples here, which is lovely. Now, in the complete collection, you're treated to these two acrylic blocks, the A7 and the A5. You can only get those in the complete collection. Uh, then we move on to our stencils. You've got your A4s, your 6 by 6s and then you've got your two stamps either side of the crosses and pluses. And then we move on to uh, the beautiful one day special stamps. So these are the Autumn Collection Part 2. You can find Part uh, 1 of the Autumn Collection on the website, but if you've already got that, you want to extend your collection, then this is perfect. And as Tracy said, she drew the whole thing together for you. More samples after duck under here, so do excuse, do excuse my floating head. <laughs> Here we go. My head's always floating in. <laughs> I'm going back to this one again because I just love this. It's so pretty. What a lovely little Christmas decoration this is. But if you were so having nice. a natural tree, yeah. just with pine cones and things mm -hmm. like that, wouldn't that look fab? I think that would look absolutely beautiful. A few more of your penguins. So like you said, this could be you know, a whole family celebration or it could be an invite for somebody. I yep. think that's brilliant. Yep. And then this, oh, I should just say that one's by Debbie, and the previous one was Joe Rice. This one is by Janet. Um, lovely pop there from the uh, crosses. Yeah, doesn't that look fab? Yeah, love that. Or oh, the pluses, I have to really think about it. <laughs> I can't get everything <laughs> right. <laughs> the pluses, and then that beautiful flower. It's just, it, that's lovely in the monochrome, isn't it? Yeah, you see, I wanted a flower that stood bold, but yeah. it, it was a bit more open in the centre. But I think that flower is so strong on its own. Yeah. You don't even have to have anything else on the card. Right, love so I that. I just love it. Um, this one is also by Debbie. Again, look at that pop of colour. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Let's bring in our lovely penguins here. That is by Joe Elliott. Um, and this is just stunning by Janet. It's just so clean and elegant, isn't it? And then we'll do one more here. Uh, this one is by Philippa. Stunning, just stunning with that focal point and then the sentiments down the side. Uh, as I've been saying, not just a £13 saving, but you get the £5 and the £5 from each of the individual collections. So in the end, it's £23 off. And it's on three Flexi by payments of £38.95. Have a look on the website because, of course, you can shop by brand. You can go to All and Create. Don't forget that pick and mix either. £21 off, can't get over that, but just take advantage of these deals. And of course, if you're getting the complete collection, your Flexi Buy Basket opens up for you. Now, we've actually got three pick and mixes. We've got the A5 pick and mix, five star reviews. Now, you've got the Border pick and mix, uh, picking any three there. And that's £19.97 with a massive saving. Or you can go for the A6, choosing any three, and that's £17.97. Again, look how much you're saving on each of those collections. And all of them have got five-star reviews. So do, after this show is finished, you know, check out your baskets, have a little look and see what else you would like. Lovely. Okay, we've got about 10-ish okay, minutes. Alex. Cool. What I want to do is 
when, before we do this, I've just had to give the stamp a little bit of a clean. Sure. Mainly because I want to show you that the flower doesn't have to be stamped in black. Okay. Because we, we don't just want to be a one-trip pony. We want to have lots of um, ways of using the stamp. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm using shaded lilac. Okay. Over my stamp. So the lightest colour first. Then I'm using broken china. And these, again, my distress oxides. And then I'm using wilted violet, right. which is a bit of a stronger colour, so don't overpower your stamp too much with the wilted violet. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spritz the stamp with water. Okay. And you're just going to give it a light mist, not too much, just one light mist. And what I've got here is another piece of card, DL size, as previous. And what I'm going to do is just stamp this, and I've placed a piece of low-tack tape across the bottom and you will see why afterwards so I'm just going to place that on there okay and just allow that to sit so I'm just hoping I caught that with the spritzer sometimes when you're in the studios you don't quite hit it because you, you've got so much room in the studios you I hold know. your hand a mile out so it's just you just need to give it a light spritz and you can see I've not spritzed it enough here not to worry but we'll just give it another spritz on another piece of card. Let's see if we can get a second generation print. Let's see if we can just get a second generation print. Lovely. That I like the first one. I thought that was fabulous. I wanted it a little bit darker, to be honest, Alex. Yeah. I wanted it a little bit darker, but that's not a problem. But obviously, when you're at home, you see I'm sitting on top of myself. Mm. So I spritz the water and it's, it's all, it all hits the stamp. When you're in the studios, you've got a little bit more space. And that gives you your second generation. Can Lovely you see silhouette. That? Yeah, I like that. So what I'm just going to do is just grab another piece of card. Because I won't be happy unless it's completely right. Because when you're doing your demonstrations, you have to show it working and not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just ink it again mm -hmm. just with my broken china because what I'm thinking is the shaded lilac is a little bit light and might not be showing up enough okay I don't like to turn away from something that doesn't work understood I just like to make sure that you get that <clears throat> and I think this will work a little bit better just because the colour is a little bit darker. That's better. Oh, lush. So I'll tell you where that went wrong. Okay. So when I did my first demo, when I did when I did my card at home, I obviously didn't use shaded lilac. Right. I obviously just used the broken china uh -huh. and the wilted violet. Right. So I've obviously added the shaded lilac, and it's too light a base layer. Got you. And because the base layer is too light, it doesn't show up too enough. Okay. So that's why. So what I'm going to do then is use the background stamp. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I'm going to use this stencil, which is the numerator stencil. I think it's 104. God. So it should be on the show. You don't know all the numbers, no. do you? No, that was just say. luck. No, no, I don't know all the numbers, of course. 3,020, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So what I'm going to do is I've got a touch of ink just on here. And I'm just going to add some stenciling very delicately in the background just at the top can you see mm -hmm. it works beautifully yeah and it just pushes that flower into the background yeah then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the little background stamp from the toucan stamp set and i'm going to ink that up with my um will Wilted violet. I couldn't think whether that was the right name then. Mm -hmm. With my wilted violet ink. And I'm going to have this here, just so that I've got both the pale one and the dark one. So I'm going to have the darker stamped image there. Nice. And the second generation here. So I've got first generation, second generation. And I'm going to repeat the same again because I don't want to waste this because that's actually beautiful. So I'm then going to add a little bit of stamping here, first generation, and then add this 
a little bit different on the second card with second generation. Mm -hmm. Take it again. This background stamp, I just find it such a useful stamp. Yeah. Now I've got this stamped here. I want to bring a little bit of balance here. Okay. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of balance there with the first generation stamping and the second generation stamping here. Like so. Yep. So you're making two cards for the price of one. Nice. How many minutes have we got left, please, Alex? You've got maybe, let's say, five. Okay. What I'm going to do then, where this low tack tape is, I'm just going to blend. I've done this technique for many years. Mm -hmm. Just mask off certain areas so like that you that. leave a little open area. I love that white space. I love white space. Yeah. But what I want to show you is you can get two different effects. Okay. So we just take that off. She says there's no bit out there. Oh, it's there. <laughs> right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Just take that off. And then what I want to do is I want to take, let's hope, the stamp set, which is Bring on the Sentiments. And there's lots of sentiments in here. Again, another A5 stamp set. I get in such a mess. I end up with stamps everywhere. Mm -hmm. Said to Janet, oh, I'll stay tidy. Not a chance. So be bold, be brave, be you. Yeah. And I'm going to use my black Versafine Claire ink. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stamp that in the opening that we've left. Like so. Oh, There's one. Perfect size. And you don't have to press too hard on the sentiments. They don't need you to press too hard. Adjust. Stamp there. Then we've got the washies. The washies are actually are supposed to be in the shows. I know Janet had them, but the washies are supposed to be in the shows as well. Um, so this is cut, tear and layer. Okay, they'll be um, on the website, please. Yeah. Yep. They're on offer as well. Was it something like 9 95 for five? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll have to yep. have a look on the website. They're on offer one. as well. So what I'm going to do is just tear my cut, tear and layer washi just as a little touch there mm. 